Henry Glass for you and that's exactly where we're going to start. We've got Michael Miller for you, we've got Riley Blake and we've got Studio E. Shop ahead on the website. Oh my days. I'm just looking down the counter now. They look absolutely fantastic. Right, shall we start where we mean to go on? We've got some panels for you. Now, if you are brand new to soft crafts, this is a great way to start. It really is. Because with a panel, you've got a project right there. And sometimes you cut the panel up and sometimes you can just put a piece of backing on that panel and you've created uh, a table covering, a uh, wall hanging, a quilt, for example. We're going to take these out and show you exactly what you're getting. But the details on the screen that's the happy hour deals that six pound saving is only for this hour and this hour only it's all going back up at eight o'clock today yes it is so if you see it you like it pop it in your basket and check on out now the first item oh my days 10 percent uh, has already gone i need to get this out to show you uh, so you have an accompany piece of fabric which is holly again You've got 100% cotton and it's half meter. Beautiful design to that. Isn't that delicate? With lovely greens that are tonal. I like that. So it's not just one flat green. You've got that lovely tone going on. Uh, let's take the panel out to show you exactly what you're going to create. Instantly, you know when you feel fabric and you feel that 100% cotton, you know just how lovely that is. Now your panel, let me just bring this up so you can see that. How gorgeous is that? So you've got the lovely Christmas house, the two trees each side. If you wanted to, you could embellish that. You could put some lovely beads on there or do some embroidery. You could turn it into an advent calendar if you want to. Uh, with the panel, you see you've got family, holidays and celebration at the bottom. You could cut those up if you wish and you could make little mug mats or maybe... Um, coasters what's the thing that you eat at christmas time mince pies put your mince pies on there or maybe your mince pie and your carrot for when santa comes along with rudolph yes oh it's a beautiful style and i love the colors in this as well so you've got the red check going around the outside you've got that lovely deep wine burgundy in there to accompany that and then you've got the green and the brown as well uh, you're saving 30 percent on this deal 12 pounds and 99 pence henry glass Holly Hill Christmas Fabric Bundle. Now, you might be thinking, oh, it's a bit too early for Christmas. Well, do you know what? In the craft fraternity, it isn't. In fact, Christmas starts next month. It does, yeah, because you need to get your makes all ready. So that would be a fabulous, fabulous make to have. And remember, you are getting the Holly fabric as well. So that's a superb deal. It really, really is. Uh, right, we're moving on because we've got more for you. Busy for that, busy for that. We've got Timber Nomies. Yes, you're shopping ahead for this. Um, oh, nearly half the stock has gone. I need to get this out to show you. First of all, your um, blender fabric, your mix of fabric, just that on its own. Isn't that wonderful? It's a real traditional check, isn't it? Um, I am thinking Christmas, but I'm also thinking uh, lumberjacks and gnomes, you know, working outdoor with that lovely brushed cotton style shirt. This isn't brushed cotton. It is cotton. Uh, but sometimes with cotton, if you brush it with a certain tool, it does become a lot softer. Now, we are very, very busy for this. I've not even shown you the panel yet. Right. The, oh, dear. Well, that's that on the floor. Those gnomes are very busy. Um, why don't you take a look at that whilst we get the gnomes back. Yeah, cheeky gnomes. Cheeky, cheeky gnomes. Right. They're back. They're back. Let's open this out for you. Now look at this. Your timber gnome is, look, isn't that cute? Now that could be the centre of a quilt. It could be a wall hanging. Uh, again, it could be an advent calendar or it could be a tablecloth. Um, at Christmas time. It could be something you put the tree on, but you don't want to hide those gnomies. Um, I love the elements around there as well. So you've got the matching check to the fabric that you're getting. You've also got, if I fold that, you've got that top band or the bottom band, you're just seeing it there. Uh, so you've got the trees and the snowflakes. You've got the check. There you go, it runs along. Um, and then you've got the main image in the middle of the three gnomies. Aren't they great? Oh, we are so busy. 70% of the stock has gone. Yours will come without that piece of thread. Oh, I love those. Uh, the print, <coughs> excuse me, the print quality 
is sensational, isn't it? It almost looks 3D, almost looks 3D. Really like that, really, really like that, and so do you as well. 667 460, £12.99, pence, an absolute bargain. And remember, designer fabric as well from Henry Glass. Right, let's pop that back down there. There you go. Treat the fabric with respect. Lovely. Now, the next item is going to match the panel you've just seen. So this, um, you've got four half meters and these are your timber gnomies. I'll just fold these back so you can see the pattern. Look at that, look at all the gnomies you've got there. Now that could be a cushion. It could be cut into to make a patchwork quilt. I think that would be absolutely amazing, don't you? Look at all those noses. The noses with the gnomies love that or with their biz oh look you've got them with their hats on as well the check hats which again will go with the fabric that you had previously that is very very cute you could fussy cut those um, and if you've got the time you could stitch around them as well add a bit of wadding to the back so their beards come forward you know you make them like th almost 3d i love that even if you were to turn that into a tie or a cravat or some handkerchiefs or waistcoat lining, for example. Um, what a great idea for Christmas. What a great idea for Christmas. The next one along. Ooh, what are they? That is, what is it? Is it a beaver? They're beavers. They're beavers. Can I get this out and turn it the right way? These are, first of all, I thought, oh, they are squirrels, but they're not. Let me turn it this way so you can focus right can you see that? Can you see the beaver? Yeah, there you go. So you've got the beaver with a log, a beaver with a log, with a little hat on, on the check plaid at the background. Oh, they are so cute. Look at the little teeth. Aren't beavers great? They work so hard. They really do. Building their dams, all for nature. Absolutely fantastic. Love those. And at the bottom of the fabric you'll see on the salvage, you've got the colours that are in there. So you can match your threads, but you can also match other fabrics to them. Uh, and that's what you get with great designer fabric, Henry Glass. Right, we have another one in this because this is a set of four. Now I do look at that. Now that's a plaid, isn't it? When does a check become a plaid? Maybe when there's more colours to it? Is it and when does a plaid become a tartan? Or is a tartan a plaid? Or is a tartan just more checks? Or is a check a version of a tartan? I don't know. Maybe you know. Email in studio at thecraftstore.com or leave a message on Facebook Live. We're on Facebook Live. So good morning, all. I hope you're well. Um, and we've got some great fabric. Really like that. Um, so it's, you've got your fawn colour in there. You've got your red. You've got your black. Um, it's lovely. Now, we do have some information on checks and plaids. Now, plaids are crisscross patterns of two or more co uh, colours. Tartan is a plaid with a name to identify a community. And check are plaids with a regular pattern, usually of only two colours. You see, you learn something every day. You learn something every day. I wonder if a check grows up to be a plaid and then a plaid then grows up uh, to be a tartan. Oh, well, you know, like how paper grows up to be card at 170 GSM. You never know. You never know. And the final half metre, well, we've got the gnomes again, haven't we? Oh, they're so super cute with the red check hat, the black check hat. And then in the background, you've got that timber. Uh, we are really, really busy. Aren't they fabulous? Half the stock of your four half metres gone already. 093263 is your item number. Now, your timber Nomi panel, let's head back to that. We're limited stock on that, everyone. And that does have the baby check. We're calling it a baby check because we think it goes check, plaid, tartan. Uh, we've only got, um, well, a handful, less than that left uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence 677 sorry 667 460 is your item number let's move on to another designer michael miller you may have heard of this name um and you may already be a fan if you are get them in your basket these are beautiful you've got a set of four you've got that vintage vibe here um i think looking at these it's almost like 1960s 1960s retro style really really like these um i do yeah i do for me when i look at it that's what i see i don't know why but i do i think it's the try i know this is going to sound odd it's the triangular shapes of the trees a very 60-esque style uh right now let me show you this first one i'm going to pull this one out because oh this is this is no this is the second one isn't it sorry 
it's just that I can't wait to I can't wait to get to that but let me do the deers and the triangle trees um, and see what you think see what you think when you look at that what comes to mind for you um, you've got the green and then you've got that lovely gold color in there as well oh look at the deers look at them with their red noses look they're smiling oh look they're so happy oh look they might they might be lovers in the forest oh little do they know that father christmas is going to come along and make them pull a sleigh all the way around the world rest while you can dear lovers rest while you can it is a magic sleigh though they're there they don't really pull it i think it's one of those self-propelling sleighs apparently apparently like an electric bike like an electric bike they're not really pulling it and i think they really like it they get lots of carrots uh, right your next panel your next panel this is delicious look at that isn't that amazing so you've got all the gingerbread houses on there um, you've got them in brown, you've got them in pink, lots of icing, really nice background colour as well to make your gingerbread houses stand out. Love that, I love gingerbread, love gingerbread. Who else likes gingerbread? Do you like gingerbread? I love gingerbread. Ginger, now here's another question, gingerbread, ginger cake, are they different? Are they the same? Email in, studio at thecraftstore.com. We're talking all things festive. And then there's ginger drinks, but gingerbread, ginger cake, is it the same thing? I don't know whether it is. I don't know whether it is. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, right, next. Now, these are like candy stripes. Again, another festive, another fabulous festive fabric. Try saying that this early in the morning. Um, that is lovely. That really is nice. You can see the candy stripes in there. You've got your snowflakes as well. Even when you look at the detail, just going along that red stripe there, you could cut these up individually. And you've got lots of little borders or ribbons even. Uh, £22.75. You're saving £9.75 on this deal, but only for this hour. And we're going to show you the final one. This is a lovely set, isn't it, by Michael? Uh, the final one, love this because, there you go. You've got your trees in there, those geometric shapes. And I really like the golden detail in there as well. And from a distance when you look at that you get that effect don't you so you see close up you've got the trees but then you've got that white mark on there so from a distance it's very very effective almost like a 3d effect when you look at it from a distance from afar when you look at it on a wide shot maybe from afar at a distance <laughs> It looks great close up like that. But you know what you look at? Further, there you go. Look, it's that kind of effect. Do you know what I mean? Like 3D. Really, really like that. That is gorgeous. And it's a lovely green as well. Our producer's wearing green today. And it suits her very much. I don't know whether green's my colour. Do you think it is? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I like it. I like it. Uh, two tones of green there and the white, uh, making that 3D effect. It's very clever, very clever. And that's why it's designer fabric. Uh, beautiful. Uh, right, so that's your four. 556-327 is your item number. Oh, you're shopping ahead for the water. Oh, it's right. You've been shopping ahead for your watercolour. Limited stock, everyone. I do apologise about that. This is sensational. I'm going to get this out. If we've only got... Um, tiny amount left it's a big piece of fabric it's a meter by 108 inches wide yeah i'm gonna try and get this out if i can that's not all of it wait oh don't janice steady steady let me unfurl it like that without wow oh my goodness look at this sorry i'm just running down isn't that pretty? Now, what do you see when you look at that? What do you see? Um, I see flowers. Lots of different flowers. It is like a watercolour painting. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like Lou Sims has rolled from one end of the fabric all the way down to another, displaying her artwork in all its beauty. Cushions would look lovely in this. 
Oh, it's technically sold out. Oh, I was going to talk about skirts and dresses. That's the first sellout of the show. And we might have another one on the way. I'm just going to just fold that very carefully. Um, I will come back. I will come back. Let's pop that underneath. That is absolutely gorgeous. We love that. Uh, right. That was our first sellout 15 minutes into the show. Oh, we've had another second sellout. The Nomi's panel is gone. The Nomi's panel is gone, everybody. Um, oh, well done for getting that. We are having a very busy morning. So my suggestion to you would be, if you like a piece of fabric, if you dilly-dally and go around the houses like I do normally, don't. Get it into your basket and check on out. Um, I'm terrible for making decisions. I know that. I can take ages to make a decision sometimes. Um, but in this show, I would need to be pretty quick because we are very, very busy. Let's move on. We've got a brand new designer for you, brand new on this show. Um, this is Riley Blake. Uh, let's have a look at this panel. Again, you get the accompanying red fabric, really nice Christmas red. Christmas red for your holly berries, your holly berries. I've got holly trees and they're going through a very strange period at the moment. They've been losing their leaves and then all of a sudden they're all coming back. Maybe you've got holly uh, trees in your garden and they're doing the same. Right, let's have a look at what we've got in the fabric. First of all, at the top, let me just show you if I fold that down, you've got instructions. Now, isn't this fabulous? You don't need to have paper instructions, they're there. So you can read the instructions on what to do and what to make and create. So you've got your stocking on there. And you know what's nice about having the instructions on the panel? Well, you're not going to lose them. But also, you could keep them for another project if you want to, or you could turn it into a journal co cover. Now, let's have a look at the stockings. We've got one, two, three, four. And you've got your different characters on there. So you've got Father Christmas or Santa. What do you say? Father Christmas... Santa Claus, Santa, Saint Nick. What? I think I say Father Christmas. Sometimes Santa. Santa, Father Christmas, Saint Nicholas. Of course, how the Dutch celebrate. Saint Stephen. No, they celebrate with Saint Stephen in January. January, I think it's the 7th, I think. I don't know why I'm looking at Lou Sims. Lou Sims is the font of all knowledge. Uh, with you... Past being a teacher, Lou Sims is in the studio, everyone. Um, Boxing Day in Ireland is St. Stephen's Day. There you go. You see? Always learning. Uh, right. Look at that. Now, they're big stockings. What are you going to put in yours? Where would you hang yours as well? On the mantelpiece, on the end of a bed, uh, for example. I remember the very first Christmas present I got. I remember, I remember. It was a Rupert the Bear teddy bear. Other bears are available, but he had a red jacket just like that. And that's why this is bringing back memories for me. Um, he had a little white T-shirt on as well. And then I drew all over his T-shirt, made him into like a little sailor boy. He was lovely. He was lovely. Uh, right, I think I was about two years old. My memory goes back to two years old. Um, anyhow, um, this is a fabulous piece of fabric, but it's a project. It's four projects for you. And you also get the red 100% um, panel of fabric too. £12.99, saving £6. 591469 is your item number. That is a great little project. Now, sometimes we need that project all drawn out for us, don't we, to give us the inspiration. And I think sometimes stockings are the one thing that you wish you had at Christmas because it's traditional. Right, we have got a perfect day for you. These are lovely. Now you've got a choice of aqua and grey. Let's go through the aqua first of all because you've got four half metres here. So a lovely aqua in the background and then you've got the putty tuddies. So if you like somebody that likes knitting or yarn or crocheting or something like that, you've got your little pussy cats and they've got the yarn as well. They do like to play with those balls of yarn. Look at the fish as well. Likes to play with the fish. Uh, talking of fish, your next fabric are the fish bones. I like, do you know what? I really like this. Something quite nice about that, with a little black eye as well. I mean, poor fish, but I'm sure they've had a happy life. I hope they have. Um, but they're just pictures. They're not real. And then you've got... Ooh, now this is special, isn't it? Um, I really like this. Lots of detail in a small area. So this would be good if you're making a patchwork quilt, for example, because you've got lots of detail 
but within a small area. So even if you were cutting these out, you could make card toppers with these as well. You've got a lot of detail. So if you were to cut these with your die cutting or your scissors in a round, an oval or a square, you've got lots of things and lots going on in there. So you've got meow, you've got purr, you've got cats in there, you've got fish bones, you've got fish, you've got the knitting and the balls of wool. So it all goes together. So on a patchwork quilt, it'd be fabulous because it's all themed. And then you've got your white fabric. This is plain white. There's no pattern on here, but it's quality, quality cotton. So that will really make the details pop in that particular set. £22.75, four half metre fabrics. And then you've got the grey. Um, I like, do you know what? I like the grey. Now with the previous one you had the white as the mix of fabric on this one you've got your triangles uh, and these are nice detail in here because you've got the stripes and then you've got the putty cats the big faces in there oh they're sweet pink and black and blue and green with the white background that is lovely uh, and then you've got the gray back it is gray isn't it it's like a it's like a nice taupe color that is beautiful yeah, it is a bit warmer than a grey, and it really makes like the green stand out. That is lovely. You could make some little pyjamas or, or like a little sleeping bag out of these. And then you've got the fish bones. Love that. Uh, so that's your second collection from Riley Blake. Perfect day. Perfect day. £32.75. Saving £9.75 just for this hour. It is a happy hour. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's great to have your company. If you are on Facebook Live as well, hello to you. Are you talking about Christmas? Are you talking about Christmas? Uh, well, we've got lots of Christmas fabric for you, but we've also got some other fabrics as well. Now, I have got some Jane Austen brights for you. These are gorgeous. You've got four half meters. And when we have a look, if I open this up, you'll see that on the orange, you've got that gold metallic look to it. But you've also got, it's all, not a batik, but you've got the lighter shades and the darker shades, like a mottled effect, making it very, very interesting. Um, absolutely stunning, isn't it? Nice little twirls there. Very nice, very nice. So that's your orange. Then you've got your, oh, this is divine, isn't it? Look at that. And in this, you've got the silver metallic colour. So in the orange, you've got the gold. That's the silver, and it works really, really well. Then we've got the green. Oh, this is, this is Christmas, isn't it? Very Christmassy. You don't have to use it for Christmas, of course. Just a special occasion. Um, so that's the green. Absolutely stunning with the gold detail on there. Beautiful, beautiful. And then finally in this collection, finally, what's happening to me? Uh, you've got the blue. Blue. Don't know why I went all high then. Blue. Um, yeah, that is nice too. And again, it could be a Christmas colour, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. And in that, you've got like a metallic white effect. So that's the blue along with the green, along with the pink, and you've got the orange as well. Now, I do beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. It's called Blank Spirals, metallic, two meters fabric. Uh, yes, this is your Blank Spirals, but there's nothing blank about these. They're very nice. Uh, your Blank Spirals, metallic, two meter fabric. So. If you're giving us a call um, on 01733 that's what you need to say to the person on the other end of the phone. Love that. Do you know what? I'm going to watch my microphone, don't worry. It'll make a nice cravat, don't you think? Like Cravats are like scrunchy at the top, and then they come down. You can put some tassels on it. Nice cravat. I do love a cravat. I do like to wear a cravat. Something about cravats, very smart. Matt, do you like to wear a cravat? Matt's our floor manager today. Cravat? Have you? you? You look rather dapper in a cravat. They are dapper, rather than a tie, nice cravat like that. Um, okay, so that is a choice for you. Absolutely stunning. Uh, right, let's head back to Riley Blake, the designer. We've got Jane Austen for you now. And we're taking a look at these four. Um, pieces of fabric really nice um, stately home that's what I'm thinking with these a uh, nice Georgiana or two uh, so we've got four pieces of fabric they're half meter 100% cotton 
absolutely stunning what would you use these for well again um anything for your home like your haberdashery um cushions um anything for the kitchen i think this is if you've got a country garden cottage style house do you know what it doesn't matter even if you live in it doesn't matter where you live it doesn't matter where you live but if you like this style i think um it'll look absolutely lovely maybe on an apron or some hand gloves mittens you know for getting things out of the oven that's a beautiful design isn't it with the bird in the bush and then you've got that lovely brown in the background so you've got the nice reds in there the browns and the whites then next along you've got the floral design in there as well it's really nice actually isn't that beautiful you could add some embroidery to that that would be really nice uh, and then you've got your script I wonder what that says I wonder if it says anything let's see if we can read that I shall be able to tolerate those who do not like me is it do not like her at at heart at heart oh ever darling child from i have got only one darling child oh leaving town before today with an exclamation mark oh this would be interesting get it home and read it you might find something really interesting in that that would be good on the mixed media projects that would be good on mixed media right and then your final piece of fabric that we've not seen yet is this beautiful floral that I think is my favorite of the group and I think that and the script work really well together and the other two work together if you're going to pair them up uh, beautiful set a third of the stock is gone you're loving that 618742 is your item number it's a happy hour deal for this hour and this hour only now staying with Riley Blake we've got groves um, and you've got is it two yes four half meter fabrics so you've got two meters in total isn't this zingy isn't this a bit of fun right let's have a look yeah nice and bright with your flowers Aren't they a gorgeous colour with the orange and the pink and the green with that white background? Um, tea towels, oven gloves, um, aprons, bags, again, lining of shirts. Um, they're not suitable for nightwear. Um, so that's, that's, I wonder why. They're all 100% cotton. Well, if they're all 100% cotton, my pyjamas a cotton do your own research I wouldn't like to say they're not and wouldn't like to say they are if it was brush cotton then that's not good for nightwear because it's self-regulating but cotton I wonder if it, I wonder if it's if it's referring, referring to any brush cotton that we might have had previously um, but anyway 100% cotton no good for nightwear You do your own research. But you could do an apron, which you do stand next to a hot oven, so I don't see the difference. But anyway, you could <laughs> make an apron out of it. Um, and then you've got this beautiful pink floral design with your green and your orange. And then you've got that lovely um, vivacious pink in the background with your white flowers and yellow. Very, very pretty. And then you've got your lemons and limes and limes and lemons and lemons and limes and lemons and limes and lemons. And I maybe that could be like a um, a blood orange or something like that. Pretty. Very, very pretty. £22.75, 993931 is your item number. And the last one from Riley Blake is your milk and honey. You get three half meter fabrics in this one so let me show you that um, and these are really pretty because again on one of them on this one you've got that lovely gold detail so you've got your bluebirds on there or your birds you've got your squirrels um, you've got your floral designs and you can see that gold look at the bunnies that'd be a good do you know what that'd be a great one for Easter I know it's early but it'd be a great one for Easter it really would with those little bunny rabbits love that very delicate that would be really nice as a lining or maybe on the outside of a bag you've also got your floral design here very very interesting this because you've got lots and lots of flowers on there so again lots of detail 
then you've got the green running through and then you've got your other floral design but with the pink background so I believe they could be the same design one's more with your pink background and the other one there with the lighter pink very pretty very very pretty uh two zero zero seven three six is your item number 17 pounds and 25 pence saving seven pounds and 24 pence for this hour and this hour only now we've had an email from barbara barbara wanted to say that riley blake and michael miller fabrics are really high quality material they're lovely to work with and they're super to sew with and um is it margaret Barbara, sorry, managed to get the watercolour fabric. Oh, well done, Barbara, because that's sold out now. Thank you for emailing in. It's great to have your company. I hope you have a lovely day. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you're not paying any PMP on any of your purchases. It's a great way to buy from us here at the craft store. You also get some great discounts. Here's our lovely Leone to tell you some more. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Oh, lovely Leonie, pretty in pink. Uh, Leonie's here today, isn't she? I think she is. Oh, she was in yesterday. She was in yesterday. Uh, because we're... Oh, yeah, Leone has got two shows today. I thought so. Uh, lovely, pretty in pink Leone. And uh, I dressed like our next item today. I've dressed like a flamingo. Pink, pink. Um, flamingos are great, aren't they? This is Studio E. And this is your flamingo fabric panel. 36 inches. Let's get it out to show you. Let's get it out. Um, do you know what? I love these colours. Pink and green. Love pink and green. They just work so well, don't they, with the addition of blue. Now that is a quilt in the making. Or it could be a picnic blanket, albeit not a blanket. It would be like a quilt, so it's a picnic quilt. Love this. So let's see what we've got here. You've got the two flamingos, so they've eaten lots of shrimp. They've gone pink. Love the detail, the lovely floral design in there. Uh, they're on the beach. The beach is blue, lovely colour. And then you've got those lovely... Is it hibiscus flowers? <clears throat> there is an, I think it's a hibiscus flower. I think it is. Like a Hawaiian flower, isn't it? Um, which are absolutely beautiful that they make the lays out of when you get off the plane at Hawaii and they place that lay around your neck and welcome you to the islands. Absolutely beautiful, but you do have to pay extra for that. I thought it was free, but no, you have to pay extra. But you don't have to pay any extra for this. You've got a discount. It's £11. That is a beautiful fabric, isn't it? As a wall hanging behind a bed, it would look magical it really would yeah just put a little bit of wadding behind it and make it 3d if you wanted to quilt or stitch around those flamingos or just the wings to bring out the elements and the details absolutely lovely 747672 is your item number by the way you can multi buy anything on the show as long as we've got it you can get it in this happy hour deal that is lovely I love the colors in that and again that would look sensational uh, as a backdrop to uh, a bed, bedroom, or maybe you've got a bar in the garden. That would look amazing. I don't know why I went like that. Uh, that would look amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, let's pop that back down there. <coughs> right. Now, staying with Studio E, we've got something now a little bit different. This is your watercolour sketchbook. These are, these are absolutely pr beautiful. Um, now, you've got three half metres. Do you know what I like about this? I like the colours. I love the gold, the black and the grey and the white. I think it just works so well. It really, really does. And they are striking together or separately. So we've got your repeating pattern on this panel. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've got that lovely splash of gold. I like that. So you've got the gold colouring around and then a splash of gold, which really brings out that detail. Next in line, there you go. So super soft. So, so super soft. You've also got your flowers in the grey scale. You've got a little bit of tone of brown. 
<clears throat> and a little tone of gold in there and it's like a metallic gold so it really stands out like that and then to go alongside that you have got this is interesting it's like sedimentation isn't it um, it looks like um, you know when you cut a rock in half not that you have but when you watch the programs where you see the rock and the cliffs it's like the sedimentation isn't it of all the different stones I like that it's a really nice technique it's beautiful uh 17 pounds and 25 pence zero six zero studio e and is it uh one half meter fabric bundle yeah you've got three so you've got three half meter bundle uh, sorry three half meter pieces in there and it's classed as one bundle right next up let's talk about halloween harvest moon now let's have a look at these three panels um we don't have a lot of stock of this, just to let you know. This is lovely. I love the colours in this. First of all, look at that. Already a third of the stock has gone. You've found this online. So you've got your bats in there. You've got the moon in the background. Really like that. So that makes it stand out. So lots of bats flying around. Um, we've got bats where we live. It's great. As soon as the sun goes down, the bats come out. And they go swooping and flying past the windows. And love watching them. As soon as the bats are out, summer is here. Uh, and bats are just such a wonderful creature. And they're protected as well, uh, which is great. So really, really happy about that um and mind you if you saw that many you'd probably get a little bit scared uh your next panel you've got your spooky house your haunted house oh you've got your witch you've got your pump the black pumpkins now they're even worse than orange pumpkins because they're haunted pumpkins and then you've got the haunted house with black ivy because it's haunted ivy look at that witch oh got goosebumps look at that witch she looks evil with the broom and the cat. I bet that cat's really nice, but the witch has turned it into an evil cat. The witch could be nice, but I don't think so. I think she's a wicked witch. But don't be scared. It's just Halloween. Um, so a really nice uh, blue background. And then you've got the pumpkins. And then a tree, a tree and a pumpkin different isn't it i wonder what the thought process of that you've got the tree could be a haunted tree you've got the cat in the pumpkin as well don't put cats in pumpkins unless they can get out but don't put cats in pumpkins can i get this one out please thank you right half the stock has gone uh so you've got your pumpkins in here you see you know when you see that panel like that isn't that fabulous so you've got the um the faces in there you've got the cats and you've got the trees and you've got your pumpkins it reminds me of Halloween 3 in 3D. Did anyone see that movie? It had nothing to do with the rest of the Halloween. But when Halloween 3 came out, we were all really excited. And it had absolutely nothing to do with Michael Myers or anything. It was to do with a factory that made Halloween masks that were pumpkins. And they made everybody put the masks on. And then they played an advert on the television when everyone was wearing their masks. And I'll leave the rest to your imagination. And it was in 3D as well. It had nothing to do with the rest of the Halloween films. But anyway, there you go. Very, very busy for your Halloween Whoa, fabrics. Uh, right, moving on, moving on. Let's have a look. We've gone from Halloween and Wicked Witches to Bunny Meadows. That's a lovely way to go, isn't it? You've got three half metres in this one. So let's just take that away. I might like to get all of these out, can I? because they are beautiful and they look different you know when you see the whole of the fabric kind of gives you some ideas and inspiration so here's your meadow with the butterflies on isn't that beautiful that really really is so you've got your butterflies on there i might turn it the other way well no you can see that it's non-directional actually because you've got some butterflies one way some butterflies the other way and you've got your daffodils on there you've got your daisies aren't they pretty You've got your violas in there. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really like that from Studio E. Now, we did promise you bunnies, and we've got bunnies for you. So let's have a look at the cute bunnies, the cutest bunnies, the cutest, cutie bunny. Let's have a look at Now, it's not just bunnies in here. Oh, I'm going to turn this round. Wait a minute. Bunnies and owls. Bunnies and owls. What's a collection of bunnies called? I know a collection of owls is a parliament of owls. A collection of bunnies, it's not a flock of bunnies or a herd of bunnies. 
It's not a hive of bunnies or a burrow of bunnies. Is it? It's a, it's a herd, a herd of rabbits. I've heard of rabbits, but it's a herd of rabbits. But can you see? Where are we? Where are we? Where, where's? Follow my finger. There you go. That one there. Look at the eyes on that bunny. Aren't they different? Can you see? Let me bring that forward. Look at that. That is so cute. And it's attention to detail. It's because it's designer. And you've got the blue tits in there as well. And you've got the little squirrels, the owls, the butterflies, and the birds and the flowers. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I really like that. Right, the next piece of fabric, staying with the bunnies. Oh, let me show you this way. Yeah. Now this is great because you could cut all of these out in circles. Look at those bunny rabbits. You've got the brown bunny rabbit. You've also got, I don't think, actually that's not a squirrel. Is it like a chipmunk? It looks like a squirrel, baby squirrel maybe, or a chipmunk. Um, Studio E, are they American? Studio E, Studio E. So it looks like a chipmunk. That looks like a little chipmunk with the acorns and the bunny rabbits and the flowers. Oh, aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? Aren't they so super sweet? Oh, love chipmunks. Love chipmunks. Right, so bunny rabbits, chipmunks, blue tits, and um, are they based in New York? Based in New York. There you go. So that's the chipmunk element. Aren't they absolutely sensational? Uh, right, great for Easter again. Great for any little girl, little boy's room, um, or big girl and boy's room. Seventeen pounds and twenty-five pence. Harvest Moon. The, the bunny rabbits. The harvest. Oh no. The Halloween. That's gone and sold out. Gone and sold out. So I'm going to take that away. Put the witches back underneath there you go um, very busy though for all the other options that we've got including the one we've just seen there absolutely sensational now the next fabric the digital matrix can I get this one out as well because it's big this one reminds me of our Alex our Alex loves purple and um, if, if a dress were to be made out of any fabric on the show today for Alex it would be this and she rocks it very very well let me just look at this. Look at this. It is a huge piece. That would make Alex about three dresses. Or some little, what does she wear? Those little Beaujolais. What are they called? The Beaujolais things. Not a Beaujolais. It's a, um, you know, goes um, a bolero. Is it a bolero? I think it's a bolero. It would make, it would make lots of boleros. Let me just open that up that that is a huge piece of fabric um, and it's digitally printed as well isn't that lovely I mean instantly when you're looking at that you're seeing the stripes now going down that's what I'm seeing so I'm thinking maybe cut this up so you've got the panels long panels for example um, the effect of this in your patchwork quilting will be amazing because you've got your lines coming this way but then you've got like the shards of your digital print going that away. You've got all the different colours in here. This is going to be really interesting to work with. But you might want to make some clothes um, out of this, maybe. Um, beautiful cotton, 100% cotton as well. It's 108 inches wide and one metre in width. No, that's width. Length. A metre. But you know what? It's how you look at it. Because if you turned it the other way, you could be looking that as a length. So it's one metre by 108 inches. But nearly a third of the stock has gone. I really, really like that purple. I don't know whether patterns suit me. I'm more of a plain Jane person myself. I was called that once. She's a plain Jane, but she's the best I've got. That's what they said about me. That's what they said, with a wink, yeah. They said... She may be a plain Jane, but she's the best I've got. And I thought, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. We're now approaching 40% of the stock has gone. Um, it is remarkable. Um, right, what else could we do with this? I'm thinking, with it being 100% cotton, really good, strong, seat covers or cushion covers. You know, uh, cushion, cushions would look amazing. Cushions would look amazing. Uh, a, lap, a laptop case. 
um, or a tablet cover. Um, you could make bags out of this. It's, it is huge and it is fabulous as well. Now we're seeing this um, like a huge piece of fabric, but if you did just take part of this fabric, let's just, I can't really fold this up, just like that part of it there, that, that would make a great cushion because you've got all of that pattern in there. It's absolutely fascinating how they've done this. It really, really is. Um, oh, half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. Do you know what it reminds me of? Okay, what it reminds me of when I look at this, when I look at the digital print. You know those um, paintings in the rain and they're, they're a little bit distorted. Normally they're in... Yeah, there's a famous artist who paints... Um, paintings, scenes, normally in Paris um, or London, New York, and it's raining and they're slightly distorted. So you have to look and then look again, slightly distorted in the rain. This reminds me of maybe New York in the rain with the high rise buildings. Do you see that or is it just me? It's just me. It's abstract. It's, it's whatever you, I get the, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, some people might not look and go, that's New York in the rain. Um, when I say New York, it could be any city with high-rise buildings, but that, that's kind of my gist. Gist. There's a good word for this time in the morning. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, right. That is the last of the Studio E. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're just going to live. Oh, we've got a gorgeous panel coming up. Right. I can actually bring this over here if you want me to, so I can display it on the upright if you wish. Because this panel I'd like to show you. Yeah. You ready? Look at that. Do you know what? When you look at fabric, it's not just the, <clears throat> excuse me, the pictures that you have on there, it's the colour that's used. Do you know what I mean by that? So in this, you've got that lovely blacky blue colour. You've got the cardinals there, um, but those bears in the pine forest. And then you've got, oh, look at the bear. Look, he's saying, I want to come through your trash can. And then down the bottom, he's come a little bit closer to your home. He's definitely breaking in to go through your rubbish bins. Oh, and there's his friend, his brother or his sister. Oh, and then you've got the cardinal there, just eating some seed. Always feed the birds. It's really, really important. Keep them hydrated and give them water, not just in the summer, but in the winter as well. Um, and then, so we've got the cardinals. We've got the bears, the grizzly bears, but not really grizzly. I wonder if there's, I can't see any mice on here. I wonder, we can have a look at each panel to see if we could see a mouse. Let's have a look at the first panel. You've got the two bears, you've got the cardinal, you've got the tree, I think it's an ash tree. Then you've got the pine. Let's have a look at the bottom, see if there's any in that particular panel. No, can't see any mouses in there. Or mice, not mouses. You've got the birds. Can't see a mouse. And then... Oh, it's, 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 it's not a mouse. It is a, it's a tufted titmouse. A tufted tit mouse. I bet the tufted tit mouse is this one here because that looks like a blue tit. It's got a bit of a tuft on top. So, oh, it's limited stock. You're loving your tufted tits this morning. <laughs> Just pull that up. Right, let's move on. I just, I've never heard of that bird before. Uh, right, be quick with that one because it is flying out the door. Right, let's move on. Oh, we've seen these before. These are gorgeous. Let's just move those to one side and let's have a look at these. We'll get these out to show you because they are beautiful. These are your forest babes. Right, I wonder if there's any tufted in here. Uh, do you remember Tufty the squirrel? He used to help you cross the road. Anyone remember Tufty the squirrel? Yeah, Lou Sims does. He was great. He used to help you all the time. Um, and then I think it progressed to the Green Cross Code Man. And then it progressed to the Hedgehog. 
who wasn't that successful. Um, anyway, uh, look at this. So you've got all of the forest friends in there. You've got the bunny rabbits, you've got the beavers, you've got the hedgehogs or the porcupines in there, you've got the little trees, and you've got the birds as well. That is so super duper pretty with that fox. Look at the fox. Love that. Um, but that's just one. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one has got more of a light grey background. So a uh, similar pattern. Sorry, let me get this open. And then, yeah, do you know what? I really like that one with the grey background. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Again, with something like this, because you've got the repetition in the pattern, you could take just a piece of this, but you've got lots of detail in there for producing your quilts and your other projects as well. Sensational. Aligning to a bag. Or if you're doing a double-sided bag, these fabrics would look gorgeous. This next one, let's have a look at this one. And this is from the Cloth Works. Oh, I like, yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Love the trees. You could do some fussy cutting, so you could cut out the scenes. You've got the fox in there, the little porcupine. You've got the bear as well. Oh, look at the bunny rabbits. They look like they're in love. You've got toadstools and your daisies in there. Oh, they're a happy bunch of animals in the forest, aren't they? Oh, that is lovely. And then... So you've got two of one pattern, two of the other, uh, but they've all got different coloured backgrounds. So this one is the same as before. Let me turn it the other way, beg your pardon. Yeah, I like that colour. See how it changes? That's really nice. I think... Uh, I do think Christmas as well. It's almost like a Nordic style Christmas. Absolutely beautiful. Even if you don't do anything with these, just have them. £22.75. pence. You're saving £9.75. It is an incredible deal. It really is. And they are gorgeous fabrics. Never seen anything like this. They're beautiful, aren't they? They really, really are. Now, I've got some information for you. We have had a sellout, another sellout in your happy hour. It's the best. Bears. It's your bears in the forest with your cardinals and your tufted blue tits. They are absolutely gorgeous and they have gone and sold out. So they've gone told you you need to be quick. We've got five minutes left of the live show to preview the fabrics. Everything is on the website. You've got until the top of the hour to check out your baskets to make sure that you get those deals. Now, uh, the website is where you can see all the different fabrics for you. Beautiful fabrics as well. Make your choice wisely, but make sure you get your items because we have had lots and lots of sellouts this morning yes we have there's something for everyone there's something for christmas there's something for halloween there's something for the summertime there's something to make time to make and create so plenty on there we've also got your seven day savers as well now gnomes are very very popular aren't they and there's no place like gnome here we go uh, we have four panels for you all featuring gnomes um, and these have been very very busy shall i get them out yeah because it looks different again when you see the whole panel uh, great size panels half meters you get four of these so there's your gnomes all very very busy see when they're all collected together isn't that marvelous I wonder if they're watching a football game. If they are, it's go I bet they're watching their favourite team play at Gnome. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, they're great. Love that. Love that. The next one, beavers. Watch out. There's a beaver about. There you go. Watch out. Watch out. There's a beaver about. Uh, you've got the check in the background. There you go. And you've got the little beavers with their logs. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, right, let's pop the beavers over there. Then you've got, now, did we say this is a check, a plaid, or a tartan? It's not a tartan because it's not linked to a name of a family. It's not a check because there's more than two colours. It's a plaid. It's a plaid. And we're glad that we've got this in the bundle. Like that, very traditional, very gnomish. Um, and then you've got your final panel in this collection. Again, you've got your collection of gnomes, <clears throat> all with their signs as well. But you see, when you've got fabric like this, you've got the whole pattern here. You could use it as a large project, or you could cut into it because you've got all these smaller elements. Oh, I love these. Aren't they so cute? They are so cute. There you go. Timber! 
Ah, says the gnome in the garden. Um, right, that is an exceptional deal, and it is just for this hour and this hour only. The price is going back up at the top of the shop, and nearly 60% of the stock has gone. Nearly 60% has gone. So if you want to get your gnomes, get them in your basket and check on out. Uh, right, this is a happy hour. It's been great to have you company. We've still got six minutes left to check out your baskets. I do want to tell you about the Jane Austen we have for you. These have been very, very busy, very traditional, very traditional. Let's take a look at these because these are gorgeous. First of all, let's have a look at this. Uh, very stately home, very Georgiana, isn't it? With the flowers that are in there. We had wallpaper like this once. We thought we were incredibly posh. We also had a carpet like this as well. Thought we were even posher. Um, um, beautiful design. You've got your cream in the background, you've got your delicate blues and your browns and your pinks. Isn't that pretty? Again, a lining of a bag or something like that would look gorgeous. We've got the script for you. We were trying to decipher what it said. You can do that when you get this home. Um, and again, you've got that lovely dappled look to that. So that's your script. Uh, lovely sepia colour. And then you've got your floral design with... It's like a chocolate colour, isn't it? It's like a chocolate colour in the background, like drinking chocolate, chocolate. Um, and then that's like, yeah, like drinking chocolate. Um, and then you've got your pink in there and your browns, like that. And then you have your birds in the bushes, uh, which is nice. Again, let me get this one out, actually, because all the fabric looks different. When you see the whole of the pattern, there you go, look at that. See, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely delightful. All of the fabric, all designer, all 100% cotton. We've had many, many sellouts. You've still got three and a half minutes, about three and a half minutes to check out your basket. So you can head to the website when we go off air on this show. Uh, don't go anywhere because we've got more coming up on the craft store for you. But you can still get all of these deals, but only for now, three and a half minutes. Don't miss out. Uh, I want you to get some fabulous fabric so you can start making and creating. Uh, right, thank you very much for your company during the happy hour. Don't go anywhere, though. Just go and grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a bit of toast, because we'll be back right after the break. This is how your morning is panning out. We've got the one day special coming up next with our Lou Sims. The Happy Planner Show after that with Leone and then Creative Grids. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product. They're world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for you. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimples shows and have some fun. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. 
If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. It's eight o'clock on Thursday morning. Possibly bin day for you, is it? Oh, Wednesday, I'm here, mine's Thursday. It's bin day today. That's the only way I know how, what day of the week it is so far. It's the only way I know where I am in the week, depending on the colour of the bin. I know, what my life comes to, life of a presenter, eh? Uh, but we are talking the big name of Stadler this morning. Now, what I'm going to tell you is if you've always wanted a little dabble with another medium, so if maybe you've wanted um, good quality colouring pencils, not watercolour pencils, not charcoal pencils, you just want good quality pencils, pencils, okay? Not the ones you're going to let the kids use, the ones that you're going to use. Maybe you want pastels. Maybe you want watercolour crayons because you've never tried them before. This is the sort of show where you can do that at affordable prices as well. We know the name. So we know we're buying into quality. But what we're not doing is we're not jumping all guns blazing straight the way in and spending 50, 60, 70 pounds. And then you get it home, you go, I've tried it and it's, it's not for me. But then you just push them to one side and you think, well, don't worry, where did that, where's that money gone now? These are the sort of shows where you can dip your toe in the water and have a go, but you are getting them at affordable prices. Uh, they are absolutely phenomenal. Before I tell you, though, what's coming up down the counter, the lady herself. <laughs> yes, inspiration, this lady is. You are, Lou, you are. Uh, it's thank Alice you. Sims. How are you, love? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. It is true what I say, isn't it? This is the sort of show where if you've wanted to try it for so long... Yeah, it ...jump is. in now and it's affordable. It is, and, and the pencils are... As they say, they're soft and they blend beautifully. You don't actually have to put much pressure on them. You can just layer over and over and, and you get beautiful seamless blends with them. Because it's like what I said yesterday and, and what I say every single day. It's nine times out of ten, it's not you that can't craft. Mm. It's not you that can't paint. It's not you that can't colour. It's the mediums that you're using. And whether you're walking into whatever shop you're walking into, and you go, oh, I have a packet of them pencils. There's only 12 in there, but they'll do. They're the ones that are going to be grainy. They're the mm. ones that are going to give you the rough texture. They're the ones that are not going to work. Because we've all done it. We've all done it. But, with your what, but then you're going to lose confidence because you're thinking, oh, it's me. I can't do that. But if you've got the right tools for the job, you don't mind giving it a go. Uh, right then, let's crack on with your one day special, because I can wax lyrical about these uh, for hours. For the sheer fact, I've been on this journey already. I thought it was me that couldn't paint, that couldn't draw, but I couldn't. Uh, but you are getting 24 colours in here. Now, these are your uh, pencils. They're pencil pencils, as in your colouring pencils. Uh, they don't activate with water, but the blends that you can get on these are phenomenal. Now, they're made in mind to be used on black card, which is rare for a set of pencils. It is. I mean, you've got a black swatch there. If I did, It's not finished. I did start some of it. But, um, and I've deliberately gone for quite dark colours there with the blues. Um, and they still pop and stand out absolutely beautifully and blend. And I've not put many layers on there, so I could go back and go over it. But they do, they work on the black absolutely superbly. But then they can work, you know, don't just think you have to use your pencils just by themselves. Do your watercolour backgrounds and then go in and use your pencils, which is what I have did on that one there, was why waste your pencils to colour a whole background? Well, that's when we've true. Got, I, so I did the, the bulk of the colours, um, the background colours with the watercolour crayons, and then I've added all the detail with the pencil and gone in and coloured that way so I can do the face and all my other little bits and pieces. So y you can mix and match. You don't just have to use them as is, if uh, that makes sense. No, it's, it's true, because then you go in with your watercolour pencil to your background, then you know these aren't going to interfere yeah. when you put your water... Like, you won't need your water again. No, so you no. can go over the top and layer. You can go over the top and layer, and you can pencil layer, but you can still use them you know, as pencils. If you get your stamped images, colour them in your stamped yes. images and things like that. Um, but, yeah, so you can mix your medias together obviously let the paper dry would be a bonus it but but it is you know just do lots of different things with them but they work absolutely beautifully and like i said they are really soft 
you, you don't have to put hardly any pressure to layer down the colours and also layer up the colours. It's worth having a little go. It really, really is. Uh, what else are we getting in the bundle? I hear you cry. Now, well, you can't go wrong with propelling pencils. Love a propelling pencil. There's something <laughs> about them that makes me feel sort of Doctor-esque. Uh, with these, when you used to be in school, you used to give yourself a little injection. Um, <laughs> you used to do it all the time. I love a propelling pencil. I do, see, I keep mine in. I keep mine in mainly for a couple of reasons. One is a normal pencil, if I have my rubbers in, make my rubbers look really manky by the end of it. I know that sounds a horrible thing to say. But you've got the chrome at the bottom, but when you press the lid, um, the, as you were doing there, the lead out there, another little piece of um, chrome pops out, which actually protects the lead even further. Ah. If you then twist the cap at the top, Ooh, twist the cap. <gasps> the rubber, rubber comes out. Oh, I didn't realise there's rubbers. So the rubbers there, so um, you can then twist the rubber back in, so your rubber then can stay nice and clean, Ooh. as well as actually get it, you know, you've got your pencil. It's a B nib, so it's a beautiful one to draw with, and because it's triangular, it doesn't roll on the table, but th they sit beautifully in your hand. They feel nice, yeah. they feel really nice, and you're getting all three of them. And because they're propelling pencils, you can also change the leads in them as yes. well. So because you're getting three of the same, you could go out and just buy the leads, and you could have three different sizes. You could have a HB, a 2B, and a, a 4B, or whatever you want yeah, to Yeah, or 11B, you can go really dark. Yeah, you could, because you, you can change the leads, like you say, sort of thing. And yeah. you can change the rubbers in them as well, so it's well worth getting a hold of these. And then, we're looking at these. Now, these are your French curves. And I'm going to hold my hands up here and I'm going to be honest with you, when I watched the one day special last night at six o'clock, I was like, French curves, I use them in design technology in A-level. That was when I had to build, do buildings and yeah. we had to do uh, depth and foreground and make things like a scene, uh, like a seascape. Uh, but they're not, you, last night you turned these into flowers, you use these for all sorts. Uh, yeah, you can turn them into... It, it's the same as anything. Just look at part shapes and see what you can see. Um, the bigger shape there, I can make a heart. You can do leaves. You can do flowers. You can do butterfly wings because you've got the shape there and then yes. flip it. Um, you've then got the detail inside that you can put inside. They're, they're a great one to, as you're starting, and especially being a curve. I know we do wiggles, but you, you've got now a little stronger line. And the, the propelling pencils, because they've got the fine and point on it you can get right to the edge oh, nice. of and, and right in size so you can get right it, I know it sounds weird if you've got a thicker pencil the line comes away from the edge of the template whereas if you've got a finer pencil it stays quite close to the yeah. edge uh, with these though there's so many things you can do with them 34 pounds and 91 pence 485901 is your item number that is for your one day special but then I have many more things on the show as well things like watercolor crayons now, these is one that you look at and you go, what? Watercolour crayons? But for £18.50 today, you are getting a full array of colours. First of all, you're not breaking the bank with these either. These are professional quality. They're not a sample pack that you're getting. These are the full crayon, but they are watercolour. We are approaching 40% of the stock now has already gone. 24 watercolour crayons. Um, you use them exactly the same as normal watercolour, as normal crayons that you would, but then they just react with water. So things like these, for your nice washes that you want there, you've got a full range of colours as well to go from your seaside scenes through to your trees and your forests, through to your pinks, for your flesh tones, even down to your flowers, to your sepia colours if you like the blacks, whites and the greys. Uh, there is so many colourways that you can use them for. But then we can go all out. I'm going to show you this first because we, we've seen this. This was what Alioni did. Um, by using the watercolour crayons and then going over the top with Jesso. I think she got it off uh, the YouTube mm. or the Instagram uh, that she got there. But it's a beautiful background. But then taking this idea that uh, Leone did, uh, Lou took it to the next stage and then created this. So I did, Leo so I did Leone's idea and I've actually gone over um, clay moulds and from the, like, so Stampier and things like that. And then once that was dry, I just put the crayons along the top and just spritzed and let them dribble. They are beautiful. There's so many things you can do. Uh, then you can go into your actual work yourself. So you can stamp it. Can we take the brush straight to the end of the crayon and use it as a palette? Yep. Um, you could... Um, shave with a, a knife into a palette and make your little watercolour that way. Oh. I used them last night on the jelly plate. 
nice. and with uh, moulds and things like that. So you can do all of those techniques with them and you can still do all your watercolours. Um, we're going to do a little bit this morning, but you can take them to your stamps. You can do, you can do so much more than just create a background, if that makes sense. Now that is true, because that's what you think, you think, you look at them and you go, well, what do I do with them? There, are so, there is so much blending with these, is phenomenal, which is in the first demo uh, that we're going to look at. 18 pounds and 50 pence, 188690 is your item number. Now, because they are coming all the way from Germany, I want to say Germany. <laughs> Is it, is, it is Germany. Uh, they're coming all the way from Germany. I remembered it on a packet over there. I was like, is it Germany? Are we getting from? Uh, 7th of July is what we're looking at with these. Um, but that's not long, let's be fair. It's next week, I think it is. I think payday is Friday. Uh, two weeks. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's not that long, is it? Time's flying by. We're nearly in December. Uh, metallics are up next. Now, your metallic pens, that's always handy to have for a little gift tag for a little snazzy bit of writing. As Janice said in the previous hour, Christmas is only around the corner here on the craft store. I think we launch Christmas next week. Um, so it's worth having a little nice stash of pens. These are the colorways uh, that you're gonna be getting and different thicknesses as well that I absolutely love. Nice to have a white pen in there for your black card and your white designs or to do the whites of eyes and things like that. It is, but because it's brush, actually it, they go down, you could color straight away and you get brilliant um, coverage with them but the, the the actual nib of the brush goes really really fine and like you're saying the whites go, but you can do tiniest of little dots with them they're absolutely beautiful let's get one. Oh yeah look at that so you can do really nice thick you know lines if you're into your light um your um, lettering or even into your coloring but then like i said you can get tiny little you tiny little dots. Of dots but the thing I like about them is that you don't um, have to put very very much pressure oh, on yeah. to get any color out at all oh, I like these a lot I don't know if I'm allowed to draw on the back of this but I have. You can <laughs> uh, you can go from the tiniest of dots the biggest dots the thickest of lines to the smallest of lines uh, so it's all down here and all the colors uh, that you need as well what are we looking at we are looking at pens uh, once again a nice set of pens a nice set with a beautiful brush end as well 11 pounds not breaking the bank again 11 pounds and 95 pence 206843 is your item number oil pastels are on the agenda next once again a full set of oil pastels is what you're going to be in look at that 1075 for these now there is a stigma with oil pastels i feel and i think it goes back to school um oil pastels are the ones that the teacher makes you do and you try and use them and it always looks a mess because we never really taught how to use oil pastels, and I think every, well, that's when everyone sort of diverts away from them. They do, and I think it's precisely that. I think they, people think it's a mess. They, they see all the little bits everywhere and then just go, oh, this is not yeah. going where I want it to go. But they are a great way of getting laying down colour really, really, really quickly. So I've actually just doodled there and filled them all in and that's all with the oil pastels and I'm not sure if the black pen from the metallics that you've just shown is meant to work on top of the oil pastels but I've gone around the whole of my outlines with that black oh, nice. in, in there so it, it's worked but then I've used the oil pastel through a stencil and you could create layers um, Look at that. and then this morning what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we're going to do some work with the oil pastels but you know if you want to seal them because you're worried about them um, rubbing away we're going to use some gel medium put it over the top, we'll let it dry, and then we can then carry Go on working. Mm. So it works out to be 30 pence per oil pastel in that set. They're the blends that you can get. Don't worry, I think this is the sort of effect that we all think yeah. we're going to get with oil pastels. So it's sort of bitty, grainy. Yeah, but then you see, it depends on what you like. You that see, is now, true. I like, like I said to you, I like working on a card that's got all the texture not a smooth card because I like the contrast between not layering down thick layers and I like to see the card below so you can you can you don't just have to work on smooth if you want a really seamless blend smooth is better if you want something that's got a little bit of grain and texture bring in your textured cards like your watercolor cards and and use them that way and they, it creates another look altogether well, see, well we were always taught at school and i don't know if we were meant to i don't think it was me and my mates messing about uh, <laughs> we used to put a load of color down mm. and then we used to take a scribe and we used to pull yeah, the pull color, color back away. Away. so it, it it made like a little channel yeah. and then we used to fill in the channel with another color you could do that or if you did it on different color card 
Get and then you've got, you'll see that colour coming through. The other way, like we used to do with children, is get them to put random colours down in circles, whatever, cover it with black paint, yes, and then, and then scrape it away. It away um, so you can create a night sky, fireworks, silhouettes, but in reverse. You can you can get scratch mm. books. You can buy. I got one from Holly the other week. Uh, you can get them. So you can now start creating your own. Uh, don't be scared. Do not be scared with oil pastels. They are a medium that we all can use. Ten pounds and seventy five pence. Three two four seven five seven is your item number. Now these are always always busy that we are looking at. Now these are your fine liners. You are getting sixty fine liners for under. Well, look at that, under £35, £34.96, you're getting a £29.60 saving. Let's round it up, you're getting £30 more or less, 30 quid off the normal price. Now, why do you think? Why are you looking at these and you're going, well, they're just fine liners, Adam, why do you all get excited about fine liners? Because we all love a pen, we all love a colour, shopping lists, happy planner lists, the to-do list for him, the to-do list for her, normally his is slightly longer, but... And then, it's probably the bigger jobs. Uh, but with these, though, put them down. They don't roll. They're not going to roll off your desk. They've got that triangular uh, size that you've got there. They've got that super, super fine end. Absolutely beautiful pens to be using, uh, to go in with, with your doodles, if you like doodling, if you like zentangling, if you like, um, well, you can pull them away with water because they're sort of water-based as well. Whilst it's wet, yeah, yes. you can create a blend. I mean, you won't get a, like a, a, whole a whole wash, but you can, yeah, do an outline and then water watercolour it out, let it dry, and then go back over again with the fine liners to, to carry on you know, layering that way if you like. But one of the things I like about the pen is the satisfying click when the lid goes on. A lot of, and I know that sounds a really silly thing to say. It's because you then know that the pen's not going to dry out. I know what you mean. So you know you've actually put the lid back on, because I'm dreadful if I'm in a project, and I think I've put the lid back on. And I haven't, as such. Um, and, and I like that little satisfying click. <laughs> they are not, but it's the colourways as well. Mm. You're not just, because normally when you see a, pe a set of fine line of pens, it's normally your um, iridescent colour. So, like, it's normally, you, you get a black and then you get, like, a luminous yellow, a luminous red and an orange that you're never going to use apart from a highlighter. With this one, you're getting all your sepia colours in there. So you've got all your greys in there. You've got your browns uh, to do the trees. You've got uh, more greens than you can shake a stick at uh, in here as well. <laughs> if you are going to do forest scenes and things like that, you're then moving into your orange. You're also moving into your purples as well. We are busy, busy bumblebees. You can also draw them because you've got all the colours. £34.96 to... Uh, uh, 239282 is your item number for that one. Last but no means least, now, graphite pencils. Now, we had something like Alisa yesterday and they flew out the door. This time, though, I'm going to give you 12 graphite pencils, all different gradients. Now, once again, this is where we all get slightly stuck. Can you start talking? We're all used to a HB pencil because that's what we've all used for years. We've all used a HB pencil and these don't look like regular pencils. I'll give you that because they're black, but they've got that graphite in there. We are going all the way, this will help you, all the way from an 11B through to a HB and everything in between. So we go from the darkest of dark, as it were, to the lightest of light. Yes, yes, we do. And then we've got the HB, which is the starting point of going from... So um, the Bs are more, they're blacker, they're more intense, but they're also a softer... So then the H is going to a harder. So the HB is just the starting point of going to hard. So it's a crossover point. But one of the things I love about them is you can do colouring really quickly because, as you can see, I've just quickly smudged and I just yeah. got my finger and smudged down. They rub out absolutely beautifully. So even though you can do quick colouring with them, you can take your rubber and go over the top and do highlights, which is what I was doing last night. And then you could add your coloured pencils on top. On top. Um, so you... Like you say, you can watercolour them out if you want to watercolour them out as well. And they'll create beautiful blends that way. But the, the pencils themselves feel really lovely in the hand because you've actually... It's not encased in wood. All of that, bar the plastic, oh. the coating around the outside, all of that is the graphite. Is it? Yeah. All the way through. So you've actually got a I lot... Wait to them. Yeah, you've got a lot of graphite in that actual, just that one pencil that you're 
holding there and a little goes a long long way with them uh, they feel I, i'll tell you what they feel like they feel like a good dart okay you know when you, if you ever play darts <laughs> uh, and they've got a, you need a good set of weights to a dart they feel like because they're full of graphite they're beautiful um that is all my editorial just on that one board that's where i'll be showing next time i come down there i won't need to talk again just show this and do the prize 21 pounds and 99 pence 649 288 is your item number did you do this lou did you make this i did i've got a blank one if anybody wants one um i'm more than happy we'll pull if they message me or i can leave it here and they can download it I mean, if they want to i think it's i think it's handy to have it's a handy little thing to do 649-288 is your item number, 21 pounds and 99 pence for your graphite pencils. Uh, worth having a go because you've got all the softer ones there just before you touch the HV to the hard. Right then, let's go to the website because everything is on there. If your budgets won't stretch to things in bundles, you can go for things individually as well. Uh, so if you want your French curves, ooh la la, uh, 14.98 that you've got on there. Uh, you've also got your propelling pencils on there as well. Uh, everything, everything that I've got on the show, your watercolour crayons. Uh, look at the reviews, five star, five star, five star, five star five-star reviews and then we've also got a sharpener on the show as well it's always handy to have a sharpener and for the life of me I don't know who said it and I can't remember the quote exactly there was something about way of sharpening a pencil so you don't ruin your pencil you don't stick it all the way in no you don't you just let it gradually go through oh. um, you're also with a sharpener if you're using a normal sharpener you actually move the sharpener and leave the pencil still. That's why the sort of sharpeners work. So the pencil stays still and the sharpener does all the work. If you try and do both together, it's like two motions happening at the same time and that's when you can get all the fractures and the breaking of the wood. I'm glad I asked the question because I never knew the answer and I, I, I couldn't Sorry, remember who told waffle. me. I was like, how do you sharpen? There is a way and I couldn't remember. I said, there you go, but we've got the sharpener on the show as well. Let's go to demo. What are we up to first? Right, we're going to make a few backgrounds and then I can bring them back and forth with the different know, things. Yeah, so good. I'm starting with the watercolour crayons and I'm going to start with Leone's technique to work on first. So I'm just going to put down some colour and I'm working on a, um, a watercolour card. It, I've gone for one that's um, a mixture of smooth and um, I'm trying to think, got a bit of a texture. Right, so I'm going to be honest, I do break mine. Okay. And, and I'm going to show you why because life's too short some days. And yes, you can use the crayon this way, but then I can go... I'll put more colour down. Especially if you're doing a large background like we're doing here. So, you know, when you, I'm now in the zone, so sorry. No, that's <laughs> not, not a problem. So, I just want to... And would it's it not, a quicker way of doing it. Would it not contaminate the yellow? Because you've gone yeah, over yellow over green. But then it goes back to yellow again if you just rub oh, it away. It's the same as, you know, like, it, just rub it away, she says. You know, you just go... Yeah. So I'm just going to get some gesso. This is gesso. Now, remember, this these are watercolour the crayons on, with gesso over the so, top. I mean, a watercolour crayon just needs something to react to, you know, and make it work. So the gesso, obviously, is a slightly thicker medium with the acrylic base. So we're creating... Um, so all, with the... Uh, start again, put your teeth in. Um, yeah, it's too early in the morning. But what the, the gesso also does is it seals the watercolour. Normally watercolours are reactive, aren't they? Yes. So what we've done by doing this technique with the, um, the gesso is we've now sealed the watercolour. So when we come to work on it again, oh. we're not going to react the colours underneath, in Wait. theory. So in theory we could do this as a, as a nice wash yeah. for a background and we can go over the top. With, with our watercolour paints if we wanted which to, is what, and it's not going to affect the colour underneath because you're still going to get the background that you Yeah, desired. which is what we're going to hopefully, fingers crossed, do. So I'm just going to blend these out. We don't need that lump though. There we and go. This is the blend that you get as well. So, Remember, Lou, only, uh, you literally scribbled. I literally in scribbled. Possible way. So, I mean, the more colour you put down, the more intense it is. But I, will, I want to, I'm trying to go for um, a nature theme. You'll see when we're going to do the next part why. So I could just put the yellows and the greens. But we've got all the greens in there. So you've got three or four different groups. I think one, two, three, four, five, five different greens. So you can go to lots of different stages with it and add the yellow instead of a white. So I just want to now bring so in a contrast. The top of the gesso. That's not going to ruin our crayons? No. Just rub it no. off. No. Just rub it off. So I just want to add a little bit of contrast colour in places. 
can go. So then I can bring in. So I just want to add. So the orange now is just going over the little bit of the green. Just while you do that, there's literally five star reviews on the website, and they're all from this year. So they're, they're people like you and I, and I'll say it again, and I've said it before. It's very rare people leave good reviews these days. We're all very quick to criticise and jump on the bandwagon, saying, oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. Yeah, I didn't do. But to leave a good review it takes time and effort because you have to go back and leave a review. Uh, the first one that you there, I honestly did not know you could get watercolour crayons. And they are wonderful. Something different to use that looks great uh, when your project is finished. Great. Never worked with anything like this before or before. <laughs> Needs a name. Bless them. Uh, excellent. Uh, that you've got there. Uh, I love watercolour crayons. They are easy to use and blend well with water. And gesso, we've just found out as well. Uh, lovely colours too. Uh, in my opinion, they are the very much the same as the other brand of distress uh, uh, that you've seen <laughs> on the market. Uh, so basically, these are your reviews and you have used, as crafters, you have so many resources at your fingertips. You use everything. Don't you? you use one of these, you use a bit of them, you use a bit of that. And some people have said these are better, in their words, they are better than the other crayons that you're out there on the market. Everyone's got their own personal yeah. favourites, but over 40% now of the stock has already got. So is this like the crayons that you gifted me? Yes. Ah. They're probably a little bit on the softer side, the crayons I gifted you. Then the, These are a little bit um, sturdier, if that makes sense. It's harder, but they work exactly the same way. Makes but sense. what I've done now is where the gesso has dried here, I've just gone over with the crayon to create another layer. And I can do that, and I can pull this now out on top. Because it's not going to react with the green layer that I've got underneath. Um. So... Because the gesso is sealing the watercolour, I can, um, I've got too much, there we go. I can now go over, once it's dry, and create more and more layers with it, which is, a, which is really nice about the technique. So I'm just going to do a few more of these and then we'll put this to one side. And this is the thing, if, if your creative mojo has gone, make a background. <laughs> And once again, it's like I'm singing loose praises. Well, I am. Uh, Lou but, taught me how to do backgrounds, <laughs> and I've not stopped doing them since. But it's all I do. <laughs> well, background. But but, I, <laughs> but then backgrounds. Making backgrounds is a great way of um, working out what colours you like and That's don't true. like. I find, it, I find it fun in the main project. But also, it's a great way of going. Oh, those two don't work together. That's true. All those three go together. So. So, literally now, where that was dry, I've gone over it with another crayon with the gesso, so you can't see the green now, you've got the other colour going. So, the gesso traps the watercolour, but still allows us to blend like a watercolour, if that makes sense. And how else would you do that now without saturating your paper with water? Yeah. Which is what, in theory, what you're going to do, especially in your, in your journals as well, that you don't... And no. then it bends and buckles and then no. you have to sort of heat it and rip the paper. We know with this, with, it's just gesso. We all know what gesso does. Yeah. And you've also got the colour thrown in as well. Yeah. So you can carry on. So you could do your background layer, let the gesso dry, get the next colours that you want to do and do exactly the same again because we've trapped all the different colours with the actual gesso. If you don't want the white to be and you don't want it to be quite so pastely, clear gesso. Blend out with a clear gesso. Oh. And then the vibrancy of the original colour Shine. is still there. So, you, you know, I clear like gesso. That. So you could then, if you did two backgrounds using the same colours but did a white gesso and a clear gesso, you've got a nice contrast to keep That'd as well. That would be nice. That would be good. Right, let's put that over. Mixing sort of those colours in. So we'll let that dry. So, right, let's just put the lid on this because I'm paranoid about knocking it and I don't want to make you guys clear up. <laughs> I make enough mess at home. <laughs> you know, when you just go... Hence Matt's last day, he won't mind. Uh, oh, hence Bless why him. now we've got a wooden floor in my crafting oh, area. Oh, no, that's yeah. easier. Well, I, I just did, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's going, mm, yeah. yeah. Are we uh, at um, oil pastels now? We are. So I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is my backgrounds, because I want to let them dry so we can keep working on them. So okay. I am flitting, sorry. I no, do. It's, all, it's all right. So what I've done is I've just taken, I wanted to do, show contrast. Now, you were saying about 
this is a smooth card. Yep. So you can see a different type of blend. And this is um, a grainier um, watercolour black card. And I like this because I can then see the black through it. Oh, it's like I'm a not effect. Yeah, it, it's, and it's a nice thick. So you, just so you can see that you can work in different ways with different crayons. So mine are very messy. Yours won't be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm. So I'm just going to lay down the colour. And I've just masked off because you were saying that, um, you know, people think it's going to be messy. Yeah. So you can, if you want to start off and you don't want to make a messy project, do something like this. So we're just going to, so I've, I have obviously got, we can do that there. And it doesn't take long to create your background. So I'm not going to blend mine with there. I'm going to use my finger. You can use um, a tissue. You can go and, um, you know, the pencil stubs that... Oh, you, yeah, like the paper stubs. You can use those. Um, Do we need the solutions now, though? No. We you, this, then we need a solution on top. Uh, you can get solutions, and you can use solutions. Um, if you, the more you add a solution to the pastel, the more it becomes fluid, and okay. therefore you can get, like, a painting effect with it. Um, it's horses for courses. It's, 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 go for the look that you like. Sorry, I'm going to go like that. Go for the look that you like. Um, and I know I, I, I love a colour swatch, and, and I'm honest about that. But it's also, it's great to do technique swatches. So like, for instance, I'm doing this now, you could get the same colour, and you were talking about using blending solutions, do it the blending solution. I suppose, yeah, it's going to give you a totally different look. Yeah. So but This is what we think, and uh, and it, I think it all strengths down to school. We do think pastels, you think mess, but this is going to be clear. I've seen the finished one of this one. It looks amazing. <laughs> um, this is the colour swatch. Yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> just had to find it. Uh, this is the colour swatch that you're getting. So you are getting a variety of colours that's in here. So you can see them on white and you can see them on black as well. That's 36 pastels, but you don't lose your intensity with these. Take the green, for example. Yes, it's slightly knocked back because it's on the black card, but you've still got that vivid green that you've got. Uh, they work so beautifully on the different papers that you got. And I'm guessing... It's all down to the paper that you use. If you use yeah. your paper like your Bockingsfords and things that have got that mockled effect already on it, you're going to get that mockled effect look. If you want, could you use some things like super smooth and stuff yeah. like that if you want yeah. that perfect look? You can. Also, it depends on the amount of pressure you put down. The more pressure you put down, the more of the oil pastel you put down. So I'm going to go on the black now, and I, I'm deliberately going to go this way around. Um, not putting as much pressure as I did down on that one. Okay. So I want to have a little bit of a lighter pressure because, as I said to you, I like... If I paid a bit of money for a lovely cardstock, I'd like to see it as well. well that uh, is true. Uh, I know it sounds it a weird off. thing, but true. it's so right. I'm just sticking to the same colour because I thought it would be easier, and I need to peel this away in a moment. But because it comes with um, the sleeve on there to keep your fingers clean, and you also the carrier that you get a little bit of. Um, I don't know what the technical word for it is. A little bit of the plastic yeah, in the here. Yeah, like the packaging to keep the packaging, safe. Yeah, now, that is great for keeping everything safe, but if you don't want to get your hands dirty, it's also great to put your hands on oh, on top as well. Oh, yes. So don't... don't. Use top tips. Um, well, if it's there, use it. Okay. <laughs> Without okay. being... I know. use that in life, to be honest. <laughs> if it's there, use it. Yeah. Um, we've got five-star reviews on these as well. I said this year, never used pastels before. Oh, here we go. Uh, never used pastels before, but I am hooked. I thought that said something else. I am hooked on them. Well, this, and this is the thing. I think once you get a decent set, yes. you are good to go. Then you'll keep trying. Uh, I must try a uh, great colouring range uh, for a small pack. Nice finish uh, to the working piece. I love oil pastels. I had, I, I had other brands of oil pastels, but I find these far the best. Mm. Well, there you go. Look, these are reviews for people like you that's sitting at home now. Right, then, let's go to the blending, because this is right. the bit that we get... Right, so on. if I just do blending and take it away, but you don't just have to... You can go over and over with the pastels. You can sit there now, if I do circular motions, I change the pattern within... And is there a rule where you go from light to dark, like we do in stamping and colouring? No, just... Uh, um, there probably in. is, but go for what you like, Fair if enough. I'm being honest. So now I can change the look by the blending by just going round and round and round and round. Um, nice. If I want to keep the colours separate, um, I can do that one and then change your finger or your tissue. And I can keep it like a flag. 
There's something like campfire-esque about this. I reckon you what? can get nice nice flames and you stuff. You can. Like hearths. So I'm going to go through and just keep my fingers there. So I'm just going to wipe that down there. I can. Uh, I put them away, which was a bit silly. I can sit there now, and if I want to go for a little bit more intensity, I can lay down lots of the colour. I like this little background already. And then I can get the next colour and blend into it. And you will pick up little bits of the colour on your um, oil pastel, but I think that's cool because it, it then brings it back into the next colour. So where's that one here? So we can carry on. So you can blend that and blend it back in as well. Details for your oil pastels on the screen. And wh what are you looking at? £10.75. £10.75. What would that be? Uh, that's five, about five coffees. Yeah. Ish. Five, uh, five takeaway coffees, depending on the size that you have, obviously. Uh, but then I know the one I have is about 185 a cup for a large. So if you're going for those, it's about five cups of coffee. If you're buying a gift, what a perfect giftable that you're going to be using. Um, a little stocking filler. Because you know we won't have these when we get closer to Christmas and then you've got to think about delays and then you've got to think about it's Christmas post and stuff like that. And then you mean, what do I get them? Get them now. Start stocking up for your Christmas presents. I, nine times out of ten, buy all my Christmas presents in mm. January. In the sale. Well, I, I'm, my son's birthday is the week before Christmas, and I've always done that because everything ends up with a Christmas logo on if I try and buy him a this birthday present. Bit, do you think children could use these? De definitely. I mean, this one here, I've pushed near enough most of the colour away, so it looks more colour wash, whereas this one's got more intense. But you can still do the same with the black. Move your finger in different directions, like you would watercolour. Move, 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 move the colour in different directions. Don't go... Think like your finger has now become the brush. So now you suddenly change it again. And if you change the colour, so if you did blue, um, a dark blue, a light blue, and a sort of a, a, sort of a white baby blue, yep. you've got your seascape. You have. That is your sea, your sky, and, your, and the rest in between. Or go with your greys, your blues, and your whites, and things like that. You can. I mean, and the other thing you can do with a, a, <laughs> the me. oil pastels, you can go over with a different colour. So I'm... I'm like going to let you smudge. Sorry, let me smudge, yes. I'm going to let you smudge while I give, just give a quick recap because I'm conscious of the time. Uh, right, I know. I, I didn't know where everybody went either until they just told me. One day special, we are very busy for as well. Now, you are getting your colouring pencils, your 24 state of colouring pencils that are in there. You're getting your three propelling pencils with your rubbers in the end as well. And you're also getting your little French curves, bonjour, ça va, uh, that's also in there. Uh, 485901 is your item number. And there's loads of things uh, that you can do with your French curves that will show you as the hours went on. I know um, Lou used them at launch uh, last night and just moved them down and then sort of drawn a little bit, then moved it up so you can sort of finish the curve off because you haven't got to do a full continuous curve if you don't want to. Uh, 485901 is your item number brand new today for your one day special. Uh, but uh, dispatch from the 7th of July as well, but all good things are worth waiting for, ladies. Uh, so uh, from there, we move on to your water crayons. Uh, you're loving these this morning. Absolutely loving them. This is the colourways that you're going to get where you can push out with water. Remember, we've just scribbled them down and then we put gesso over the top to give you sort of that white, uh, white wash look that you've got in there. Over half the stock now has already gone here. These, these is the um, sort of style uh, that you're going for. How beautiful are those? Uh, beautiful use. And that's a stunning little background. Just go in with your patches of colour and then go over with your gesso as well. But then if you don't want the white sort of look that's there, so you've sort of got the aged look uh, that you've got. If you didn't want the aged look, you could go over with your water as well to do that wash. It's entirely up to you. Uh, half the stock has already gone here. £18.50 is what you're looking at. 188690 is your item number for these. Uh, now, your metallics that we're looking at, love the metallic pens because they, they look sort of different on the white and on the black. Uh, that you've got there, but you still get that vibrancy. So the white works wonders on the black, but you can sort of see a hint of it on the white card as well. It is there. You can go from super fine 
So you're tiny to the tiniest of dots, to the biggest of dots, to the biggest of lines, to the littlest of lines, and everywhere in between. Uh, love them. Love the colorways that you go here. You've got a beautiful brush nib on there as well. Uh, a quarter of the stock has already gone here. Not only do you get these, though, you also get, by the looks of it, a chiselled black pen. Now, when I say chiselled, I don't mean like he's buff. I mean as in a chisel. He might be buff, who knows? Uh, but you are getting your... A blank... You are getting that chiselled look that's in there. It's the look I'm going for. Uh, £11.95, ped, sort of just on the angle. Uh, but a uh, little chiselled look that you've got. Uh, two zeros, I like that pen, I bet it's a good writer as well. Uh, 206843 is your item number. So, oil pastels are up next. I will put that back in a minute. Uh, oil pastels are up next. Now, once again, we've seen what you can do with them by going with a variety of colours um, and just blending them. Blend with your finger. Now, these are all set. Now, this has all been set. So you don't mind touching it when it's like this. It's when you start work and then you go, oh, I smudged it. I've got to do it all again. No, you can set them. Uh, what would we use to set them with, Lou? What's that? Oil pastels. Oil pastels. Um, Hairspray? Hairspray, fixatives, gel mediums. All sorts. So there's all sorts uh, that you can do with them when you get them home. Uh, so from the oil pastels, very busy on these, and it's worth having a go in it. £10.75. pence. Come on now. ten seventy-five, Or pop it in. If you're going for something else with on a flexi, pop it in with a flexi. It'll split it into two. We, I don't think we've got anything on this show on Flexi, but uh, there'll be other shows throughout the day. We're here, we're here all day. Uh, but also, put it up... Yeah, look, let me spend another 30 quid for you. Another 50 quid for you. Put it on to 60 band, I'll split the cost into two straight away. Buy the entire counter. Go on, treat yourself, it's nearly Christmas. Um, I would go for these, because uh, I've never tried them before, but I like that technique that Alou's just used, but I definitely would go for a set of these. I know everyone likes uh, a set of fine liners. We all like to be neat. We all like to be tidy. All our schedules that we have here, we all underline our name in different colours. Uh, so we know who is who and where we... So at a glance, you can see what you're doing. Uh, but they each come individually as well. So they all come boxed in the one big box. Let me show you. Uh, they all come in the nice packaging box that you've got there. So you can keep them all together in this tiered system. But what you could also do then, you see, is you can lie them on your desk. So you could lie them down, so then you can see what colours you are, and then you can just go for the colour that you want. They'll work perfectly with your happy planners. They'll also work lovely uh, just as a doodle book. Or, because you, you can't really colour with them, but you can doodle with them. Uh, because you've got all the kind of there, your bullet journals that you've got, those little recipe books that you want to know, those little notelets that you're going to leave around the house. You've got all your colours there. Once again, kids go into school, college, university worth having for £34.96. 239282 is your item number on this one. And the last but no means least is your graphite uh, that we're looking at now. Now you've got everything from an 11B, uh, a 10B, a 9B, a 8B, a 7B, a 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, you've got 2B, B and HB. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You've got all the Bs. And you will be the bee's knees when you've got all these because you will have every single pencil that you need. These are the softer pencils uh, that we're looking at here. If I put that there, uh, basically, this is why I'm about to say this is my editorial. Uh, the degrees of hardness of the pencil is printed on the pencil as well, which is beautiful because then you know what you're picking up. Uh, B has uh, less clay filter. I won't go into all that. Uh, but, uh, but you can see what Alu's done for us. So you've gone from the darkest of dark all the way down to the hest of bees in there. £21.99, because then you can do stuff like this. I am going to... I will go back to Lou now. But look at that! At the start, I thought it was a sea lion. Then I saw the fins. Uh, £21.99. I like it. I can see a sea lion. Can you see a sea lion in that? I like it with the little whiskers. Alu did that. She knocked that up this morning. Very clever. While she was on the bus on the way in. Very good. Just sitting there, sketching. I think it was the person in front. Right then, Lou. Um, <laughs> which is quite mean, because our Catherine was sitting in front of her. Uh, what are you up to? Right, I thought what we could do is, like, you were talking about blending it out and stuff like that. So this is one of my sketchbooks. Um, That's nice. I always sketch my designs out, and then I'll make them bigger or smaller from there. So I can start, I'm going to grab, let's grab the orange now. So we can still, like you were saying about water colouring out. So we've got, and this is, I've gone for, um, and it, like you were saying, highlighter colours. 
but actually the highlighter colours are great um, for using if you've made something a little bit too dark. Okay. Because suddenly, once this is dry, I'll go over it. Suddenly what happens is with the highlighter colours, you can then add that little bit of pop. So where the ink is wet. Oh, that's how you've done it. I was just about to ask, how have you done that pink, blended that pink out with... So I've blended the pink out. Now we need to let it dry. Heat tool, yes. Cool. It was more had I plugged it in. Um, you know, rather than, did I have I've it? I've got one. Sort of thing. So, so this, would, this could be, and I know I laugh and joke about the bus, but this is something you could do on the bus with a final... You take a water yeah. brush with you. Yep. And then also, so now, where have I got the orange? Here. And then I can go back in now. So where I've got the pink, if I go back over with an orange, and if this is the day glow colour, where I've got a darker colour... So you, like you were saying, you, you don't have to colour with them, but you can. It now changes the pink and makes the pink look brighter. So you can like use the, the... Did you draw that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Please. No, you're amazing at what... Literally, I would sit here... I try and do stuff like this, and it just but, turns out like... So the orange now has lifted the pink and made Purple. it a totally different colour. So you, can, you, so you can use them along those lines, you know, and carrying on doing your doodles. So where I've got some of the finer detail here, I could... And I want to add colour. I can sit there just with the green... And you don't actually have to colour in full if you don't want to. Well, something, sometimes there's something quite nice about not colouring a full thing, just throwing the... Because your eye does all the work for you. Yeah. Your eye fills in the blanks. It does. So if I get the black now, I can go... Out, I'm just going to put where I want to put the black detail, so I've got the, that there. Look at that. And then... So lines and dots can be just as effective of actually um, colouring in full. I love this. So, you know, so you can do them in lots of different ways. And if you just like draw in it, because you've got all those colours just to draw, so it's, where you've drawn it in black and pencil first, you've got that black to do your outlines, but you yeah. could have gone over in a grey. I could have gone over to. in a grey. Um, once this is dry, if I took a yellow and just put a little um, around this edge here, put a little bit of yellow and pulled it out, it will then go on top of the green as well. So you can layer, you do need to let them dry in between. So you can do, you can do like your normal drawing. So I've got the black here, I've just started to doodle quickly. <laughs> you know, like a seahorse. So you can still do your black. He just doesn't look fat enough for me, but okay. You, but we'll just have to go with him quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looks a nice seahorse. So I'm just doing a few scales. Then we've got his tail. I won't draw him all out. So I don't take long to draw. So Remember you're getting another 59 colours on the top of this as well? So then I can go back in and I can, you know, just do a little bit of the pink. And I can colour... You don't have to go right to the edge if you don't want to. So the fine liners, you can do your colouring and you can add in. They're great for the, where you want to put that little bit of extra de detail on. I mean, they're also cool. So you see like that, using fine liners Evo. and then blending out and things like that. So you can actually do... Well, well hang on, you can't just scroll by that. <laughs> that was done with fine liners. That's done with fine liners and then just blended out. So, but you have to work very, very, very quickly. Oh, sort of thing. my word. So... This is my, my, my working book. So this here is a page that um, I did, and I started collaging it, didn't like it, and I've just gessoed over the top of it. Okay. But your fine liners now, I can go where I've got the heart design. I can go over the top of this. So in theory, this could be the same as if we had a stencil. If we can't draw as well as you, which I can't, <laughs> I draw like a child. Everybody can draw. No, no, I, I'm gonna, no we can't. Yeah, but art is subjective, isn't it? When you think about if we if we both went to an art museum, what yeah, might appeal true. to you might not appeal to me, and vice versa. It's the same with colour. I still can't draw, though. I still, <laughs> I still only draw, I still only draw sick men and <laughs> stick ladies. My, the, well, the way I draw it looks like toilet signs. Lowry. I suppose he painted cats and dogs and mice. But no, I'm just saying you're talking about stick men, but you're thinking. But so now I so I can use the fine liner. So this is going over. 
um, paper and and I'm not and I'm just outlining the hearts or oh, let's pick the not necessarily the colors I'll do, let's do another one I've got a circle but going back, Sorry, to, my, going back going. to my point you can you could go through a stencil as it were. You could use them on the French curves. If you're going for these and you're going for the French curves, yep. because you've got that fine line in, like the propelling pencil that we've got in there, you could go on with the French curves and you're going to get that beautiful design that really works. So if I, I'm just going to, I'm, you know, we just go, I'm trying to find a blank page. I, I doodle all the time. <laughs> nice. it's, it's like, you go, let's find a blank page. Nice. So if I take the French curves here, um, I'm going to start with a, the pencil. Because that's how I would start. And all I'm going to do is I just want to, roughly in my head, work out where my, my centre point is, where I want to work from. OK. So now if I put that there, let's do it like that. Crafting on the hoof. This wasn't planned. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> this, is you what, go... this is what I love about this. <laughs> <it. laughs> we, we make out that this is planned. This, is, this bit wasn't planned. This no. bit wasn't in the script earlier. <laughs> so I'm just going to go and get the pink. Now... I would, if I'm being honest, if I was doing this at home, I would probably draw out in pencil first, only so I can do the planning stage. Yeah, you'd never think you could do a heart with these French curves. But now you can. So now that. I've got a heart shape. But I've got all the different shapes inside, so if I wanted to do, you know, added a little bit more doodles, I can go in through there. But let's grab the green for the moment, and let's go for... Because I'm working in this book. Right. So I'm just going to do, put that in there, and I'm now going to start creating some, like, floral embellishments. So get the pink again, and let's do this one as a smallish petal, or biggish. Look at that. I've gone quiet now. And drawing curves is not... So now I've got a little bit of a, a petal shape, so let's just put some little bit of shading in the petal. Oh, so you can use them for shading as well. Because I can add all my extra lines in, and I know they're going to fit the curve that I originally drew. And one of the things uh, I, fine liners are quite liberating for is um, not always drawing an outline in black. Now, I know I bring mine a lot in black, but that's so you can see them. A little bit yeah, more so on, the on the telly. But now, you know, where you've got that there, you can start doing your, if you wanted to do your doodling, you can then do your doodling in a different colour all the way. So let's do that one pink. So the curves, so the fine liners can do it there. You don't have to put any pressure down on them. They're lovely for that. So we can carry on building. So you can use the curve. So let's make a leaf because I, why not? Now you started me. I'm now, now gonna. Yeah, you, know, now you just go. Now you started me. It's called mm, tough. Right. Okay. So let's do. I'm gonna do quite a nice big leaf here. You got about five minutes left. So if I suddenly, I can do a leaf design there. I can then, let's do one opposite so it doesn't look like it's, you know, sad and alone. Ah. This is what I was saying, I would plan out in pencil first because obviously I've crossed over, but... So you can use your curves to create lots of different things and that's how I did that, was using the curves. Look at that, that is literally like a stamp that you would stamp out. But all it, this bottom but bit you here... you it yourself. Yeah. Um, all this bottom bit, I mean, obviously I did it in pencil to start with, but that bottom bit here was the start of there. I then flipped it to work out where my top part was going to be. And then to do the different layers, I just moved it to, to the side. Oh. And if I wanted to create a third layer, I could move it to the side again. And as you saw me do the leaves, I did exactly the same by using the different um, elements of where we've got those bits there. So take a small portion of that little bit there, draw around becomes the leaf. So it's taking the small bits with the curves to create lots of different shapes that way. Um, 
It's worth having a go because you've got every colour that you need in there. You're going from all the greys. So if you would want to go in with your greys and you're doodling with your pencil, you think, well, actually, I quite like that sepia look. You've got all those sepia tones uh, that are running all the way through. Uh, from there, you've then got your pinks and your candy sort of colours. We sort of move into your woodland scenes that you've got. Then we've got all the greens that you need into your sort of buttercup meadows, uh, into your reds and your fires and your autumnal colours. Then we've got your blues for the skies and the seas, then you've got sort of your highlighter colours, as I like to call them, the greens, the yellows and the outs, sort of, of orange that you've got in there and the pink. Then we move into your purples and your mauves. Every colour that you will need, I'm scared they're going to fall out, every colour uh, that you will need, £34.96, 239282 is your item number uh, for your final items. Remember, you're getting 60 of them as well. And it, between friends, it's about 30 quid. £30 saving is what you get. £29.60 and pence is what we are looking at on this one. Uh, let me give you a quick recap on the one-day special because uh, we're coming to the end of the hour. And uh, it's getting busy, busy, busy. Uh, we are looking at a set of pencils. Now, these are your um, set of pencils that we're talking about. There are 24 pencils. Now, these are colouring pencils, OK? These are not watercolour pencils. These are your normal, if we take that word... <laughs> Your normal, because we do so many pencils, your normal colouring pencils. But these aren't the colouring pencils that you're going to go and find in Wilkinson's or your B&M's or your ranges. These are the colour pencils that you're going to go and find that you're going to use. These are your artist pencils, but at affordable prices is what we're looking at here as well. 485901 is your item number, saving of £12. Not only do you get your 24 colours, you've also got your propelling pencils in there with rubbers as well, and you also get your French curves. Uh, so many things you can do with them once you've got a decent set of pencils in your life, and they also come in tins as well. Uh, in the last minute, let's just look at what our Lou has done. <laughs> you know, you just got... Um, We've got a minute and a half. Look at that in pencil form. That, that's pencil. So I was just going to quickly grab a couple of the pencils that I was using um, and just grow, go over. And the pencils, like I said, blend really, really, really easily. So, sorry, I've got to go diagonally. I apologise. No, don't so apologise. So I'm going to just go with the, the purple. Now, there's lots of different techniques out there with pencils, but... You, it's the same with a lot of art products. If you feel you cannot lay any more colour down, nine times out of ten, that means you've already put loads of layers on, and it's, it, it's the medium's way of saying, that's it, you know. It took me a long way to work this out, but it's, it's, all, it's all about soft and gentle. Yeah. You, with pencils, going over, but you can... Cal so I'm just going to go over with the pink on the purple there. 40% then... of your one-day special has already gone. Uh, we've only got 40 seconds left. Liz. Right, OK. I'll, I'll colour quicker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go, I'll colour. So now I'm just putting a... Don't always think you need to use a white to create light. Think of the other colours that you've got in there um, that are complementary, that can go over the top, and you can then create... Oh, look at that. Look at the blend. And I'm not pressing down hard at all. So I will carry on, you know, carry on building and building and building. <laughs> there you go. And you can be building and building and building as well. If you've got any questions, join us at 12 o'clock. We will be back. I'll be back at 10 o'clock. Myself and Lou. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Hey, we got our demos for our money then, didn't we? Right to the wire we went then. Uh, happy plan out with our Janice and Leone are up next. Then Creative Grids. Then we're going Ranger, Mixed Media. Ooh, uh. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Here at the Craft Store, we pride ourselves on our ethos towards the family-run, 
boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate. Following such a positive response over the past few years, we are proud to introduce you to even more of your family favorites. Tune in from Thursday the 24th of June at 6 p.m. to Monday the 28th of June at 6 p.m. to support loads of your favorite family-run businesses. Plus, this year, we also have a very exciting prize draw. If you place an order for any item featured within any live show during this event, you will automatically be entered into our amazing Family Favorites Mega Prize Draw. Prizes will be added within each live show with the final prize totaling a minimum value of £1,500. So join us from 6pm on the 24th of June for your Family Favorites event. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Morning. Do you know something? We're not going to let Leone loose today, but that's to let you know we do have wonderful shows with our Leone, and normally they are called Let Leone Loose. But not everything goes to plan. Do you know why? Because if you've not got a planner and you're not writing in it, you don't know what's going on. So it's really important to start organising your life. And it's absolutely fantastic to have your company. I've also got Leone, said Leone, right here with us. And we've got a Huge show lined up. In fact, we've got two hours with the Happy Planner Show company today. Um, so I would recommend you head to the website and have a look at what we've got available because I've got a feeling we're going to have a very, very busy show. Let's bring our Leone in and I shall go that away and Leone will come this away. And we'd actually plan this, haven't um, we? Yeah, what we're doing today because yesterday was our which TikTok Ooh, we're doing today. What should we, should we do, do that? today? <laughs> Let's do the dip, dip, dip. So I'll do that and you do that. Okay, ready? Okay. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you. Anyway, sorry. It's our little thing. I do apologise. Okay, we are talking the Happy Planner. Why do I love this brand? I love this brand because they know what they're doing. Um, they used to be, uh, or, or they, they still are, me and my big ideas. Uh, me and my big ideas was um, a brand that's been around absolutely ages, to be honest, doing gorgeous, gorgeous stickers. I, many, many, many moons ago, I used to... Um, sell the the wonderful my me and my big ideas but now they've brought out these wonderful planners now the planners in their own right are such good quality and i will talk you through the planners in a few more minutes uh, but obviously with these you have got a planner for all different types of occasions so we're talking about um in this instance we're talking about teachers actually um beginning at school year but you might be using your planner for your work life you might be using it for your social life if you've got a social life you might be using it for your social media life there are a lot of people who do that they they actually plan when they're putting their insta posts in when they're putting the tiktok posts in especially if you run your own business it might be a planner for all your different appointments it might just be your craft planner you know what you're going to learn your different notes of what you've actually done so there's tons and tons of reasons and ways you'll use your planner we have got a huge huge quality and uh, quality a quantity of um variations so have a look on the website we've got some really good deals as well uh, they are once they're gone they're gone um, the other big deal is we um, we've got them in stock so they're not coming over from the state so you're not having to pay the extra postage you're not having to wait you're also not having to pay any taxes they're coming from the UK from our warehouse so it's just your normal postage and packaging unless of course you are a freedom member freedom members you're not paying any postage and the website is full of deals 
please make sure you check your baskets out because honestly there's some gorgeous gorgeous planners but it is a once they're gone they're gone so i definitely look because we have got some serious deals and we've got even more than that uh, we're showing you now because our website we have got a, um, a happy planner shop on the website so do have a look at that and you can see the wonderful reviews as well Right, okay. So what have we got for this hour? Brand new, the first collection that we've got, and this is already busy. In fact, 20% has gone. I'm not surprised. Look at your freedom price, guys. Only 26.98. Is that real? Is that a proper that's a proper thing. Okay, join Freedom and save that money and you don't pay postage. So what you've got first of all in this one is your planner for your teacher and this is such a good idea. Do you know a teacher um, in your life? Are you a teacher? Um, it, the thing is with this one, um, obviously it's been started. It's a 12 month one. It's starting in August so it's aiming for your school year and I think it's such a good idea because it's actually been designed to be really functional for teachers of course so going through the planner straight away you've got a different layout actually so you've got your, your kind of dashboard but it does look different from your your regular planners you come into the actual planner let me open it up you have still got your um, your year at a glance so you can actually plan your full year um, which you've got there you've then got a more space for notes and things and I suppose if you are, obviously, if you're in education, you're starting to plan your year way in advance, aren't you? So I love that. I love that you've got the space there. You've got your month at a glance, which is my favourite bit. And then the layout. Now, this is um, very different because you can see with the, the teacher's layout, you've got it in, and I really like this. So they've sectioned it. So you've got those blocks. So it's perfect. Maybe this is going to be your appointments. Maybe it's going to be your the classes that you've got that day. So it's a really, really functional layout. And I like it because it's quite monochrome. You know, there's not loads of colour in it, so it allows you to add colour where you need to. And I think this is brilliant because it does, if you are, um, you know, if you're colour coordinating things, it'll really pop on the page. And obviously, loads of space. So loads of space for your, you know, your notes and whatever you need to put in there. It's a really well-designed planner. And I really like the um, the patterns and the, the colour pa uh, palette on this one. I think it looks seriously cool. So that's your 12 month planner with that really, really cool layout. Now, the, the best thing, the reason I love this brand, it's absolutely the quality and they think of everything. The disc system means you can completely personalize this and it's easy. Like within seconds, if you've never used a happy planner, all you need to do to take your page out is just, it pops out like that. And you can see, and then obviously you can just pop the page back in again wherever you want. But that means throughout the Happy Planner systems, you can mix and match. So you make your planner uh, use it or... Uh, no work you make your planner work for you so that's the actual planner and then the page inserts these are cracking i reckon these aren't just the the good for teachers obviously these aren't just some that teachers will use i really like the way this been uh, this has been split up because that it does look like a really cool spreadsheet doesn't it so obviously for me it could be you know water that i've drunk so you're putting your lists on there i think it'll work really well as a tracker you know it's just one of those that you can I think it's really really um, helpful to be fair it has got your checklist there so your classroom checklist but yeah really like it and I love the colors as well um, now that's your and um, how many pages are in that one I can't quite remember it might be oh it doesn't say on there um, I'm gonna go for it but I might be wrong 40 oh we're right that was the best guess ever. And then, now your stickers. Now, we're using these stickers last night. And I haven't, obviously, I, I wasn't um, using it for teachers. Uh, but the really beautiful stickers. So what you've got, again, I love the colour palette. So you've got, as usual, you've got really nice sentiments. That's something that... Um, that we find a lot in the the beautiful stickers the mamby stickers so you've got some lovely and i really like the apples 
I think that, and the colours, I think it's quite modern, isn't it? You know, it's got a really, really nice feel to this one. And you've got some good sentiments as well. Hello today, think happy, you got this. Uh, today was amazing. Teachers have class. You are one of a kind. Yeah, they said that to me at school. Um, you've got the, and now these are beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And again, loads of good sentiments. And you have got some fantastic little prompting stickers as well. So you've got your important. Um, I like these ones, your little appointments. You've got study. So I think these ones, brilliant, obviously, for teachers. But these are good for students as well. They're good for anybody. Truth be known. Um, can we get our stickers separately? Or is it just in the bundle? You can. Okay. If you do want your stickers separately, you've got that choice. And I like that because you have got choices. You don't have to go for your bundle. Um, so if you do fancy those stickers, I really like those. I were using these last night and they're lovely. Uh, it's $16.99 on their own. But in the bundle for just it's just a ten or more good grief freedom members for just a ten or more you're getting a full planner and then your extra pages that's an absolute bargain isn't it okay be a freedom member save that seven pounds save your postage get that beautiful planner bundle um a quarter of the stock has gone eight seven one one six one your item number Next, we've got for you, and this is pretty. Um, these stickers are gorgeous. I was using these last night um, on my little planner page. And it's a mini little sticker pad is this one. So it's not your big sticker pad that you normally get, but it's really, really pretty. And you've got, you've got 62. So, I mean, it's a mini one, but there's, it's mini but mighty. But you've still got 62 stickers in there. And the florals are just beautiful. Really, really pretty flowers in this one. And I did, I did a page last night and it was quite minimal, but I really like that. Sometimes it's nice just to do a, a simple page. So, you've got your stickers in here. You've then got um, your planner. Now, this is a, such a gorgeous planner. An 18-month planner. I love your 18-month planners because it, it allows you, obviously, it's your one-time purchase. It lasts ages, but you can get loads in it. You know, for me, mine's my everyday planner, quite frankly. But then I do have a different planner for handwriting, have a different planner for crafting. Anyway, um, look at that. I mean, your cover straight away is beautiful. You know, I love this front page. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really pretty planner, is this one. And it's a, it's beautiful. Like that layout is beautiful. You know, a really co pretty color palette on this one. It's very fresh. Um, you've got your year at a glance, of course, year in more detail. Then we're coming on to our uh, beautiful dashboard with that really decorative front page there, which is sensational. Month at a glance, and then your layout. Now, it is your vertical layout. I do love a vertical layout because there's tons of room on this. So it's great for all your stickers. Um, but obviously, if you've got tons to put in there, it's absolutely beautiful. Isn't it a pretty, pretty planner? And do remember with these, because it is um, the system allows you to swap and change. So you don't need to keep all your, your months in one planner. I do actually, I separate mine so I don't cart around the full planner. And I've separated it and put notes in mine as well. So it allows you to, to do what you want with it. It's beautiful, is that one really really pretty planner so if you haven't got yours yet now it does start in July so it is starting next month but it I mean this is a lovely thing you're not having to wait for it to come from America it is coming from us here in Andal um, and the lovely thing with that because it's an 18 month one it means that you know you've got it for ages well, you've got it for 18 months. Um, you've also got with this one, your beautiful extension pack. Now, I really like these because uh, there's always so much you can do with these. This one is cracking. So, the cracking of the extension packs. So, you've got your chores, you've got meal plans, you've got your budget, and then you've got your projects. I love things like this. Again, anybody who's into Happy Planner is probably a bit of a stationary addict as well. Um, and this, this ticks the boxes for stationary um, addicts. And 
I don't know about you, but don't you just love all these like little lists and, you know, these little sort of columns that you have to sort of tick and fill in. It just, my brain loves things like this. I mean, I am the most unorganized person, but I love things like this. It's just, I think it's because if I've got my, my daily chores, my weekly chores, if I've got it like this, I've got more chance of actually getting it done. And that's the whole, um, you know, the, the whole premise behind this. If you're planning it, if you're actually writing it down, you've got more chance of doing it because you've got a plan, you know? And that's the, the whole sort of theory behind this. So you've got your meal plans as well. I really like that. It's nice to have a meal plan. It's really good if you're budgeting as well. Um, talking of budgeting, of course, you've got your budgeting section in here as well. I do have a planner just for uh, budgeting, which I find really handy. But it's so nice to have a budgeting section within your main planner. Um, because obviously then you can keep it on a day-to-day -day basis. You've then got the last one is projects. So this could be anything. You know, it might be something you're doing in the garden. It might be something you need to do DIY in the house, or it might be one of your beautiful crafty projects. It might be projects you're doing with kids or the grandkids. Re I love the extension pack. Um, again, it's one of those that it's a classic, so it'll fit in any of your classic planners. It'll even fit in the large planner as well, because obviously it's smaller than the large one. Um, do we get, again, can we get these separate as well? We can. So you have a look on the website. If you do just want separates, you've got options. So please don't think you need to get the whole thing. Um, if you do want the whole thing, however, at just 4197, you've got an £8 save in there. That's 513 four, seven, eight. Uh, the only thing you can't get separate is the stickers because uh, they've already gone. Oh, and they are very, very lovely. Um, seven, eight pounds, two payments, 20 pounds and 99 pounds your price. Um, already busy for that as well. I'm not surprised because it's really pretty. Five, one, three, four, seven, eight. And as ever, we'd love to see your layouts because this is the thing with the planners. <clears throat> It's a big, like the, not just the planning, but the layouts is a massive deal. So we love to see inspiration from you. And I like to see people's different take on it. You know, some people love a full page. Some people like it quite minimalistic. So yeah, show us pictures, email those in at studio at the craft store dot com. Next. Um, okay, now look at these beauties. So these stickers are a bit different because these stickers are like a card sticker. So these are proper dimensional. And you have got your beautiful glitter on here as well. I mean, these do not have to be used in your planner if you don't want to. These can be card making. These can actually be used in your scrapbooking. And this is it. Me and my big ideas, when they produce stickers, they, they, this is what they used to do. Um, the stickers. They used to produce beautiful stickers, but then they realised that actually what we really needed was was planning. You know, planning our holidays, planning to get away, planning our trips, and that's uh, the thing, isn't it? We wanted something to to actually put these in, and that's why they brought the planners to us. Uh, but the stickers are gorgeous, and I really think it, this is the perfect time because let's face it, you know, we've been stuck indoors a lot, and. Let's, we're all going on little trips around the UK because the UK is beautiful um, and it does mean you can start planning. Now, if you don't want to plan it, we've got the notebooks. The notebooks are seriously popular and I love this. Live life in colour. The notebooks are gorgeous because it allows you to do anything. And some people use these, a lot of people use these alongside the planner. Um, now, this one is um, this one's a, a plain notebook. So you can see there, oh no it isn't, it's a lined one. Sorry, I'm lying to you. It's a lined one, I couldn't see the lines. We have got a plain one, but that's uh, later on. So you've got your little lines. Now what I love about these, they're very faint. Um, so it means you can obviously write over the top, you can create charts with these. So it might be you're using this for your, you're planning your, your little trip away. Um, you're planning what to pack, you're planning your tacos. <laughs> so it could be your food that you're planning you know it could be anything um you've got your tabs so you can create whatever you want uh with those and i do like that you've got your dividers as well it's just a really good notebook and you've got a really nice colorful um bind the the rings are really pretty as well 
if you did want extra rings, please check the website. But you can, I mean, we say you can personalise everything. You can even personalise um, the, the rings on the end there. So a lot of people do that. They'll buy different colours and things so they can swap and change them. And, and you can extend them. So maybe you're using your punch and you're putting in, I don't know, maybe it's going to be... Um, things for the holiday so you know it's going to be i don't know like your you know your brochures and things like that maybe you're going to be punching them and putting them in your notebook so you need your bigger discs uh, we have got those on the website they're extended discs so it allows you to make them even bulkier um if you do want that collection 13 pounds and 98 pence 40 percent of the stock has gone it is seriously busy please check your baskets out. 888-331 is your item number. Now, last but not least for the new todays for this hour, we have got more new todays, but we're going to be showing them in the next hour, so you can get on the website if you want a cheeky peek. So, you've got a notebook again, first of all. Now, your happy notes. So, you've got the beautiful rainbow discs there, which are dead pretty. Um, this is a really nice, um, it's your, your tall, skinny size, is this one. Um, and this one is your plain one isn't it? No, it's your dot one. I tell you, my eyesight's ridiculous. Uh, so this one is your dot. I'll get to the plain one eventually. I mean, it's going to be later on this afternoon, but I will get there. Uh, so this is your dot one. Now, these are brilliant for your bullet journaling. Bullet journaling is, again, massive. It's absolutely massive. People use different layouts. So people use bullet journaling for exercising, for the books they've read, for um, maybe keeping notes on, I don't know, the dog training. You know, it could be anything you're doing your bullet journaling journaling for and literally anything you've got your lovely little notepad there great for your handbag is that as well and then your extra notes so these they have already been punched so they'll fit perfectly into your uh, tall and skinny but the size of that means you can put it into your classic and I love that. Again, it, this is what makes this system so cool. And I like that we don't have to use the, you know, the things, those ones, because they go through me. Um, so I like that it's dead easy. Now, on this one, again, this sings to my heart. Love stuff like this. Let's get it done. So you have got with you get it done. Your first one has got your details. Um, you've got get it done. So who, what, where, when. You've got your itinerary. You've got your notes at the bottom there. On the other side, when we flip it over, um, you've got travel essentials, health and beauty, clothing, shoes, um, tech, entertainment, miscellaneous, carry-on items and accessories. So this, obviously, it could be your holidays. It could be weekends away. It could be working. Maybe you're doing workshops. Maybe you're a teacher you know and you need to get this filled in just before you actually go back into school there's loads and loads of reasons you're going to be using yours and those ones that's a big old pack that i reckon there's more than i bet there's 60 at least in there there's 60 gosh i'm getting good at this <laughs> Sorry, I don't like to boast, but I'm getting good at that. Um, I mean, that I, my skill set doesn't run too much, but being able to guess papers and my happy planners, boom, nailed it. Um, <laughs> and actually, I'm well chuffed about that. So, yeah, <laughs> things to be happy for. I can guess paper. <laughs> um, £13.98, pence, that's your price, cracking price for those, uh, 764302. Now, check out the website. Obviously, you can see everything that we've got on the website. Uh, please do shop by brand as well. The, um, the shop, the Happy Planner shop, is absolutely bursting with wonderful stuff. And the thing is with Happy Planner... Um, it's, we, we have got it here in stock. You're not waiting for it to come over from the States. You know you're going to get it delivered because we've got it in our warehouse. We've got it in our warehouse. So you know you're going to get it delivered. So there's no issues there. Um, oh, that rainbow bundle, that is now limited stock. If you do want that, you do need to check your baskets out. It is limited stock. Yeah, and it's well pretty, is that one. Um, now, if there is anything you want, please check your baskets out. So, our Ross, shall we go through some of the deals first? Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to go through some of the deals because um, these are when it's gone, it's gone. So if you do want these, you need to be... Well, it's all when it's gone, it's gone, if the truth be known with Happy Planner. Uh, but we have got deals with this one. So the first one is define your passion, nurture your creativity and take hold of your dreams. I love this one. So it's a 12-month planner. Um, 
and it's really, really pretty. Now, I've just... Oh, now, these ones do need opening up. So what you've got with this one, absolutely beautiful. This is a really nice mini planner. Mini planners are brilliant because, obviously, these are the perfect size for your um, handbag. Now, this one has got a £5 saving on it. It's a vertical layout, which means you've got loads and loads of space. It's a beautiful little planner, is this one. Um, not only have you got your 12-month planner, but you have got your, your wonderful stickers as well. And these are lovely, your happy planner stickers. Because have a look at these. Again, you get so much. I mean, in this one, 1,360 stickers. It is amazing, the amount you get. And I love the blocks. The coloured blocks are fabulous. There's tons you can do with this. Oh, I really like these. Oh, I have got these. They're absolutely beautiful. And I do love these. They've got the beautiful foiling on them. But I love that, the clear sticker. They look fantastic on your pages. Really like this set. Now, £36.98. Remember, once it's gone, it's gone. We don't have a big stock of this. So you do, if there is anything you want, you're going to need to check it out. 599053, that's that one. I'm just going to go for planners for now. So the next one is Let It Go and Grow. This is beautiful. Now, this is an 18-month planner here. When you get your planner, there will be the, the glue, but that comes off. I mean, they have done this really well even down to the glue, which is amazing. Now, um, all these little tabs, they do need cutting off, um, which is um, get you into your planner. So what you've got, you've got your beautiful florals. Now, this is a gorgeous planner, really, really pretty. So you've got that wonderful, I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Um, I want daisies in my hair, peace in my heart and love in my soul beautiful um, and then your month at a glance as ever and look at all that space um, so it's a lovely vertical planner is this one very very beautiful is this I love the color palette I love the florals I mean look at the um, the foiling on that it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous planner is this one. Um, and again, it's a, a nice big planner, loads and loads of room, vertical planner. So it does mean you've got loads of space, but it is an 18 month one. And it does start in July. So you have got time to get hold of that and get planning. Um, you're making a six pound saving on that. Just 26 pounds and 99 pence. If you would like to get hold of that one, four, five, seven, nine, two, six. Again, that has been busy. So if you do want that, please check your baskets out next um today now this is a 12 month planner this is your skinny horizontal great for your handbag great for your kind of notes and things so maybe you've got because i've got i've got my day-to-day -day planner my day-to-day -day planner is absolutely bursting at the seams i mean look at it so that that i do actually carry it around but it ain't going to fit in my handbag whereas so you might want to keep that at home and have this in your handbag so this might be your day-to-day -day one that you're actually going to lug around with you which is always really really handy and um, the layout on this one <clears throat> see and that one is brilliant because it's great for your appointments it's great for your little notes it's great for just keeping track of the the day-to-day -day things so it's one that's more of a yeah of a, a handbag one one that's more for for those little notes and little um little sort of things that you need to remember on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, it's absolutely beautiful, really pretty. Now, only £22.99, you are making a £5 save in there. That is uh, 542417, your item number. Swap. Next. Um, so our next one that we've got, your 12-month planner. I love the, um, I am terrible. I love them all, but I love that. I just think this is like the I tell you why I really love this because I did my um my thing the other day. What did I do with the ink? Oh, tie dye. I did thank you, Ross. I did tie dye. That really reminds me of tie dye. It's actually that is an indigo tie dye, is that? Or an indigo printing at any rate. And I love the pattern. And it actually looks like the proper indigo um tie dyeing. It's beautiful, is that one? So you've got your hopes, dreams, wishes and plans. Um when you go through it, yeah, I really like this. It's look at those covers. I just think they're beautiful. And then the actual layout on this one is again your horizontal. These ones are 
perfect for your bag. You've got a lot of room though, so if you're into your stickers, you've got tons and tons of room for that, but I just love the color palette of this one. I love the print. I just think it's absolutely sensational. Again, it's really well designed. Uh, with your Happy Planner, you've got your tabs, they're all labeled up, but you can see them on the left and the right because they are reversible. Uh, gorgeous little planner, that one. If you would like to get hold of that one, it is your Indigo 058 um, 053 is your item number 1799 your price next and um, we have got for you your and this one is beautiful your 12 month planner now this is your budget one and these are in my case in my head i feel you need a budget planner in your life i think it's such a good idea and what i love about the budget planner Look, it isn't, if I just, oh, this one has got, um, sorry, this has got um, dates on it. Some of them have, some of them haven't. This one has. Now, I love the budget planner because, look, it's still your planner. So you've still got your year there in advance and your year more detailed. And then you come into the money side of it. So you've got your budget review. You've got your unexpected spends. It's still got your month in advance. So you can still use it as a regular planner. So it doesn't have have to be just budget but then and I'll really like this because then it's got what you're expecting to pay when you're expecting to pay it so it really allows you to keep track of your expenses and I just think that is essential this one you will definitely use alongside your regular planner but look I mean it's really pretty as well so it's a great way of saving I mean that is a really good gift idea it's a 12 month one so obviously plenty of um, plenty of time to get hold of that one. Uh, yeah, really like that one. Uh, 439606 is your item number. Next. Um, so, this one. Now, this is a pretty one. This is your notebook. This is your happy notes, is this one. Um, and your happy notes, are, again, absolutely beautiful. Love your notebooks because there's so many things you can do. They're just really handy. The happy notes, what they've done with the happy notes are a bit different because they've actually given you um, some printed. So in each section, you've got printed, but you've also got your plain papers as well. So these are really good prompts. So it shows you how to do different layouts. It gives you ideas. It it gives you inspiration. It shows you how to do different boxes and graphs and things like that. I mean, you don't have to, but I really like that prompt. And then, of course, you've got loads of space. So every section, it will have your prompts and it will have the plain papers as well. So that one is it's completely undated is this one it is just your notebook is that one. And you've got 80 sheets in there. With that, you also not get your stickers um so if you do want that now it's only 11 pounds and 99 pence your price so if you do want to get hold of that one absolutely gorgeous it's 616403 next we have got and i'm just wanting to show you planners really and this is your 18 month planner mm, look at that cover straight away gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i like this one it it's really i love the um the black and white anyway i think it looks amazing but then when you add a cheeky bit of gold in there boom isn't that beautiful we are never finished becoming who we truly are absolutely um and what you've got with this one again beautiful dashboard layout um lovely month in advance and then you have got your full vertical layout see that's cool oh lovely katie would absolutely color that in wouldn't she she would definitely be coloring that in i'm just going to give you a sneak peek of katie's Hold on a minute, keep her quiet for a good hour with that. Look, this is all lovely, Katie, because look, this is what Katie does. I know, right? Katie's doodled all of that herself. Uh, yeah, Katie, look, 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 I love Katie's planner because she just goes for it. See? She always does the colouring in. It's a, and as soon as you look at something like that, you think of Katie. Be like, oh, she'd love that. Um, so... Again, with this one, beautiful, really nice planner. It's a vertical layout. Oh, zebras. Um, so, this is that one. I love it. 18 months as well. So, it's a really nice, big planner is that one. 621163, your item number. Next, we have got for you now. 
This is a big one. So the ones I've been showing you are a mixture of classic. I've shown you a tall, skinny one, and I've shown you a mini. This is when we go large. Um, these are A's. I have also got a very big planner at home. Of course I have, because they're beautiful. I love my big planner for stamping in. I love it as a craft one, just to show product. I mean, it's, it is beautiful. This one is one that you can really get carried away in. You've got your years um, and then years in more detail and then your lovely dashboard so tons of space you've got a really really beautiful uh, color palette and artwork in this one and as ever you've got some really good inspirational quotes you have your month in advance tons of space and then now with this one this is a lovely horizontal layout but it's actually a dashboard layout they call this one and i'll just show you in the front of your planners now it'll tell you a little bit about the layout and the dashboard layout i really like the dashboard layout because you've got some for people who love lists brilliant for lists i like that i like lists so you've got your list you've got loads of space bills to pay emails but obviously these become yours you've got stickers if you don't want bills to pay if you've no bills to pay this month or you don't care put a sticker on it and then this is whatever you want it to be you've got your focus but then of course you've got your full week and i like the way it's been split up because it's great for your appointments it's great for keeping notes of what you're meant to be doing um where and when it's an and you've got plenty of space because it is a big planner you have plenty of space it's beautiful is this one really beautiful that lovely um artwork is just gorgeous yeah it looks like a an oil painting doesn't it really nice and again it's really um i find this one quite summery quite uplifting and that that looks so textured as well now if you do want this one, I do like the bigger planners. The bigger planners are lovely to work in. If you're into your stickers as well, you've got tons of space for your stickers. Really, really pretty is that one. If you do want to get hold of that one, uh, 747. 434 is your item number. And then last but by no means least, that I'm going to show you in this section. We have got more on the website, so check it out. And this is one of your happy journals. Oh, that Look at that cover. That is such a magical cover because this has got like, um, it's like a beautiful gold foiling on it. These are gorgeous. Your happy journals are just gorgeous. The most important project you'll ever work on is you. Absolutely. Funny how it is the most important, yet we forget and put, put ourselves to the bottom of the list. Silly, isn't it? What are we? We're silly. Now, this. I love these. I do believe our Katie's got one of these. Um, and honestly, I like it because it. If you if you want to journal at night, because journal I find journaling it is um, it is a form of meditation really. You know, like writing your gratitude list, things like that. Because you are, it is sort of a release, but also especially the gratitude list. It's getting the the nice things rather than obsessing on you know what you've done wrong. It's actually obsessing on all the really good things, which is it's help, well we're feeding our brain good things. This is lovely because if you don't know where to start this is such a good prompt because a lot of times you can look at one of those empty pages i mean i do it myself i'll look at that and go this is my brain all right and my brain is not empty it's overworking but but i don't know where to start this is so good because it shows you where to start so monthly habit tracker now i looked at that and thought what does that mean well it's like okay how much water have you drunk you know how many steps have you walked things like that uh, monthly goals, three things that can help you achieve your goals, three things that inspire you. So it's really looking at yourself. Um, this one, write down positive things that will come from accomplishing your goals. And I really like that because it's setting those goals, but then saying, OK, this is your goal, but why should you do it? What are you going to get out of it? And I think that's a really, really good idea to to help you strive to do it. And these don't have to be big goals. You know, we're not talking Everest. We're just talking maybe drinking more water, you know, just tiny little goals that we can actually achieve. Um, write down your positive quotes to follow this week. I love that because I love the quotes. Important due dates, um, lists of things to help you achieve your goals, inspire you, and your milestones from last week. So it's got loads of good prompts. I mean, loads of good prompts. 
This is a beautiful, beautiful notebook. I really like this. I love that you've got some plain papers as well in it. It's cracking, is that? I really like these. I think they're, they're lovely. And these absolutely run alongside your planners. You know, this is definitely not really a planner. This is more of a, a book for you. Love that one. Absolutely love it. 80 pages in there. Only 11 99 as well. So really good price. 48014. We've got a picture from our fee. Now, fee. She has got a planner. I love it. Because she's looking now. She's written it all down and now looking in horror at what she has to do. Fee, I am with you, my girl. Oh my gosh. I love that. So that's a, that's a looking in horror. Have we got another? Hooray! Now it's all pretty and gorgeous and she's smiling. Oh, Fee, I love that. Thank you, lovely. Now, Fee has got one of the big planners. So you know one of the, the, the go large? That's what Fee's got. And actually, we were cheeky, really, because I, I said to her, take all this. And then when, because her and Scott, they don't do things on the phone. They like the paper and pad. So they get together and they get the, the planner out of a night and then go, right, what are you doing? Because obviously they're both doing different things here and there. So they have to schedule their life together with kids and stuff. So they get together and it's, and I said, so she were going to go with a nice brand new planner and be like, ba, ba, ba. I'm making really jealous. Um, the look of horror. The look of horror. This is mine. And I've shown this every month, because every time we do a planner show, because my look of horror is when I look at these pages. Well, yeah, don't, no, this is all right. You can, yeah, this is, but this is my, and the green is work. <laughs> and that's my look of horror, because I look at it and go, what have I done to my life? The black's not work and the green's work. And I look at it and nearly cry. Every month, every month. Like, let's have a look at July. Oh, it's a mess. Actually, look, I've put holidays in green. Stupid. This is when your colour coordination goes wrong, when you put the wrong colour in. Because then I look at it and there isn't horror. It's holes, not horror. Anyway, second job. Uh, who, got, who got an email a message saying you can book your second job early and then you go to do it and they go, oh, yeah, you know, we've no appointments. Uh, anyway, only a little whinge. Um, so, <laughs> subtle whinge, Leonie, well done. Uh, so, um, that's my little planner. Let's have a look. I think this might lovely Emily. Now, Emily's is brand new. So, Emily, obviously, she got part of the Indigo one. So, this is in the Indigo um, range. Let's have a lovely see what our Emily's done. Because it is brand new. So, oh, look, she's just started. Um, we, um, we are M's, so she's using it. And see, so this is it. You become quite, it's what you need it to be. So you might not need it to be all bells and whistles. You might not need it to be like loads of stickers. It might just be really, really, and this is a good idea, a bin day, because I forget literally every week which bin I need to put out. That's such a good idea. That's one of the stickers in one of the books. This is why the stickers are so good. So she's done a hem party. I hope that's not a secret. Uh, so she's done, she's done the full, yeah, the full month already. But just a nice basic month, which I absolutely love. So that one were mine. That one were our, um, Emily's. I am going to show you a little bit more of Katie's because Katie's loves her planner. I mean, Katie is proper addicted to her planner, isn't she? Ross, her other half, is in my head. She loves her planner. She loves using her gorgeous uh, pens in it. She just, I mean, I love looking at Katie's planner because I crashed my car into a ditch today. She did. Um, Qualify for regionals because she does her horse riding. I do love it because, yeah, we get really nosy, don't we? Sorry, girls. Um, but, Roger, dentist, oh, you will find, and this is what I love about Katie's as well. <laughs> In Katie's planner, we see loads about Roger, and it's so funny because Roger's a horse. You see everything about Roger, but you see nothing about her boyfriend who's in my head, or Ross who's in my head, nothing about Ross. But all about Roger. <laughs> but he is a beautiful horse. Uh, but this is it. You use your planner however you want. OK, let's get... Um, what time have I got? Quarter to. I'll just do a really quick layout. And I did start a layout. 
but I think, oh, I started it on this one. So this is um, obviously one of the planners we've got on today. You are beautiful. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous planner. Absolutely exquisite. And this is super busy. So if you do want this one, please, please check your baskets out. So last night I thought, well, I'll just do a little layer in this one. Now, this is what I love about planners. Your layout can be whatever you want it to be. Now, I really like that. I love the flow of it from one page to the other. I like, I've used one of the um, stickers from the teachers um, on that side. So it just ties in my colour palette. And I love that sort of pink with the gold. And then you say, doesn't that look pretty? This is what I love about planners. I love the fact that this is such a clean craft, but it's so, when you look at that, it just looks really gorgeous and satisfying. Now, I've still got plenty of space to write in, so I've plenty of space to actually use my planner, but that just looks gorgeous. So this is before the pen, it's called. That's your terminology. Um, so how I did that, I took my teacher's one. So this is in the, the teacher's... Um, the the teacher's um palette no that's the wrong word sorry my brain's really bad this week um it's really really slow yeah the teacher collection but you can get these stickers individually can't we um and they are at the bottom of the screen there now i have got so i took my goals i'm not going to use my goals this time but i took my goals i'm actually going to use one of my long stickers on this one because I really quite like those. So you've got those really nice long sentiment stickers. Let me just find them again. There, there we go. Hello today. And I really like this. Now, a top tip, and I do this on a lot of my stickers, what I'll do is take off the... So surrounding your stickers, you've obviously got the, the waist. Okay, now I like to peel that off. Pop that to one side. So if I take one of my stickers off and then change my mind, it's dead easy to put back. It's easier to put back than trying to fit it into that little gap. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go think happy on this one because I just like that one. So taking my sticker and I'm just going to pop it on my, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to pop it on my page. I'm going to hope, if I'm gentle, this is why... This is why those wonderful guides are really good. You can get the guides. I don't know if we've got them in the classic size. Um, they might be on the website, but I don't know if they're the classic size. And that's why they are very good, so you don't do things like that. If you're dead careful, you can peel them back off again, but you need to be super careful. So don't do what I've just done. So holding it now and just... What I'm trying to do is just line up the dots. Okay, I've done it. That's better. We got it. Whew, and breathe. There, beautiful. That's how not to do it and how to rescue it. <laughs> I like to show how to rescue. Um, so that's my think happy. Now, I like the pencils and pens. Let's face it, it's not just teachers that are going to be using these, you know. There's, it might be for a meeting. It might be for a craft class that you're doing. It might be for a Zoom class that you're doing. You know, I do think they're quite handy. It might just be for someone you do need to write to, for an email you have to send. I do like these. And what I love about these, look, you can actually write in them. So I think they give you a really nice opening space to write your little notes in there. And these are beautiful. So you've got Radiate Love, um, Love Life, so, ve so very busy, so very busy. And I do like these as well. These ones are more for teachers because you've got a test, grades, field trip, write. Um, so, you know, good prompts. And then never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Absolutely. It's a good one, is that? Right, OK. So what am I going to do with this one? I do love these stickers. I think these are gorgeous. Find what makes you your heart shine. So I'm going to take a couple of these first of all so this one I'm going to try and mix it up from the page I did um, on the the week before so it's not the same happiness is found within so a couple of really good prompt pages now a lot of people do actually decorate the pages um, before they actually need to use it so a lot of people aim to take a day of a week 
and just decorate the, the next week's page. That's what a lot of people do because then you've taken a day just to chill out, to decorate, to start planning that page and to start planning that week and doing it before the pen. This is called before the pen because obviously it's before we start writing in it. Right, my beautiful little leaves and flowers. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. So I'm going to take the leaf first. What I love about these, you have got some of the clear ones. You've also got some of the, the, um, the white stickers on this one. And I'm just going to pop leaves there and leaves there. This is, I do tend to work like this. I tend to work on both pages at a time. So it's not symmetrical, but it is, if you know what I mean. It's one of those that it matches. So it's not symmetry, but it matches. These are your white stickers. So I'll just use a couple of these as well. And they work so well. They just overlay beautiful oh okay so the whole collection is now limited stock this one is limited stock if you do want to get hold of this please check your baskets out yeah it's well pretty well pretty it's a beautiful collection it's one of those it's uplifting i mean as soon as you look at that it looks pretty doesn't it only 4197 if you do want to get hold of that please please check your baskets out remember all being posted from the uk no extended delivery no extra postage or charges or any surprises and it means you can actually get started in july because you're not having to wait so as soon as you get it delivered you're aware thing is you do catch up because then those days you just start putting your stickers on see i love that so i'm using the same flowers but you're different you know i'm, I'm using them in different um i'm not the the pattern isn't exactly the same but the flowers are so it means to coordinate so they match but it's not symmetrical and it can't be symmetrical because the the pages aren't but it does mean it matches beautifully and your color palette works then so when you look at it it works now you can see i'm just kind of deciding you know do i go up here with it so before you actually put it down just have a little play where it looks best i do love this i, I love it because it, I find it very relaxing. I find it very uh, rewarding because it's just, it just looks pretty, but also it's really easy. You know, it's, I don't have to dig out loads of inks. I don't have to dig out loads of stamps. It's one of those that you can literally do just sitting watching the TV or don't watch the TV, take time out and just get all your gorgeous stickers out and start planning and laying them down. It just, it's very relaxing, actually. I'm going to take that there. But all, you see, this is it. Craft is relaxing. And there might be crafts that you can't do sort of in the living room or you don't want to get everything out and get messy. And sometimes you need something that's clean and tidy. This absolutely hits the nail on the head. Plus, of course, you actually, it's really functional. It's a functional craft because you are then going to use this to actually make plans. And I'm just going to pop that one there. Let me look. Do I want that one there? Yes, I do. Because that's a lovely little bouquet there. See, I'm happy with that. And then this one is going to go let me just see oh this is where i faff folks and i do faff you know where leonie do you yeah who knew right that one there so that's my pet oh and look already it's gorgeous so to fill in going back to my fresh start for the teachers ones and as i said they do work beautiful i tell you what i love about these look at all the gold dots <laughs> that makes me really happy for a teacher so rather than a gold star you've got a gold dot on your page but for us like if you're not a teacher and you're using these anyway they just look really pretty on your page which is ridiculous but they do and it's like oh where am i going to put a gold dot i'm going to put it there just because it looks really really nice and actually the waste on this when you've used that page the waste will be gorgeous it'll look like punchinella so the waste, you will absolutely use the waste. You have to. It's the rules. But just, I won't put loads of gold dots because the gold dots do take me ages. This one, it looks like a solid, um, it looks like a solid page, but actually they are lines and they're really nice for breaking up a page. Um, obviously you can cut them down as well but you have got your different sizes so you've got like your little pink one there and these are really really handy actually and i think like just breaking up like a section 
the dead handy. Then these, you know, like um, sometimes if you don't, you know how I said in the notebook, you might not want the prompt. These are handy for covering up those prompts as well. But I love that. I love how it, it kind of sections it off for you. I, I think visually it's very effective. And I might pop, I'm going to pop one here as well. Good grief, we've only got five minutes. Sorry, Janice. And she did say hello at the beginning. Right, I'll be really quick and then Janice can do. So all I'm going to do is, um, I do like quarter of the day, but I'm not going to, I'm going to do a nice little one. So I'm going to put a very important note on this one. Like this. So I'm going to have very important on there. So something that I want to make sure I, um, that I make note of. And on this one, I'm going to have a read. So this one, what do I need to read today? I'm not going to do any more because I've spent ages. I'm going to let Janice do a little bit of helloing. But can you say, no, I love that. And when you, when you start looking at your pages, so you start filling them in, how pretty do they look? See? Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. That's before your pen. And then you put all your little notes and plan what you're going to do with your weeks. Gorgeous. Um, please check your baskets out. I am going to um, just drink some coffee and hand over to Janice. Have you got that in your planner, though, to drink the coffee? Yeah, well, I've got a sticker. Probably. Got a um, sticker. I've just been drawing some little planner pages here. Oh, it? that's it. Bullet journaling. It really is. And, of course, when it's time... Oh, I could... It's my mic. Oh. It's come out my pocket thing. Oh, do you want me to keep talking? Janice it's has back. been doing... She's back. It's back. Hooray. Sorry. It must have popped out when I got up all of a sudden oh. from sitting down doing my little planner pages. Um, what a show, Leone. Isn't it fantastic when you take time, not just to plan, but to settle down, write objectives, write the things that you're going to do for the next day, get yourself organised, and it really does make a difference. And in order to do that, you need to be inspired, don't you? You're all creatives. So sitting down, whether you're doing a bit of doodling, or whether you're doing a bit of sketching, whether you're doing a bit of watercolouring, sometimes it's nice to bring all of those skill sets together and just have a bit of mindful time. That's when you can pop all of that lovely um, detail and items into your planners. We do have the different choices on the show. The first one starting in August 2021. So yes, particularly marketed at the teachers, but not just the teachers. If the teachers are going back to school in August, then you are as well, maybe, to university, to college. So this could be not just for the teachers, but it could also be for you as well to keep yourself nice and organised. And do you know what? Walking back into school, college or university with this in your bag, well, you'll feel like you're organised. And that makes a difference, doesn't it? Uh, 871161 is your item number, £29.98. It's a fabulous price. It's a great deal with us here. And if you're a Freedom member, there's no P and P to pay. Uh, and if you want to multi-buy, maybe you want to buy one for your friend, for your mum, for your dad, for your brother. Uh, you've got the opportunity to do that. You can multi-buy. And Freedom members pay no PMP. So it doesn't matter how many you buy, no PMP to pay for your Freedom member, and you get that great discount as well. So it might be worth thinking about, especially if you know someone that is going back to school or college. Right, the other um, set that we've got for you, this is limited stock now, and this includes those fabulous stickers. Do remember with your planners, you've got the opportunity to take the papers out and put them back in you know with uh, regular notebooks you rip the pages out um, well that's it the pages come out and you can't put them back in but with this fantastically designed ring system on the side you get a chance to take the pages out and put them back in and that's why this comes in really really handy because these are your extra pages we have sold out of that one now so well done everyone told you we'd have a busy show uh right the rainbow don't we love a rainbow rainbows are cool aren't they um and it just it does enable you to live your life in colour. But also, I think having bright colours around you, it's inspiring, isn't it? It makes you feel good. And that's what you want. When you open a diary, you don't want to be looking upon it thinking, oh, what have I got to do today? You want to open it up and think, yeah, I'm doing this today. Um, so if you want to go for any of the deals that we've got available for you, 
you can head to the website and see all of those deals. This is an excellent price, so £13.98, but we are limited stock for your notebook and your sticker pack. Do come back at 3 o'clock. If you haven't got a planner to write that down, and just write it on a piece of paper or make a mental note, but sometimes we forget, don't we? That's why you need a planner in your life. Leonie, thank you, thank you love. so much. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, join us again back at 3 o'clock. Maybe you can go and have a sneaky look at what's to come at 3 and maybe get in there before anyone else. Sounds like a plan? Certainly does. Uh, don't go anywhere, though, because we've got more coming up for you after the break. Right, Creative Grids are coming up next. Ranger Mixed Media after that. And then we're back with your Fedler One Day Special and the wonderful Lou Sims. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko Shows. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. A very good morning to you. I hope we find you well. Right then, we are going to go back to more or less where it all started. We are talking templates, we are talking grids, we are talking cutting mats as well. We are always busy when we talk about creative grids for the sheer fact they make your life easier. And what you're actually buying into is a template that is going to last, that you're never needing to buy again. They're not paper templates that you bend and buckle and you don't really get that proper edge on. All the hard work, second of all, has been done for you. All the measurements that are on there have been done with an inch of their life. And it's not just a one trick pony. You can go multiple sizes. It comes with full instructions, QR codes that you can scan with your phone or your tablet devices that will take you straight to the YouTubes and show you the videos as well. I know this because I did it during the, uh, during the break. I was scanned one, uh, and it takes you straight through to a three to four minute clip that will show you everything you need, but you also get full instructions included in all the kits as well. And we are not alone this hour. She's a big fan of Creative Grids, and that is why she's here. Brand ambassador, it's our Angie. How are you, my love? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good, good. Um, it's true when I say, like, 
using creative groups, it makes your life easier. Yeah, and I think um, if you're new to patchwork, you don't always know when you're starting to buy tools. You don't always know about the right brands and the best brands to buy. This is true. Um, I was very fortunate that I hadn't invested in too many templates before I found them, and so I've always purchased them. You know, since I since I kind of got to work with them. So, what's your background then with templates? Do, are you an embroiderer? Are you a sewer? Is this all you've done all your life? Did you stumble upon it and then you found creative groups? Um, I did actually stumble upon them um, because I uh, I spent over 20 years as a designer in the um, advertising and marketing world and then wanted a change of career and wanted to move into textiles. Nice. But I studied free motion embroidery, so I initially started by creating more textile art than patchwork. And then I really love texture and I wanted to bring texture to my work, which is why I started patchwork and quilting ah. lessons. Not for the patchwork, I have to say, for the quilting side, uh, which is now what I'm a specialist in, but of course I've been totally hooked on piecing as well. And that's when I found um, creative grids in my patchwork journey. So you, in theory, have used templates all your life. It's something that you've done. You've always had maybe it be a te paper template or you've made your own template. Uh, and this does, it, these are a game changer, aren't they? Because yeah. it does all the hard work. Everything is written onto the template for you. It's not going to scratch your buckle. It's not going to... They're sort of rigid as well, which okay. is what I like. They've got that non stick grip underneath as well, which we'll talk about, and now goes all around the edge. This is like second generation uh, creative grids that we're talking about. But what I like is everything's in one place. Yes, you get full instructions. For example, the details on your screen are for your non slip ultimate flying geese template and your quilting ruler as well uh, that you've got there. So this is like a tufa that you're talking about. But everything is written on the template for you. You also get full instructions that you can keep at home but should you lose the instructions or by go you throw them away because you think it's just the packaging in theory everything's on there for you that's what i really loved about the flying geese template in particular coming to work with it for um you know to, to bring this to air today um i hadn't whenever you make flying geese units for me it's always oh i've got to work out all the maths you know, and work whatever size block you're making. I've got to work out all the maths on how to, you know, what squares do I cut, what triangles do I cut. And what I loved about it is that the template's got all the measurements, the cutting, the initial cutting measurements on This is the you. thing. Now, if you're wondering what you're Brilliant. looking at here, where's the flying goose? It's these bits here. So it's the triangle, big triangle, little triangle. Yeah. That is what you're creating. Little triangle, big triangle, little triangle. So all of these here is what you're making from that template. But if I said you can go from this to this <laughs> and there's eight there <laughs> the eight smallest units. is one by two inch and remember it's the same pattern so you go pink green pink for example uh, just take one you can go from that to this with the same template the, sm so, the smallest one Adam is half by one inch half by one <laughs> inch. I've never pieced anything so tiny in my life. So we could go even <laughs> smaller if we wish. And it's all on the template. So what's, we understand the flying geese and we will get on, we have got a demo for this as well. So do not worry if you don't know what a flying geese is, but it's basically the triangles that fly in a straight line. Uh, it looks like a sailor's flag. Uh, but what is a quilting ruler that you also get on here? A quilting ruler. Yeah, you get flying geese and a quilting ruler. It's all in one. Wait, is, it, is that what the title is? And a quilting ruler? Yeah. Oh. You see, we <laughs> okay. learn something new. Even our experts are learning something new as well. £23.99 <laughs> is what we're looking at this one. Uh, so you've got uh, the flying geese at the bottom. And then obviously down the edges, uh, you've got all your details for your quilting rulers as well. And it shows you what to cut and where to cut. And remember, you've also got those QR codes and full instructions. Uh, 620158 <laughs> is your item number. Your dispatch date for everything on this one is the 1st of July. But it's going to make your life easier. But something else that's going to make your life easier as well is the non-slip pineapple. Let's see if we get this one right. Uh, the pineapple trim with cocktail maker. Not really. Uh, this is your pineapple trim and tall mini. £17.00 and 99 pence is what you're looking at is now to look at the template i give it to you you think oh, it's just a diamond what is this going to create what it creates is something truly beautiful this is what you are making from that template now it looks like an optical illusion it looks like you're looking down to that tiny square that's in the center 
But something else that you need to notice as well, look at all the colourways that you've got on there. Yeah, it's beautiful colourways, and that's not what I want you to notice. What I want you to notice is the size that you're looking at. They could be scraps. They could be that bit of material that you don't know what to do with. You're looking at five, four, five, and six inch uh, with what we're looking at with this one. Is the sizes that you can go up to. We've got a demo on this throughout the hour as well. But once you go from that, you can then start being creative. So how about using old shirts, old baby grows, using it as memory quilts? Because once you've made one panel, all you simply need to do is either bind it around the edge to make it bigger, to make your fabric go further, and we've got all that on the website, or just start piecing them together. Just go from this one, and then maybe do a different one, so then you put those two together. From there, you do another two, and you put those two together. Whether it's going to be a table runner, a small cot quilt, a quilt for a double bed, or a king-size bed, it doesn't matter. You have to start with the basics and everything is on here. Now, the pineapple trim, it sounds complicated, but it's one of those things is once you've got your head round it once, it becomes very, very simple. Yeah, and, and as you say, the tut video tutorials are there, full video tutorials. But, um, yeah, I always, if it's a template I've never used before, um, of course, I have the first-hand experience and, and so I can share with you any tips and tricks today but I find them just such a joy to use. <laughs> it's worth having a little look. £17.99, 848383 is your item number. There's loads more on the show as well. Jump to the website, you'll find it all on there. We've got your old returning favourites as well. Look at these five star reviews after five star reviews. Uh, you've got your eight and a half inch by 12 inch ruler that's in there. You've got your face mask uh, template as well. I think we'll be wearing them for a while yet so if you've got old fabric that you want to start making uh, masks out of and uh, maybe match outfits that you're going to start uh, wearing now we can go out and about you can also do that we've got all your rulers on there not only do you get your ruler with your first one you've got all your other rulers uh, your non-slip four and a half inch by 12 and a half inch rulers on 16.49 you can't go wrong can you and you've also got your pineapple trim that we've just spoke about now all produced in the uk they're produced over in leicester uh, where our janice is from not that far away uh, that is why they've got a fox on their logo did you know? Uh, but uh, they're all non-slip. Now we're going to look at the non-slip. Is it possible we can look at the non-slip first on your templates that we've got just to show that they don't move? Uh, yeah, I can sort of show you. Well, I can pop it on this uh, piece of fabric here. So they've actually all got, um, even the patchwork rulers, um, have got little spots on them, um, little spots of non-slip on the back. Um, but the templates have all also got quarter of inch non-slip around the edge. Um, and as you can see here, because we're trimming different size rectangle, rectangles here, you can see that non-slip um, there. And they, so that just gives you that extra bit of grip when you're, um, when you're cutting anything down, trimming anything down. So it just makes it super, super accurate because your template's not about to go skidderoo across your fabric. <laughs> this is the, uh, one of the smaller, well, about the third size up, actually, um, this little um, sample I've made here. Um, so this is how we, we know the flying geese, um, quite a popular block that's in quilt patterns, but you can also make um, these pinwheels um, and also like you held up, Adam, a star shape. Um, yes. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do with flying geese, which I think that's why you often see them in lots of different piecing patterns. Um, so... And it's very, very, and what I say is, once you've got the right template for the job, it makes it very quick and easy, with very little waste yes. as well, with I, these templates. Uh, of course, and, and um, there are two different types of um, templates, if you like. Some are designed for cutting your pieces out, so they're your more standard um, patchwork rulers, like we've got here. So, you know, I've got a six and a half inch square here and a four and a half by twelve and a half. Um, you know, you get patchwork rulers in different sizes for cutting out your initial shapes. And then um, creative grids do uh, or almost like a secondary line of templates to help us, which are trim tools. OK. Um, and, and these are just um, amazing at keeping your patchwork really, really super accurate. What I loved about them is that you get very little waste, actually, because you think, oh, well, do I want to make a block oversized and then trim it down? Is that, you know, I'm wasting fabric. But literally, they are slithers that, you know, that That's come good. away. So you don't feel like you're wasting tons. And also, it just keeps your just makes you feel really good about your piecing. Um, you know, it just makes it um, you know it's beautiful. all going to line. You know yeah. it's all going to line up. Can absolutely. we see what being it made? Is this possible? Yeah. Can we see no, it? absolutely. Goose? Let's go. So um, what I'm going to do um, is Look. just I'll just show you again the um, template, if I can, if you can see that, actually. 
Um, we have, uh, maybe we'll do a, another close-up with the white paper behind, but what I, as I said, what I loved about this is all these measurements here. So what we can see here is all the measurements, depending on what size you want to make, and they're all lettered A, B, C, right up to H. Um, so uh, we're going to make E today, two and a half by five, and you can see there it's telling us to cut one square, six and three quarter inches, and four squares, three and three quarter inches. Okay. Yeah. So, so it that... tells us to cut one and cut four. So are yeah. all these marked on the template, though, or are we now just guessing? No, that's all marked on that template. That's exactly what we're looking at there, which is what I love about it. But then normally... is the guidelines marked on the template? So it, it tells us what we're cutting, but then it, is no. that sort of bit where it goes, all then, right, now you're on your own? Then you go to your other Creative Grids um, patchwork rulers what you know and cut those squares out okay. so yeah it's a trim tool the flying geese tool is it's not for cutting out your squares so here we have um, my one six and three quarter square and four of the smaller size okay and it also then in the instructions tells you in the written instructions and the video we've drawn uh, a, a guideline corner to corner across the back of these and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them across right sides together. This is a, a, is a tool that we can make four flying geese units at once, but it also gives instructions how to make uh, one at a time, or if you prefer to use a um, piece with triangles. So there's, there's very, you know, like every block really, there are lots of different ways of going about it. And um, this tool allows you to do any of those weight methods, if you like, and still use the trim tool to make those accurate measurements work. Fabulous. So it's great for that. I love it. So here I'm pinning, just put, pop, pop in a pin either side of this line because I'm actually going to stitch a quarter of an inch either side of this central line. Um, sometimes with a smaller block, you do, it's not necessary to, to pin, um, but here I'm pinning because it's a slightly bigger piece so just pop my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing so we're just going to stitch I've got my machine on my quarter inch um, seam measurement and we're just going to stitch either side of this central line so those pins are just holding everything in place so that nothing's shifting too much going to stitch a quarter inch away from the line on the other side as well uh, so remember all of this is in the instructions as well so you're going to get full instructions on everything that you need to do so you'll never be on your own so then I can remove those pins And what we're going to do now is actually trim down the centre okay. of that. Okay. Uh, I must. The other um, method in the instructions is to start with these triangles and cut them in. Sorry, squares and cut them into triangles first, and then piece them. So um, depending on which method you prefer, uh, you're good to go. It covers all different uh, methods. So if you know if you're out there and think, well, I've made my flying geese, you know, a different way for however many years, you can continue to do that. So I'm just lining up my quarter inch um, seam line on this patchwork ruler and I'm just going to slice right down the middle of there. And then we're going to fold these smaller triangles now back. So I'm just going to finger press those and these make kind of like a little love heart type, like a heart shape. And I'll just give that press in a second. So I'm just finger pressing it for now, which I find actually the best way really. If it's um, with triangles, try not to pull them around too much. So I'm just going to give those a quick press and then we're going to come back and add our other squares. Okay. Uh, the details uh, for the template is on the side of your screen at the moment. £23.99. 620158 is your item. And then the details at the bottom of the screen is for the little pumpkin trim and we'll, uh, pumpkin, uh, the pineapple uh, <laughs> that we're looking at as well. And we're looking at later on in the hour. Remember, we've got your other rulers. So if you want your square rulers, I've got all of those on the show as well. And we'll give you more details for those as we go through. So anything that Andy uses, uh, we will change uh, the details on the screen. 
It's kind of a weird shape, isn't it, that you make? It seems like a little fox. How on earth is that going to make my uh, flying geese? So now we're going to add... Oh, bless you. <laughs> we're now going to add this... Um, our other squares that we've got left over, our two other squares with this diagonal line through. And what, what you can do is just, you can just hold it up to the light um, just to check that your diagonal line should be just going through there, but that looks all pretty accurate to me. So um, I'm just going to pop a pin just one side. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to stitch a quarter inch either side of those lines. Well, if we're making two at a time. We're making four. Oh, we're making four. Yeah. yeah. But as I say, if, if you if you just want to make one, there are instructions right at the end of the instructions as well to make just one at a time if you'd like, just one rectangle or one rectangle and two squares. Um, the thing is, when you make one flying geese block at a time, they tend you tend to have even a lot of waste. Um, so, so this you, is really, really good at not, not wasting fabric. And it gives you two methods as well. I think, are you doing the heart method at the moment? Yes, yeah. Uh, so you've got the heart method and you've got the flip back or fold back The fold method. back method is like the traditional method, if you like, but there is um, a bit of waste with that one. So then we're just going to spin these around and do exactly the same. That's what's really nice about it, actually, because, uh, you, as I say, you know, you could have uh, quilters out there that have been making flying geese units for years the, the way that they like to make them, and uh, it means that they still can, but they can use the um, measurements and the trim tool to get that perfection. It's always difficult working with triangles because you get that distortion, so um, it's really nice to be able to get the accuracy which really matters because it's all about points isn't it you know it when, you, true, when you sew them together it's about getting those nice points and, and that's not the whole chopping purpose them off. of flying goose isn't it it's you want them all in that rigid yeah. line like like when a fly pass so now we've sewn that that extra square on if i turn it back around to how i'd placed them before and we're just going to cut down the center of this line now so we can just on our put the quarter inch um, line on the seam line and chop these. So the details for the rulers on the screen four and a half inches by 12 and a half inch ruler, 16 pounds and 94 pence. 695372 is your item number. Then again, I'm just finger pressing there, and uh, you can see how we get a nice look at that. Now I'm going to ask the question, mm -hmm. even though I think I know the answer. So they don't. They match at the bottom, so you've got that bit of excess at the bottom. At the top. At the top and yep. at the bottom, uh, oh, basically yes, on the here. point. So what, yep. what do we do with those? Well, this is that now where the trim tool oh, is going to come in. Oh, here we go. This is where the tool comes <laughs> into play. It's where the tool comes into play. So I'll leave those a second, um, and we can come back to those. But I'll just press these two, and we can have a look at what the trimming. Uh, so £23.99, so this is where now your tool all starts to come together. Uh, so £23.99. and pence. Everything's on extended delivery from the 1st of July, uh, which is not that long away, to be honest. Nearly the end of the week already. Uh, 620158 is your item number for this one. This is your Precision uh, Ultimate Flying Goose Template, is what we're looking at. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of paper underneath here, just to... Oh, we've got you some over there, if you look to the right oh, of yours machine. brilliant. Thank you. So, um, as we, when we started out, I said I was making E, which was two and a half by five, finished size. Yep. And those were the measurements we started with. And can you see along here, we've actually got those markings on the first trim, trim one. We've got these triangles all marked, and now I'm going to be using that mark E. Okay. For the size. Yeah, use. so it's really, really, really easy to follow. So I'm going to put that E over the top of my triangle. You can actually feel the grip, do you know what I mean? You can actually feel how um, you, you lift the template up slightly because you can actually feel it pushing your fabric around those non-slip marks. So I'm lining my the tip of my point in there and I've got two guidelines here and here. And so I'm going to do my first trim. If, if you're, you can you can see how flexible fabric is. Can you see how you can just you know if it's if it's not quite lining up, 
because you have got its fabric at the end of the day and as I say working on the bias and with triangles can just move everything around but that's the beauty of this so it just gives you that accuracy so I'm going to trim two sides okay Okay, so this is giving me as well my, you, you mentioned about the excess at the top. Yes. But also that's, look, it's taking into consideration my quarter inch yes, seam line. So I'm not going to lose my nice point when I come to um, piece it to the next block. And then I pivot the actual block and pivot the template. And we've got trim two here. Okay, so we're looking for E again. So um, there's the, where are we, two and a half by five, there. And you can see I can trim, I've got E there, two and a half by five there. So I've got my outer line and my V, if you like, of my goose all lining up and my angles they were lined up till I've just pivoted it out of the way. And you can see now I can trim the other two I sides. You're going to get that perfect what Absolutely. You, what you, side you wanted. Yeah. You're going to get every single time. Absolutely. Look at that. Super, super accurate from, you know, when you're pressing, some, when you're folding these back, it's distorting all the fabric all the time. So you can see how lovely and accurate it makes it and, you know, it really is. And quick as well, because remember, you've already done four of these. You've already yeah. done four together. So all you simply have to do now is run the four under, and you're going to get those perfect. Do them once a time, I would, so you're going to get, so you can line everything up. But you're going to get the accuracy with these. You're going to get that precision point. It takes into account your seam allowance with this as well. You've got trim one and trim two. You've got other boxes on there as well, which will help and guide you, uh, because you do get a full set of instructions included in your kit. As I said, you've got the, fly, uh, the heart method or you've got the fold back method it's entirely the same you're going to get the same process by the end of it it's just whatever process you think but you're going to need this template as well because the template will show you that you can go to the minutest of sizes look at the size of those and these are some of the things that you will be creating when you get them home. 620158. I'm hearing now that we are busy. £23.99. and pence. Brand new today for Creative Groups. A little one worth looking at. So that is your Precision Ultimate Flying Goose. I feel like I should have shades on and stuff like that. I'd be like Top Gun. Uh, our Pineapple. He lives under the sea. Uh, £17.99. 848383 is your item number for your pineapple. Now, it doesn't look like nothing at the moment, but what you're going to be creating is something that looks a little bit like this. How beautiful is that? All using offcuts as well. So all using, using up those little bit of scraps uh, that we've all got at home. £17.99. As you can see, everything's on there. You can do it on four, five and six inches is what you're looking at. Your seam allowance is already on there. And you've also got, uh, if I move that back, you can see those non-stick grips on there. So you've got, and now, Mark II, you've now got them around the edges. So not only do you have the circles in the middle, you've also now got them around the edges. So really... It's going nowhere. The counter moves before that actually moves itself. Uh, so they really are sturdy and well worth having a little look at. We're going to demo with that very, very shortly. Full instructions included once again. And you've also got, oh, hello. And you've also got your QR codes on there as well. But don't let that baffle you down. All the instructions are in written form should you need them. Some more essentials. Now, we needed one of these for the Flying Goose. This is your six and a half inch square. You've got all the measurements on there from six and a half all the way down to the one and a half. Uh, and you've also got your diagonals on there. So it really is a case you can see everything that you need. So you've got your bigger numbers, you've got your half marks on there, so you've got your one to six, and then you've also got your, like, your five and a half, uh, your six on there. Everything you need is on that grid. Rachel's very clever in what she does when she puts all these together. She does all the hard work, she does all the maths for us, so we haven't got to. Six and a half inches by six and a half inches square, 14 pounds and 49 pence, 465553 is your item number. Now we go from six and a half or we go to 12 and a half uh, now as well. Now, I suppose it all depends on what sort of quilt we're making. Yeah, and the block size. So we've just shown there with the flying geese that we can make small blocks, but right up to the um, 
eight by four inch block. So if you were making some of the smaller um, flying geese blocks, we could cut our squares with the smaller six and a half by six and a half. If you're making bigger blocks, then the 12 and a half inch um, square is more useful because you're going to be, you could be squaring up 12 and a half inch blocks, but also cutting eight inch squares or nine inch squares, whatever. And the beauty of those is that you've got the um, even numbers um, are in white. As you um, pointed out, you've got all the measurements there, but the even numbers are all in white and the half measurements are all in black. Which so I, you just it turn it around. Quick and easy yeah, to read. Yeah, you just turn it around. Now, if your budget, uh, let, we'll ask the question. I'll ask it for you. That's why I'm here. Uh, if my budget will only stretch to one, mm -hmm. would you say go bigger? Because you can then you've all you've got all the sizes. We've got twelve and a half inches where we've only got six and a half on here. If our budget would stretch to twenty-one pounds and ninety-five pence, but we're only going to be making small projects for the time being, yeah. will the twelve and inch grow with us? What I personally did when I first started piecing, everyone needs a big um, 24 inch by six and a half for cutting fabric off the bolt, basically. So I started with that big one and then um, I bought uh, a bigger square as well. And I just had those two rulers for quite some time. And then when I started to make some smaller blocks, it was quite cumbersome to have the bigger square. Yeah. So then I added my smaller ones later because you can cut small squares with the big ruler so it's not you know it's not stopping you from making those projects but i just found it easier to handle smaller, smaller squares afterwards so add the smaller ones if you like as you can afford to add them to your um, equipment add but them later in your journey yeah if you start with the big ones it's not go you're not going to be um You've got everything. You're not prevented from making Yeah, you've got anything. everything covered. Yeah. If, you, if your budget will stretch to the big one, you have got everything covered then from yeah. zero all the way up to the 12 and a half inches is what you're looking at. Obviously, if your budget will stretch to both, obviously the littler it is, the, more, the quicker things you can get things done because it's not as cumbersome. But yeah. if you're just sitting in your craft room at home and you don't mind that you're taking your time, which is what crafting is about, is that there's no rush. Is the let's be fair um, so you could go for the 12 and a half and you could just use it that way well worth having a little think about one five seven zero six four is your item number it's also the same sort of process on the rulers that we've got this is your four and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler that we're looking at now nice little size uh, what we're getting 16 pounds and 94 pence four and a half 12 and a half is this a a ruler that we all need in our staple, uh, like I our just, staple ruler, is it one that you go to constantly or do you go for the bigger one constantly? I love this little one actually. As I said, like you said, um, using the big ones is great. You, you do need the bigger sizes, but um, they're quite cumbersome sometimes if you're only cutting small strips. Uh, so I use, you know, my six and a half and my four and a half by 12 all the time when I'm working with smaller fabrics. It's worth um, having a little think about, depending absolutely. on what project you're going to do. If you are just starting out, maybe you start small. Mm. Maybe because you're only going to be doing a small project. You ain't going to be doing a super king quilt if you've just started quilting today, I can tell you now. Um, and if you are, well done. Uh, but uh, if you're only doing little projects, maybe you only go for the little rulers. Maybe it's something you're just going to dip your toe into the water so you can have a little look. I'm going to have a little go, but I need the right tools for the job. Perfect way to go. £16.94, 695-372 is your item number. All that being said, though, I have got um, six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler. So if you're anything like me and you want, you want everything and you want it now, as it were, you go, I'll go, I'll get everything, then I am gonna keep going out. Maybe this is the way to go, but if, once again, it's all down to your budget. I'm not here to spend your money. I'm just here to get you the deals. 23 pounds and 95 pence, 325420 is your item number. Once again, all that non-slip uh, that you've got on there, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got all your numbers uh, written on there. Even the center point, so you can work out the center of things it's all marked on so you haven't got to worry about that any anymore and so, angles actually adam we, we've got 60 degree 45 degree angles so you've got all your angles on there yeah. so if you are using it for your flying geese and stuff like that you've got your angles so you can work mm. your points out 23 pounds and 95 pence 325420 is your item number then eight and a half by 12 and a half uh, inch next. Why would I need an eight and a half and a twelve and a half if I'm going for the four and a half and twelve, like the six? What's what's the difference? Um, so that would be if you hadn't got maybe um, a bigger square, but you're you're being asked to cut an eight, eight and a half inch okay. strip of something. Um, then that could be a really, um, you know, it's kind of an in-between, the, so the big long one. And, and, so it's sort yeah. of your middleman, yeah. as it were. It's, it's got all your measurements on that this one has, but you can go slightly bigger. So once again, budgets, budgets being budgets, you go where your budget will stretch to. 
So once again, what you've got on this, you've also got on this, but you've also got on the big, uh, big 12 inch square. So it's entirely up to you what you want to go for. But as I said, we've got something for everyone on these shows. 812582 is your item number. Uh, then from there, this is always busy. I, I, I could see why, to be honest. Uh, your face mask coverings, very current, very now. But now we can start going out again. We start, people start going out. Uh, you try and, I don't know, if it, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just a me thing. I try and make my mask work with what I'm wearing. So if I'm wearing blue, <laughs> I'll try and wear a blue mask. If I'm in black jeans, I'll try and wear a black mask. Uh, otherwise, they just stand out, and it's sort of just, it's now part of our outfits. It's very dapper. Well, it is, but it's, it's, yeah. now, no, part, it is. It it's is. now part of our life. Where we used to just grab a phone and a wallet, it's now a phone and a wallet, and have you got a mask? It's a question that you always ask going down the pub. What, have you got your money? Yeah, have you got a mask? Yes, I have. Uh, but so now you can start matching them. But if you can make your own, and you can make all three sizes, you've got a small, medium, and large. And I can tell you the sizes are, because I've got them here. Um, so your, oh, this is your elasticated size. But you're looking at between six to eight and a half inches, around there, is what you're looking at. Which is a big old mask, if you think about it. All your seam allowance uh, is in the, oh, there it is, look. Uh, so that's your, no, that's your elastic size, but it gives you sort of where your ears will go to where it will be positioned onto your mouth. So it's worth having a little look, small, medium and large, and I reckon, I think I touched on this, you can go slightly smaller than small on there, so I think you can get an extra small out of it. You can adapt it a bit for little wee ones, uh, if they want to make one for little wee ones as well. £16.94, 719885 is your item number. All right then, something else. Uh, that you're also buying and shopping ahead of me on uh, is on the website. Uh, is the rotary cutter. You're loving the rotary cutter at the moment as well. Uh, this is a lovely rotary cutter. You've got that beautiful, uh, it's a 45 millimeter rotary cutter uh, straight and the handle as well. So it's all straight. So you've got that ergonomic design uh, that you've got onto it. You've also got the clip at the top. So where that little button is in the middle, that will hide the blade because it's a, a golden rule. Hide your blade once you've not uh, been using it so you don't cut yourself because they're very, very sharp. Uh, and for £10 and 99 pence, you really can't go wrong. 350156 is your item number for that one. Uh, we've also got a cutting mat. Maybe you want to go with your cutting mat. Now Angie's using the cutting mat. This is the 18 inch by 24 inch uh, cutting mat. Double sided as well. So what's, what's on one side, what's on the other side? So your uh, one side is, uh, well it very much reflects a creative green ruler itself, patchwork ruler. So it's got um, inch markings, it's got 45 degree angle markings, it's got eight on there as well and on the flip side for those of you that may, may have seen the creative grid show a couple of weeks ago okay. um, and have, or have maybe have previously purchased a stripology for cutting um, your strips then the, the back side of the um, cutting board line is to be used with is, is to be used with the stripology so it's got all of those all of those guidelines that you just place the stripology ruler over the top and it all lines up beautifully it's all so there double for sided, you. Yeah. It's double sided. You've even got yards on there, which you don't really yeah. see these days either. Yeah. Uh, you've got your yards on there. You've got your inches on there. You've got your 60 degrees, your 45 degrees angles on there. Uh, you go from uh, 1 down to 24 and also up to 18. So you've got your 18 to 24 inches is what you are looking at uh, for this. Well worth having a little tiny go. Uh, I've just dropped that. It's a beautiful colour as well, isn't it? It's like, it like is you know, nice, rather than the green. That green, <laughs> standard <laughs> green that you get. Standard that looks like green a football pitch. <laughs> sort of a mottled, sort of a light blue colour. It's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, right, what are we up to next? Okay, so I think it's time to move on to uh, the pineapple um, trim pineapple. tool. So uh, we're going to explore how this brilliant trim tool allows us to do this exquisite um, half inch, you know, half inch strips um, pieced. Um, and I just really loved using this. I just thought it would, you know, it makes you feel really good about your piecing, really accurate. So this is made to the full size. Um, so this is the Pineapple Trim Tool Mini, allowing us to make anywhere between, uh, well, we can make four, five or six inch finished uh, pineapple um, trim blocks. So we can stop, we could stop a couple of rounds early and make a, a, a four inch one. Um, as I say, you can stop at a couple of uh, different sizes. Um, and I really just played around with fabrics. Um, I love a monkey wrench block and uh, the movement in it. I've got a little scene there, sorry. Um, and I didn't realise, actually, that you could make monkey wrench blocks with the same pineapple trim tool. So it's just fabric placement. And again, like you were saying about the, the depth of field this gives, and just with the fabrics going from pastel to bolder, 
Um, so we're going to explore this again. The um, instructions are giving you all those measurements to start with. Um, we start with a one and a half inch square and, and then it tells you for every round that you're going to be adding what size pieces that you need to cut. So again, um, you know, you use your patchwork rulers to cut your strips. Yeah. But again, I just raided, I love raiding my, I shouldn't call it scraps bag really. We've all it, got one though, isn't it? It makes your fabric sound really like, you know, <laughs> oh, that's just scrap. Your offcuts yeah. bin, I should say. I just raided my offcuts um, box um, because you've always got, like, you know, some nice little pieces of fabric left over that you can't do anything with. Um, a big project, so this is great for using up your offcuts. And, and I've just pre cut these because, you know, obviously we're going to be adding a lot of rounds today, so I wanted to um, have them re pre cut ready so that we can actually use the trim tool. So we begin with. Um, actually uh, a one and a half inch square like we talked about so there's my little one and a half inch square and f for round one we're cutting them at these four pieces at one and a half inches too okay so i've just started the first round so that i can actually show you a trim straight off okay so i've added you can see the last one just quarter inch seam sewn on to the edge of a square and then turn it around and add another one basically and give it a press we press between each round so what we're going to do now is come to the trim tool and i'll just get my handy bit of paper so we can see here we've got um, there's two sides to the trim tool that you're going to be using you're going to be using the two sides of this side so we trim two sides at once sometimes usually on even rounds and on odd rounds we're actually going to be using this 45 degree angle and again this is all explained in the written instructions and in the uh, videos that you can access we've got a really great um, central 45 degree angle line here as well that keeps us on track and all these little squares that we're going to be using and also you've got the the sizes there four five and six inch block and again a reminder that we cut strips at least a one and a quarter inch wide and our center at one and a half so that's what I love about these um, tools is that you don't have to keep getting your notes out or Googling, you sense. know, looking on the internet at what size I have to, to start with. So we're going to start with uh, round one. So for round one, we'll go back to that. It has a white square and we're going to place round one over the top of my little square in the middle. And as I said, for odd numbers, we just... Um, trim one side at a time so we're just going to take that angle away I just find when I'm not quite high enough to the table I don't get enough downward pressure Aww. on my <laughs> so we chop one side pivot it round 90 degrees and we're just going to repeat just need to press harder pivot it around so when we're trimming as well a little tip that I found um, is always keep your centre square square, if you know what I mean. Don't have it on point when you're lining anything up and trimming. Um, so that's, that makes it super easy to remember. I'm going to make a nice mess here for the, um, Don't for the studio. <laughs> I did actually mean to bring a little pot to put all my... Um, Which one, Flo? All my <laughs> off cuts into. <laughs> make sure I've got through that. Yes, I am. So we just That's push them to one, one side. So there we are, we're trimmed um, to our first round. And as I said, I've cut some um, pieces here, all to the measurements given in the instructions. And um, so I'm going to add my next colour. And I just add it to one side. I'm going to put a quarter inch seam okay. on there. And, uh, and then we'll, we're going to add another seam too. But the, the measurements are great as well. because. When we get a little bit further down the line, what I loved about it is I thought, oh, this, this piece isn't long enough. Um, maybe I've like read the measurements incorrectly or whatever. But no, it's just fabric saving again. So you didn't, you didn't oh, need good. to be that long. So I'm just going to finger press to begin with. So finger press each one. You can see I've got my lovely tip still there on my square. What I'm going to do, a little tip, is turn... Uh, turn the block clockwise to add the next round because when you sew down this line you're actually then pushing that seam down flat 
rather than if you pivot the other way, you could be pulling the seam ah. the wrong way. So if you always turn your block clockwise before adding the next one, the, the presser foot of the machine will actually be pressing it's these the seams that we like. in the right way. Yeah. I suppose you could hand stitch this as well if you wanted to. Yes, absolutely, you could. That's a good point, actually, because some people do like to hand piece, don't they? Well, so bit, they're clockwise. not the biggest of pieces that you're stitching onto, to be fair. No, absolutely. It'd yeah. take you a lot longer, of course, but what's the rush? <laughs> I have a, a, a friend um, that was actually... Uh, well, she's a, a friend and was a student of mine, but... Um, She's very um, clever at making things out of the bits that you chop off a bigger quilt. And really? I, and I remember she came to me for lessons to make a big quilt and uh, all the little bits that were sliced off, you know, in the process, she made these really, really tiny um, log cabin, um, similar, similar kind of thing oh. to a pineapple. And when I was here two weeks ago with the little mini log cabin, I thought of her, actually. <laughs> But like you say. <laughs> I reckon it would have took her twice the time because she didn't have the template. Absolutely. She didn't have that template to uh, to make the job easy and to make it all square. No. So she would have had to do all the maths first of all. Exactly. So we've got our first, well, our second round on. I have to remember which because I've already added one. So finger press that. I'm just going to press that flat before we do our next trim. That is fine. <laughs> uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at for this one. 848383. This is for your pineapple. Uh, this is, you can do it too. There's loads of things uh, that you can do uh, with your pineapple as well. And all the instructions are on your pineapple. You'll go for four, for five, or for six inches is what you can make. Right then, let's do round three. Okay. Oh, we've got cut first. Round two, yeah. So this is uh, what I was saying. Because you've added these on square, it's very easy to line your center point up like that. So if we always remember to keep our center square on, and now we're going round two. So here we are, round two. It's the opposite side of the template to what we used for round one. I place it over the center. You can see I have um, some other guidelines there. Let me just pop that. I have the center line going all the way through the center. And you've also got these two white lines that are trying to keep you square. So line your those two up with the edge of round one and your centre of round two. And we're going to trim two sides at once this time, Adam. And as you can see, it's not we're not getting exact points here. That's why I was saying, oh, you think, oh, my fabric's not big enough, but it's not required. So then we can pivot it this time 180 degrees round because I've trimmed two sides, put round two back on, line up those dotted lines on the edge of my inner square, and just... I'm, I'm concerned about the next one because there is no square that says round three. <laughs> what happens then? Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to add round three, like you say, and you can just, you know, depending on what colours you're choosing, I'm, I'm putting a, a, a neutral on each time um, okay. up for my odd numbers. So I'm going to add another round here. But there is no round okay. three. <laughs> and do you know why there's round one twice? Is that a different method? Round one twice. You've got round one in a white box and then round one in a black box. It's more for me than anything else. Round ten. Oh, it's ten. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Ted. <laughs> you see? It helps when you read the instructions. <laughs> I just thought it was one. I was like, what is the two round ones? What's this all about? This is the bit I'm intrigued about, though, because there's no round three, there's no round five, there's no round seven, and there's no round nine. So what do we do on those rounds? So, um, if you remember, we're going to be... Um, I talked about adding... For even numbers, we're going to be using, so as you pointed out, the even numbers are there and we trim two sides and then we use the angled, 45 degree angle side to trim all the odd numbers. How are we doing for time? We, okay? uh, we have. Yeah. Hannah, my love, how long do we have for time? We've got about 
12 minutes left. Okay. That's so. all the job is, bless her. She just sits in the gallery with a watch. <laughs> just stop watch. 12 <laughs> minutes is all you've got. Then she just nods back off again. <laughs> so what we've I've... We've got a director uh, and then we've got our producer. Because obviously these are little little pieces. And it's important, I think, to start at the beginning and show it from the no, beginning. No, it is. Um, so if we don't get all the way to the, adding this, you know, for six inch block, we can stop at four. Okay. So um, let's aim for that. Let's aim for let's four aim so for... far. <laughs> so I'm just adding the final one. Uh, the details are on the screen. Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. This is your pineapple trim. Is what we're looking at here. Seventeen ninety nine eight four. I forgot it. Uh, eight four three three eight three is your item number. Uh, only delayed by a week as well. First of Ju first of July in a week. Where has the year gone? What are we on then? Six months in. Six months. Six months in. It's the longest day's already been and gone, hasn't it? The summer solstice. Yes, yes. Well, it starts getting dark now. I think I had a bit of bearer bad news. I was going to say, it differs slightly, doesn't it, between the 21st and the 22nd of oh, August? But it was all on the news last night, actually. You see, June 21st. <laughs> it's normally to 21st, 22nd, yeah, it does vary slightly. So that means it does start getting darker now, doesn't it? Yeah, Not straight away, like. But... I know, someone, someone put on social media the other day, or oh, the start of summer, and I was thinking, no, sadly, it is midsummer. It is midsummer. <laughs> We're now in midsummer. Midsummer, I'm going to put them. Midsummer. Put them speedos back away. So. Those lovely. Um... <laughs> okay, Not so. Um, right, here we go. This here is we go. For. So we've put our round. It, you, they're really easy to count if you get confused where you are. Uh, one, two, three. So yeah. we're on round three. And again, I just want it's, it's important to show you, I think, how brilliant the. Um, the instructions are so it says here to position the 45 um, degree parallel line um, so that's what we're going to um, Let's look at trimming there so the angled we're using this side and we're going to position the angled line there let me just check actually where it says um, Details are on the screen. <laughs> Seventeen pounds ninety nine pence. Eight four eight three eight three is your item number for this one. There Extended delivery from the first of July is what we're looking at. Um, right, and let's get back to round three of the cutting. So what we've got here, if I put use the black paper because it's a white line, so you can see we've got this angled line here, and that's the one that you're going to place on the forty five degree angle of the previous round. Do you okay. Because you. If you keep it square, the, the round you've just added is square, so we're going to actually put the 45 degree angle on there, as you say, because you, you're looking for which squares are lining up, and for the odd numbers, you're using this 45 degree angle line instead. Okay. Okay, so seems a bit that odd. Makes, that makes sense now, though. But that's you how you start see, getting that pattern. Yeah, that's how we're going to start. And also, um, what the first time I did it, what threw me is you think that where you've got a square inside a square at the beginning, you think that that's constant, but actually, you actually trim off. That's why I was just checking on that, because you could think, well, no, that's not going to be right, because if when I put my quarter-inch seam allowance there, I'm going to be trimming off the edge of that point, but that is the block design. So you've got a full point in the first one, but then the edges of the rest are chopped off, and that's off why I just wanted to, yeah, just double-check that. So we move it, spin it around. So in theory, it looks like you're layering up. It looks like you're layering yeah. triangles on top of triangles. Fun. That's right. But when you're new to the template, it can just look a little bit, um, a little bit confusing because you think you're going to chop your seam allowance off. So white line across the 45 degree. And okay. trim. Trim that. There we go. Round there three go. done and dusted. So we we'll add another round. I'm just going to keep going. Round four. I need I'm going to let you do round four. Yeah. And I we'll need be to... back for cutting okay. at round four. Uh, let me give you a quick details on the pineapples. One. We're also going to go back to the flying geese as well. Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight four eight three eight three is your item number for your Creative Grids non-slip because they're all non-slip coated as well. You see those small dots 
uh, that you've got on there. They are the non-slip, and you've also got the non-slip around the edge. Now, these are the Mark II uh, version of what we're looking at for Creative Grids. Uh, so we are looking at £17.99 pence extended delivery to the 1st of July. But you are also loving... The flying geese. Uh, busy for these already. Now remember, with the flying geese, this is something uh, that you're trying, that you're going to be creating. So you, all the different designs, from pinwheels uh, to the straight natural flying geese that we all know and love, that we've got in there. So maybe that is a border. Maybe it's going to be like a little scene that's going to go around. It is stunning. But you can go from that all the way to these. So these little ones. If I fold that there. So if you just look at one V, so it's basically that is what you're creating. This little bit here. That is what you can make uh, from this template. You get full instructions included with all the templates as well. 620158 is your item number. £23.99 is what you're looking at for this one. Uh, two in one, because you can do the heart technique. You've got all the data, all the, I was going to say, all the data. You've got all the data that you need uh, printed on side. You've got all the details that you need on the, on the template as well. So you really, if you do lose your instructions, it's all on there. You can't go wrong. Uh, but you can also shop by brand on the website. Jump on the website and shop by brand. You can tap the app and you can see, look, five-star reviews after five-star reviews. Some of the seven-day savers as well. I know our Tash has got fabric in the seven-day savers. So if you're buying rulers, you might want to go for fabric as well. Worth having a little look at those. But Creative Grids, uh, they are there. Now, something that has been very, very busy as well is our face mask template that we are looking at. Uh, three sizes of template, small, medium and large. Uh, but I think uh, Tash um, told me last time she was in, you can also go extra small with these as well. With just a twinker, uh, twinker, just a tinker with the template slightly and you can go slightly smaller. £16, that could have been anything that came out there. £16 and 94 pence, 719885 is your item number. Imagine doing these in Liberty, in William Morris. Oh, in your K facets. But they're not just face masks. Remember, they're templates. They're templates. You could use them. No, no, I wouldn't suggest doing a paper mask. But you've got the shape. You've got the little shape. They look like a little elf boot for Christmas. If you wanted to do things like that, you can do, they are templates. There's so much you can do with them. And all good templates and all good crafters need a place to cut or a place to work on. Now, whether you're a soft crafter, whether you're a paper crafter, we all need a mat. It's always handy to have a mat. And I have got a big one for you. 18 inches by 24 inches. £36.99 is what we're looking at with this one. Uh, it's dual-sided because on the back, uh, you've also got your markings on there for your stripology rulers uh, that we bought to you a couple of weeks back now. Uh, but it is on the back of there. It's a lovely colour as well. It's not your standard green uh, that we normally get from our mats. Uh, 136846 is your item number. Right then, let's go back uh, to our Angie. <laughs> right, I'm ready. I'm trimming round four. <laughs> round four, we're round trimming four. round four. <laughs> so I've already trimmed two sides because I'm... I'm really keen to get to this uh, to finish in the the block. So I oh, know we're going, we're running We've short got three on time. Minutes. Yeah, we're not going to do it, are we? <laughs> so I've got round four. You can see there a dotted line square with round four written on it, and I've got those white dotted lines lining up with that angle too. And so we're just going to trim two sides, and then you can see now. Um, this is what I was saying about adding the next round. Can you see? You think, oh, my fabric's not long yeah. enough. I must have cut it wrong, and I was double checking the measurements when I first used this tool. But no, it's 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 great fabric saving actually. So we're going to add another round. I'm going to keep going, um, Adam, because I don't think we're going to get to the end to add the corners. And then if you can let me know when we have a little bit of just the last bit of time. We've got two two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. <laughs> we're, more, was... we're more or less there. Okay. Two minutes is what we've got. So, let me just add another couple of pieces and then Remember I will... Remember, full online tutorials just as well with these the ones. You're never on your own with Creative Grids. Rachel and her team do an amazing job. Are we afraid she's watching? Rachel, if you're watching, hi. She watched the last show, actually. Yeah. Yeah. She would have what? seen my names on it. She's like, <laughs> I'll watch Phil and Holly, to be honest. <laughs> 
So if we, I just want to just talk about if we were adding the very final corner. That's fine, we've got a minute to do it in. Yeah, so if you, uh, well, as I said, you can get to round six, so we needed to do another another another, another yeah. plane and another colour really so um or so you can stop at any of those on then six um um eight or ten and then you add a corner you can see it's not just a strip it's actually a corner that you're adding so when you get to the final round again you will use even if it's um we said even numbers we trim square but wh wherever you decide to finish because you're going to be adding a triangle so that, again, the instructions tell you for the different blocks, cut a square, such X size, cut it in half, and you're actually going to be adding a triangle to the final corner you... to make that a full square. You can stop there, I'm guessing, if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you, all, all it is is working out the maths of what, you know, you could stop, stop at this smaller size, but of course this is going to fit because it's meant to go a little bit bigger. But what we do before we add that, all the instructions tell you to again use that white 45 degree angle. So what I'd need to do there is to just line that up on that last corner, trim that little bit off, and that's where then I'd add my square. We've only got 15 seconds left. There. All of this will be <laughs> on the website as well. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Oh, you're welcome. Always a pleasure. See, so much to cram in in so little time. I've only got four or three seconds left. Uh, don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. I'll see you in an hour. Bye. See, even that lady in the back is using a template. Look, templates are handy, but she's doing a llama. Uh, Ranger, Mixed Media's up next. Then join me and Anne Lou for uh, the one day special. There's a handmade by Hayley. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows.
A very good morning. How are you? Are you having a lovely morning with us here at the craft store? I hope you are. Did you know we are live all the way through until 10 p.m. every single day? And then we go on to repeat overnight. So you can craft and get inspiration 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We'll always be here for you. And you can see shows on Rewind. So if you see the show today, ho, 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 I need another coffee. If you see the show today and you like what you see and you want to see it again, stop saying see. Uh, you can do uh, because the shows will be available for you on Rewind. We've got a great show lined up all to do with mixed media and of course it comes to you from the wonderful house of ranger we've got leone with us as well so plenty of inspiration and demonstrations you can go to the website to see all of the items on the show and uh, and it gives you a chance of course uh, to shop ahead <laughs> Check out your baskets. Uh, right, I, as promised, our lovely Leone is here, and I have to shuffle out as Leone comes in because we're still socially distancing. So um, I'm actually just going to go. I'll see you later, though. So um, uh, Leone will come in, and I'll see you guys later. Right, I'm off to the garden. See you later, Leone. Bye. 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 Off Johnny's goes to the garden. I mean, the garden does move with the doors. But, um, hello and welcome. Sorry, let me put these in piles. Lovely to have your, um, is she still there? <laughs> Creeping behind us. Oh, she's actually gone. Um, okay, um, right, we have got some beautiful, beautiful products for us. Check out, have a look at the website, see what we've got. But we are starting with alcohol inks from Ranger. How much do I love alcohol inks? There's so much you can do with these products. And this is such a cool set. I'll be dead honest with you. This is the first time that I've played with pearl alcohol inks. Oh my gosh, this is well cool. Um, yeah, I am loving these colours. Uh, from Ranger, of course, you'll have seen so many artists use alcohol inks. Um, of course, Tim Holtz use alcohol inks. They're, they're huge. Now, because of the results that you can achieve. Now, you've got a really nice set of colours here. We've got the purples. I won't run through them all. We'll play. So you've got the purple, the green, the blue there, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. That gorgeous bright pink, which is amazing. Amazing. Um, this is lovely because that's kind of, um, it's called mineral, it, mineral. It's kind of um, a nice brown is that one. We've then got running along the bottom, uh, we have got the smolder. Mm. Um, we've then got splendor, which is a beautiful bright orange. We've got sublime, which is an amazing green. And then you need a cheeky bit of yellow in your life. Um, which is stunning, absolutely stunning. They've probably been mixed up because I had to take them to start swatching. Now, I haven't, because I didn't get all the colours, my swatches are all over the place, so I'm just going to show you all the swatches so you've got an idea in a moment's time. So that's your first kit. If you do want to go for these, £34.91, pence, uh, you are making a massive saving, £14.50 saving. Good grief. That's amazing. And your first payment is only 17.46. Essentially 14.50. That's nearly a month you've got free, isn't it? With that saving. Um, that is such a good price. Right, if you do want to go for these, obviously this is where I'm going to be concentrating this hour, alcohol links, because there's so much you can do with them. If you do want to go for these, um, that price is amazing. 545168. Now, that's your first collection of alcohol links. The second collection that we've got, uh, you've got different options. So it's really nice so if you are a beginner you don't want to go for the full lot and um, then you've got the smaller collection so your first one you've set of four so you've got your beautiful twilight we've also got in this one and the dawn not sure what you choose what your truth be known um, so you've Oh, I see. So this is twilight and then that's dawn. Right, so within the twilight, you have got uh, that beautiful deep red, and it's a gorgeous colour, is that one. That's deception. Um, you've then got the beautiful pink, and you can see the, the micro at the bottom there. That's your enchanted. The blue is fabulous. That is tranquil. And then that beautiful purple, which is villainous. So that's your first collection, which is marvellous. Um, that's your twilight. The next 
next collection that we've got, this is Dawn. And with this one, you've got your beautiful yellow, that's your alchemy. We've then got the pink there, which is your intrigue. The green that we've got in here is your sublime. And then the orange is your splendor. Now, these are repeated colors from the big set. So if you're going for the big set, you don't need these as well, because I do think they're all repeated. Now, these might, they, these are in the big and there's a bit of everything in here. Well, that's that sublime, that's that green for starters. Um, I love alcohol inks. They look, I mean, look at the shine on that. The pearlescent is beautiful. So that's that wonderful green. That's that orange, which again is amazing. That yellow that you are getting in the big set or of course in one of these sets. And then let me show you these. I've done these a bit smaller. So. You've got, and I love these because these are kind of earthy metallics, that lovely blue, that gorgeous pink, the yellow, that red is so nice and rich. Now, that's what they look like just on their own, but it's when you start playing with colours, when you start mixing them, when you start adding your alcohol ink, uh, sorry, your blending solution, and, oh, they're just dreamy. I mean, there is so much you can do with alcohol inks. When you start adding your mixatives as well, to create all of these wonderful colours. I mean, look at these. How beautiful is that? I mean, look at the sheen as well. <laughs> these are sensational colours. <laughs> um, can I, I'm going to share because I'm giggling now. Because, right, so in my head, the, bo the boys are on about letting Janice come out because basically Janice is in the garden, but at the minute she can't get back out. And it's a very small garden. It's about, there. It's about that big. It's almost the size of this screen to that there, you know, to the wall. That's almost the size of our garden. So it means Janice is stuck in there. And the boys were like, oh, well, we'll let her out. And, yeah, Chris, we're going to let her out. Whereas Ross was like, mm, shall, we, shall we let her out? It's actually quite, quite nice. Peaceful, they were saying, peaceful. Cruel Janice. And she's not even making any squawks, I hope she's all right. Um, anyway, if you do want that set, so you have got your choices. So only £15.96, yes, I love these. I highly recommend these. If you've never tried alcohol inks before, go for them. If you've got a new normal alcohol inks, go for these because they've got the pearlescent sheen and they will mix perfectly with your regular alcohol inks. And oh my gosh, they're amazing. Uh, 626-806. Seven six pounds there. Now we've also got your mixative kit. Now in my mixative kit, I've got more than these, but you've got two. <laughs> uh, so you've got the rose gold and the gum metal. Now mixtives are gorgeous because these add um, a real bling to your work. I've just done one with a mixative here, and can you see now? It's the one. Can you see on that one the the higher sheen? That's your mixative. You can proper see that. I mean, these just look amazing. It's one of those, when you're creating a piece, they look sensational because they give you that wow factor. Um, highly recommend going for your mixtapes. Now, you've got two of those, of course. If you do want to go for those, £9.99. £9. Obviously, if you're going for your big set, you've got a flexi with that. So I would definitely recommend you pop these into your big set um, and then obviously split the cost. Um, if you do want those, that is 246-532, uh, your item number. Am I on number three or number two? Number two, I know. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's because one's green and one's red and I couldn't remember which were the one that we're on. <sighs> um, okay, if you want them, check your baskets out. Next, um, we've got for you, these are cool. I really like these, your storage boxes. Now, you are getting three of your storage boxes. They will nest together if you want them to. So they, I really like these because they're a bit different. Um, you've got your little hangers, so you can, of course, stick them on the wall if you want to. And there's loads of ways you can decorate these. Um, they're that kind of thing that, like, if you've got beautiful papers that are going to look amazing. You know, if you've got your Stamperia papers, your Graphic 45 papers, decorating these it's going to look absolutely beautiful but but if you've got now your alcohol inks you can't use immediately on these i mean you can but they're not going to move properly because obviously this is super porous and your alcohol inks need non-porous sur surfaces but but you could put like say you're doing an alcohol ink background 
like so. So say you did big pieces of UPO paper, you could then cut them out and actually cover it with the UPO, with the, the beautiful alcohol inks. So you could get some incredible finishes on these. There's tons you can do with them. I like the, the big surface area that you've got to work with as well. I like the price, 13 pounds and 99 pence. That's cracking. And that's for all three. Do you know what, if you are making to sell, so, if you were actually making just one of these and selling one of them, because think about, like, you could do some really nice um, 3D work in there. And then, if you're selling it, I mean, five, six, one, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you could sell that. I mean, it's what? Costing you maybe a fiver for that one, say, because that's going to be more expensive. When you've decorated that, selling that for 15 quid, you know what I mean? This is a really, really good price. £13.99. pence. Yeah, like those. That saving is huge. Um, if you do want to get hold of those, brilliant for your mixed media. That is 521175, your item number. Now, they're super busy. So if you do want those, um, I would urge you to check your passkits out with those. I'm not surprised. I'd say when you're talking mixed media, you need to think about what you're doing with your papers, what you're doing with all your beautiful uh, flowers, all the things you're, you're actually making and this is when we need our, our bases isn't it to work on yep like them we've got more gorgeousness for you to work on the next ones are your trays again this is your plywood so it's your really light wood is this one um but so for decoration i mean you're not going to be using these practically you know because they're not strong enough to use practically you know don't put your breakfast on it don't put your cup of tea and your your like your your bowl of porridge however if these were actually on your table as decorative um as decorative trays definitely by all means because these are absolutely lovely and again depending what you're using i mean if you use your um oh your power text on these make them weatherproof and you could stick them outside with plants in if you decorate them for the home they're going to look really nice hung up so if you're actually decorating them making them into your 3d you know because they are you've got a really nice depth in there so make them into a 3d um wall hanging they'll look absolutely gorgeous and again they're a tenner so if you are making to sell that is a really really good price um and they're beautiful to decorate they're porous so it means you can paint them you can stencil on them um, you can use a multitude of products on those and yeah really nice I mean your rice papers are going to be gorgeous on those at uh, £9.99 £9 is your price 246984 is your item number now I really like this set this is cracking because you're getting a set of six same idea same principle so lightweight so you wouldn't be using these for practical like proper trays you know again you're not sticking your dinner on it however i need to stop talking about food i'm so hungry however with these look you get a set of six nested if you are thinking rice paper if you are thinking again like you could have it this way you could have your rice paper in the back you could then have all your gorgeous flowers you know you could really embellish this so you could have a really beautiful it's almost like a shadow box but because it's a tray, it looks a little bit different. And they look good however you hang them. I mean, think about that with a beautiful floral display coming up in that. Uh, you could make these look amazing, but look at your sizes. Has it got the sizes, actually, our Ross? Because smallest to the largest. I will, we'll get this one measured because we've got over on my desk, we've actually got um, a glass mat with measurements on it. So, oh, okay, so this is 44 by 30, so that's okay, that's your largest. So the, that's your largest, 44 by 30, and that's 29 by 15, so 29 by 16. Um, so that, I mean, when you look at that, that is huge. So again, if you are creating some mixed media pieces in that, that is going to look amazing. Really, really like these, and 24.99 for six pieces. Again, that's such good value for money. Um, for, uh, for making to sell, making for presents, they're absolutely beautiful. And you see, I said obviously don't use them as practical trays, but if you decorate that and then put, I don't know, maybe it's a baby shower, so you're putting loads of little baby things in, wrapping it up, that would look absolutely beautiful. It absolutely is part of the gift. Yep, sweets for Christmas. I mean, the bigger ones, you could definitely put um, a bottle of wine, a couple of bottles of wine in there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Chris Rappy with that. Yeah, you could fit, you could fit some booze in that beer. 
bottles of nice beer in there are, Chris. <laughs> right? And some nuts. And a packet of crisps. Oh, imagine. And some, um, so, yeah. I were gonna. I, can't, I was thinking of trying to think of other little treats when you're having booze, but it is just basically crisps and nuts. Um, now, if you do, obviously drink responsibly. No, not going there. Um, seven three three two zero nine is your item number. Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Really good set is that one. Now next, I haven't had time to play with anything yet. However. This is cracking. Uh, so, you know when you put, do glazes and sometimes you'll use a resin to do the glaze. With the resin, you have to mix it, you know, you have to do your two part and wait for it to set, etc, etc. This, already pre-mixed from Decor, so you know it's good quality, good brand, but it'll give you that amazing clear top coat, which means when you have created maybe a beautiful um, piece of artwork from your youth, but it could be anything. If you make a beautiful piece of artwork, you put this over the top and it'll look like you've got a resin coat over the top. So it gives you that super professional finish. Um, it is a very high gloss, so it'll give you that super shine, which will look amazing. You will use this on top. Maybe you've done your rice paper at the bottom. So if you've done your rice paper there and then put a top coat of that over the top, it'll make it more durable, but it'll then fix it. So it means with something like this, um, it then protects it, of course. Really good stuff is that. £19.99, you are saving £5. You're getting a huge tub there. Um, 234067 is your item number. Really recommend that. And Decor is a good quality product as well, good quality brand. Um, they make loads of mixed media products. They make some, I mean, Decor have been going for years, absolutely years. So they make things like fork paints and stuff like that. So, yeah, good quality. Um, next. Now, Ciao Bella. This is from Ciao Bella. Um, and you've got a set of five rice paper. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the heron. Um, oh, it's lovely as this set. Uh, this collection, we had this collection. Mm, I'm not quite sure how long ago it was now. Maybe a couple of months. But this is just dreamy. That is going to sit in your beautiful nested um, trays wonderfully. And obviously something like that. You can just pick out the, the heron if you want. Because it's rice paper, you can just tear parts out and then the rest decorate with your paints, decorate with your stencils. It's absolutely sensational. Um, and I love it because it's, it's one of them. It is, it, it's just got a, a dreamy look to it. It's just got a really chilled out look to it, hasn't it? And it absolutely, I said this when we had this range, the Delta range, it absolutely reminds me of the holidays because we went down the, the south of America, you know, where obviously down Mrs. Um, yeah, Mississippi. And that's obvious, you know, you, you see all the, the beautiful reeds and stuff like that. It's just fabulous. Um, now, only £9.99, £9 you've got five sheets there. Um, and that one, of course, gorgeous, brand new today. That is 652-288 is your item number. Yeah, it looked beautiful in the trays, beautiful. It's playing with frogs. It's playing with frogs. It's playing with them, not catching them. Um, so, uh, that's your beautiful rice paper, five sheets there. Okay, next we've got for you, your 12 by 12 papers. Now, this will match with your rice papers. This is all part of that Delta um, collection and of course with something like this again the the artwork is beautiful now 12 sheets they are double-sided they are the same so it isn't a collection it isn't different ones they're all exactly the same so one side you've got that beautiful paper see again lining your trays with that will look amazing and because you're getting 12 sheets you could line your trays with this but then you've got loads of lovely embellishments. Um, and these are well cool because you've got like this one, you start cutting into it, you know, to make it look like a lovely pocket. You've got things you'll use for bookmarks or, you know, um, just your embellishments. There's loads of different embellishments on there. It's a really handy little set is this, especially when you are using it for your mixed media. And I do love, I mean, that, is beautiful. Now, £9.99, you are getting 12 sheets there. 999-747 is your item number. Now, next, balls. Shall I bring these in rather than keep trying to move? Now, you are getting a set of two. The reason these have been put on, for starters, you could use them with your rice papers. So you could actually decorate your, your and they're huge. 
big, big balls. Um, you could decorate these with your rice papers. You could put them inside. I feel like I'm going to tell someone's fortune with this. Isn't it? it feels like a crystal ball. I'm going to have some dinner soon. I'm so hungry. And please could I have a glass of water? <laughs> Thank you. Um, it can be when I get to demo area. That's fine, Ryan. When I get to demo area, that'll be super. I've actually... Hey, I might have. I might have already put a bottle of water under my thing. I might have actually put one and preempt myself. Um, anyway, I'm not telling people's fortunes. So you can decorate this in loads of ways. So you could put rice paper on the outside or on the inside. Might be a green bottle of water under there. On my, where my demo is, no. Um, so, um, you could put, yeah, you could put, no, that's empty coffee. Um, but you could put rice paper inside, outside, but these will be absolutely amazing with your alcohol ink because your alcohol ink works superb on non-porous surfaces. So they will work beautifully on your alcohol inks. So you could decorate the inside of the outside, but then you could put lights on it. It would look amazing, quite frankly. Um, absolutely amazing. I mean, get these as well if you're thinking of Christmas, because these will look superb at Christmas. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence, that's your price. You could make the biggest snow globes in the world. And you have got the little tops on those as well. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence is your price. If you do want to get hold of those, please, please check out your baskets. Because what you want to be doing is absolutely making the most out of these prices. Um, and obviously, with everything that we've got today, we have got that flexi. So if you are going for your alcohol ink stuff, then make the most out of that flexi as well. Um, if you have any questions, email in. But please do check out that website. We've got everything on the website for you. Um, and it's a great way to shop. Now, very quickly on Mod Podge. Now, I've not used this before either a spray Mod Podge adhesive. Now, Mod Podge is one of those glues that's been around for years, and there's so many different types of application. I mean, we talk about rice paper, this will be brilliant because it's a glue, but it is a sealer as well, varnish and sealer. So it's really, really handy is this. And I love the fact that it's a spray nozzle because it means you're gonna be able to get in those, um, those really awkward surfaces, and it means it's gonna be quick. Now, only $12.99, high gloss there. That is 437195, your item number. Next. Now, I'm thinking about it now, but we obviously should have put the alcohol ink essentials right next to the alcohol inks, shouldn't we? Why? Did, yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, but you've got your alcohol ink essentials. These do, of course, work with the alcohol inks. So first of all, uh, we have got the pen. It was one of them. We were rushing about, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the pen. Now, the pen you fill with your blender solution. Um, it's got um, a fatter and a thinner nib. So you put your out blender solution in there, which means you can write into your alcohol ink. So you can actually start um, being quite specific with your, your application. Um, and alcohol inks are quite fluid, you know, they, they just go for it. But with this, you can lift, essentially you're lifting the alcohol ink color out of your design. So it allows you to create different looks. You've then got the blending solution. Blending solution is essential. You need that. When you use an alcohol inks, you need that because it creates so many cool effects. And then you've got your spritzer. The reason this has been put in, because if you put your blending solution in there, you can create some really cool effects. Only $12.97 for that lovely collection. 311-060, your item number. Now, next, the air blower. You need this. So it is a Tim Holtz product. If you are going um, with your alcohol inks, again, this works with your alcohol inks. Um, so if you're using your alcohol inks, this is highly, highly recommended. It's a nice big blower, so you're going to get a lot of puff out of that in one go. Um, actually, I'll tell you what, this is essential, and it's dead easy to use. It's a really nice, easy um, an, a bag, shall we say. A really nice, easy air bag to squidge is that one. It's absolutely essential please make sure and it's got a really nice long nozzle as well so you can get into your detailed areas um now one double zero zero two zero is your item number for that only 14.99 highly recommended as is upo paper upo paper is such a good surface to work on and with the upo set paper Hello, we've got a cup as well. It is a product. It is a product. I love it. Chris just thought we'd left our brew. That's hilarious. 
Chris were like, <laughs> you've left your brew. <laughs> no, product, Chris, product. <laughs> um, so what you've got, your Yupo paper. Yupo paper has such a good surface. It's such an interesting product because Yupo paper is super non-absorbent, which allows your alcohol ink to move beautifully. I really recommend this stuff. You are getting, how many sheets? 10 sheets there uh, for just 11 .99. Really recommend this. Get hold of this because your alcohol links are just a dream on it. 181375 is your item number. Last but not least, me brew. <laughs> the reason, now you are going to get 12 of these. I've only been sent one as well. How much are they for 12 cups then? I did actually think we were only selling one which would have been quite an expensive cup. Uh, 25 99 for 12 of those now. The reason we've got these again is for alcohol inks. Your alcohol inks are going to look amazing on this. And it's one of those you can decorate all your alcohol ink mugs and seriously, they will look so good. And that's why we've got the mugs on here. And um, 434, no, 424. 393 is your item number. You do get 12 of those. All right, check out the website. You've got loads of goodies on the website. All the beautiful alcohol links. I mean, you have got so many beautiful colours. Please make sure you experiment with these. I mean, the colours are amazing. The things you can do with these. I mean, it's one of those. Once you start experimenting, once you start playing, you will absolutely, well, you'll get addicted because it's, um, it's just such good fun, quite frankly. If there's anything you want, check out your baskets. If you have any questions, um, email in and I will do my best. I am going to have to take a slurp of water while you just look at that. So thirsty. Um, okay. Oh, I've got to stay hydrated. Um, okay, you pop paper. Alcohol inks. So first things first, let's just play with basic alcohol inks. Um, if you've already played with alcohol inks and you've seen this before, I apologise, but I don't really because it's one of those alcohol inks that it's it just it's a gift that keeps on giving. These are seriously fun. So the the easiest way to apply alcohol ink uh, with these, first of all, you will find that uh, the, you've got the mica in because they're a pearl essence, so the mica obviously sits. So it's got a ball in there, you can hear it, it's got a metal burr in. So give it a shake and that will mix the actual mica in with your alcohol ink. And you can see it's completely mixed, there's nothing there. So then just start applying. Now it's up to you, you might want to, um, you might want to create movement straight away. So if I pop a little pen under there, I can get my alcohol ink to move straight away. You might not, it's up to you. So. First things first, let's put a little drop of alcohol ink on there, like so. Okay, so this is that beautiful pink. I'm then going to bring a bit of the blue. And I'm going to pop that here as well. And you can see already the movement. I mean, the movement of these is just exquisite. And I'm going to have them, so some of them blend, but some of them are actually um, not blending. And look at the shine. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Oh, it's so good. It's such good fun. Now, blending solution. Your blending solution lightens your alcohol ink. It also allows it to move more. So just a few drips of my blending solution, and you can see that going. Okay. Now watch. Get this. Okay. And then, look. You can start to make it move. Now, this is the easiest thing to do ever okay this takes no skill you're literally just blowing the alcohol ink and moving it i tell you what though no skill but it looks amazing you can create the most beautiful backgrounds you can create the most effective um pieces of artwork and obviously we can carry on i'm going to take the pens away for now because because then i can just carry on playing um i'm going to pop more pink on this side I'm going to get these two to mix. Now, the beautiful thing with this, look, it doesn't matter that that first layer is already dried because, see, doesn't it look good? And it's one of those, the movement is sensational. The extra colours, the extra colours that you start creating, because you can see the purple going on in there, which is sensational. If I bring my blending solution in again, because at the minute, the way it is, okay, if I try and make that move, 
because it's drying so quick, you haven't got much movement there. Or it's different because look, you can see, you can see it's, it doesn't do as much um, to move it. Your blending solution, however, you can see straight away. Blending solution, you can, if there's anything you don't like, just stick your blending solution on it and it just it's almost like um it, it's almost like it erases it or it just allows it to move so then again now i can just start to make that move how fabulous isn't it gorgeous i mean the colors are gorgeous the way it moves is sensational and it's just that that beautiful finish that you get on this thing is with it as well um it's, it is very organic. You never really know what you're going to get, but you'll learn techniques. And your different techniques that you learn will um, allow you to create different looks. Now, this one I love doing. Because can you see you're getting that gorgeous veins of colour? Which looks so interesting. So just allowing it to be quite specific. There, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? And it's one of those that, I mean... it. You could with this one. You can stamp over it. If you use archival, you can stamp over it. You can obviously, with something like this, you can die cut it. But just as a background, it looks absolutely amazing. And those colours are divine. So we can have that one there. And then coming in from the other side, let's get a different blue. So let's have another one coming in and um, merging into these. So I'm going to add the different, the other blue that you've got in that set. And I'm only using a couple of drops. I mean, there's three drops there. That is it. And I'm using that beautiful purple as well here. So let's mix these colours together. I've already been playing with these, so they don't need too much um, mixing because it's already, it's already got a bit of mixing going on. Just a bit of purple. Getting a bit more carried away with the purple, which means let's add a bit more blue in. And I, I love the way it just, the colour dances. As soon as you put them on, it just, the movement is sensational. And then let's put on your blending solution. Like so. So again, I'm getting quite a bit of blending. Mm -hmm. The movement, I love it. Chris is loving this in the end. And then, no, it's really nice. So then, let's just do this. So I'm getting these colours now and i want them to mix with the other so look at that isn't that just beautiful the air blow is amazing the air blow you do need i mean it's it's tim Holtz, but it's just one of those that you'll use so much when you're when you're using your alcohol inks because it just makes life a bit easier because otherwise try and do this with your straw meh you don't want to do that there we go and just and you can be dead specific. And the thing is, when it's when it's drying, you can see how you get these really nice sort of, it forces it to dry almost. So you get these serious veins of colour. And you can see there it's still a bit wet. So I can still get a little bit of movement. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? And I, I just, I just think it's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Now with this, I think that is still a little bit tacky. It does need to be tacky and sometimes it'll stay tacky. Um, and when it's still tacky, I don't know if I've managed to, if I've caught it in time. The other bit is still wet, so I need to leave. I don't want to put the foil in the wet bit. But... Your little tacky bits, theoretically, your foil should stick to it. Just depends how tacky it is. Let's see. And it'll only be little bits. But sometimes... Oh, it didn't with that one. Oh, a tiniest bit on there. The tiniest bit that were tacky. I'll try and do it with this one, but that is still wet, you see. Let me just... No, don't put your finger in it, Leona. You can tell it's still wet. You can see it's still wet. It's really obvious. Look. So that's still a bit wet. Sometimes, oh, I love this. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes it's wet enough for you to foil, you see. Let's see. It's just getting it in the right. Let's have a no, sorry. It's using the right foil. I might have picked up the wrong foil. I don't think I have, though. Oh, I have. Got it. Can you see? Got the foil. So sometimes you can get a bit of foiling in it if you're quick enough when your ink's still wet. And look, look, look along the edges there. 
That looks super cool. Okay, so that's one way of using, okay? So that's dead easy. You're just dripping it on, you're using your, your blending, and then you're getting that wonderful movement. Now, let's bring in some of your fixatives as well, because your fixatives are absolutely gorgeous. So, first of all, let's go on with um, yellow. Now, if you want to, you could put blending solution on first. So, say I went on just with some blending solution, okay? And I'm actually going to get one of my paintbrushes. I'm going to try and use one of my paintbrushes that, oh, I'm, I'm too slow. It'll dry by the time I get on there because I'm being too fussy with my paintbrushes. Um, so get on with my paintbrush like so. And then go on with my yellow and watch it move. Can you see now? So because I've got my blending solution, it's really, and I'll show you where there isn't blending solution. See, can you see how much it moves? And that's because the blending solution is already on there. So it's already um, a wet surface, if you will. So it allows it to move really, really beautifully. I mean, you can with your, your blending solution and your alcohol ink, you can still blend it out. So you get like um, a really soft wash. So you can do sort of backgrounds with it that look really effective, uh, more of a, a colour wash background. So you don't have to do all our really, you know, cool sort of um, weird and wonderful backgrounds. You can still create almost watercolour backgrounds with it. So if I just add my yellow now, and my orange, sorry. But I must admit, I, I still, for me, it is still the weird and wonderful backgrounds that you can do with alcohol links. But sing to me okay and then i forgot what i was gonna do oh mixatives i was gonna do mixatives i'm doing something else now instead so just another bit of blending solution there you do go i go through quite a bit of blending solution like that and then put the red on so we've got a cheeky bit of sunset going on so you can create really nice backgrounds i need a bit more red there don't i I'm being a bit um, frugal with it. Okay, so say you've created your, your really nice soft background, but then on that you can then start to, to work. Obviously, you can create different things. So if you wanted to, now blending solution, I'm probably going to have to pinch our blending solution that we've got on set because I'm going to pop some of the blending solution in my spritzer bottle. Okay, I'm not going to fill it. I'm just going to put a little bit in the spritzer bottle. So remember, this does come with the blending solution. Try and remember to put your, your lids back on alcohol inks. They are an alcohol ink, and obviously the alcohol um, will just evaporate. So try and put your, your lids back on. And then with this, now let me see if this will work, because it's only light. So can you see what happens? You know, like when we do the water technique, Obviously, with your water technique, water wouldn't work on your alcohol ink. It's not going to shift it. Your blending solution will. So it works. Can you see where that's moved? So you've got that really nice sort of pitted effect on there. And that's because of your blending solution. So your blending solution allows it to move and it allows it to start um, to react again so you create a background but then obviously you can start shifting it now my blending solution i'm taking my my little old piece of felt and it's felt it isn't um foam it's a felt because you don't want it to pick up too much and if it's a sponge it'll just seep everything up but then have a look at that so then you get that beautiful so and i cut that down as soon as you cut it down it looks completely different but then you get that lovely sort of pitted surface which i think looks absolutely amazing um now we've had an email from Anne. hi there lovely Anne. she says hiya, hiya. um uh, she loves alcohol links she all heartedly agrees she's been using um the ranger inks for years and she says quality is best absolutely and they're beautiful i mean they're beautiful oh and if you've got any pictures send them in because we would love to see what you've been creating at home as well and obviously things like this you can create so many different looks so please do inspire us okay i will use the fixatives let's go on and if you do have questions email in now that is lovely this is your first coat so your alcohol links go on first 
So this one is your, what's that one called? I don't know. Why do, yeah, mineral. So that's your mineral. That is divine. Absolutely divine. Isn't it lovely? I'm using the really nice dark blue with this one. And when you put, I mean, when you just lay your alcohol inks, um, that in its own right looks so good. Look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? It almost, I mean, just, just bits of alcohol ink. Looks so good. So a bit of alcohol ink there. The, it almost looks like um, a rock formation, doesn't it, or something? Oh, that's such good colours together. That makes me so happy. And then let's go in with a fixative okay so we've got our mixative not fixative so you've got your rose gold or you've got your gun metal they come together in the same collection so i will use my rose gold now again you need to give them a shake get that all shook up so it's all mixed beautifully and then what you're going to do is add this to your piece so just add in little drips there so at first it just sort of sits because it's a different consistency, but then bring in your good old alcohol blending solution. And this is when it all starts to break up. Oh, and the colours. Look at that. It's so cool. And then let's get it moving. I'll just create, I'll get it to move at the edge as well. So let's me edges move. Oh, I love it. Look at the way it all merges. Isn't it cool? <laughs> That's ace, isn't it? The movement is amazing. It's a little bit like magic, but hold on. Because, look. Look at that, though. The colours when you start moving this out. So now you get the colours, but can you see the mixtures? Now it's really interesting. Because you'll get, you'll get those beautiful veins of colour coming through stunning 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 and you can see is it working again look look I just took it out my belt the look look at that color it's the way everything moves together it's the the actual effect that that mixative creates as well i might have blended it a bit oh no i haven't you can still see it <laughs> look at this i mean those colors right i think i'm happy with that now look when that dries can you see when i tilt that look at that is that not just beautiful I mean, and what I love as well, on the edges, you've got that really nice, this kind of a thick uh, finish to it. That is beautiful. It's just beautiful. And with that as well, so if you take something like that and just add a tiny spritz, look at that. Did you see that? That is a tiny spritz of your blending. Doesn't that look cool? absolutely cool now i'm gonna um you might not hear me anymore so just in case you can't uh, janice is going to take over thanks leone <laughs> um we're just going to change leone's microphone but in the meantime let's have a reminder of the inks that we've got aren't those demonstrations absolutely fantastic great inspirational work there from leone but you know what when you get these home you'll be able to do the same. Uh, now, we've got a set of nine for you, although one of mine is missing uh, because Leonie has it with her. But let me show you the swatch that we've got, and then we'll show you still the items that you're getting. But the effects that you can make and create with these are absolutely remarkable. Just by placing the ink onto the paper, uh, whether it be that UPO paper that you're using, and then to move those inks around. When you have a look at these, they look like flower heads. So for me... I would go into the center there. I would probably put in uh, the center of the flower. So that's a lovely idea. Or you could break that up and you could have that as different styles and different patterns. Uh, and again, if you're going for anything else in the show, like those wonderful birdhouse style um, designs that we've got, all the trays, you could cut those up and you could place them on as well. So let's have a look at the full set of nine that you're getting. It's available on two 
payments on FlexiBuy, £17.46 being your first payment today, and another payment of the same in a month's time, you're getting nine. So the colours that you're getting in this set, you've got Alchemy, you've got Celestial, you've got Envy, you've got Intrigue, you've got Mineral, Smolder, Splendour, Sublime and villainous, ooh, like a bit of villainous. Um, um, in the colours, you've got some beautiful magentas, some yellow, some golds in there, and some blues and greens, but at it, that, shall I say, is a fabulous set. Uh, right, another set for you. If your budget doesn't quite stretch to that, uh, we have got two sets of four, so maybe this is what you want to go for. Uh, so your first set at the top is your Twilight set. Um, and in there you've got Deception. Love these colour names. You've got Enchanted, you've got Tranquil, and you've got Villainous in there as well. And some really nice deep colours in there. Absolutely adore that one. And then your second set down at the bottom is your Dawn so you've got your alchemy in here, you've got your intrigue, you've got sublime, and you've got your splendor. So two mini sets of the uh, nine. And just to show you, I'm going to show you the whole of these together just to see those wonderful colours. Uh, if you do want to get the set of four, the details are on your screen at the moment. £15.96 if your budget goes to that. 626806. So that's the collection of the colours. Um, I believe that one is from the bottom set. Uh, 626806 is your item number. Uh, now we were watching the way the inks moved around the paper with a little poofing from our Leone, uh, but something that made them really, really extra special are the mixatives. Oh my goodness. Didn't they look amazing? Absolutely fascinating to watch. I could probably just replay that part of the show. Not that I'd want, not want to see Leone in the other parts of the show, but I'd like to play that part of the show just to watch the mixing. Really is incredible. So your mixatives uh, will truly sh uh, change the way your images look and your patterns look. So you've got your gum metal and your rose gold, and you can see there just tilting that forward and back, uh, that shine that it adds to your projects. 246532 is the item number when you pop those into your basket. Now, these storage boxes, love these. These are made of a light wood. It's almost like a balsa wood. What I love about these, first of all, they've realised that you might want to put these on the wall. So let's turn this around. You've got the hook already there for you. So you could put uh, a nail into the wall. Do check what kind of walls you have. Uh, but you could place that on there, which would look great. For me, I think the smaller one, what I'd use that for, I'd put some rice papers on there. I'd paint it up. Maybe some texture paste and things like that. And inside, I'd put uh, an LED tea light. I think that would look really, really nice. Um, and then pop that on the wall, probably in the bathroom. That would look great. Or in an area where you need a little bit of extra light, but you don't want to have a big light on. Um, they could be little beach huts as well. So something for the bathroom. Don't forget, you could also give these as a gift as well. I and mean, if you place it down like so, you could actually put some elements for a bathroom in there. And then when they take the elements out, they could also pop that onto the wall as well. Maybe a picture of your favourite place in the background. And then you could add some uh, seaweed at the bottom and things like that, which would look really, really cool. Again, I would probably think of a project putting some paint on here, some texture paste. And then maybe putting something on here that's very, very protective. So I'd put it outside and I'd put it in the wall in the garden. So it would just highlight an area in the garden, which would look really nice. Um, I think they're absolutely fantastic. And look at the price, £13.99. That's for all three. As Leone said before, if you're making and creating, you're going to make some money on those, aren't you? Or you're making and creating to give. So these would be wonderful, wonderful gifts for you. Um, so a set of three, pop them in your basket and you can have those. Now we've got a set of trays for you, two sets. The first one has two trays in it. Um, do you know what? I love taking old trays and then putting rice paper on and doing them up a little bit. Uh, well, these are already made for you. Now, they're lightweight, so the possibility of using these for your teas and coffee, not a great idea. Uh, but something like this is a decorative. Or, again, thinking about it as a gift. Put your rice papers in there. Maybe go for some of the top coat pour that we've got available for you. I've got my eye on that myself. You could put that into the centre so it keeps it nice and protected. So if you do put some gifts in there, some soaps, 
some cakes. Uh, when somebody has devoured the soaps and cakes, don't eat soap, just use it. Um, you're left with a nice decorative tray to place somewhere, which is really nice. So you get two of those, £9.99. Again, a great price, 246984. It's a good idea. If you're putting paper on those, great. But if you're going to paint onto them, put a little bit of gesso on there. Now we've got a set of six for you. Isn't this wonderful? Um, if you're thinking about making and creating to sell online, this could be your first journey uh, and your first sales that you make. Uh, I think they're wonderful. Now you've got six and they uh, go up in size. Do we know the largest one? The largest one is 44 by 30 centimeters. Again, lightweight to work with but a good size to put your decorative items in there. And then the smallest one is 29 by 16. Um, and these would be easy to pop onto the wall. Just bear in mind that you've got that little lip at the back, but you might have some fixings that you could put on there. So I think that would look nice on the wall. It could be like a new home. You could um, do some designs in there and put people's names in or, or what or what have you. I love that saying. You can do that or what have you. Um, right, a set of six, £24.99. Absolutely incredible deal. Now, we've got some uh, large ball balls. And we love a good large ball ball at Christmas, don't we? It's a real impact piece. And you've got two big balls here, 9 99 485 Four six two is your item number, and they're brand new today. Um, put some. Um, do you know what? It'd be really nice. You know that Angelina, the fine hair stuff uh, that you could get from us. That would look really nice in there, or some really nice white shiny ribbon and things. Uh, we've got uh, an ink essentials bundle for you next. We'll bring the details up for this. Uh, now, this is great for blending your alcohol with a pen. Uh, and you've also got your mixer and your blending solution. 311062 is your item number. Um, and that is a great deal. It's only £12.97. And we also have the air blower. This is brilliant. It really, really is. You don't want to be using straws to blow into ink. You don't want to be using straws to disperse any of your watercolour inks or anything like that. Use a blower. You can control it a little bit more, but you can also make some great techniques with that. And it's really good and sturdy. £14.99, 100020 is your item number right let's head back to leone remember if you've got any questions any make sure to send in it's studio at the craftstore.com what have you got now leone for us okay okay um so what i want to and i do apologize if you couldn't hear me before it's because my microphone had dropped around by my stomach so that's why you couldn't hear me <laughs> you were like you're like leone where is she I'm like oh yeah it's down my top somewhere <laughs> I know, I'm proper hungry. Down there it was. Anyway, um, so I wanted to show you different finishes because uh, you did hear me quite well considering. I mean, look at that difference. Now that is dripping it on, okay, and obviously blowing it, but this is applying it with your, your um, applicator. So I'm going to show you that as well. This is when I first used alcohol inks. This was how I used them right at the beginning. So yeah, I used an applicator, used a felt, and then just start a popping on my um, my ink. So I'm going to use a mixture of colours. And I must admit, when I first started using alcohol inks, gosh, it's many, many moons ago now, um, I was taken straight away. And it's one of those, right, so your different surfaces, it's one of those that you'll use on different surfaces. So I'm using them on your pulp paper because when you apply it, I mean, you can see, the, the way you apply it changes the look of it as well. So if you just, like, boing it, like I'm doing here, so pouncing it, you get that movement, which will look different from if you just swipe it down. Swiping it down is boring. You want to boing it. I mean, it's no, it's up to you what and what effects you want. Um, so do that first of all, and I won't do the full thing just because of time, because I want to layer up some different colours. So that's my, my first one. Uh, my second colour that I'm going to go on with this, I'm actually going to go on with the pink on top of this just to see what it does. So I'm going to take that beautiful pink. Remember, if you have got normal alcohol inks as well, these will mix and blend with your normal alcohol inks. So it's not going to be like these are replacing them, or these are, um, you know, these are... Um, instead or they won't they won't blend it absolutely well and you can see with that one 
it's interesting because going with a, a dark, a dark first and then the lighter, it's kind of the the reverse of what you normally do. But actually, you can see it breaks it up beautifully. So it's breaking up the red. And can you see the different movement on it? I mean, oh, I love alkaline. So you've got that really nice sort of colour combination, which looks really quite cool. I am going to put a little bit more pink. And you can see the pink coming through. I mean, it is amazing alkaline. It's one of those that you never stop experimenting with because it, it keeps that. Don't, don't just think, well, I wonder what that will do. Try it. Have a go because it's one of those. I mean, I've, I've used a little bit of paper. If I don't like it, you get your blending solution to it and just knock it back or, or take it off altogether. So it's, it's almost like you're not going to waste it. You know, you're not going to ruin it, but you can get some incredible results. So that's the pink over the red. I'm then going to take another felt. Now I'm using felt, not sponges. Um, and this is important because I think, is there another lighter? There's another blue over there, isn't there? I think. The blue I have got is Celestial. Is there only one blue? Oh, is there? Oh, ignore me. Ignore. Oh, well, no. Ah, the thing is, I have got two. I've got Tranquil. There you go. That's the set of four. Okay. I knew the. See, I knew there were two blues, and I had them both. Um, so I've got the tranquil here. There you go. So ah yeah, see, your set of four isn't all the same. Ignore me. Ignore me and everything I tell you. Right. Look at the blue over the red. Oh, gorgeous. I must admit, I have I've played with so many alcohol inks doing this, and it never gets dull. I've only got a minute, so I'm just going to carry on really quickly do this. So adding your blue, really go for it now. But then to really blend it, you get your blending solution. So your blending solution will be going on the other side of that sponge like this. And then I'll just do a little corner just to show you. But look how it starts to move it. Look. Can you see? how that starts to blend it gives you a such an interesting finish right it's okay we have got another show what time's the show is it two two o'clock so we're back on at two with this show with the same product so i'll just do different um i'll just play I'll just do some more playing. Thank you, our Janice. Oh, thank you, Leonie. Truly inspirational. We'll see Leonie a little later on. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got more to shop for here at the craft store. Right, the one day special is up next with our Lou Sims and Catherine, handmade by Haley. after that. So look forward to that show. And then the Ranger Mix Media. It's Adam next, not Catherine. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimples shows and have some fun. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we're going to bring you 
our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, their world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for you. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Good afternoon, I hope you're well. It's 12 o'clock, it's another look at your one day special. But not only are we looking at your one day special, I was sort of meandering around the office earlier. Mask on, gloves on, full PPE and everything, as you do. And I thought, I want, not for Covid reasons, this is what I wear when I'm not on air and no one touches me, but... Back your distance. Uh, but I was wondering, I thought, I'll have a few happy hours as well. I saw things lying on people's desks, some stuff that shouldn't be on there, let's put it that way. But we've got a few happy hours added to this as well. So uh, I want you to shop ahead of me. I really want you to shop ahead because I've, I've pulled some strings. Pulled some strings. Uh, we've got things like red liner tape. Uh, the prices have not dropped on there, but they will do, trust me. Uh, oh, they have. Oh, they have. Look at these. Uh, so that, uh, $14.99, red liner tape, $19.99 for your mask that's on there. Uh, your set of paints is there, uh, five star reviews. We've got black gesso, we've got white gesso, we've got essential buttons. Uh, you've got tanks that we're going to be using through the hour as well. And not only are we going to be using them, we're going to bring it all the way back, because that's how good our Lou is, uh, to the one day <laughs> special. So, uh, we are talking all of that added extras, so they are happy hour deals. Uh, if you're looking at your one day special, dispatched on the 7th of July, so not that long wait at all. We are talking pencils. Now these aren't watercolour, they're not, these are proper colour pencils. Professional colour pencils is what we're using with these. You've also got your propelling pencil uh, with rubbers as well down at the bottom. And you've also got your French curves in there. £34.91. 485901 is your item number. Right then, I'm not alone. She's still here. She's like a glutton for punishment. This lady is, bless her. Uh, Alison's is here as well. <laughs> still here. We're still cracking up. Um, it is a nice little set. Now, some people may look at it and go, I don't really understand. What are French curves and why do I need them in my life with a colour? Well, the French curves actually help you draw... You can create lots and lots and lots of different shapes with it. I mean, I love drawing through, like, the shapes through here because why not? It's, it's quite right. liberating, it's quite freeing. Think about them, you know, you can, you can create lines with them, curved lines, do your journaling in your writing in between them, create shapes. I mean, obviously I go floral because it's quicker, but, um, well, you, water as well because you can create not beautiful oh, no. waves and everything like that but they are they they're lovely i do i like think them. once you start drawing them out and you start using them for what they're for so you start just drawing them mm. just draw just you, we made hearts this morning mm. off the cough demos we did hearts we did flowers uh, in the center of them we doodled in them and that's what you're getting with these you're also getting a full set of 24 coloring pencils as well now these are idyllic obviously for your white card stuff but they're also amazing on your black cardstock as well. So now you can really go to town. Look at that. Just on black cardstock, that's just one layer of the pencils gone down. You can start building them up as well. Uh, so you can really go to town with those. But not only can you do them on the white, you can use them over the top of other colours. And then you have your propelling pencils. I love a propelling pencil. Uh, you're getting three of these. I love this little bit. It's the only reason I do it. Because uh, I don't know if we, you, when you were at school, you are like, injection time. And then you give yourself a little injection. Uh, but obviously, don't inject yourself with the lead. It was just a trick. It goes back into the stem. Um, I'm like the mass magician. Uh, you've also got your rubber on the top. Now, nice about these, and I never really thought about this till you say it this morning, that normally on a pencil your rubber's left out. So you do yeah. it then you put it down, it gets all dirty, it gets yeah. all grubby. With this, a quick twist, you can put it away. It, it, and it, it does make a difference. Like I said, this is my rubber that I have in my pencil case oh. in comparison. So I then have to clean a bit to, to try and find a nice bit to, to rub away, otherwise I'd bring all the horrible manky bits in there. Whereas the propelling pencils, which I love, is that is the rubber's hidden. It's protected, it's clean for you to, to use next. 
Uh, you're getting, and you're getting three of these as well. Remember though, uh, they're not going to. They are going to last, which also means you can change the lead to them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've had monster munch. Uh, but you can change the lead uh, that's in there. Uh, so you could go for your different grades. So if you want a HB, a 2B, and a, a 8B, you can do that. You just change the lead on the inside. 34 pounds and 91 pence. 485901 is your item number. From there, no. I must say, 60% of the watercolours has now already gone. These are very, very busy. And I think I see why, for the sheer fact, you're going to start creating backgrounds that look a little bit like this. Look at that. That is scribbling. Yeah, no, it's true. Scribbling the colour down with white gesso over the top. Literally a case of, and because your white gesso acts as your water, because they are watercolour crayons, that's going to move move it around. It moves it around, but once it's dry, it's unlike watercolour would normally then react again if you put another layer of watercolour on the top. It's set it in place. Yeah. So you can carry on watercolouring on top, knowing that the bottom layer is not going to move. That's a guy. I never thought of it like that because then obviously you do it in the background here. Yeah. Then you gesso over the top. Then you've got your more colour. So you've got the intense colour on the top, but you've still got sort of the pastel muted tones underneath. But they've not bled. No, not at all. And I did. Um, that's on top of clay and other bits and pieces as well using that technique. And it was. It's a lovely way of doing it. Uh, these are all the colourways that you're getting. A little goes a long way with the pigments in these as well. Rich pigments uh, is what you're getting. So you've got things like your whites in there. Always handy to have a white because you can knock everything back. Yep. if you so wanted to. Uh, you can use them as a palette as well. You can use them as a set of watercolours. Put a little bit down, mix it with your water on your palettes, and then you can re uh, reinvigorate them as well. Easy for me to say. Uh, £18.50. pence. Look at the prices on these, though. The prices are amazing. Uh, 18.50 is what you're looking at with the £6.24 uh, saving. This is really give it a go sort of prices, isn't it? Like, just have a little bash. Oh, definitely. And they are the brilliant... The, the colour vibrancy is superb on them and I like the fact that you've got like three blues four or five greens so if you're not used to doing your different shading they're all there for you so you can start your light your mid your dark and do your absolute blending all at once and all them samples that I've just shown you are all done using the water color pencils <laughs> right there uh, crayons that you've got there. Uh, absolutely beautiful. 1850188690 is your item number. Now, metallic pens. I like these. I like these a lot. We'll be using these these hour as well. This is what you can create. Well, that's, they're just a set of pens. Let's be fair. There's nothing snazzy about them. You want to see this, though. That's what you want. That's what you want so you can see what you're getting in there. Beautiful colourways uh, that you've got. Uh, they're just pens, but there's something snazzy about the pens as well. Let's whip them open. Uh, let's whip them out. <laughs> Uh, for sheer fact, they are a brush end that you've got there, aren't they? They are, but you, you, so you can do a nice thick line or you can go really, really super thin um, with nice, you know, little thin dots. It, until you try them, you don't, you don't understand, but you could colour a whole page effortlessly. And you don't have to put pressure down to get all the ink flow. No, that and is true. They're right on the edge, aren't they? Like, you yeah. can be subtle and or then you, you can, can go quite harsh. But the ink flows really, really, really easily. So if you wanted to colour a whole space in, you could do so. They are beautiful. I keep drawing on the back of Lou's uh, samples. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, you also get your chisel in there as well. Um, this is your chisel that you're getting. So you do get that chisel edge, that chisel look. But again, pieces, that's another they? one that you can get really, really fine detail. So if you're using it as a traditional chisel, you get a nice thick line which is like sideways, but if you put it straight on and then do a line down, you get a really, really fine line as well. I love them. So you get sort of the best of both worlds, and you also get a white uh, that's also included in there. Uh, 11 pounds and 95 pence is what you're looking at for that one. Uh, now, oil pastels are up next. Now, we said this this morning, oil pastels can be quite scary uh, when we look at oil pastels, because you think, you think pastels, you think school, you think mess, you think you do a bit of work and it all ends up up your arm where you've smudged it, <laughs> you've gone, and you forgot <laughs> what you're doing. 10 pounds and 75 pence, they're not scary at all. We we worked out this morning there is so much you can do from blending yeah from blending I mean I did what different squares didn't I and just did different blending techniques with them but you can you can create really 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 quick backgrounds with them um, and you can then work on top of them 
they are they're brilliant they create lovely silhouette backgrounds as well but you can actually then scrape them away depending if you've put them on colored card or not and you can get the layer from there or do a whole montage of color color with black gesso when it's dry, scrape away and you get another picture get underneath. Yes. Uh, if you didn't want to do a random picture, if you did the black gesso and then stamped a stamp, say, and then scratch that away, you get the colour underneath. The other thing you can do is you can do the backgrounds and if you put a piece of card on top of your um, oil pastels and then draw on the reverse, you pick up the oil pastel. So you can actually... So much. There is lots and lots you can do with oil pastels. And obviously, the white on, so on white and on black, that's what you're seeing here. Oh, you get a lot of colours. It just shows you the tone that you get, but you don't lose the colour on black. Then You would think it would dull it down. It dulls it down slightly, but you don't lose that richness. No, you don't. And the thing is, with oil pastels, you can carry on building and building and building and building. And depends on the different types of cards you work on. I mean, that's a smooth, so you can see the difference there with the blending. Um, and then if you work on a slightly more textured, you can actually, you know, show through the texture of the card, which I love as well, because it's like adding a, a bonus highlight for free. Which we, which you, yeah, see, so he's going to pick out all those little details that you don't think you're going to get. Uh, 324757 is your item number, £10 and 75 pence. Now, these were busy this morning. These are your 60 fine liner pens. We love a set of fine liners, is what we're getting here. Uh, good for your journals, uh, good for your happy planners, good to make lists. We all love a good list and we all love a, to name things and colour things. But you can also use them... Like Lou showed us this morning with the picture of that bird, it was stunning. But what you've done is you've put the colour down, obviously not a lot of colour, because you have to be quite quick because they evaporate, but then you've moved it with water to blend it out. Yeah, so you, so you, and then once it's dry, you can go back in either with the same colour and make it slightly darker. And you, so you can, you can build your gradients of colour up straight away with them. Have you got that picture to hand? Um, so I'll just put you on the spot. Don't worry if you haven't. We'll find you now. We'll see it later. <laughs> you know, you just go... Uh, <laughs> so literally, <laughs> look at the fine. So you've got the finest of tips uh, that you're getting on here. But from that tip there, you can do this. Look at that. You would never think that is from a fine then, liner pen. But then you see with the fine liner inside the little... So I've done the, the little mock roses with the black and then I've gone the fine liner over the top just to add a little bit of colour but it's the same here so you, you just put a little bit down and blend it out it's I mean beautiful. if you don't mind getting your fingers dirty put a little bit down and use your finger and blend out as well so you can do do that with them and then you can go back over with your black again once it's dry I love it. Because you, looking at that you would have thought it was done with paints, you would have thought it was done with no. pens, you wouldn't think it's done with fine liners. Uh, £34.96, 239289. 239289. I'm going to sneeze, that's what it is. So from there, we move on to your graphite <laughs> pencils. That's what we got. You know, when you try and stifle a sneeze and talk at the same time, like, this is never going to work. Uh, these have been busy once again. For the sheer fact, you get everything and anything in here. You go all the way from 11B, 10B, 9B, 8B, 7B, 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, 2B, B and a HB. Uh, so you've got all of your soft colours uh, that you've got in here. So this is everything in between. So, And they are a beautiful set of pencils to have because it gives you everything that you need from HB that we all know and that we use at school down to some of the darker ones and the lighter ones that we've never really used before. No, I think you can, you can go very, very dark. But the thing is they're a lovely soft pencil. So if you're into like your shading and everything like that, they work beautifully. But then that one, when I shaded last night, I then took the rubber and oh, then used the rubber on the propeller pencil to go inside some of the feather areas just to bring out. And that is just using two or three of the pencils and just smudging. That's what it <laughs> for one, I was trying to think if there was a technical term for it, and there wasn't really. It smudge. was get my finger and smudge. Um, and then using the curves, I was starting to create the water as the background. <gasps> That's the French curve. Yes, and I was starting to build it up, but I ran out of time to start building so it looked like the fish was, was working in the water. Oh, I love it. Uh, 21 pounds and 99 pence, everything that's in there that you're getting, all those colourways. Uh, well, the colourways, there's all the graphite ways here. And they're, they're sturdy as well. The easiest way to describe these is like a good set of darts. <laughs> They've got a good weight to them, these pencils, when you pick them up. Uh, 649288 is your item number, 21 pounds and 99 pence. Right then, happy hour deals uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, 46 minutes is what you've got left to get these. Uh, I got quite a 
few as well. I got quite a few happy hour deals this hour that we're looking at. Uh, we are looking at 20 assorted rolls of high performance. Yes, they're high performance. Uh, of red line tape. You've got three, six, nine, and 12 mil uh, that's in here. So you go from the thinnest uh, all the way up uh, to the thickest and everything in between as well. Half price deal, 14 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at for this one. Nice to have. You start, it is the workhorse of any craft room red liner tape is. Uh, from there though, uh, I think I need to get my hands on some of this. This is masking paper. So this is, I'm guessing, is what you would use to make your masks on your stamps. Because um, it's going to have that sticky backing. Uh, or maybe you're doing watercolour painting and you want to mask off an area. That is sticky, but it's like a low tax stick that you've got on the back. Uh, so maybe you want to do different areas. Maybe you want to do those little, that little bit of water colouring on the one side, but you don't want it to bleed under. This is going to work for that. And you can also stamp on it and then run it through your dye machine as well. Half price, 50 sheets, 50 sheets, 19.99. 560 is your item number, is what you are looking at. Uh, love a cracking little price uh, for this one's worth having a little go if I was you. 560921 is your item number. Then we move on to black gesso. Now we've got it in black, we've got it in white, but I've got the black here in the studio. Always handy to have your black gesso. This is what we're going to be using this hour because uh, we've got some MDF on the show. Uh, Lou has kindly uh, black gessoed up some MDF, some little tags, because we can use this over our, uh, with our pencils of our one day special, can't we? We can indeed. We're going to have a go, <gasps> definitely. Um, and also go. with the metallic paint, the uh, pens we've got on as well. With the metallic pens. And now imagine your curves with your metallic pens, your black gesso on the back. It's going to make everything pop. Nine pounds and 99 pence today. Uh, worth having a little go on that one. Then your crackle medium is what we're looking at next. Now the, the rule for the crackle medium, uh, PCP is what you're looking at. So you put your paint, the colour you want to be shown in the crack. Then you put your crackle, let it dry naturally. Then you also put your paint on top. So you want to go black, crackle, then white on top. You're going to get the black cracks that come through. Uh, very quick and easy to use. Let it dry naturally. The more you put on, the uh, thicker the cracks. The thinner you put on, the finer the cracks you're going to get. Look, nine pounds and 99 pence. Seven, one, zero, nine, four, seven is your item number for this one. Right then, brand new to the Crafty Devils collection. Uh, let's show you what you're actually getting. You've got your white gesso. That's what you're getting. Uh, so you've got two mini bottles uh, that you're looking in there, and you also get your big bottle. This is quick grab glue for Crafty Devils. Brand new glue as well. It's just been added to their range. £9.97. You've got one at 240 mil and two of the 60 mil bottles. So you've got two bottles on the go, and you've got your one bottle to leave on the table at home. 3203, three, I'll start that again. 302080 is your item number. Something else, we've got white gesso. This is handy to have. If you're going for the watercolour pencil, for the watercolour crayons, uh, it's handy to have your white gesso, because this is what Lou used uh, this morning, white gesso on top of those crayons. And we've got that beautiful sort of pastel background. Nine pounds and 99 pence, 397417 is your item number for your white gesso. Then this is a nice bundle. These are brand new, added to the range. You're getting 21 paints and the storage that stacks. So these either stack on top of each other or you've got the handy holes to hold them to the wall if should so be. £44.99. But look, this is the thing. It opens up a flexible basket, which now means anything else you're popping into your basket will be split onto two interest-free flexible payments. You've got 42 minutes to get hold of them before the prices go back up. 979624 is your item number. Right then, you've more or less seen everything I've got on the show now, okay? <laughs> I've got a bit of MDF on the happy hours, but you'll find the most on the website. Let's go to demo to see what we can do when we all get this home. <laughs> right, I've just taken a stencil and I'm just going to, I'm working on the black card. So I'm, you know when you think you've tidied up and you haven't, there's bits everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking, and so if you don't want to doodle or you don't, you know, if you haven't got a stamp, starting with a stencil with the pencils is brilliant. Now, you were saying about pencils earlier, about if being confident with a pencil. And I was saying that 
if you get yourself some masking tape or some washi, and if you put a, a piece there, you know that when you're going to colour with the pencil, you're a little bit nearer, so the depth of the colour is going to be stronger because yeah. you've got more pressure. If you then put another piece halfway up, you know you're going to use lighter strokes oh. because you can't actually put as much pressure on it. And then one further back, that's when you would do your background colouring and your background shading. Oh, and that's a, a nice quick way to actually get to know the different pressures and the different how much colour comes out, if, if that makes sense. No, it does make sense. So, so put three rolls of tape around your pencil yeah, at different points. At different points. Hard, medium and soft, you could write on it so you know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and then it's just, so you, it's like memory muscle, isn't it? After a while you get to know where to hold. No, it makes true. And yeah. then what happens is you, you can end up holding your pencil in the same position, but you've got used to how much pressure you're putting on, you're putting on each time. If, if that makes so I'm just going to put and there's lots of different ways to color with pencil um, like lots of fine layers first so I'm going to start with the, the yellow and just build up I've done some already because I thought I won't sit here and make you watch the whole of this mandala even though I would actually quite like to do <laughs> you know when you started you go actually I quite quite like to quite do nice. this yeah so I'm just going to do the orange I suppose colouring, and I'm not telling you it's okay. No. Say, it's a bit like um, when you wax a mahogany table because you've got it, the paper's not perfect. It's not perfectly flat. No. So you, what are you putting? You're putting the pigment, and this is how I remember. You're putting the pigment into the holes to fill the holes of the paper, so it becomes smooth again. Yeah. So, the, so it becomes smooth again, and the more you put your layers on, the more you do what's like a burnish. So it then becomes really ultra, ultra smooth. If, if, and then you, it's then harder to put more colour on top. That's why you're better to start with lots of finer um, strokes, layers. I'm just using strokes, but you could easily go round and round. It's just because I want to get the whole of the stencil in. So that I go back sense. over. Obviously, the more layers you get, the more you're building up the crevices yeah. inside the paper, which means it's going to give you that vibrancy of colour. If you go in straight hard, when you put the next layers on, the pencils have got nowhere to go, so they're just going to sit on the surface. Yes, so I'll do want the next one slightly harder. And also the difficulty is if you put it on too hard to begin with, so if I'm going to... So if I do this one really... What you find is it's harder to blend the two colours together. Because that orange has got nowhere to go with it because the yellow's filled up the holes already. Yeah. You see? So see, I can go over it, but I have to work harder to make them to actually blend. It's all about soft and gentle. So it, it's, so I'm just going to make that one, and it's, it is, it's harder to make them blend, and then you don't get the, if you like the soft lines look, so it looks like they're bleeding from one to the other, and you can't see where you, you know, where the, where the lines meet, it's easier to go lighter and gradually build up the colour bit by bit. But then, it's courses for courses, isn't it, sort of thing, we all like different things and different ways to colour. That is true. So I'm just going to put a lot, another little bit of the red on the top there. Now, if you if the, you can bring in your white if you really want to, um, and you can add a little bit of white if it's a little bit darker at the top there. Because I don't want to make it white. I just want to make it a lighter colour of the. Um, I'm trying to think what the colour is. It's like a magenta colour. So I don't want to make it white. I just want to make it a lighter version of that. So if I take the stencil away, look at that. That's the actual colours I've got. Mind you, if I turned it around the right way, it would probably help as well. But um, so that's the different, you know, colours you can do really, really, really quickly. So I, this I would carry on working on, and you, you could carry on doing it. So, like I said, where you, where this is now here is burnished. I can actually feel I wouldn't get much more play on that. Whereas these ones, I could put the pen, the stencil more. on, and carry on building my colours bit by bit. That's but it's, good. it doesn't, you know, it's all trial and error. It doesn't. It, it doesn't really matter. But these pencils lend themselves to that because they yeah. are, they, they go into the market. It's everything about our one day special is to give it a go. Yeah. It's a give it a go set. You're not breaking the bank with this set, but you're still getting professional quality goods at reasonable prices. It is. And so I mean, it's, it's like, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of the purple now down the bottom. And you would think purple on the dark would be, mm, but then if I take the blue on the top, It gives me a shadow element straight away to work on. Yeah, like colours that you would never think would work on black card. You wouldn't even normally try them no. on black card. You're thinking, oh, they're too dark to show up on black card. So I'm going to use the purple to act... And so now purple is my base colour, so the colours I've got on top 
I'm, I'm making another shade of purple because I've got that pencil underneath when I blend. Look at that, you can see it. So I would carry on building a bit more layers, but oh. that... I'm, so that now is just using the purple with the magenta. And, the, and from there, you, so you can use your dark colours on, on the black as well. well. I mean, you could go around that with a white outline if, you know, if it really bugged you and you want, I mean, needed it to stand out. Doing things like this and then literally putting, go in with your white pen and turn them into toadstools. Yeah. You could now do that on your black cards, should you so wish. I mean, you could easily that. make them toadstools quite easily. Um, where's my pens? <laughs> you, now you've said it. Oh, so going in with the metallic pens, because you've got a white metallic pen, I didn't even think about the metallic pens. So if I just take this one, and I'm just going to make that the, the body. That is a handy little pen, that white one. Oh, you can, oh, look at this, you can turn them into houses. Yeah. So we can build it up a little bit more. Oh, look at this. And they, them pens don't gloss over the pencils either, they sit no. quite nicely on top. So we can do, so I'll put a little bit more. So then once that's dry, I'll come back to that in a moment. What we could do is we can then get another colour and just highlight each one of those. So now suddenly, you, like you said, your little mushrooms from there. So you can combine your different media, um, you know, in lots and lots and lots of different ways. Well, you see us all use a white pen to bring highlights up, yeah. but any metallic will do that. And we've got the darker colours there, so if I didn't want that quite so white, I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab the blue, because the blue looks different on the, on the black. So now if I suddenly put a little bit of the shading of the blue there... ...and at the bottom... Once again, colours that you don't colours that you don't normally get to see. We don't normally get these snazzy metallic colours. It's, they're normally no, your, they're normally your standard gold, silver, and bronze, yeah. aren't they? Those sort of colours. So now I've got the blue on there, and is it easier if I lift it up? So you can see. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, you know, you just go. I'm looking, um, but you can see that the blue yeah. now acts as a shadow, uh, uh, and I think that is brilliant. Even though it's got a lovely little metallic tint to it as well. Um, so you can use, and I think that's really nice, like you said, not the golds, not just the silvers, but I could take the gold and go round the little dots again if I really wanted to. If I get the black chisel, you know, if, if you really wanted to define, you know, you could go... And you've got them all in your set, so this is not something that you have to think about. You're getting all of these, and once you let them dry, they all work really, really well on top of each other. I suppose the thing is like just let them dry. So you can now I've just put a little black outline around the white so they all stand out okay. slightly differently again. And because they're opaque, once they're dry, opaque will layer on top of opaque, will layer on top of opaque. Just let it dry. So, I mean, I'm just going to do some little stitch lines down. So you get your black marker in this, is your chisel one, but then also if you're going for your fine liners, you're also getting the black fine liners, so then you could go in with more colour and add colour on top of the white, because that now acts, in theory, like you've sort of gessoed on top. Yeah. So, so it gives you, you that next base to work onto. Yeah, totally. So you, all everything, it's, it's just having a play and being brave enough to actually have a play, oh, if, if that makes sense. So I've got, given you a couple of tags, we'll talk about the metallics. I'm here. And I will do metallics. some colouring on them in a moment. So I thought what we could do, so if we do, if you want to do your initial, so if, I'm just saying, do you want to do your initial or do you just want to just colour? I don't mind, but I'll follow you. We have right. got these tags on the show. We've got tags on the show as well. Uh, yours are MDF coloured. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have, this is what they look like, uh, you're getting 50 <laughs> of these tags. Uh, we have uh, put our black gesso on the top of these, so we have black gessoed our tags uh, for the black gesso that we've got on the show as well. Um, so that is 9 99 50 tags. Nice little projects if you just want to have a little play. Yeah. I feel. With yeah, these. totally. Right, I've just done... So, with the metallics, as I was saying to you, sort of thing, I've just drawn an L for my, my name. You could do... And, uh, let's, let's try to do an M. Okay. Go on, I'll follow you. On, you... No, I don't like, like the, the concentration. Yeah, and... you carry on because no one can see me. Okay. But we, we can see you. Okay, so... We can see you. I'm just going to sit there with the gold and go up. I'm not very good with my fine. I have to concentrate on that bit. I... Gold. Gold. Oh, <laughs> yours is snaz. Eh? Mm, uh, I, do you know, I, it's one thing I really want to learn, and I've done quite a few courses on it now, and I frustrate myself because I, 
I know that I get to the bottom and I'm meant to lift the pen up and it's meant to be a lovely thin line and I'm too busy doing the nice thick line. So I've done my little L there. What I could do, and that's on the black here, so if we get another colour, if we get the bronze, so I was going to say to you about a couple of flowers. So if you just take the actual brush stroke and then all you're going to do is just put the nib down. So I'm moving it around because it's easier. Nib down. So you're just making like a little petal shape, oh, like oh. that. So we can do. I'll do another one. I mean, the, the more you put the nib down, the bigger the the bigger the little petal shape is. Little oh, tongue leaf. Yep. Oh, well, if you only this. did three, it would oh, be yeah. like a horse chestnut leaf or or something like that, wouldn't it? Sort of thing. So then, if I get the white, I'm just going to put some tiny little white dots in the centre, just to show you know how small you can actually make the dots with the white and then I'm gonna go let's go mm -mm, you know when you go oh I'm gonna go for the green as a contrast you know it's like my life but if you pick your pen up and hold your tag we can go around the outside, around the outside. and create a, a, a delicate line if you take the middle part of your pen I've like got it. the green there. Oh, the green. I made a right mess. So, so because the green as well, if you put a couple of, like where you've done your flowers, if you just put two, a little couple of the green in between, it becomes the leaves. Oh, yeah. So you can make like little leaves going around the flower. You see, there is so much scope with these when you get them home. So we've got... So just, it's just like a really, really quick way to decorate. So we, you could get your white pen and if, you know, you could go around and add it a highlight down one edge if you wanted to, you know, just to add a little bit more detail. And you've coloured yours in. Sorry? You've coloured yours in. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> but, you know, so you could, you could do, uh, add those details in. You could, I could put the white in, in inside the gold. You know, you, you can do so much. We're rushing, you, I would leave it a little bit longer in between each layer. But the other thing, I'm just going to flip this over, is they are really, really oh, super colour. So I'm going straight onto the raw MDF. And it's colouring it up beautifully. I, this, that's why I deliberately only did one side. So we can... You can now, you know, colour straight away and you don't need much pressure at all. We've both gone quiet now, haven't we? Where we're Sorry, uh, no, I'm no, really no. doing my job. Eleven pounds and ninety-five <laughs> pence is what we're looking at. I'm loving them. Literally, <laughs> you can do so many things when the I like the way I have to cut my other arm to keep it still. <laughs> Uh, my gold wasn't dry, so I need to let my gold dry first and go over it again. But yeah, I, it's just playing. Uh, just have a little play. Have a little play. Uh, this is what they look like, because mine are a mess here. A third of the stock now has already <laughs> gone. Your details are currently on the screen at the moment. 206843 is your item number. Very busy uh, for those once again is what we are. I knew we would be. Uh, now, watercolours. Uh, these are busy as well. You're loving your watercolours. Over 60% of the stock now has already gone uh, on this one. So it's worth having a little look. 188690 is your item number four. Uh, your watercolours. We'll be having a little play with these as the hour goes on as well. So, uh, what are we looking at? There they are, live in the studio, in the flesh as they were. Uh, that's what they look like, 18 pounds and 50 pence. Right then, Lou, we're coming back to you. What are you up to? On, so this is black gesso, and I've just put the pencil straight on top of the black gesso. I haven't done a design. So if you haven't got black card, you can still put the pencil on, still do the blending um, on, a, on an MDF project straight away. So you don't have to do, like, think, oh, I've got to cover the tag now in black card to make the pencils work. You can get them to work on top of the black gesso as well. So that was just what I was quickly nice. doodling. Nice. So work on top of the black Jessica. So, they're made for the black. So let's put you out of the way. Yeah, I'm just going, you know, go, ooh. Right, so this morning, 
We made yes. like this, th th this, this lovely page. You know when you go this wonderful page. I'm just like, wee. And I thought what would be nice is if we carried on with the page and did lots of other different things with it. So, you know, when you make a background, you don't actually then want to do anything you know, with you it. Like you know, it you're so just much. like, I'm going, mm, But I just to recap to on how we did this, yeah. you literally put a green, a light green and a dark green down, scribbled yeah. it down in sort of little boxes. Yeah. Uh, and then you just put your gesso over the top. And then once the gesso was dry, we went back in towards the end of the hour and put the different colours on, the oranges yeah. and the pink, I think it was. Yeah. And um, so you... Because it's trapped the watercolour layers means I can put more layers on top without actually blending the other colours so you don't get the mud, yeah. for want of a better expression. Now, I thought I got out my plate. I have. Here it is. So what I thought would be nice... Now, this is a um, Samperia mould. OK. So I thought what oh. we do is we're going to have a play with these. Because your watercolour crayons don't have to be um, just for making, like, your different backgrounds. So I'm just going to bring my pot of water... So let me think. I'm going to go for colours we've got complementary. This is a mould. So this is a mould, and I'm just doing it the opposite way round, so it's raised. OK. So you can dip your crayons, if you don't want to spritz, dip them into a little bit of water. And that won't affect them? No. If you prefer spritz, you know, and then do the crayons, it's exactly the same thing. This has so, got brass rubbing without the paper on it. It is, stuff. but this is... Um, also, this is a great way with your um, oil pastels. Well, can you do the same technique? Yeah, you could put a piece of card, do your oil pastels, and then go over with your um, gel medium, uh, and you create something different again. So let's do... What else have we got? Let's get the orange. I'm trying to think of colours we've got. A new way of using a mould. But it's, it's, it's no different um, if, if you've got an unloved embossing folder... Um, as well, I will sit there and cut mine in half because then I've got the deboss side as well as the emboss side. She's and good. She's good. Well, you just clean them up, don't you, with a little it's bit right. of water. So we can do that. I just seen the water nearly go for a walk, and it was like <gasps> <laughs> inward panic then to myself. So I'm just adding a little bit more colour where I want to have them. So, the first one we might put down might not bring out too much from it. So, all we'll need to do... So, I'm just going to put this one down a little bit. And if it doesn't, then we will just spritz with a little bit more water. So, in, in other words, what we're doing is we're doing a form of stamping. So, I suppose so. So, that we need a bit more water. So, I can see, because it's, it's dried on there quicker. So. And all that's doing is activating it. So, if we now put that back on... And this is going to sit on top of our different gesso layers. But it's not going to give us a perfect image because it's watercolour and the water needs to travel. It needs to find its way out. I suppose if you think of it like a river, yes. the river always got to find its way to the sea, hasn't it? And water will do the same with anything there. You can see that there. So oh. we can start to see it's building up like that. Let's do a bit more there. And I can get a little bit more of a leaf. So you can do your backgrounds. I'm just going to get a little bit more. I know, and it, I know it's harder because it doesn't look too detailed, she says, do you know? So I'm going to go... But I'm getting... I can see the patterns here. I can see them in the studio. You can't see them on the TV. No, you can sorry. See, you can see them here in the studio. So it's ca carrying on to build that up. Let's move you over there. I'm just going to move this pot of water because I'm panicking now that I'm going to end up doing. So then we could carry on. I'm going to give it a quick blast, and then what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same, and we can do the same with some of our stamps. So all I've done is created a little background layer. You can see it's starting. Now it's drying. You can see a little bit more of the, the detail. Oh, yeah, uh, just while we quickly dry, let me give you the details on these. You are getting uh, 24 of your watercolour crayons that you can hear, 18 pounds and 50 pence. This is one of the backgrounds uh, that we started with just before we put our stamps onto. But remember, you've got that layer of gesso at the top. The gesso reacts like the water, so it's going to move It's going to move everything around. If you want more vibrancy on there, uh, go with your clears. Uh, go with your clear mediums and put them over the top. That will also work as well. And remember, they're crayons. So you've got so much scope with these. And for £18.50, there's some reviews, we read them out this morning, that 
people have used these and they were shocked on how well uh, they worked. They've now been converted, as it were, onto watercolour crayons because they've never seen watercolour crayons before. They've now gone, yes, love the watercolour crayons. We will have some of those. 188690 is your item number. Things like, I honestly did not know you could get a watercolour crayon. Uh, and they are wonderful. Sometimes, uh, sometimes different uh, to use than other looks, but you are going to get so many things in the good unfinished projects. Uh, great. Never worked with anything like these before. Uh, excellent. Uh, love these watercolour crayons. They are easy to use and blend with water well. Uh, lovely colours too. In my opinion, now this is their opinion, in my opinion they are, uh, they are very much the same as another brand of distress, uh, distress crayon uh, that you've seen else there, but cost a lot less. Now, Everything has its own job, and we're not knocking anything in this hour, because that's not what we do. Everything has a purpose within the crafting world. Um, as I said at 7 o'clock, I was lucky enough, Lou gifted me a set of crayons. Uh, not these ones, I have a set of crayons, but they're a lot softer. They're yes. like lipstick. It's the easiest way to describe them. They're like lipstick. These are like your proper crayon. Yeah, you they're, they're, they're harder. So, yes, yeah. you can. I mean, like I said, I break little bits off mine if I want to do, as you saw when I made this, I can cover a larger size. area But you quicker. can't do that with other brands because they're in them. They're in the tubes or they're well, all encased. Twist up. Yeah, they're all encased sort of thing. So you can't do that. So that's all I've done is taken the stamp and I've just put the same colours on. Oh, look at that. And stamped on. So I'm going to try and get another impression here. So, you, like I said, you don't just have to make it... It's not going to be as crisp as if we stamped with inks. But we can then start to see... So that's the second generation. So where there's slightly less water, you, you can see a little bit more. So if we get... Sorry, I'm going to spritz this away. I know where the electrics is, but it's in my head. If I spritz it away, then I'm... Spritz it towards me, there's no electric here. No. I just... You know when you just go... Oh. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the crayon on. There was no now, spark coming from me at all. <laughs> well, that could be taken in <laughs> lots take of different it, ways. Take it if you want. <laughs> not, a, not even a twinkle. Um, so I just add a little bit more colour on. Now, the more water you put on or spritz on, obviously the, 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 it's going to be a little bit more diluted and run just a little bit more. So I'm just going to pick out the greens. But with your stamps, then, you can, you can pick out the different colours... If I like that second generation because then with that second generation you could then go in with your pencils and, your ideas and pick up the colour. Is that what we're about to do? Yeah. Oh, so it's like we have a meeting. <laughs> Love that. So we've got that we one. We did have a meeting, but we didn't. We did, discuss. yeah. I know. We, don't, we didn't talk about that. We just we all talk about so, crayons and stuff. So we've got that one now going there as well. So let's bring us. Let's do the leaves. Let's just do a little bit of a spritz there. I think it adds something different. This would make cracking little wrapping paper. This sort of. Well, it's, Look. it's bespoke. And then because I've got a really sketchy background from the mould, the moulds look... Um, let's just move you out of the way. So I've now got that there. Let's, oh, let's not waste that bit of green. Sorry. I've just got to... Let's do a little few more leaves there. <laughs> whilst, whilst I've still got a little bit of the damp on there. Right, so we've, we've, you can build up a quick background like that. But if you did the mould technique, this is done on a jelly plate and that's using the mould, because the jelly plate with the watercolour crayons, because it, it's more um, softer, more malleable, the detail will stay on there and then you can pull it off and then you can just colour with your pencils that's afterwards. Nice. Right, so we'll give this a quick blast so I can, and I'll only just do one area. Oh, I thought I hadn't plugged it in then, then I thought, you'd, no, I just used it. <laughs> I love this thing. Though. Just look at these for the second and the first generation stamping uh, that you're getting on there. And remember, so this is two mediums. £18.50, your watercolour crayons is what you're going to need to do the background, to do your stamping, and then you're also going to need your white gesso for 9 pounds which is a happy hour deal. The price will go back up at the end of this hour. So 9 pounds for your white gesso, £18.50 for your crayons. You are good to go. Right. Well, that was £28.50, and you've got projects that you can do time yeah, and time, time again. Yeah, time and time and time again. So I'm just trying to work out what's drier. If it's not 100% dry, it doesn't matter, does it? And then all I would do is, I'm not going to colour all of it. Um, even if I was at home, I wouldn't colour all of it. I would just pick areas that I want to highlight. And now, the thing with, with the pencils, it's not going to activate the the um 
the watercolour again. No, so area. if I want, you know, if you, we were going went over with watercolour, we would reactivate this a little bit as well. Whereas now I can colour certain areas. I want a lighter yellow. And sometimes it's nicer to have the softer colours of a, of a pencil of a pencil colour rather than going in with your, your pens and things like that. Because they give you a very bright and vibrant colour, where these can give you bright and vibrant, but they can also give you soft and subtle. Also, doing this sort of technique, if you didn't... Sometimes when you do a black outline of a stamp, it's trickier to know what colours you want to do. Whereas I've given myself, because of my background, I've already given myself some starter colours. So I'm just picking out the pencils that match... Well, that background. That's the thing, and your eye does the work for you, and your eye colours... My eyes have already coloured in that rose, that beautiful red colour that you've already got there. It's absolutely stunning. But as you say, you haven't got to fill it all in, because... You, no, all I'm going to do work. is pick different highlights. So if I then do the leaf, one of the leaves, let's have a look. Let's go for the darker green here. So I'm and going again, to go and sit... Three greens in this pack. Yep. Like it's not just a one-trick paint. You're getting different blends of green that's in there. And I'm not going to colour the whole leaf because I think it it takes away from the work we've done with the watercolour background. But I just want to highlight. Look at that. Different bits. So your pencils, your pencils are invaluable, even on um, alcohol pens. So when you've done, go over with your pencils and add your shading if you feel more confident that way. I will just add a little bit of the subtle green there. So as I said, if you colour really lightly... Remember, this is going to work on, because in theory you're colouring onto so, your white gesso. Yeah, so we've got all the different layers, and you would take it from there. Now, what am I looking for, this one? But you can... Well, I've got lighter colours, so let's grab this one here. And I'm going to grab the black crayon. Let's give you a little spritz. Wash my hands at the same time. Um, <laughs> So now, I put the little bit of the black crayon on. I'm just going to get rid of the excess. And I can then stamp as if this was a, a black ink pad. Oh, look at that. But it gives you that different effect to an ink pad, so you're getting that different look from the same stamp that you want to get value for money from. It's going to give you a different look in your stamps. And I've got then the watercolour look, and I can add a little bit more. So I'm, I'm not taking away from the feel of the project straight away We've got about 10 minutes left, left. oh have we yeah. i'm just going to just block that one off <laughs> you know you go there we go um but you can now bring in like we would do with your, your stamping i'm just going to have to put one over here a little bit sorry that for a journal and you put a photo in the center or maybe that's going to be a card front yeah so you can do uh, i'll show you so we've got that there i probably need a little bit more ink but you so i'm just bringing in just like to create a border over the top of it so that needs a bit of a clean. But you were saying about a card front. I did exactly the same. And then I've st I have actually stamped on top. Look at that. And that's a card. So I've taken a journal piece like this. If you don't like a whole piece that you've done, chop it into four. Because suddenly your eye's not looking at everything. Um, Charmaine was saying that one of the other ways is cut yourself two pieces of card and make an L shape. And then suddenly you go, right, I'm going to chop that. And then I'm going to use that piece yes, right. and stuff like that sort of thing but so you can carry on and carry on and in good time honored fashion she says <laughs> one, I did earlier. one I did oh. earlier so this is I've used slightly different stamps but I've done exactly the same techniques and I've stamped some of the letters here um, it's all watercolor and then the only difference I have done is I have actually have stamped some of the greenery here and then I've started to color them in with the pencils and then I've just used the pencils to bring out more where like the orange part is there so where's my orange pencil so if i wanted to create a little bit more of a highlight i've literally just where the orange is i'm just going to gently go round and just create a little bit more and go over everything and create a border straight away with it let's get the yellow so you can you can carry on building and building and and, and the the pencils you Treat your pencils like we've just done with the watercolour crayons. You know, you don't have to do... So now I've just used the pencils to highlight everything there and make that stand out just a little bit more and it won't react. And then the, the other thing I love to do is, if that is too much, you know, and you want to knock it back a little bit more, I love... So I've got a stencil here and I just want to grab... Here we go. I want to grab that one. 
And what other colour should we go for? Let's go for that one. Ooh, let's go for that one. You know, you go, which one should we go for? Okay, and so I'm going to grab the oil pastels. Okay. And I'm just going to go through a stencil with the oil pastels. And oh. I'm not colouring them in um, detailed. I, you know, I've lost words. And then I'm just going to blend them out. Oh, the yellow nearly went for a... We are busy on the oil pastels. So I, think, I think the penny's slowly dropping now at home, what you can actually do with these when you get them. Um, so. Because they are not a one-trick pony, they are something that you can use time and time yeah. again is what you're looking at here. So you can use all <laughs> of this. I just the wondered what you were doing then. Uh, just... they I've got some linger. Uh, but all of these, all of these works together. This entire section and your one day special, they all work together amazingly. And it's worth having a go. £10.75 today for 36 oil pastels. Put them through stencils. You can blend with them. Do the technique that we did this morning. Just box smaller areas off and just use your fingers. Use your little digits and run in with them. There's so many things you can do. And don't be scared. And for this sort of prices, you don't need to be scared, do you, Lou? No, not at all. Sorry, you know, I'm, I'm now thinking, oh, I want to finish this page. I'll stop. Um, <laughs> I'll stop. But then that has just added um, another layer, another texture on top. And because it's the oil pastels, it's going to be slightly higher. So I've now got a nice, really nice touchy-feely. If it's too much, I can just blend them out a little bit more. It sort of looks like ink splatters. Yeah. So, you know, so we can add... What else can we do with these, Lou? People are, I think the penny is slowly dropping. People are loving the oil your pastels now. So what else? What else so, I mean, the other thing uh, we can do, if I keep to this page, let's grab a, ooh, let's go grab a darker colour. Um, on the spot again. I know, I know. You know when you just go, let's, let's. Right, I'll grab these in. And so another thing you can do with, with the oil pastels is you can use them to create your edges. Um, yes, you can do it with your inks and everything like that. So if I put a little bit of the oil pastel, and one of the reasons the oil pastels are nicer than an, an, an ink is, okay, it takes a little bit of bravery in, in doing this because this is now permanent when you do oh. that. But I can now create a border to frame my image. Right, I've gone for black just so it stands out. It now looks against. old and distressed, like you've burnt the edges. So I'm going to just blend it out even further. So you can use your oil pastels and you can create, you know, like your that. actual borders around. And because you're putting it on, it's one of the reasons, yes, you can use your inks and blend them out, but it's one of the reasons I like the oil pastels for when you're doing edges and things like this, because you can blend however much you want, whereas... We nine times out of ten use blender brushes and, and blend. So uh, You've got more control if you're using your digits. You I have. Mean, you've got more control over what you want to do. So suddenly I've created the edge, so the difference from that side that's to that not, side, like just, that. and that's just doing there. So right, let's move you to one side and in good time on the fashion. Now, this morning we did these blocks. <laughs> I love these blocks. And all I've done since then is, I wish I'd given you one so you could feel there's one at the back there but I've just covered this with a um, gel medium so now oh yeah it's soft I stroked it earlier now the pastel is covered in the gel medium and won't blend whereas here I can still if I don't treat the pastel I can still make the pastel move whereas now that is super smooth it is like smooth it card is, start that yeah we, we all had a little stroke I know. <laughs> We all had a little stroke of loose book. We all had a little go. We all took a square each for hygiene reasons. <laughs> but then you can bring in different things. So I'm just trying to find a stamp that I haven't put um, water on and grab an ink pad. So you can now... So I've trapped that. So we've created... And that background didn't take very long. A little bit of masking and three colours, wasn't it? Yeah, that, and we, did that all, was it. we did all the colours this morning. We did... Yeah. So... We've got three minutes left. I, know, I won't go and hunt for a stamping block, so if this doesn't come out cleanly, I apologise. Your stamp press is behind you. Uh, yeah, but this is in a book. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell a light. So it bounces down, picks up a look. block. Oh, well spotted. All right. I'll give you credit for the spotting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually see it. I just saw the stamping block, but, you know, <laughs> I'll take it. So now we've got this background, and I just created some extra interest with um, my palette knife and just put some like, extra lines there so the white wasn't there. The white was just a little bit too stark for me. So now I can this go over the top. Amazing. So I'm using an archival ink. You could use a hybrid ink or like a stays on. 
because I'm going over gel medium. So I need one that's going to sit on there. And, but the earring will stay wet just a little bit longer. But now I can start stamping and I can start bringing in, you know, all my different stamping designs and carry on building from there. But this is not going to move. You could then, if, if we stamped on this and did embossing powder, it would work. So I did this as on the black. So I've stamped and embossed, but then I sprinkled the powder around because I wanted it to. <laughs> Look at him looking. But the difference with this one, you can stamp in a bottle. Uh, but this one hasn't been set, so the, oh. it's starting to come away. Can you see the, yeah. the pastel? And because that's happened, the embossing powder hasn't stuck perfectly. But if I stamped and embossed on this, it's going it's to stay. stay put. I love it. So that there is lots of different ways, you know, with your oil pastels that you can actually do it. Um, I could now cut each one of those out. I could, let's put the ink pad on because I'm already wearing so much of it already without making it even worse. So if I grabbed my chisel pen, whoa. We'll bring the details up for the pens for you now, your little chiseled pen that you've got in there. Because it'll work because it's opaque. I can go on the round the outside of these squares. And because it's chisels, it's going to give you a different look depending on how yep. you hold the pen. But I can now work on top of it. I can still work with this on top of the oil pastel, but the only thing is, if I do, it will slightly drag because it was going through the oil. Yeah. Whereas now I can work away, you know, straight away on this. And you just go keep going. My, if I held the pen properly, that would help, wouldn't it? There you go, see? <laughs> But you know, so you can carry on going and it just sticks, keeps Love it in it. place so you now, your oil pastels can become really quick backgrounds for your stamping, for absolutely everything that you want to do as well. And that takes away the myth of oil pastels of how we always get messy. You've it, just got to seal it in. It, just, yeah. just your medium. Your, just so medium. You, can, you can get fixatives, you can get different mediums. Um, like hairspray, the hairspray is not as permanent but it, and it can be a little bit sticky um, but it will do the job if that's what you want it to do but if you've got a gel medium, if you don't want it glossy, use a matte medium. It's worth mm. having a go. £10.75 is what you're looking at for this one. <laughs> 324757 is your <laughs> item number for your 36 oil pastels. Uh, you've got your metallic pens on the show that we've just used. Remember, you get that chiselled, little chiselled pen in there. Modelled on myself, obviously. Uh, so you've got that chiselled pen and you've got all the other colours uh, that you've got. They're all the colourways uh, that we are looking at. No, it's all right. I would have dropped it in, but you tell me off. Uh, so, uh, there's your little candles that we're getting, £11.96. And then last but not least, you've got your watercolours as well. Uh, loving them, loving them, loving them. £18.50, 188690 is your item number. We're running out of time, Baker. I haven't got time to hold it up here. Uh, thank you, Lulu. No, thank uh, you. What, do you know what you'll be doing at four o'clock? A little bit of absolutely everything. <laughs> yes, because everything we have planned so far, we've not really stuck to. Uh, 18 pounds and 50 pence, bless her. She's a trooper. Uh, very busy for the pens now, for the crayons, busy for your metallics, busy for your pastels, busy for your fine liners, and your one day special. Don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. I will see you Monday morning, bright and breezy. See you then. Bye. I won't see you Monday at all. I'll see you Tuesday after. I'll see you Tuesday morning. Uh, Handmade by Haley is up next. Then we're talking Ranger Mixed Media. Then we're going all happy planner. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting, and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp 
And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Good afternoon to you. I hope you're well. And I hope you're having a lovely day with us here at the craft store. Handmade by Haley is now going to be handmade by you. Yes, maybe this is something you've always wanted to do. Get into soft crafts, make quilts, but you're not really good at cutting out the shapes, getting it all together and being organised as you should. Well, we have got something to help you start your journey or continue your journey into soft crafts. This is a monthly mega deal. My word, this could be the last time. In fact, I think it's the last time. It is, The yeah. last chance for you to get this incredible deal at an unbelievable price. You are getting six sets of dies to help you cut out your different shapes to bring together those patchwork quilts that you've always always wanted to make there are six patterns in here for you as well all beautiful quilts and as it is a monthly mega deal there's three more patterns for you wow making nine in total and if you think about it in a monetary sort of way if all of the patterns are five pounds each, if you take that off 69.94, my word, what a deal you are getting for your dies today. First payment of 34 pounds and 97 pence today. We're not going to wait to send everything out to you. We won't divide this into two. We'll send it all out at the same time. So once you get your dies, you've got the patterns to start making and creating. And then there's another payment a month after that. Don't delay. Don't miss out. Get it into your basket and check on out. So we've got some great demos coming up. 438598 is your item number. Huge saving of 31 pounds. That's why so much of the stock has already gone. It has been a very, very busy monthly mega deal. Now, before we get to Haley, we have got some mocha blocks for you. I'm not talking about a fancy coffee, <laughs> although Haley and I do share the love of fancy coffee. Um, this is going to give you, like a jigsaw puzzle, the capability of putting together a block that you will design yourself. Now, you don't need a graphic design. Um, certificate. You don't even need a computer to put this together. You have got a system brought to us by Handmade by Haley, which is going to give you a chance to build and create blocks to make your quilts unique to you and of course to your customers because of course you can start making and creating to sell and it's so so easy to do as well you can see here the whole collection that's there for you and that includes the frame 
and the frame extenders as well. So the two samples that you see in front of me are the kind of blocks that you could create with the frame extenders. You can see they're making it a lot larger. Maybe you make it a big quilt. Maybe this is going to be the center of your quilt, for example. And then if you take away those extenders, we've got another example at the other side of what your block could look like. And it works perfectly hand in hand with your monthly mega deal uh, 20 pounds it is an incredible deal now if you're thinking right i think i've got the concept janice i kind of understand but i'm still brand new to it look how easy it is to make so you've got your different blocks yes just like a jigsaw puzzle and you can see in this beautiful video how easy it is to place those blocks together and think about that you creating a block just like that it could be your very first one who knew who knew until today it's only 20 pounds it's a great deal and because your monthly mega deal is divisible by two payments it's only 10 pounds today it's definitely worth getting now if you have any questions or if you have any quilts that you've made with these products from Handmade by Heli, you want to share with us, then please do email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Now, something else that you might want to get is the Collider, because, of course, we're selling dies. They're included in your monthly mega deal. You need a die-cutting machine. Uh, this is no ordinary die-cutting machine. Oh, no, you can do your foiling without plugging it in and using heat. Who would have thought? It is an amazing deal, and we're always, always busy when we have this on the shows. You've got a £10 discount. It's £99 and 99 pence but again if you want to go with this with your monthly mega deal that is on three flexi buys 33 pounds and 33 pence um i will find out whether if you go for the collider Kaleido machine first and then put your monthly mega deal in whether the whole bundle will be divisible in three we'll, well check that we'll check does. that mm. but that could be a cheeky way of doing that it could be a cheeky way of dividing it into three payments um give it a go put it in your basket check on out see what happens uh, 807 642 is your item number um it is an incredible deal and we've got one more item to show you before we head to Haley. oh these are so super Oh, I love these. So cute. Right. £16.97. I can't believe the saving on here, Hayley. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. This is a seven-day saver. So we launched these on Sunday. And they're going to go all the way through until this coming Sunday. Um, while stocks last. While stocks last. So you've got... Is that Lionel? Lionel the Llama. Yes. You've got Olivia the Ostrich. Um, you've got Zeb the Zebra, Eric the Elephant and Grace the oh. um, Giraffe. Look at them. Oh, they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, £16.97. Just look at the saving. It is an incredible deal. And, of course, you've got the tools to go with it as well. 176216 is your item number. Let's head over to Hayley. Uh, what have you got there, Hayley? Okay, so, well, this is my um, grab-and-go bag. And this is where I keep all of my bits and pieces relating to mocker block, relating to my dies. And there is a pattern available for this one on the website. So if you want to make your own, you can do. So what we've got here is um, two little takeaway containers. I'm using them to store my dies in one of them and I've got all my mocker block pieces in the other and I've also got my frames sitting in the back wow, there. you fitted a lot in there. It's, yeah, we, yeah, to be honest, you can actually fit three of these in there because you've got the depth of the, the, the lid as well and they're useful for all sorts. I've used them for makeup going yeah, away and stuff great. like that. Brilliant as gifts as well. And if you do want to get hold of the zips, the right sizes of the zips, we have got those as an end of call item if you want them to have Brilliant as well. Fantastic. So let's get back to the beginning. So it started off with the mocker block. That's where the story began. So you've got obviously your frame pieces that all come together to make your frame as we saw. Now what I've actually done is I've put my frame um, and I've put it onto a piece of board. Just makes it nice and easy for you to transport around. So oh, let me just move that frame out of the way. So here um, I've put them all down. I've glued them in place. You can do this if you're wanting to. It's entirely up to you. Um, I've just glued them down just so that they don't move around and I don't lose all my, my little pieces when I'm actually um, working on the design. I'm losing my frame pieces already. So um, this is um, a nine, it ends up being a nine inch um, block. If you're using the kind of the dies that you're working with within the monthly mega deal, to be honest, it can replicate any size block that you want. So we're working with kind of three inch um, patches when we're working with the, the um, monthly mega deal. But you can make them into four, five, six, whatever you like, because obviously the your block will get bigger and bigger. So you can see you've kind of got nine little segments in here. So this is where you're going to be creating something called a nine patch block. OK, now the extenders open up the area. 
So here you go, you can see you've got much larger area. So this time we're looking at four patches going across in your three inches. So this time you're looking at a 12 inch block. Now that's using the frame as it is. You don't have to use it with the frame if you don't want to, because if you're wanting to create your own blocks, then you can do it in whichever way you like. But the idea being is you will take your block or your, your um, kind of layout and you get those pieces out so very quickly I'll show you and you start creating your patch so you have a little play around with this the whole family ends up getting involved with this to be honest so, um, the pieces will actually have on there um, the name of the piece so you can see HST that stands for half square triangle now one of my biggest bugbears with quilting is all the jargon because I think if you are a newbie to quilting then that can be the most terrifying thing is that you don't understand First of all, the phrases, there's so many phrases, but then it's how do you get those actual pieces together for the right bit? Oh, I've lost a bit over there, not to worry. Um, but with this, all you're doing is you're designing. So you might think, oh, I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put another one of those there. Um, I'm going to bring in another and pop it over here. Um, and then finally, I'm going to pop another one there. So straight away, you have got all of the pieces that you need for your quilt, all kind of laid out there in front of you. So that's when you start deciding on your fabrics. Now, before you start designing, on your fabrics you will actually get where have I put it now, you'll you get your patch your, calculator would you start with your main pattern like you've done there mm -hmm. Hayley so that's the pattern that you want and then it's a, a case of filling in the outer areas yeah it's just, you can start wherever wow. you can start in a corner even start in the that. middle you don't even have to use the frame if you don't want to I know people that have done blocks that are much larger than this to um, kind of depict things like um, well it could be something like a Christmas tree or something like that it's whatever you want but basically with this as well. I'm just going to very quickly um, get hold of my patch calculator. Oh, I, there. I thought I'd already got it laid out, but it's probably, oh, I can see it now. That and I've does come this back. come with your. It does. Excellent. Yeah. This comes with the mocker block. It does indeed. So this will come in your set with your mocker block. And um, it's kind of laminated, which means you can actually um, write on it with one of those wipe clean pens if you wanted to. So what you've got in here, you've kind of got a shopping list of the different pieces you need. So each one of these patches here is depicted somewhere on the, the, the shopping list, for the want of a better phrase. So it gives you the opportunity for you to kind of calculate how many pieces you're needing whether you're just making one block to go in the center of a cushion or whether you're making multiple blocks to make it into a larger quilt this is actually available to download from handmadebyhayley.tv free of charge so you can print that off as often as you like or when you get yours just scan it in photocopy it however you like I tend to use paper versions rather than wiping it clean because that way you're not kind of using your original up so that's some uh, available as I say, within the bundle. And then you cut out your fabric, you stitch them all together, and lo and behold, there you go. You have created your block depicting the pattern that you created to start with. How easy is that? And that's something that could put a lot of people off. Yeah. Patchwork quilting, especially if they've been wanting to get into it for the first time. Maybe you've got a brand new sewing machine uh, as a gift. Maybe you've got it for your birthday or for Christmas. Maybe it's still in the box because you're not quite sure how to do it. Well, now we've got all the help and advice for you. And if you've got a die cutting machine, this monthly mega deal is going to be perfect for you. And if you don't have a die cutting machine, We've got one for you on the show available, and the price of that is divisible into three payments. It is a superb deal. Uh, and again, the die cutting machine isn't just for your fabric, it's for all of your other projects and all of the other dies that we sell here at the craft store as well. And this is an extra special die cutting machine because you can also foil with this as well with no heat involved. Zero one. Seven double three sixty two thousand. That's your telephone number if you want to give us a call, or you can head to the website thecraftstore.com and place items into your basket. Remember, along with your monthly mega deal of cutting out those shapes, you've also got nine patterns of quilts. We've got the quilts around the studio uh, at the back here, and they look absolutely terrific. I think the one that we're just about to have a look at, the blue and the pink one, that's one of the new patterns that is included in the monthly mega deal that you can't get anywhere else. That's one of the bonus ones. You can't get it in the pick and mix that we've got online. Um, it is a case of the only way you can get hold of this one is using um, the, the monthly mega deal. That one's called Labour of Love because it was a little bit of a labour of love. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next one that you've got is the Twister. Again, that is another one that is one of those bonus ones. So you're getting the pattern for that one included. And they're both big size quilts. And these are using regular fabric. So um, well, that one's definitely using regular fabrics. The first one was actually using Liberty Print fabric. But the thing is is you don't have to spend a lot of money to get involved now the green and yellow quilt that you've got there 
That's actually made out of recycled fabrics. I can't believe you told me that earlier, and that's that's amazing. So, wow, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on fabric. You don't, not when you're practicing, no. especially. And because you've got the smaller elements of the shapes in there that then build, using the mocker block to build up that larger shape. It makes sense. And you can kind of see that block system, that block formation, yes. where you've got your 16 patches made up for each of those and then nine repetitions of them in a variety of different ways. And just to prove my point, there you go. There is the cuff that was left over from the shirt. So we've got the cuff there. Um, we've got things like lapels. We've got things like sleeves as well. So um, top tip from me, if you are doing this and you are going out shopping, uh, maybe to somewhere like a charity store, then go for the largest size you can get because you get more fabric in Do you know what? That, <laughs> uh, that is a terrific idea. I've not thought about that. Yeah. Yes, when you go round, one, you're giving money to charity, which is great. Two, you might see the shirt and think, oh, it's not something I'd wear. Create a quilt with it. That's what an absolutely fantastic idea. When you said recycled fabric, I thought you meant just fabric from your craft room that you no, cut off and no, cast it literally. away. Bed sheets, all those what kind of things. Fabulous and idea. this is a lovely one. Memory quilts are very much a thing at the moment for family, relatives, friends that have passed away. Um, taking their clothes and actually turning them into kind of comfort quilts. Oh, do you know what? That's, oh, I've just got goosebumps when you said that. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And then the one next to that, of course, is the arrows. We've just seen That's you. It. Now, this uh, is called, we saw that in the video. This one's called Arras. Now, Aras. Aras, somebody thought, so, oh, that sounds very Mexican. Do you know what it is? Go on. Because it's made up of Aras. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But doesn't it look effective? Now, if you were to have that on the wall, like a, a wall hanging, for example, lots of people decorating their homes at the moment because they've been in their homes for quite some time, as you know. Um, but I like quilts, and I think this is coming back in fashion, hanging at the back of the bed, on yes. the wall. Yes. So instead yes. of painting your feature wall, you've yeah. got a fantastic quilt up there, a wall hanging. And that's something would be perfect for that. Well, this one was actually made out of charm packs or your five inch squares, um, and that's what I've got here. So every single one of those pieces was cut out of nothing bigger than a piece of fabric that's the size of your palm. So again, utilizing your pre-cuts, quite often we will buy um, charm packs because you've got the coordination of colors going right the way through, um, and that's what we've got with that one, using nothing no bigger than that. I'll actually show how you can make a quilt using your strips as well, your strip rolls as the hour progresses. And then the last one that we've got over on the side here, which I might need to move out of the way for, which That's kind really of gives pretty. me the opportunity. Oh, hang on. If I dip down, because I need to get something from underneath as well. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been made up using scraps. So what I've got here is I've got my deflector. And quite often I will sit just using odd shaped pieces of fabrics that I've got left over and actually utilize the dies to turn them into usable pieces. So I've got loads and loads of my little quarter um, triangles there. That's been made up using quarter triangles. I've got my rectangles. I've got my larger triangles all in here. So when I've got the opportunity to sit down and have a play, I can do what I call a scrappy quilt. And this hasn't cost me anything because these are the leftovers from other projects. And you know what? I think it's a fantastic idea. And when you've got the dies from the monthly mega deal as well, it's a very, very good point. You may be in your craft room now. You've got a project. You may be making a cushion or something like that. And uh, you have that scrap fabric left that you just put to one side. But you're not quite sure what to do with it. Well, get it out because it will be the right size, hopefully, for all of your dies that you've got here. So then all of a sudden, that scrap fabric that you're thinking, what, what shall I do with that? What shall I, what shall I use that for? Suddenly turns into something quite magical and something that could be a hand-me-down and you could be passing on to other members of the family or because you've purchased that monthly mega deal and you're utilizing the dies that are in here now I know we have a die cutting machine on the show but lots of people already do have die cutting machines That's of course right. yeah. um, these will work with pretty much all of they them they are um, they're classed as mixed media dies so they're a little bit thicker than some of your card making car and um, dies actually makes them more expensive to manufacture as yes. well and that's because you um, you have to have that thickness and also with these, you'll notice that extra line in there. That's reinforcing the die to um, kind of prevent it twisting and warping as you go. Something else you'll notice as well, with these, you're getting multiples of dies. So rather than just getting one quarter square triangle, you're getting four because you need four to make up a patch. So it gives you the opportunity to very quickly and easily get all your pieces together. Um, before I kind of go on to the kind of the cutting out and kind of dies versus traditional methods, can I just show you a couple of the different quilt, um, quilt blocks that have been created using the mock block so there you go oh look at that do you know what that reminds me of play school it is, when we were it's kids. very much like that so yeah. you can see you can get very creative with these you can actually make letters hey, utilizing these as idea. well um, and you can just literally play around to your heart's content making different styles of blocks just and this is obviously these have been stitched out but you don't actually have to stitch them out it could be that you're just playing with them taking photographs of them and there's actually some brilliant apps if you're taking your photos on your phone go and look for kaleidoscope style apps and basically 
basically, you remember the old kaleidoscope that yes, used to hold yeah, up to yeah, your yeah. eye and twist and turn? You can actually put your um, block picture that you've taken into one of these apps and it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like on a larger scale. How amazing. Now, with all of those blocks there that you've got, which mm -hmm. are all very, very interesting, if I wanted to, Hayley, mm -hmm. could I just take them as they are and put them together as a quilt? Do I have to have a repetition of a block to make it look uniform or could I just whatever I like? Just mix it up. Wow. Sometimes you will find people that would do different types of traditional style blocks to try them out. It's almost like a sampler quilt. Yes. So you might have one that's got some flying geese in there. You might have an Ohio star. Um, you might have these different ones that you know traditionally, which you can still make using the dies. But it can be just a case that you have them all the same. It doesn't have to be. Um, yeah. I mean, many of these, these ones over here are repetitions of the same blocks. But the yeah. ones over on the far side, those are different styles of blocks, blocks put together in different formulations to get a different look. They are absolutely fascinating. And I think with quilts, so I'm just looking at it there, you, you look, your first instincts, you see that whole image. Then you look again, you see something else. Then you look again, then you see a block, and then you see that being repeated. They're absolutely fascinating. And it's such a pleasure to make. Now, I've not made a quilt myself, but I'd like to give it a go. But I'm very impatient, um, I'll admit that. So a system like this would really help me because it would cut the blocks out for me to start crafting. Now you might know somebody that's been crafting for quite some time and they want to take the leap into soft crafts or it might be your very, very first craft that you're taking part in, who knows? By getting this, starting your journey, going through the quilts that Hayley has given you in those nine patterns that are included, who knows where that might lead you? Might lead you all the way here to the craft store. You never know. You Very never true. know. Very in true. Years to come. Yeah. Uh, we're busy for the monthly mega deal. It's an incredible deal as well. This is the last time to get hold of it. Sixty nine ninety four, saving thirty one pounds. We do have another show at five o'clock today. You've got your sixteen dies with the different shapes in there. You've got six patterns and three extra patterns in there. And as Haley said, with the dies, it's not just one to cut out your triangles. You've got the four because that's how many you're going to be using probably for your block so it is an incredible price and it's going to save you time and give you inspiration as well 438598 is your item number let's head back to Hayley remember any questions any inspirations please do email in it is studio at the craftstore.com Hayley okay so the next stage from once you've created your design would be to get your pieces ready now traditionally you would cut out a square that you would then use in a variety of different techniques to create something like your um, quarter square triangle angles that we've got on this particular patch. Now there's a lot of maths involved with traditional quilting. So the square that you've actually got, or I'll show you this one here, the square that we've actually got here is much larger than the finished square that we've got for the quarter square triangle. So you need to be able to know how much bigger that square needs to be from your final finished piece. Okay. And that's when it gets very, very confusing um, doing all the maths. So that's where the dies will help you with regards to those. But let's talk, go um, back to what happens when you've actually got the right size square. So if I was creating something like um, quarter square triangles, I would start off with two same sizes of squares. I would stitch either side of the di um, diagonal line there, and then I would cut them apart like so. So there I've got my two triangles all ready to go. Now the first thing is, when you look at this, you've got these little dog ears. So these are bits that you need to snip away. Now when you're actually working with the dies, you don't get those dog ears. They basically, they round off the corners. So you can line them up perfectly, but you don't have to do any snipping into them. That is That's the beauty good. of these. That's good. Saves you time, but it saves you the mess as well, because there's a lot of little tiny pieces that end up on your floor. So you would take your two pieces um, and you would face them together. So place one square on top of the other and you'd repeat the process. Again, cutting that in half. And again, when you open it up, you'll end up with those little dog ears again you've got to cut off more little pieces that have to go and then finally you end up with your little block and um, your little patch there and as I say you've got to snip off all those little corners well when it actually comes to working with the dies you're already cutting your pieces to the right size so if you're completely new to, to quilting you might look at a little patch like that and you think right okay I understand that's made up of four triangles so cut out your triangles don't cut them out as squares, cut them out as triangles. So um, it's going to need two of those and two of those. And what happens is they're actually stitched together in little pairs like that. So all I've done is I've gone to my sewing machine, I've cut out the, the number that I need, and I've chain pieced them together. So all of these are going to make little patches. Then I basically I've cut them. 
Well, I can cut them actually. Let's cut them here. And this is just by taking them through your um, sewing machine and just con having the stitch going across the top and just continuing it, almost like um, bunting. Well, that's it, yeah. You yeah. just keep going so you're not stopping and starting. Right. You're not having to cut in between. I've not had to snip off those corners, so again, then I would press those open so they would stitch together like that. I'd put them right sides together like so. And then you would end up with your, your little patch that you've created. Oh, I've got them all in a jumble over here. So you end up with your little patches with the rounded corners. And that's the key thing. You're not snipping off those corners as you go. Now, obviously, I created that using the small quarter square triangles, but there's nothing stopping you going large and using the larger triangles to do the same technique. So rather than using them on the diagonal, which is kind of the way that they were intended, utilize them and make even larger patches. So you're not restricting to that three inch size that we were talking about. Now I'm about to ask you a question okay. about someone that doesn't quilt so I've seen people quilt I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. It's great that we don't have to snip, isn't it? Oh, that will save so much time and so much mess. Mm -hmm. And in the long run, if you're making lots of quilts, it's going to save you fabric as well. Um, but we've got rounded corners. Yes. Shouldn't they be absolutely square mm. when we're making a quilt? Well, when you actually put the pieces together, yeah. so let me just bring in a couple of little um, patches. There's no rule to say that they have to be exactly okay. that. Because these two pieces here, let me move that out of the way. We'll come to that in a minute. So these two pieces, Pieces, are patches that have been made up with those rounded corners. Yeah. So when they actually come together, you've got that rounded corner that is going to marry up with another rounded corner like right. so. And because it's cut with the die, it's going to be That's spot it. on. And I actually find it easier to, to line up my pieces when I've kind of got three points. So I've got this side, I've got that side, and then the curve. When you're actually piecing pieces together and you've only got a right angle, sometimes you've only got one point where you can actually line it up like so. And then that's when you can sometimes find that that join isn't exactly on point, as we call it, meaning that uh, it, it's kind of, it goes a little bit awry and it kind of, you get those telltale signs with it. So yeah, and you're having to snip away, constantly snip away, and those curves take away the bulk of those. Wow. Do you know what, that's a great point. Mm. It is oh. a great point. Oh, you know I did there. I did um, see it. <laughs> again, there's another benefit to getting the dies of putting it together so easily. Again, if you've been making quilts and you've been struggling, this is the answer and could be the answer for you. Right, so you've got your die. Okay, cutting. So now we've got this die cutting machine on the show. We had, yeah, the Kaleido, absolutely brilliant. I mean, you can use it for your paper crafting as well as your fabrics, obviously. Um, and the beauty is, I mean, it just cuts to a dream. I will show you in a little while how you can utilise it on um, the dies on other die cutting machines. I'm getting into a real mess here. It's just getting it all over the place. So I've got the pre-cuts out now to show that you don't have to work with huge pieces of fabric. So these, we're traditional with these. Um, we see these 10-inch squares. Sometimes they are called layer cakes. They can be called all sorts of different names, but they tend to be 10-inch um, square. Then you've got things like your charm packs, which again, the five inch squares, sometimes they get called other things as well. And then we've got your strip rolls as well. So your strip rolls, if you were looking at making something like those triangles we were looking at um, a few moments ago, where are they? These pieces here, like your little pieces, your little triangles. I showed you before that you need to start off with a larger square. So the square itself is actually wider, whoops, is wider than the strip roll. So you think, oh, I can't, I can't make that square in order to make those triangles in the traditional way. And you can't, but you can when you're using dies because, if I move those out of the way, we'll get a couple of these strip rolls together. So we'll take that one and we'll take maybe, oh, here, I'll take these two because they look nice together, those two. So I've got two strips here um, and these ones, I think they're two and a half inches wide. So they're cut or they come to you like this. And it's, it's a very economical way of buying fabrics because you get a lot of different fabrics for a really good price. So I'm going to take two strips of these together and I'm actually going to put them together, right sides together, um, because that's how I'm going to stitch them out. So. Um, it's worth taking just a few moments just to, to literally lay out your fabrics to save you a bit of time. You could cut out all your dark triangles, you could cut out all your lighter triangles and have them in different bundles, but you can save yourself a bit of time doing it this way. So I'm going to put those facing together. I've got another question. Okay, far away. I'm sorry, but That's all right. I'm quite new to this. Um, we're talking about wrong side, right side. Yes. When we're cutting with the dies, 
Does it matter if it's the wrong side or the no. right side of the fabric? No, it Superb. doesn't. The only thing you need to be aware of is if you've got a fabric that we call directional. So that's if you've got um, something all going in the same, same direction. You need to make sure that you are using your dies in a certain way. But my top tip, and you'll find that a lot of quilt fabrics especially, um, don't have a directional pattern because it makes it a little bit yeah. tricky. Yeah. And quite often you'll have to use more fabric. Right. It's a bit like wallpaper. You yes. know how you've got oh, like, gosh, that repeat. Yes. Sometimes you have to buy that extra roll even though you only need a little tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one of those things. So I've taken my fabrics and I've doubled them over. So I've actually got four layers there. So I've got two sets and I'm using the Kaleido and I'm using the Kaleido with the metal plate, which I believe we have got on the website. Now, the plates that I'm using here, I've been using for a long time and they haven't warped. And the reason they haven't warped is because I'm not cutting out any more than four layers. Now, I could cut out more than four layers if I wanted to. The machine will cope with that. But what will start happening is there's a compensation for that, and that is where your plates will start warping and bending, and we start seeing banana plates. Yes, a little bit like myself. The more strain <laughs> that's put on me, the more I bend. Like <laughs> and, we, so. and we think that we're saving time, and we are saving time, but what we're doing is we're making it so we have to buy additional plates yeah. as time goes and on. And it can be harder to take it through the die cutting machine, exactly. whatever die cutting machine you've got, if you're trying to put too much in there. Definitely. Now, Crafts 2 do sell the metal plates. The metal plate may warp a little bit, but don't worry too much about that. And we place that down, and the dies are going to cut into that because that's going to be a, a, a nice kind of metal on metal surface mm. for cutting, always cuts better. If you don't use that, then you will need to kind of what we call shim up um, your, your um, plates because they, whoops, Daisy, they won't be thick enough to take everything through. It won't get an actual cut on there. And you can shim up, and shims are basically just putting in additional pieces of um, paper or cardboard to build up that thickness so as it, it kind of makes contact with the rollers as it passes through. So let's go back to our quarter square triangles and we're going to bring those dies in. Because we've got four repeats of those dies, four repeats she says, just thinking to herself, where have I put all four of my dies? I think I've lost a die somewhere along the way. Oh, there it is. There you go. Magnetic sheets are also a good idea <laughs> to keep these organised. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fabrics and I'm just going to tap them just so as they kind of all lie neatly together. You could use a little bit of tape if you're wanting to. I've actually got my fabric trailing off here. Don't have fabric trailing in that direction. So if you've got any trailing fabric, make sure it's coming this way so it's the last thing to go through your machine. And all I've got here is I've got... Now we're hoping... <laughs> you're all right. Are you all right back there? Yeah, yes. oh, we're okay. <laughs> so we're, we're all right. We're okay, hopefully. <laughs> so what I've got here is I've got my um, base plate. So the base plate obviously comes with the machine. I've got the two plates that come with it and I've got the metal plate. So I've put the metal plate down, got my fabric on top and now I'm going to position my dies. So what you can do is stagger them like so. If you've got wider fabric, then obviously you can sit them side by side. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stagger these, top and tail them like so. And then I'm just going to put the plate on top again, like that. I'm just going to bring up the machine, pop it in. Now, this is the bit when people get very, very nervous because there's a lot going into the machine and they get very nervous about turning the handle. You will find some resistance. It's the way that it happens. And any die cutter will tell you, you get used to that. You get over the fear. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. You can kind of safeguard yourself maybe by staggering your plates a little bit um, if you're wanting to. So you're not kind of hitting the machine with everything at the same time. And then all you do is you pop it in like so. And then what you will find is that handle will usually start moving. You can see there. So that's telling me the direction that I need to turn the handle in. And then I'm just going to rotate. Now, when you actually get to where the dies are, you might feel a little resistance. You'll certainly hear cracking noises. That is nothing to be afraid of. But I'm only putting through four layers, so I've not got a huge amount of resistance. Now, if you're wanting to, to safeguard, you can pass it back through again. I don't tend to do this, but you can do if you want to. And again, you can hear some quite horrific noises, as it works. I say the same to Jane all the time. There's going to be a few cracking noises, but don't worry about it. <laughs> and then what you've got there is you've got your pieces cut out. So I have cut out double the quantity that I would have cut out had I only got one single tri um, of those triangle dies. But that, that means is in just one pass, I have got enough there that when I stitch these together, I can actually make two of those patches. But of course, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to cut out more of those. And it's just quickly and easily, I have got those pieces. I can that. then 
and put them right sides together. I can chain piece them in the way that I explained to you just a few moments ago, but I haven't got any nasty corners that I'm going to need to um, basically uh, trim away. Top tip, when they are going through and you're chain piecing, make sure that they're all in the same formation. So if you've got a, a pattern and a plane that they're lying exactly the same way, so they look the same way, because it does make a difference when you come to make up your little patches. But I can just chain piece those together quickly. I could have 30, 40, 50, however I need, many I need, according to my patch maker, my wow. patch calculator. And then basically I've got all of the components, so I can just sit down, make my blocks, put my blocks together, and there you go, then you've got your quilt. And I have to say, I was, I was stuck, you know when you come up with an idea and you think, well, I think this will, I, I think this will work, and you start working with it, and then it's like, wow, it does work, but it works so quickly and yeah. efficiently. These quilts that you've got here, some of these quilts, I mean, the quilt that you've got with the recycled fabric, I cut out the fabric for that in an hour. I was watching um, a, a drama that was on TV, and I was cutting out in the kitchen at the same time, so that was literally cut out in an hour. Um, and it's a case of that something like the larger quilts, you could actually be making those in a weekend from beginning right oh, the way through to end. Do you know what I like about it as well is maybe you want to craft with somebody. Maybe you've got the grandkids coming round. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe you've got, you know, your son or your daughter. You want to get them into crafting. It's time that you can spend together. Well, you don't really want to put them with the scissors or the rotary blade cutter and maybe you're not too confident with those anymore for lots of different reasons. Um, this gives you a chance to work together with them because you're not really using scissors when you die cutting your different shapes out so it really is a way of bringing people together and maybe getting your crafty mojo back 438598 is your item number you're saving a whopping 31 pounds on this monthly mega deal it's divisible into two payments making it affordable it's affordable because you've got your dies included and there's nothing stopping you actually we've got some great shapes in here there's nothing stopping you from using these with your card to make oh, card yeah. toppers and things yeah. like that so they are mixed media dies you've got six patterns and then the additional three patterns to start creating your quilts that all correspond with the shapes that you're getting in your monthly mega deal it makes sense and if we look at those patterns and give them five pounds each you take that 45 pounds off that initial price of your monthly mega deal then you are getting incredible value for money you can really hit the ground running with this one 69.94 but again divisible into two payments you can spread the cost and if you're a freedom member you don't pay any p and p so it makes it highly highly affordable now once you've cut out your shapes you might want to decide that you want to design a block or you might want to do it the other way around. Maybe you want to hello, uh, design your block first and then cut out your fabric. But you don't know where to start. You're not very good on a computer. You don't have the apps that are available to you. And maybe your math isn't as good as it used to be or maybe just not good at all. Uh, is me. Um, this is going to give you the opportunity at £20 to start making some incredible blocks that will impress someone that's been crafting and making quilts for a very, very long time. They will look at the blocks that you create so effortlessly with the system by Handmade by Hayley uh, and just say to you, my goodness, where did you get that from? And you can give your blocks different names as well. And then if you really want to, you can share that information with other people as well so with your mocker block system you do get the borders you get the extensions as well if you're using the extensions your mocker block could look like that larger could be the centerpiece for your quilt and if you're not using the extenders that you can see just go along the top you've got the smaller block just there have fun with this have a lot of fun with this 09541 is your item number it's only 20 pounds and if you're going for this with your um, monthly mega deal you can divide the cost of this into two payments don't forget we've also got that die cutter machine from Kaleido or the Kaleido machine on the show um, but if you're thinking well how does this work Janice it looks good but I want to see it in action let's take Take a look at this.
like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Only you make the end creation. How exciting. Uh, right, 09541, that's your item number. That's for your mocha block. Let's get back to our lovely Hayley. Now, I've shown you, obviously, cutting out using the Kaleido, but I know lots of you have invested in um, your Big Shots because the Big Shot can accommodate the steel rule dies, and there are a lot of quilting dies that are those thicker steel rule dies. The downside of those is quite often they are just one particular block. Obviously, you can cut up the pieces and make them into different ways if you're wanting to, but I just wanted to show that you don't necessarily have to invest in a brand new die cutting machine unless you particularly want to. So, um, the Big Shot, um, I'm just going to pull this out. So, this has got the extended plates in it, and I'm going to move the machine just to one side just to explain to you what we've got here so you'll be aware of this if you've got a big shot you will have your two plates your two cutting plates um, it's a similar sort of idea with the smaller big shot as well so if you have got the smaller plates then that's okay and then you will have your hinged platform now the hinged platform obviously you've got your um, kind of your kind of skinnier plates that are here number one number two and then obviously your main platform now I have actually um, and this is a prototype I'm hoping to be able to bring these so as to accommodate for these but this is basically a shin now this could be replicated using cardboard and things like that and I am looking at getting the longer ones but this is kind of a bit of a prototype because what I found is that utilizing either one and the platform um, or one and two and the platform um, or the platform by itself isn't sufficient to actually cut the fabric in an ideal world the platform and number two do work that's what I found but because they are kind of together they're, they're screwed in place at the end here it can make it tricky i've got another set of plates where the, these little ends here have come away so you can actually remove the rod and take the elements out which is okay but if you want to undo the screws to get the, your own perfect combination that's up to you but i don't necessarily want to encourage you to do that which is why i've been researching and i've come up with this so this plate which hopefully we'll have available at some point is basically going to sit down on your your plate it could be cardboard that you've used it could be paper but basically you just make a little bit of a, a kind of a, a, a stepping stone for the plates to work. So I'm going to pop the plate down and obviously because we've got that in this particular place that's the only area that I'm going to cut on this occasion. When we get the longer ones then obviously it'll be better. Now the first thing I'm going to say is this little triangle that was left over um, because I've just trimmed away what was left over from the previous cut. Um, so you can see that that's a bit of a, a kind of a, an odd shape. You wouldn't necessarily be able to make that into um, a, a quarter square triangle but you can when you can place the dies down exactly where you need them to go and that's where it's going to utilize your scraps so some people will think to themselves oh my goodness you, you, you're wasting such a lot of fabric when you're using dies you really aren't you can place them exactly where you want them to go now I'm going to move that plate around a little like so and this is literally testing it live on air I don't know actually no, I'm not going to I don't think because it's oh it might just about fit we'll see oh let's do it down that way no, I think it's going to over. It's not going to overhang enough. It's not. The prototype isn't quite long enough. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that down like so. I'm going to put the platform on top. So again, bear in mind when we actually have this plate, this acrylic plate that's going to pad it out, then that'll make it so much easier. But you can just use paper or card. Um, pass it through, and again you'll get the handle moving. Again, you will get the resistance. So when you've got the resistance, just keep going. Obviously, if it's a case that you really can't move, then do stop. We don't want anybody damaging any of their machines machines and then you can pass it through again if you want to be sure you can pass it back through to yourself again like so and then what you will find is it will cut out those pieces in the same way as it did with the Kaleido. I love the Kaleido I must admit but I appreciate that if you've already got a die cutting machine you might not be able to justify going for the dies going for the monthly mega deal and investing in a brand new die cutting machine but you can see there it's cut out those four layers that we spoke of previously but as I say you just need to shim it up to make it thicker and that's a similar sort of situation to lots of other machines so if you find that your machine isn't cutting perfectly then just take it a little at a time just one millimeter thicknesses can pad it out enough for you to actually cut out in any of those die cutting machines now, now Hayley with the dies uh, we're calling them mixed media dies so yes. I'm thinking about all different kinds of fabrics mm -hmm. predominantly quilting cotton is yes. what's used yeah. or your recycle fabrics but if you want to get a little bit more adventurous maybe some like faux leather or maybe some some felt yes um, maybe it's for an applique for the front of a bag so it's yeah. not just for quilting I guess oh, no. we could make those blocks and make some really nice bags are, are there other fabrics that we can use rather than 
rather than the quilting cotton. Definitely. You just need to be mindful of the fact that the equivalent of four layers of cotton. So if you're working with denim, then denim is probably going to be the equivalent of a couple of layers of quilting yes. cotton. Yeah. So you don't cut two layers at the same time. Got you. If it's something that's even thicker, maybe something that's more dense, then again, knock it down, knock it, the quantities down so you're not doing too many. Um, and of course, we've been talking about kind of quilts that you're creating using designs that you've made, but you can still utilise traditional quilt um, elements, things like flying geese. Yes. You must have heard us mention flying geese I before. Have, do you know what? I'm good with flying geese, log cabins and the Iowa Star. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, there you yeah, go. So I'm getting there. <laughs> well, you can see. This piece that I've created here, that is made up of flying geese. And that is utilising the dyes. Um, so it doesn't have to be a case of that it's got to be blocks that you've created. Your traditional stars you can create with these. So that has been done literally by using the large a half square triangle and attaching your quarter squares to either side and then you're stitching them together obviously you're putting them all together like so and then you're making it into your flying geese and that means that you can actually go quite free reign with your design so taking that out just for a moment I'm going to bring in Lionella Lionella. Oh, so hello. we have got Lionel, who is one of the um, the seven day saver yes. patterns. So I've made it out of uh, Lionella because oh, I just like the name of the little no. eyelashes and things. So this is a block that I've created. Now, obviously, I'm going to be back at five o'clock. So I'm going to progress with this one at five okay. o'clock. But what I want to do is I want to build a frame to go around this. So this could be the centerpiece of my quilt. Okay. Somebody who's got a love of llamas. Yes. Who doesn't, doesn't love llamas? <laughs> um, and then you can see here, I can make my flying geese to go around. All you need to do is make sure that the block that you've got, the overall size, is divisible by three. So this particular one is 15 inches. Right. Because I can then put those patches in place using the dies. Got you. Because they will come together in whatever formulation I choose, whether I'm wanting to do my little kind of quarter square triangle pieces, things like that, they yep. would work along there. Okay. Um, and that's the thing that you just need to be mindful of. Make sure that that block size with your applique is divisible by um, three. And also add on your, um, your seam allowance. So this actually measures, that pink square there measures 15 and a half inches yep. because I need to take into consideration my seam allowance and then what we're going to do is make some flying geese at five o'clock to work with this one. You're good with your math, aren't you? You could probably go out for a meal, dividing the no, bill. I'm absolutely <laughs> rubbish. I am rubbish. It has to be round numbers. Yes. Uh, I was just looking at the flying geese as well. That would make a great little table runner at Christmas time. So they like little Christmas trees, aren't they? Uh, so use your imagination there. You've got all the shapes to do so in your monthly mega deal. Now, the seven day saver. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It really, really is. If you want to go for this, um, it is available from um, well, it was it came live on Sunday and it's going all the way through until this Sunday while stocks last though, of course. So you've got your applique patterns and you've also got your eraser refills in there as well and a pair of scissors. How fantastic. 176216 is your item number and that is a huge saving. Maybe you've had your eye on those for quite some time. Now save money by buying them. Uh, right. We've also got on the show. The free motion sewing foot. Now we have had a question from Mandy on this. It's only 999 682560. Now Mandy would like to know whether this walking foot will work on a Husker Viking, Husqvarna Viking. 415 Hayley. Now I don't know the actual machine by the, the serial number, the, you know, the, the kind of design number that you mentioned there. Um, it's a universal one though so um, I've not had a chance to test it on every single sewing machine that's out there but I haven't had many come back to me so I would say by all means go for it, try it out and of course you've got the safeguard that you can return it if it doesn't fit. Oh, but it wonderful. should fit, there shouldn't be an issue with yeah, it. Yeah, wonderful. It's only 9.99. is your item number. Uh, a quick reminder of the monthly mega deal we are extremely busy. We are 85% of the stock gone of your monthly mega deal. It is an incredible deal. Maybe this is the first time you've seen it. You're thinking, monthly mega deal? Why haven't I seen this before? Don't worry. You've got time to get it into your basket. There is another show today at 5 o'clock, but jump ahead of everyone else. I feel awful saying that because there might be people joining us at 5 o'clock that can't join us now. Hopefully we'll have some left for them, but I don't know because we're very busy. 85% of the stock is gone. You've got your full set here of your diet for building and creating your shapes and you've got four of each in the packets which is great because we're not sending one through at the same time we're sending four through so <coughs> excuse me 
it makes it a lot easier for you and we were doubling up the fabric as well so we were then cutting out even more they are mixed media dies for you so you might want to use these for your cards as well make some shapes for your card making included in your monthly mega deal we've got your six patterns but then we've got an extra three patterns and they're included in your monthly mega deal. So there's nine in total. So when you get your diet home, you can start cutting and you can start making. So you don't have to wait to create. And that's what we want, because when we've got the mojo, we want to keep it running. 438598 is your item number. A huge saving of £31. Be quick, though. Get this into your basket. I don't want to rush you, but we're getting busier and busier and busier. This is what happens. People watch the demonstrations coming up to the end of the show. That's when they start checking out. Uh, right. 438598 is your item number for that. Now, the Kaleido that we've had on the show been busy for this as well. You like this. Um, pop this into your basket. You've seen Hayley demonstrate this. You've got a £10 saving on here. It's £99.99. And 99 pence. You can divide the cost over three months, which is good. 807643. You can also use this for foiling you as can. well. Don't ask me how, because I haven't done that bit yet. No, no, nor have I. I was, I was relying on you. <laughs> check, uh, um, check out YouTube. John Lockwood's yes. done loads of videos. Yeah, and he did some amazing shows with us here at the craft store where we were exceptionally busy. So I'm just chuffed to pieces that we've got that bag. 807643 two is your item number but for your die cutting it's manual which is brilliant isn't it and uh, you can see I was very impressed watching Hayley I know Hayley's strong but you were getting <laughs> those dies through and it was, it was just effortless and there was no noise either and we like that don't we sometimes <laughs> we like to craft when everyone's in bed uh, whether it be early in the morning or late at night. Uh, right, let's head back to Hayley. What we're going to have a look at, we've got how many, about six, seven minutes left. Okay, show. right. Well, I've got a fat quarter of fabric out here. So I wanted to show, obviously, we've been looking at your, your strips, but fat quarters, many of us buy fat quarters. Um, and it's one of those things that, again, it's maximizing the area of space that you've got. So what I tend to do is when it comes to die cut, I'm just going to cut out one of these in its own right. It's not a very square fat quarter, but not to worry. Um, so I'm just going to fold this over. Now, what you can do is fold it in accordance to the dies that you've got so if you're working with a larger piece of fabric maybe you've got a full meter or a half meter I tend to cut it down into kind of pieces where it will allow me to actually put those on there now it's not quite wide enough to accommodate for that but that's okay because we're going to use it as the half square triangle like so um, and I'm going to cut out some extra little pieces as well so I can cut out some quarter square triangles at the same time and the thing is you can move these round to suit the actual area that you've got so what what happens is you actually got minimal waste with these. Traditionally, if I was cutting this to make my, um, my squares, to make my fat quarters, I'd be cutting into this, I'd be using a whole long strip along here and along the bottom and different things like that. But with this, it is a case of literally you can take those and you can place them exactly where you want them to do. So I'm going to get the um, Kaleido back in and we'll get some of these cut out just to show you how quickly you can cut out these. So I've got my base plate, I've got my cutting plate, I've got my metal plate again. So I'm going to lay my fabric down and then on top of that I'm going to, oh that's where the die was I, I couldn't find it and I forgot the magnetic board <laughs> on your plate there I thought I've lost it what have I done with it so um okay so we've got some uh, large triangle there it's so going to pop that down there um on the design that I'm working with I've, I've figured out that I'm going to need some small um triangles as well so all of these I can cut out at the same time don't forget I've got four layers of fabric there so I'm actually cutting out four repeats of each of these so I haven't put my contrast fabric in place but I could have done that if I'd wanted to but just for ease I'm just using the one fabric again just offer it up if you get that kind of it's almost I liken it to going over a hill so you know when you're in a car yes. sometimes you have to put your acceleration down a little bit more so you don't roll backwards yes, you do. and then you get to the hot, the top of the, the the bridge and I am over emphasizing this by the way when I'm rotating that mm -hmm. and then you go over the hump and then down the other side so that's like kind that. of how it is when you you come to your die cutting so it's like to get the old over the machine. It's good old mangle, yes. that's right, yeah. So we've got our pieces here. So there we go. I've got my half square triangles. So let's start laying out some of these to give us an idea of the kind of area that we're covering with the fabrics. So there we go. Half square triangles. We've got those. I've got my quarter square triangles. So I've got four of those. So again, that's going to be more patches that we're creating. Obviously, I've done them all in the same fabric, but you, you can kind of get the idea if we were to make these into to patches utilising other areas. So there you go. That's one there. Um, and I've actually got two more of those. And that is in just one pass. Wow. So you can understand just how quickly it all comes together. Yeah. So your patches, there you go, four of those to make a little patch there. 
this is one pattern. You imagine if you're sat there for an hour, how many of these pieces you are going to be able to cut out and get ready for your cut. So again, uh, another little fat quarter. So you can see very quickly it is all coming together, the pieces that you're needing for your project. And then obviously just stitch them together as you want to. And just very, very quickly, you don't have to worry. If you go in for the monthly mega deal, you have got your patterns and you've got all of the instructions quite simply and concisely explaining to you which are the dies that you need to use which you put together and how you make your blocks and that's exactly what you do with each one of these you've just got different styles of blocks just follow the instructions but you know where I am if you need it and basically your instructions are on one side of an A4 sheet that's how wow. simple it is wow and we've got some of the quilts that you can produce with the patterns here in the studio they look fantastic don't they uh, whether you're using your scrap fabrics maybe yes you are thinking about throwing out some clothes that you don't need anymore they're no good for anyone else start cutting into them you've got the dies to do that you could go for the mocker block and start putting together those blocks to make but you do have the patterns included in the deal I love that one because now I'm looking at it I'm seeing love hearts running across the top isn't that lovely and then all of a sudden I'm concentrating on the diamonds or the square pattern that's in there and that's what I love about quilting um, and it must be such a joy I've never made a quilt myself but it must be so satisfying when you've put it together but to be able to get the system and the patterns to just go for it maybe you're seeing a pattern on here and you're thinking that would be great for my uncle that'd be great for my dad that would be great for my mum what a great gift for my sister and her other half who are moving into a brand new house uh, we've got some more here this is the one right there that was made using the scrap fabrics old shirts old t-shirts maybe some old jeans for example yeah you can still cut out denim but just remember your different sandwiches that you're using in die cutting machines love that then you've got your arras because it's <laughs> arrows uh, which is great do you know what those arrows if you if you look at them in another way they're like toadstools as well uh, so you can actually do a whole row of toadstools or chimneys for a house for example so have a lot of fun with the shapes that you're getting in your monthly mega deal and then the final one that we're just going to have a peruse on it's a beautiful pretty pattern that is and one would look at that and think oh how no I no, no I can't do that but yes you can yes you will and yes you'll be able to put that together because you will get the dies to cut out all the different shapes and you'll get the patterns as well they're easy to follow uh, following the instructions from Handmade with Hayley, you can get in touch with Hayley as well. Um, wow, what an incredible deal. Your monthly mega deal. We're very, very busy. Divide the cost into two. We do have one more hour. We are, are we limited? We're limited stock. So again, get in before everybody else does. I feel awful about the people joining us uh, later on because they might not have a chance to get this. Hopefully they will. Hopefully we'll still have the stock. People do buy in between the hours. £34.97 today gets you all the dye collections. It also gets you the nine patterns that are included as well. Save yourself time. Start on the right foot, as it were, um, and start making those wonderful quilts. Maybe a batch maker. And this is going to be ideal for you. Uh, 438598 is your item number. The website mm -hmm. is where you can go to to find all of the items we've had on the show and to have a look at all the information on the products as well. Maybe there's something you need to just sit down and read. You know, we're all different. Some of us buy from seeing and some of us buy from just sitting down, taking our time and having a read. Well, that's where the website comes in because if you go on click, uh, Quick Look, uh, that will show you some more information about the dies. Have a look at the star reviews. We've got five star reviews on the different items available for you. There's lots that we haven't seen from Handmade by Hayley. We've got a pick and mix on there for you as well. Oh, what a show, Hayley. You're back at five o'clock today. back at five. Earl, I've been busy with that fat quarter and I've created all of these pieces no, in that time that you were just that. chatting. And that's my waist. There's hardly any waist left, but I wouldn't throw that away. I would keep that for stuffing cushions with. That could be your bikini if you're holidays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I take my cardigan off. Yeah. <laughs> the joys. Uh, Hayley, thank you so much. been no an absolute problem. pleasure. You know I love Likewise. working with you. Great to see you as well because we're normally on different shifts. We are so indeed, yeah. It's been lovely to see you. Um, uh, make sure you get what you want and make sure you check out your basket. Don't miss out on anything. Uh, remember, more information on the website and more products as well. We do have more coming up on the afternoon. Remember, we're live all the way through until 10 o'clock every day here on the Craft Store. And then we are repeat overnight.
24 hours a day crafting. Next up, we've got Ranger Mixed Media, a fabulous show with our Leonie and Catherine. The Happy Planner after that, again with Leonie, and then we're back with the One Day Special. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko Shows. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hello, a very good afternoon to you all. We've got a second hour of Ranger products. Leonie's with us as well. She's going to be demonstrating. Do stay with us. We've got more items on this show to show you as well. Different products, so it's going to be a great hour. I'm just looking down the counter now, actually, and I can see some incredible deals for you. Let's have a look what we've got. Can we say hello to Leonie? She's not quite ready, I don't think. She's in the studio, but she's prepping. We will say hello in a little while. Do you know, we'll get going down the counter. Let's have a look what we've got first of all for you. So, we did mention Ranger. That's what we've got for you. We've got some great bundles as well. First of all, we've got the Ranger Alcohol Inks and Tray Kit. So, this is a whole project in a bundle, isn't it, really? Of course, you're going to see different effects with those inks. This is a great price with a £4 saving as well. £16.95. That lovely wooden tray is there for you and four of the alcohol inks as well. So you've got beautiful because we're going to see much more of the inks, of course, with Leonin demonstration. Item number for this one is 848624. Lovely little project straight away to get cracking with there. I think Leon is ready. Shall we say hello? It would Let's be rude not hello. to, wouldn't it? Hello. <laughs> How are you doing over there? <laughs> Whew. Yeah, okay. I do feel a little bit like... <laughs> Are you a little frazzled? A little frazzled. Oh, but okay. Good. Okay. But good. okay. And we had a really good first hour. I think alcohol inks are one of those products. If you've never seen them before, it, when you first see them, you go, oh my word, that's well cool. Even when you've used them before, you know, you come to use them again. And if you haven't, like, if you haven't used them in ages, you forget how amazing they are. If you use them all the time, you never, ever seem to come to the end of the possibilities. Yeah. They just, you add in a different colour, you add in a different technique. You know, there's always something to find with them. They're really cool. They cool. really, really are. Never will you see two 
projects the same. We've mm. got mixtives coming up as well, which does add another level. Let's have a look at the next item. So moving down, you can see here we've got a really nice bundle, actually. This is your mixed media sign. So you can see you have got your little wooden sign there. So I've already got a hanging rope on there for you. We've got some great rice papers. Now, you do get more than one rice paper. You can see these are repeated, so you've got projects that you want to do, then, you know, you can repeat that project as well. Maybe you want things to match. You will get five of the A4 rice papers. Not only that, not only the sign and the rice papers, you're going to get a lovely big pot of clear pouring top coat as well. That is a big pot. You've got eight fluid ounces there, or 236 millilitres. So your top coat, obviously it's going to dry with a high gloss clear effect, so you can go directly on top of your your uh, alcohol inks which is going to bring those colour through further you could go to all different surfaces actually Leonie have you used this previously at the earlier show yeah um, it's beautiful from Ciao Bella Ciao Bella um, and it's just a beautiful um, collection is that one the Delta collection because it's got that real um, I, I think it's quite romantic it's quite dreamy as well yeah. um, and that is all part of the that collection that the rice papers are from so the um, top coat will work perfectly on the rice papers yeah, as well so your top coat I've actually, you probably won't be able to see it yet, but it's drying still. It'll work on your t uh, rice papers, it'll work on your watercolours, your, your alcohol. But obviously, with your alcohol inks, this is still drying. The corners dry, so it'll dry uber clear. Yeah. It looks like an acrylic's been poured over top. But obviously, I'm um, sorry, a resin. But obviously, with resin, you have to you have to do your you know you have to do your mixing yeah. and then everything. With this, it's straight from the bottle. The other thing, what I love about it, it's self leveling. Um, it's absolutely crystal clear, so you're not going to get any yellowing. But obviously, if you're using it on something like your trays, so with your trays, that's super porous. Yeah. However, if you put a coat of this on your tray, it means you'll be able to use your alcohol inks on because it seals. Really? It. So it's a, it's a cracking product. And can we chop things like glitter and flakes in there, yeah, gilding definitely. flakes as well? Brilliant. Yep, yep, yep. And I love the fact it's self leveling. So when you are doing it on, you know, on um, canvases and things. Yeah then it's going to give you that beautiful rounded edge. Yeah, it's love it. cracking products, It's a products, great bundle, that? actually, this one. Especially the fact that you've got such a huge pot there of that clear top coat. £17.97. You've got a £4 saving there. Item number you need is 909143. Moving down. Now, we've, of course, we've talked about the inks. We are going to look at various different bundles for you here, our selections. So we're looking at the top three, first of all. So if I just just move that label around a little bit so you can see that was there we are. Oh, wrong one. There we are. Which one? There we go. There we are. Sailboat blue. We've got aqua and we've got clover. So your blues and your greens together, which are absolutely beautiful. Nine ninety nine. That is a really good price actually, because breaking that down, obviously it's three pounds and thirty three pence per pot. Four four six zero three zero is the item number. Now I do have a swatch, but there's more than those colours on the swatch. So we'll go through a few more things first of all. Now mixatives. These are really really interesting. This is a great buy. I would if you can afford to go for these as well you've got your silver you've got your snow cap and you've got your gold as well this will enable you to do so many more different techniques and add interest to your finished finished items as well item number three seven zero nine eight one and then we've got a couple more at the bottom as well I do have a swatch this is I think got everything that we've got here on there we can see the gold mixative here actually don't know if we can catch the light with that look at that wait until you see those effects Obviously, the first three colours we can also see there, which were the sailboat, the aqua, and the clover is there. We've got a couple more colours to talk about as well, which are down here at the bottom. So let's have a look at these. Now, you've got your rose gold and your gun metal. So again, you've got great mixatives there. So well worth popping at least one selection of those mixatives in there. You won't regret that. Nine ninety nine again for this one, a three pound saving. Item number you need for that one is two four six five three two. There we go. Right, moving along, we also have the pearls for you. So a different effect again. Obviously, the name says it, doesn't it? It's pearl. So you are going to get that beautiful, beautiful effect in there. I've got another swatch to show you. You can mix these colours however you wish. You can see those different blends. You can see those effects coming through. You are actually getting all nine of these. 
highly pigmented, so you've got that color, but you've got that pearl effect as well. We do have a flexi on this one. So take advantage of that, and then anything else like the mixatives that you add in there or any of the bundles, you can split the cost of as well. Two payments. We'll give you the details. Item number 545168. And it's just £17.46 today. Now, if I give this a little bit of a flex again, hopefully you can really pick up that pearl effect in there. You can see it, can't you? Aren't they beautiful colours? Gorgeous. There's a couple of different swatches here to show you. There we go. Look at that. You can really see the detail. Mixing those colours together, you know, you, as I say, you're just going to continue getting those different effects every single time. Do you know, it's unusual to see a flexi on a price like that as well, so take advantage of that. Split the cost of everything else. We're thinking maybe that shouldn't be there, but it is, so we're not going to take it away. Two payments of 17.46, as I say, item number 545168. Then moving down, we've got some options for you next. So lovely colours again. You have got choices here. So it's sets of four. So we're going to look at the top tier first of all. We've got here Twilight. That's the name of the bundle. We've got beautiful colours again. You can see there, you know, give these a good shake, give these a good mix. Use them with your mixatives as well. We've got Deception. We've got Enchanted. We've got Tranquil. And we've also got Villainous there. I love the names of these. You can see how these need a, a really nice mix, but absolutely beautiful colours. I'm sure we'll see these in demonstration. I hope we do anyway. £6 saving on this one. 15.96. item number 626.806. Our next option is Dawn. So let's have a look at the individual colours here as well. Now that beautiful yellow, we've got Alchemy. We've got Intrigue for you. It is intriguing, isn't it? See how these are going to work. Then we have Sublime. And finally, we've got Splendor. Do like those names. Let me show you a few more swatches. Got different ones here. So, you know, you'll see the individual colors. You'll also see how some of these have been mixed a little bit as well. So there might be a variation, you know, depending on which one you're looking at. You might see a little bit of a mix on these. But you have got the choices there. You can go for both if you so wish. Six pounds saving. Remember, you're getting four of these, £15.96. That's the price you're paying for four. 626806 is your item number. There we are. So we still keep going, though. We've still got more to show you as well. The paper that, you know, is best for the alcohol inks, of course, is the UPO paper. We do have that in stock. We've got some available for you as well. £11.99, you're going to see the vibrancy of the colour, you're going to see exactly what you want to be seen with the techniques when you work with the paper. This is a really good price. How many sheets do we get of this one? There's quite a few here, there's 10. 10 sheets, really good price. We don't often see this, you know, it's hard to get hold of sometimes. 181375 is the item number for that one. And of course, we've shown you the swatches there, you could see the vibrancy of colour, you can see how the reaction is with the alcohols and the mixatives as well. So well worth treating yourselves to the paper as well. Now moving down again, we've got a really wonderful essentials kit for you now. Now you do get the blending solution in here, which you will want to use. You've got the little spray bottle. We've also got the alcohol ink blending pen. That's really useful, Leone. Yeah. I've not seen that before. No, I've not used this before. So your blending pen, you actually fill the blending pen up with your blending solution. Ah. Um, so you take the nib out, you take the big nib out, you put your blending solution in there, and then what it allows you to do when, and I've, obviously I'll demonstrate this, but it allows you to, because you're being specific, it allows you to get in on an area and literally lift or blend the alcohol away. So you can see on that one part, it just lifts that alcohol really? away. So yeah, it's really nice. And the nib is really fine. It's got a real, even the, the thick nib is a really nice fine nib. So yeah, it's a really handy little tool is that one. So, um, it's a cracking collection because obviously your blending solution you need your blending solution yeah. but put your blending solution in your spritzer bottle because yeah, that'll create some cool effects of course so yeah definitely one you need it's a yeah. need do you know need. isn't it we call it essentials and that's mm. exactly why can i just ask very quickly then yes. with the pen when we put the alcohol in there leone can we use it with our alcohol pens as well as a blending yeah pen? i can't work, see yeah. why not I mean, um, I don't know how it'll... Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, I, Yeah, because it'll... I don't know how, um, how it'll 
respond, but I don't really use the alcohol blending. But it's going to be the same as yeah, your blending pen, of isn't course. it? It'll I start have wiping so. it away. It'll take it out, essentially. Yeah, don't miss mm. out on this one. Great price at yeah, just £12.97. 311 060 is the item number there. Now, these are so well worth grabbing while you can. As well. I cannot get over the price of these. You've got your plywood storage boxes, first of all. You are going to get all three. It's not a choice. So you've got the small, the medium, and the large. And I can tell you, if you can't tell right now, if I just put, I know my hands aren't the biggest hands in the world, but this is enormous. You know, this is a great project in itself. You could gift these. You're going to use these with, of course, your alcohol and many other mediums as well. Uh, 16 pounds saving, incredible deal. These could be beach huts. They could be little craft caves. They could be a garden shed. They could be whatever you want them to be. $13.99 is going to get all three. I just turn one around. You can see if you've even got the little hanging hook there on the back of each one as well. 521-175. Whether you hang them or stand them, that's entirely up to you. But you have got the option. Love that bundle. Absolutely amazing value there. Now, we've got wooden trays for you next as well. Now, I have seen these before. We've got a pair of them. I know this price is going to be amazing. Of course, we've got a bundle already with the alcohol inks and a wooden tray, but here you can get two more of the trays for just $9.99. These, again, are going to take many different mediums, but perfect for your alcohol inks and those techniques. 246-984 is the item number for those. Again, use them for yourself or gift those. Create something beautiful and then gift them. But it gets even better because if you want more than two trays, wait until you see the next bundle. This really is value for money. I love this one. We have got a bundle of six trays. Yes, six. They will all nest together. Of course, you can separate them. These are your Palloway, Pal Pallonia trays. We've been trying to get our mouth around that word, and it was misspelled. We keep saying the wrong thing. It's basically, they're made of wood. That's what they are. The Pallonia trays. Yeah, I think that's how it, Pal Pallonia. Pallonia trays. That's it, Pallonia yeah, Polonia. Oh, I think I've cracked it. $24.99. It doesn't matter what they're called. They're great. Use your rice papers in them. Use the alcohol. Use your different mediums. Grab a bargain when you see one. 733-209. I can tell you when it comes to the trays, two-thirds of the stock has already gone. So don't miss out on those. Grab them. Check those baskets out as quickly as possible. Now, we are going to go to the website, and then we're going to head over to demonstration. Now, loads and loads of things on the website for you. Do check those baskets out. Some of these are looking quite vulnerable already I'm hearing so don't hesitate even if you think you might be coming back for more items check out on what you've got in your baskets right now come back and fill your baskets again because you are looking at some very vulnerable items now the air blower is also available I wanted one of these last week I didn't even know we had these coming on the show this is brilliant if you want to blow I don't know it's not just your alcohol but things like uh, your resin mixes and also your pouring mediums as well this is a great buy for you $14.99 uh, really lovely we've seen our Lou Sims using one of these before as well item number you need is one zero 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 two zero really lovely little tool that one as well yeah don't use your plastic straws use this it's safer and you don't have to dispose of it you'll just keep using it over and over again we've got all sorts we've got mugs on there we've got baubles for you as well we've got more rice papers you can get the top coat on its own as well so if you want to stock up on that one or you know go for extra if you go for the bundle that's actually a bigger pot i believe as well do consider those mixatives. I think when we see those being used by Leone, hopefully she'll get to show us, you'll see, you know, they're well worth every single penny popping into your basket to get those different effects. Beautiful effects from those as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to demonstrations. Hopefully, that's where we're heading next. Oh, thank you, our lovely Catherine. Okay, I'm going to carry on playing because um, that's all. I were doing it last hour. I'm going to bring this in straight away, though, because... That is not quite dry. <laughs> that is, so it's drying at that side. So can you see how crystal clear that is? You can see the, the bit, um, oh, that's all sorts of colours. But this is, can you see the what, how shiny it is? This has got the top coat glaze on it. Look, see? 
see how shiny that is and that and you can see it next to the normal and then that shine so this side has dried already that side that's a bit milky hasn't but it gives it a really super professional finish it doesn't disturb what's underneath it whatsoever and it's self-leveling so you can see that really nice edge it's really good stuff is this so it's definitely definitely worth uh, getting hold of make sure you don't miss out on that now I'm going to be working on the Upo paper. Upo paper is um, its one of those surfaces that um, it, it just makes your, your um, alcohol links pop. You know, it's absolutely the surface to work on. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to, so the last hour I was doing a few techniques. I'm going to continue and kind of go back again in case you missed the last hour, but also to show how your regular alcohol inks work with your pearlescent alcohol inks. So if I bring the, the regular ones in, and I mean, you've got such beautiful, beautiful colours. They're, they're exquisite. And the thing is, you can do so many different techniques. You know, you can create so many different looks. So if I just use a couple of our, um, our lovely um, alcohol inks for starters. So I'm going to go in, first of all, I'm going to go in with the, the lighter. So I'll start with the, the lemonade and I'm going to pop a few drops of that here. And this is all in that first, but well, that's in the first bundle with that, that uh, tray. We've also got the willow, which is just gorgeous. Now, when you look at this, um, because the it's going on the Upo paper straight away, you're not getting much movement. You're getting a little bit of a bleed, but nothing much. But wait till we add in the... Um, the blending but I must admit I mean you might not want much movement you might love that you know don't think that it's that it's finished though because it carries on moving it carries on doing its own thing and I love how can you see the beautiful veins of color it's so interesting then this is the thing with our callings it's it's so interesting to watch it merge and move and, and start creating its own thing. We've then got the beautiful clover. The clover is your stronger colour, but look at that. Oh, I love our callings. Can you see how it starts moving and blending and bleeding into your other colours? It's so cool. It is the gift that keeps on giving our calling, you know. And it is, like I said, if you've not used it in ages, dig it out or get it again. If you've never used it in your life, I highly recommend it. It is one of those that you can create so many different looks with. So we've got it starting to move. Let's bring in our blending solution. So as it stands, even like that, it's gorgeous, okay? But as soon as you bring in your blending solution, you can see it start to move. So the blending solution will, basically, it starts lifting the ink. So if I go around the outside, even though that seems dry, I just dots around the outside will mean I can start moving that outside line. So if I don't want a harsh outside line, I can just pop a little bit of my blending solution. Um, it's a good bundle, is that one, and I'll show you the spritzer in a little while. Then take the blower now. This, you can move your alcohol inks in different ways. This just gives you such a beautiful effect. Uh, can you see that move? Doesn't it look gorgeous? Now, there's different ways of using it. So you can be quite specific. If you're really quite, you know, specific where you're going, you can get these lovely little veins. You can do a lovely wave. So as you're going over it, you can create that beautiful soft wave of color, which does look absolutely gorgeous. Um, obviously, you can be very specific going direct. Then that will really force your color to move. Um, and again, that creates a different look altogether. It's a very soft one, yeah. And I like this because it is nice and easy. So it, it doesn't get too tight some on your hand which is um it's really really handy and straight away i mean i love the the design you hardly have to do anything to make it look cool something like this you can stamp over the top of um if you use your archive link you're fine um something like this you can also work maybe you've got um pens so something like your posca you can write over the top of this so it means you can doodle over the top i mean there's loads and loads of ways you can start working with this i'm just giving the fixative a bit of a shake this is the gold sorry not fixative mixative this is honestly i really do keep saying that so this is your gold mixative so popping a little bit of that in and you can see it moving straight away now 
If I wanted to, I could just splash that and get some really solid colours. Okay, so you could get it quite solid and quite, you know, that, that does look already, that looks quite, you know, quite intense, doesn't it? If you want to blend it down, if I bring in, I'm not going to bring my blender yet, I'm going to bring in the, uh, the lemonade because that's the lightest colour. But you can bring your lemonade over the top of your mixative, like so, and start to blend that colour into the mixative, which looks really interesting. Um, because I'm going directly onto the colour, you can see these darker sort of rings emerging. Um, and that is because it's, it's sitting on top of that um, alcohol ink, but it's moving it. So the alcohol ink that was underneath, it starts to move it. And I just, this is what, I, I love this, because now look at that pattern. So this is layering your alcohol inks. And layering the alcohol inks gives you such a different look. And if I keep spinning this and just forcing those wonderful veins of colour, and it'll give me that really cool design. Look at that. And oh, it's one of those, Leonie, where you start seeing things straight away and start picking out images. Yeah, what are you seeing? I, I can see a deer's head. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's upside down now, or <laughs> sideways on. <laughs> Is it spinning back round yet? <laughs> yeah, it's spinning round. It's totally <laughs> upside down now. It's coming to the surface. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Can you yeah. see it? Oh, yeah, sort of. Yeah. I must admit, that does really look like an eye, to be honest. It's what, yeah, you will see, it just keeps creating different looks, doesn't it? And the drama, the drama's amazing. So, this is what I love about alcohol ink. Okay, so you've got that, you've got the beautiful gold. If I shimmer this... Look at that gold. Can you see it? Nice. I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal. So you've got that gold, which just gives you this wonderful surface. But don't stop there. Let's go with the darker colour. So I went in with the, um, what did I go in? With the lemonade, didn't I? I'm going to then work up back up again. So we'll back, work back up with the willow. So I'm not going in really heavy with the clover yet, but I will do. And I'm going to allow it to, I'm going to do a bit of layering, but then I'm going to allow it to come off my page, if you will. So off this design. And I'm just layering. I'm going to this bring this time bring in a little bit of the alcohol, in, um, the blender. The blender will soften my edges. So this will change it again. And I, oh, I yeah, I love this. And I keep, I'll just keep saying I love so it. So you're basically reactivating look. what's already down yes. there. Then, you do. You reactivate what's under. Um, but you're still layering on top. So you've, some of it isn't going to shift, you know, because it's, it's reactivating your top layer. Now, when you want soft edges, rather than blow completely out, if you blow into your project, can you see you get softer edges? Yeah. And that looks really effective as well. Now we're getting, and now I want these these lovely sort of veins coming out again. Look at this. Now you do need to check your baskets out, remember, it is a first come first serve basis, so please make sure you check those baskets out. There we go. And just keep him moving, like so. And I love this, how it's just gone pshoom, like that. It just, it looks very earthy, doesn't it? Yeah, that you would know? make a great under the sea um, yes. background as well, because you could almost create the coral yeah. and yeah. the plants under the sea with the blower using the greens and the blues. Yes. We've got a bundle, haven't we, just with the greens and blues. It would be perfect for that. And it's interesting because on our overhead, you don't see the gold. It's a lot, like when you see it like that, it's a lot darker. If I hold it up to that one, can you see how much lighter it is? Yeah. And this is, it's interesting because look at that, and that gold is just amazing, <gasps> absolutely amazing. There's some sort of lizard appearing through there now, I can see. <laughs> this is a He's like the lizard. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the lizard. It, I'm afraid the lizard is now going to disappear because, oh. I know so, because I'm now <laughs> going to go in with the clover, but I want the clover on this side, so I want this to, to darken up on this side. So you can be very specific if you want you know, where you're applying your colour, but then what it does um, is sometimes quite, well, it's just fabulous because it's, it's quite random at times. A bit of blending solution, your blending solution you will use a lot. So make sure you've got your blending solution. Now I love what the gold's doing. The gold is starting to travel inside that, um, that beautiful edge. Look, look, look. So now forcing that, and then with this, forcing it out gently, 
but I'm then going to force it back in again because I want a softer edge there. So, like this. And can you, and the layers, you see, it's the layers. You'll get your, you know how it does that vein of colour? It's as the edges are drying and just, it's just getting it in time. So it's as it's drying and just forcing it just to, to move just before that drying point. And that's when you get those really cool veins of colour. And it is because you've got quite a lot of air going on here. It really does mean you can, you know, you can get quite a decent spray before um, before you have to sort of squidge in again, if that <laughs> makes any sense. Right, I love that. I love that. Now, this at this part, you decide, you, or whenever, you decide where you want to go with this. I really like these softer edges, so I want a few softer edges. Um, so I'm going to take, I love this one, but I'm going to soften this one a bit. Okay. So just taking my blender on that edge and just soften that edge out. And I've just, I find that very effective. And I love that you can do that, that you can, you know, if there's an edge and you just want it to blend. And the thing is, even though I've got a little bit of color there, it's actually coming down is that color. So it creates that really nice soft edge. Same here. So, and you can see it move. As soon as the blending solution hits it, it yeah. starts to move again which is really effective. And then again, moving this and just softening that edge again. Okay, like so. Can we talk about different surfaces as well, Leonie? Obviously we've got the UPO paper on there, but you, yes. could, you could use your inks on metal. Mirrorboard yeah. is a really good one, isn't it? Because you can it get is. different effects if you've Mirror got your Mirrorboard looks stop. superb, actually. And, and yeah, do try it. Metal's great. You can obviously colour tin all your metal embellishments. Um, coated surfaces. So any of your cardstock that's coated, have a go on it. You know, and I like that because you can really change something. So if you, you know, if you've got loads of mirror card but you've fallen out with it, you get your alcohol inks on and you've got a different look entirely. Yeah. Now I'm happy with that. I don't actually want to do any more with that because I really, really love it. So you can see with that, you've got the gold and the greens. It's all those beautiful, beautiful layers. With something like that now, you could, if you wanted to, you could absolutely go in. Now I might see if I can get a bit of gold foil and see if I can foil on this because nice. I keep trying it sometimes it wins sometimes it loses but sometimes it's too wet sometimes well too wet <laughs> too wet <laughs> oh but this time it isn't oh my gosh that's perfect let me show you so just a bit of gold foil oh my gosh oh my days look at that oh wow oh I do like that <gasps> And that, when you're with your alcohol inks, if you get in there just in time and it's a bit sticky, your foil sticks to it beautifully. Oh. And it just looks so cool. Oh, now, Leonie, that with the top cut over it as well. Exactly. That's super uh, clear. You could, I mean, something like this, you could make those, you could cut them up and you could actually, because I thought these would look amazing, if you cut these up and actually put them in your tray. Yeah. But so you've got all different ones, put them in your tray, and because the top coat dries absolutely clear, all that gold will shine through yep. so you'll see every bit of that color and that is just exceptional isn't it it's beautiful ain't that beautiful now that's a mixture of the greens and the pearlescence and then of course um the the mix the mixative yeah and then obviously your blending solution and that blending solution is essential shall i carry on shall i just carry on playing oh i love that color that color beautiful okay so, um, something else that we're doing in the last hour, and as I say, I just wanted to sort of reiterate what I were doing in the last hour. Something I'd I would definitely encourage though is playing with other products. You know, bringing other things in, like different spritzes and things, just to see what it does. This one, let's get a bit of coverage, first of all. Let's just go for it. So I'm taking this one, and I love that, straight away it says. Um, this one is the pool, okay. So stick a, stick a bit of pool in it. I'm oh, then going to go sailboat blue, and I'm just going to do drops here, there, and everywhere because it's interesting. So get a cheeky bit of sailboat blue going on there. 
And again, I'm not too worried about movement as yet, even though when it starts doing this, it does look really very cool indeed. And I've then got um, my mixer tip, the silver. So I'm going to take the silver with, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I forgot our villainous, oh, the purple. <laughs> The purple is going in here. So the purple is one of the pearlescents. I really recommend the pearlescents. These are fun. Um, and they give you such a beautiful finish. I mean, straight away, look at it move. This is why alcohol links are addictive. It's just so interesting. You know, to see what they start doing, the beautiful cells that you can create. It's nice leaving open spaces, even though I probably won't end up with any open spaces. But sometimes it's quite nice to have some open spaces. Can you see how it all start to move? And the cells that it creates, it's so... Yeah, it does look a little bit brain-like. It's the cells, isn't it? You know, those cells look really interesting. And then let's get some of the mixative in there. The mixative, as you can see, that's a different consistency. So it'll give you a different, a different finish altogether, which I love because it's really interesting. So we've got that straight away. Now, let's bring in our spritzer bottle. So oh. this has already got blending solution in here. Now, normally, I would actually go directly on with my blending solution. Oh, Did you see that? Um, but I wanted to do this because A, it's quick, but B, I love the effect that it gives you. And I might just let it do its thing for a minute and see what it does. So can you see that movement straight away? You know, you put your blending solution on, straight away you've got an amazing coverage. And because I've spritzed it on, it gives you little dots. Can you see it gives you little dots? It almost looks... Um, I don't know, it almost looks like fabric, this bit. But then let's get it to move again. Oh, now, nice. we're using, obviously, we've got the um, the wonderful little blowery thing today. You can use another heat source, not a, a blowing source. Heat guns are too warm, they're too hot. Um, they'll probably make your paper buckle or something. You're best trying to get um, a hairdryer that isn't too vicious you know what i mean so get a uh, one that isn't it isn't too a lot strong. of hair dryers do have a cold setting don't yeah they, they? do so but you don't useful. want it it's not the the heat necessarily yeah it's the power so it's the uh, the power you don't want a bit of vicious you need it a little bit um you'll need a gentle yeah get a nice cheap one a one that is probably on its last legs there we go now look at that now this time the, because of the way we've applied it, we haven't got as much of a blend. And I love that because sometimes you want it quite specific. Now, I do want to go in quite specific. So this time I'll go in with my blending solution and I'm going to just take out some of those lovely edges. Like so. And watch this because when you go in with your blending solution like this, watch how it starts to break up the ink. It's dead interesting how it reacts. Can you see how it starts to push it away? And it starts to lighten it. I've forgotten where I put it now. There we go. So you've got that movement again. Can you see? There we go. So you've got that lovely movement. So it just, it just kind of, and again, it's because we're doing our layers. So again, you're kind of getting movement from the top, but the, the underneath is staying put. And this is because we're being very specific. We are blending where we're putting our blend in. Leona, because we're creating this ourselves and you'll yes. never repeat the same thing twice, if we discover something we've made that we absolutely love, I presume we could scan that into our computers and print it out use as a background. Absolutely. I mean, these, this is how a lot of people create backgrounds, you know, that they sell, because it is unique every single time. And I would absolutely do that, because you're never going to be able to create this again. No. So if you, at least if you scan it in, at least then, yeah, it's yours to keep. And I, I just adore that. Look at that. And I must admit, I'm quite happy with that as it is. I quite like that. I mean, again, you can play with it. You can keep building. When you go to Catherine, I'll probably start playing again. <laughs> uh, but but um, this is a lovely thing. It doesn't have to end. So if there's a bit you don't like, if there's a bit you want to change, you can do that because that's what alcohol links allow you to do. They, they really allow you to play. But, but it's one of those that at any stage you can stop and it just looks phenomenal. Shall I just um, 
I'll just carry on. I'll let our Catherine do a quick reminder while I have a lovely time. Okay, well, I've Over been having a bit of a Catherine. play with the blower. I'm well impressed with this. Yeah, it's very busy, actually. Do go for yours. Very, very squashable and squeezable, so that's going to be easy to use. It does have the capacity to hold quite a lot of air, as Leonie said there as well. And it saves, the, saves your own puff, doesn't it? You don't want to be blowing yourself. You do want a utensil that is going to do the job for you. One zero 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 two zero is the item number there 1499 yeah very busy on that one uh, right okay let's have a recap for some other items as well we've got the tray now this is a great bundle because a couple of the colors I believe that Leonie used well you know we've got the yellow in there the lemonade was it that's in there we've got willow in this one as well that Leonie also used we've got shell pink in there which is very pretty and aqua also in here now the lovely thing about this bundle for that price you've got the wooden tray as well so it's a project waiting to be made into something beautiful of course or you can use them totally separate you've got plenty of ink there to be working on many different projects Project. 16.95 is the price. You've got a four pound saving. 848.624 is the item number. Lovely. Right next down the counter. Now this is a lovely way of getting the top coat actually because you've got rice papers in here as well. You've also got the little wooden sign. That is the perfect, perfect uh, starting point maybe for your inks. Or just use some of the rice paper. Use the top coat. Bring out the colours. You know you can use whatever you wish on there and use it in whatever way you like the rice papers themselves you're getting five they're all a4 they are the same detail the same design but aren't they just beautiful maybe you've got projects that you want to sort of repeat or projects that you want to create a whole array of different items that all sort of work together so that's a great idea to go for that one 17.97 is the price a four pound saving there item number that you need for this particular one is 909413 now we're to the inks oh beautiful now we're starting with oh then the top row here these are those beautiful colors if you do want to do your under the sea would work beautifully you've got the sailboat blue the aqua we've also got the clover in there i know we only used two of those blues in that last demonstration as well uh, they are stunning aren't they only 9.99 that makes it just three pounds and 33 pence per bottle i used to sell at these in my shop you know i'm sure we had to charge more than that then and that's going years back four four six zero three three zero is the item number if you're going for that particular set then the mixatives I'm going to repeat what I said earlier and you've seen it in demonstration go for some mixatives whichever you know whichever bundle you go for if you can go for these here you've got silver you've got gold but you've got the snow cap as well which is absolutely beautiful four pounds saving 13.97 is the price item number three seven zero nine eight one do treat yourself to those we have got another option though on the bottom, we've got the rose gold and the gun metal. I've never seen the rose gold before, so that might be one that ends up in my basket later. Love it. $9.99. You've got both of those there. Three pounds saving, two, four, six, five, three, two. Then moving on, of course, we've got the colours, the absolutely beautiful colours we've got here. Now, you will get nine. Uh, I think I think one of ours might have wandered off somewhere, but you will get nine. Uh, we can go through the colours as well. Great saving on this. A saving of fourteen pounds and fifty pence. These are your pearls as well. You can see how they've settled in the bottom. So give these a good mix. You do get a little mixing bowl in there as well. So always make sure you mix that to get the proper effects. But the colours are just wonderful. We've got there the blue one. Is that what does that say? Is it colonial? Does that say? We're coming close with the camera. Oh, celestial. Uh, then we have Envy. We've got Intrigue for you. And we've got Mineral there. So that's our, our set there. Yeah, we're missing. I think it might be. What's it? What was that purple one called? Villainous. Yeah, Villainous you'll get in this bundle of nine. Uh, you've got Splendor there. Alchemy. Smolder and sublime yes and you will definitely get that beautiful purple if i just hold up this card you'll see the purple in here villainous is the name look at that mixed with the pink there we do have a villainous coming up actually so i'm just going to borrow that one and just put it there just for a second so you can see everything that you get in there those colors and you can see that pearl effect yeah take advantage of that saving of 14 pounds and 50 pence 545 168 is the item number if you want to go for those then let me just borrow that one again because we've got our sets of four you're going to get that beautiful purple in the first set here so let's have a look at these colors again 
Now these are your pearls once again. So you've got your twilight option first of all. You're going to get deception. You're going to get enchanted. You're going to get tranquil. And you are going to get villainous of course as well. What a beautiful selection that is. Then underneath there, another set of four. This is Dawn. Do you know there's nothing between these colours? If you can afford to go for both, do so. Or go for the set of nine. You've got Alchemy, you've got Intrigue, you've got Sublime, and you've got Splendour here as well. A £6 saving. So if you are going for both, you're saving £12 overall there. 15.96 per four. Item number is 626806. The UPO paper. Now, we've talked about how you can use the alcohol inks on different surfaces. But if you want that true colour, if you want to see those colours pop, this is exactly what you need. You've seen the results that we've got over with Leonie there. Absolutely wonderful to work with. Ten sheets for 11 99 That is a really good price. Sometimes we do find it quite difficult to get hold of the UPO paper. So this is your chance to stock up now. 181-375 is the item number on that. Then, of course, uh, now this is your essentials. Lots of you have already gone for this. If you haven't already, I would say do consider popping this into your basket as well. You are getting the blending solution. You're getting the spray bottle, so you can put the blending solution into there. I mean, if you want to use it for something else, you can, but it's the perfect addition. And, oops, oh, there it goes. And then, of course, you get the alcohol ink. This is your uh, blending pen itself, so put the ink into the pen, and then you can be very precise as to where you want those effects and how you use the alcohol blending solution itself. Twelve ninety seven is the price on this one, three one one zero six zero. We've got one or two more items to remind you about, and then we'll get back to Leone. The top coat. Now, we do have this available in a couple of ways. One in a bundle, but also a larger pot, actually. This is 16 fluid ounces. If I remember rightly, it was eight in the other. So this is double the size. 19.99, really great medium, this one. Five pounds saving, 234067. I would say, yeah, go for that. That's a really wonderful buy. Then we have, all oh, the trays. We've got an up, oh, they're gone. Technically sold out on those. I'm not surprised. Well done if you got them. Great buy. Uh, yeah, check your baskets out. If you haven't, they may bounce back out. We've also got the plastic baubles as well. Now, it might not look exciting on the picture, but there's so much you can do with these. These are a really good size as well, 16 centimetre in diameter. I mean, you can fill those with goodies, put gifts in them, but you can create those effects, of course, with your alcohol inks and in mixatives. 485462 is the item number, only 999. Right, we're going to go back to Leonia. Let's see what she's been up to, because I can see she's been playing the whole way through that recap there. <laughs> What have you been doing, Leonie? I have indeed. I've been doing a little, I'll show you. I mean, it's not finished, but can you see that? And, I mean, the thing is with your UPO, this is actually Frisk, and this is um, UPO board, and I really like that because I haven't finished it. I'm just about to put the silver on it, but I like how um, gentle it is. You know what I mean? I love how you can get your, your wonderful... Um, uh, your wonderful uh, alcohol inks and get them to really blend out. And that's with this. Leonie, you know. you've created beautiful roses as well. The one we've got on screen now, that looks just like Doesn't a beautiful it? rose. And, and you know what? This is dead easy to do. And I'm just adding in the silver now. Let me show you how you do this because it is really, really cool and dead easy. So you start with your... Um, Right, so it's a pink. So the first one is your uh, shell pink. Start with shell pink, and I'll do another one up the top here. So that's your, your first one. Now, our Heather's had a question. Hello, Heather. So, yes, if, if you're stamping onto these, what you want to do is use um, a... What did I say earlier? To apologise, my brain is shot at. Um, thingy. What ink am I trying to think of? Stays on? Would it be a stays on that you need? Definitely not stays on. It is your... It's archival. your archival. It's your <laughs> archival. So if you stamp with your archival, absolutely not a problem. Um, I mean, you can effectively... You can pull... You can drag ink up while it's wet. Um, so you can do like that as well. So sorry, I have put... I'm sorry, that's a bad time for me to answer a question, isn't it? Because uh, you've got your Enchanted and then you've got the Deception. So you're putting those on in layers. 
You're then going to take your alcohol blender and you go around your edges because you want to blend those edges out. And it's this that makes it so gorgeous and soft around the edges. So just pop that around your edges like so. And that will now allow me to move with this. So taking that in and starting just... And can you see now, because we've gone in with the soft colour on the edges, it means that, when well, I'm falling off the edge a bit here, that's because my board's got a slight bend to it. It means that because I've gone with the, the soft on the outside, then when I actually dra drag the colour out a little bit, you get a really nice soft finish around the outside. So you've not got a really harsh lines. And that's exactly how I've done the others. The board has got a bit of a bend to it, so it's it's making it puddle a bit on that side. But you just, can you see how it just drags the colour out and gently blends out? If there's anything that's too heavy and you don't, you know, it needs blending a little bit more, you just get more blending solution and you can do that. And the thing with this is you can be very directional. So you're in control of where you need it to go. You know, because you've got that nozzle, you can be quite specific where it's actually blending out to. So like at this side now, I want that to be softer. So just bring that in now with my blending solution. And before it goes too wild, I want it going that way. So blowing it that way and just allowing it to soften up like this. So you can soften that beautiful edge like that. And that's how you create your little flowers. And see how cool that looks. I mean, they do look... Oh, that bit there. It does look really, really effective. And I love it because it's ridiculously simple. You know, it's one of those things you can definitely do. It does look floral, doesn't it? It does. It looks really yeah. floral. And that bottom bit, I know that looks dark on our cameras, but it's actually silver. But that's where I'm working with the mixative on the top. So I'm just working with that. That's the bit I'm going on now. But I, I love that because it's it's really achievable. Um, oh, we've had a picture. Yay. This is Leona. Um, oh, wow, Leona. That is amazing. So... She did that as a complete beginner. Leone, that is phenomenal. Thank you so much. Um, and that is just exceptional because that's literally just with your alcohol links, isn't it? Leona, thank you ever so much for sharing. We'd love to hear from you. Um, I said it was great fun. And that is it. It is really good fun. Um, right, the tray. I'm going to use this tray. This has already got a coat of your top coat. Your top coat, yes, you're using it for top coat, but you don't need to. Um, I can start layering on this now. In fact, I'm going to just check. Oh, that is still very wet. <laughs> um, so because I stride, it's give me um, a protective surface. So it means it's going to allow me to start working on it. I've already started working with the blue. Now I'm going to work with blue. I'm going to work with purples as well. This is that beautiful pearlescent purple, which is absolutely one of my favourites. I love it. And considering I don't like purple normally, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but there you go go so mixing a little bit of that purple um that is indeed the villainous yes it's the name in it the name's amazing i do like um the sailboat blue though i think that is absolutely exquisite so putting a bit of sailboat blue in here as well and then we'll lighten it up a little bit with uh, that beautiful pool the that must admit the the, the blues are my favourite, but you can definitely get away with adding a bit of pink into this as well. So just give that a bit of a shake. And I've used a lot of the Enchanted. This has become a little bit of a, um, of a go-to for me, which is very unusual. Right, happy with that. So you can see those colours. Now, I love it because at first it looks a bit rubbish. You know, it's like, mmm, Leone. But then you just get your blending in. And the blending just allows everything to start moving. And even on something like this. Now, this tray, if I hadn't put anything in here, like if I hadn't put my top coat, it would literally just sink into the, the tray. I wouldn't be able to get any movement. It would just sink into the actual wood grain. But because we've got that top coat, it allows me to start playing with it. And it is a good product, is that top coat. Really recommend it. What I'd do with this one is um, finish decorating the actual tray and then coat it again with the top coat. Um, like, with this, 
and this is again why I adore. You'd not, I'm not worried about overlaying my colours, so I'm not worried that I'm working over the top of this original one. And look how far, because I've put my blending solution, look how far it goes. That's quite amazing. So I'm just really, really making that ink work and move over over to the other side of the tray. I could paint it on, so if I wanted to be very specific, I could actually pop a little bit of blending solution and then paint some of the alcohol over the top, which I might do for the edges, but I really like that along the side. See, that looks so cool. And then let's move it and just do another corner. I might finish this with that. It's that speedy, I think I'll be able to. We've got another picture. So while I load colours up, I'm just going to go blue some purples. Oh, Rana! That's absolutely gorgeous. So again, using beautiful alcohol links and just letting them move, just letting them do their own thing. Um, does she say anything, our lovely Rana? Um, oh, Rana! Uh, she said she didn't realise you could stick foil onto it, so she give that a go and look. Right. What should, oh man, what could you do with the backgrounds? Oh, there's so much you can do with the backgrounds. So, with the backgrounds, um, you can either just pour, I tell you what looks absolutely beautiful on these backgrounds, just stamp um, a silhouette image. Uh, silhouette images over these look phenomenal. It might be a stamp you're using, it might be a die cut you're using, uh, but silhouette images look sensational. A lot of your backgrounds look really, really good when you just frame them. You know, just as soon as you put a mount over the these, they look like a piece of art and there's a lot of artists out there please do look for alcohol ink artists because this alcohol ink and you put paper it's an art product you know there's loads and loads of people that that do these incredible um abstract prints with alcohol ink so definitely think about framing them um, they'll also look beautiful if you've got um, die cuts they look really good when you start die cutting them as well because it changes them you know you could make some imagine die cutting them and making some beautiful sort of decorative tags and things and they can look amazing but then it's using different products like this tray you know this is a one-off design and when it's finished I mean and it's nearly finished now but look how how cool already that looks inside it looks so interesting and with something like this I mean I could use this as my background and then just put maybe um, a beautiful flower in the corner do you know what I mean if you've got decoupage or or a lovely die cut in here even pressed flowers there's loads of different things that you can put in it's one of those you have to experiment but go for it you know really do experiment um, right, let's just pop another bit of blue. So, I'm going to blue there, blue there, and then let's use some more of the purple because that is just divine. So, a bit of purple there, and I've actually nearly filled the tray with colour, which is incredible. When you think about the time it's taken to do this, and yeah, how little you've used, it does go a long way. The thing that you'll use a lot of is your blending solution, but you can use your iBeaut, I can't say it now, I'm live on air. Um, ibuprofenol alcohol. If I say it fast, no one knows if it's come out wrong. You can use that. It's a different... Um, it's different to your blending solution, so it'll give you different results. I was meant to pick mine up from home, but I forgot. I'd walk the dogs, ate my lunch in an hour, <laughs> and forgot that bit. I were going to do all sorts, but yeah, it's one of them. Look at that. I love it. I've got a question, Leonie. Yes, if, dear. If you're using, let's say, not the pearl, just one of the regular colours, yeah. and you mix some of the mixative directly into it, so you kind of get that blend of a metallic yeah. colour yeah. and then paint up. Can you do that? You don't always have to go in with separate blobs. No, you, you definitely don't have to go in with separate blobs. In fact, um, in fact, it's a nice way of working is to mix it. <laughs> Funnily enough, I were going to have a look at home for some little cups and my pipettes. That's what I was thinking with the pipettes because yeah. you can pick it up yeah. easily. So mix, but even mixing two of the blues together. Yeah. So mix two blues together in a little tub. I saw this one of the artists, um, and she mixes two in a little tub, and then she'll have a blender and a separate one. She uses a pipette, 
puts it on, then puts the blend in, and then uses a hair dryer oh, yeah. to yeah. make it move. And because she's blended them together, when it starts moving, you get loads of different colours. Brilliant. So yeah, definitely do that. If I'd remember, that on my list when I went home was massive, <laughs> and I remembered <laughs> nothing. I mean, literally, not nothing. Well, it's a good excuse to come back and do it all again. It is a good excuse to come back and do it all again. I'm not quite sure if if this will be too wet or not wet enough or oh, oh there we go oh, oh, oh. and that is using scrap foil which is quite fabulous and then you would absolutely now put the top coat back on the top coat back on this then would finish it beautifully in fact the you want to put your top coat on that's what's going to make this look professional it's what's going to make it look like a beautiful art piece but have a look at that how cool does that look? It's that nice, is isn't lovely. it? Lovely. And you could still stamp into that if you wanted to as well. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've got a nice big surface mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It just looks so dreamy. Oh, top coat that, and Bob's your uncle. Love Sell it. Sell it. <laughs> love it, love it. Let's give you those details again for that top coat. Remember, there is a bundle with someone, but if you're going for the individual bottle, it's double the size. Do you know, it's great. I've got it behind me, actually. Where is it? Let me just grab it very, very quickly. It's this one. There you are. Make sure you pop that into your basket. You can use it for all sorts, actually, not just your alcohol. 234067. That's the item number. Where did that hour go? I have no idea. But Leon is staying with us. Menu coming up. another hour with Leone. it's the happy planner coming up next then we've got stadler one day special that will be the final call and then we've got another hour with our hayley here at the craft store we pride ourselves on our ethos towards the family-run boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate following such a positive response over the past few years we are proud to introduce you to even more of your family favorites tune in from thursday the 24th of june at 6 p.m to monday the 28th of june at 6 p.m to support loads of your favorite family-run businesses plus this year we also have a very exciting prize draw if you place an order for any item featured within any live show during this event you will automatically be entered into our amazing family favorites mega prize draw prizes will be added within each live show with the final prize totaling a minimum value of 1500 pounds so join us from 6 p.m on the 24th of june for your family favorites event Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows.
Hello and welcome. Lovely to have your company. Uh, we have got the wonderful happy planner for you now. Um, it was a really busy hour in the first hour. We did have sellouts, um, so if there is anything you want, please get ahead of us. Um, it's really important, actually, to have a look on the website because we have got a happy planner shop. Um, and the thing is, with Happy Planner, normally you have to wait for it to be shipped over from the States. Not now. Because we've actually got our Happy Planner shop, um, everything that you can see on our website, we have got in stock. So that does mean if there's something you want, you don't have to wait loads of time. Um, you don't have to um, worry about being charged anything extra. You know exactly what you're paying. And, of course, it does mean uh, that you don't have to wait ages for the shipping as well. So if there's anything you're Fancy, please do have a little look see and we've got some really really good prices as well um, so yeah do have a nice perusal shop by brand on our website but what we have got for you today brand new today and this is such a lovely planner this is your fresh start and this over a quarter of the stock has gone so what you've got first of all and this is already really busy so you have got that beautiful planner now with your first planner it is a 12 month planner um, this this has been designed for teachers, of course, but I think when you look at it, yeah, for teachers, but also for students, quite frankly, because it's brilliant for, for planning your lessons, for planning your actual day, for planning your year. So what you've got in here when we go through, as usual, you've got your year in advance, you've got your... Um, your year in wee in more detail <laughs> so you've got your year in more detail you've then got a really nice noted side and i love that that's really really handy and then and i love the um the color palette in this one i think it's really modern really cool but then you've got your usual month in advance but the layout that they've given this one is really effective because it breaks every week down it breaks it into segments so you can imagine trying to plan your class you know trying to plan your day in sections I think that is really um, really clever because it you could plan it by your hours in the actual working day couldn't you which is really really effective you've also got really nice dashboards as well I mean it's really effect um, really really handy is this one um, and the thing is with this you've got a lot of room as well so if you do want to write extra notes etc loads and loads of space gorgeous planner so that's the actual planner within this collection you've then got your stickers now your stickers you've actually got um, 1109 stickers Oh yes, lots and lots of stickers. You don't have to just use these for your teachers, of course. Um, you have got, first of all, um, and I tell you what, look at the price for just the stickers. £16.99. But if you are a Freedom member for a ten or more, you're getting a full planner and extra pages. So, honestly, it's such a good price for Freedom members especially. But you've got, I really like these stickers. You've got spaces to write in here. You've got your lovely little pencils there. You've got all your wonderful to-do lists and your hello. Um, this is just a lovely collection of stickers. And what I love about this, obviously, is the fact that, um, yeah, the, it will work with anybody and anything, but it's that colour palette as well. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's your stickers. I use these in the first hour with my normal planner, and it works really nice. I use them with the florals, and it works absolutely beautiful with the florals. Then the next one that we've got, your pages. Now, these are your refill pages. Now, I really like these, not just for teachers, but when in it good a good checklist. Our Katie Mead. See our lovely Katie Mead there, because she's proper into her planner. If you're watching at home, you know the planner I talk about, and we always talk about Roger and poor Ross, who's normally in my head. And Ross don't get a mention, but Roger gets all the mentions. Katie is in my head now, whose planner it is. I love it because if you're watching at home, you'll absolutely know what I'm talking about. It's really cute. But Kate is well into the planner. So when we look at some, aren't these good? So your checklist ones are ace. Because this could be anything. It might be exercise. It might be diet. It might be habit. It could be anything. So you've got your wonderful checklist. And I mean, look at all the space. It's absolutely 
phenomenal. And uh, it's one of those that's so, so handy. Now, that whole collection, £26.98. Now, almost half of the stock has gone. Uh, please be a Freedom member with this. You're saving £4 if you're not. But if you are a Freedom member, you're actually saving eight, uh, £7 on that, but you're not paying any postage. 871161 is your item number. Now, it's very busy there. So if you want it, do not miss out. Now, the next bundle. Okay, we've had some sellouts. The bundle did sell out, but we have got the planner on its own. This is so pretty, but two thirds of the stock has gone. Now, this is an 18 month planner, okay? And I love that because it's a nice, big, chunky planner. So, you've got your 18 month planner here, and it is just lovely. You are beautiful, indeed. And I really like these planners because they're, they're just so uplifting, aren't they? The, the colours and the, the designs are stunning. So when you go into this one, you get your usual, you get your year, you get your month in advance. But look at the artwork. That is just divine, isn't it? You've got that lovely space there. And then as we go in, month in advance, and then you've got that beautiful... Um, a vertical planner there and this is lovely loads and loads of space and obviously with this really gorgeous artwork all the way through it some really bold wonderful designs in this one and it lovely it's a really nice bright gorgeous planner is this one so super flowery but it's not one of those you know um it's not it's not a, a soft floral it's in your face and gorgeous i love that one i think that is lovely do do what makes your uh, do what makes your soul shine. <laughs> oh, I tell you, even reading at the moment doesn't make my soul shine. Um, now, that is lovely. A really good planner. I love the um, the discs on this one. Really gorgeous colour. Matches that foiling beautifully. If you would like to get hold of that planner, £32.99. Remember, this is going to be shipped straight away from the good old Arundel. So, and that is Arundel, not Arundel. Um, that is 246044, your item number. Um, next, we have got for you. Now, this is really cool because... Um, oh, it's already limited stock. Now, this is one of the big ones, okay? So this will not go in your classic planner. This is for your big planners. That's really important to tell you straight away. Uh, but this is lovely. i tell you why I love this. If you've already got one of your big planners, but you are a teacher or you, you want these extra elements, this is ace because you can... You can obviously use your current big planner with your teacher's um, accessories as well. So, first of all, you've got your pocket. Love the pockets. Double-sided, you've got your two pockets in there. So, that's your first one. This is your second pocket, which I love. I like that. Teacher's got to teach. Teacher's going to teach. Uh, so, you've got your two pockets. You've also got some little stickers, which are absolutely adorable. So you've got all your little happy stickers in there. I love that, your paper clip. I think that's really, really cute with the ribbon on it so you can see exactly where it is. That's so handy, isn't it? You know, when you're putting in your extra notes and things, you've then got loads of your pages. So in this one, you've got a mixture. So your first one is your classroom, events and volunteers. And this has been broken up into what you might need for it. However, remember, all of these you can mix and match. You can make it into whatever you want. And look, look, look at these. So again, you can do your checklist. Love the checklist. And then you've got tons of space for your notes as well. And I like that it's dated. I, I really like this little pack. It's so, so handy. Um, if you do want to get hold of this one, um, that is a big pack, but you do need to be quick with that one. Um, that is green on the screen. It's limited stock. Um, only 11 49 as well. Such good prices. 561-670 is your item number with that one. Now, next, this is lovely. Um, oh... The colour palette, I mean, look at that. It's such, isn't that an amazing price, $9.99? And it's just gorgeous. Um, again, these are for, for so many people, for all the stationary addicts. And I say it every time, but if you're a stationary addict, this is for you. Now, this is lovely. So this is one of your classic notebook books. You've got your... Um, your laminated cover and back cover. You've got your, your normal disc system. This makes the Happy Planner system 
absolutely phenomenal because it allows you to mix and match your pages. And you could, I mean, you could easily take pages out of this and put it in one of your classic planners. And I love that. Now, with this one, what you have got, um, it has got a lining. So it's a, your line journal, but it's your lovely dotty line. But it's just, oh, I mean, look at this. Look at the artwork. It's such a beautiful, beautiful notebook, is this? So pretty. It's a notebook, so you do what you want with it. You know, it might be just um, it might be just notes on what you need to do in the day. It might be lists that you're changing this into. Um, it might be your meal planners. It's what you need it to be. It might just be a handy notebook for all the family to leave notes to each other. It's whatever you want it to be. The lovely thing about this, and actually me and Kathy and we're talking about um, this when you know uh, when she's designing a crochet because the thing is you can carry a notebook round with you if you write loads of ideas and stuff these can then come out and go into your main planner so it means you you've got it there in that planner this is what I love about the happy planner system the fact that I'm not having to work with those those ringy things because don't like them um, yeah, you trap your fingers in them. I don't like them. They make me scared. Um, but, but also, it's the way you can mix and match perfectly with all your systems. Now, if you want that, it's a 9.99 tenner. 70% uh, of the stock has gone, though. Very busy. 857-860, your item number. Now, last but not least, technically sold out. <laughs> However, you can get the planner so this bit you can get on its own and it's a little notebook is this one so if you do want that just on its own we have got that option but it is limited stock so if you want it you're going to have to be quick you've got 60 sheets in there um again it's your dot format so brilliant for your um for oh for any of your your journaling needs anything again i mean the, they are so handy it might be the books you've read you know it might be the places you want to visit it might be your your holiday list it might be your wedding planner it might just be ideas and inspiration so much you can use with those um, and again it's the same system so anything you actually write in here these will come out and they will fit in your classic um, however ten pounds and ninety nine pence it is one of your skinny ones has it technically gotten just gone. Technically sold out. Um, if there's anything in your baskets, please check those baskets out. Otherwise, you might lose out. Um, now, if there is anything you want, make sure you get them. However, what are we doing? Flexi! If you're spending £60 or more, you can split your order into Flexi. Here's more. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, look at this. This is called a planner stack. Oh, yeah. Um, now then, where am I going to start? Uh, right, we're going to go through these real quickly. Um, the thing is, with these, we've got some really good deals. As with our happy planner shows, once it's gone, it's gone. We don't restock these, so you, if there's something you fancy, I would suggest you check your baskets out, because obviously, if you come back tomorrow, it might have already sold out. I'll start on this little cheeky pile here. Um, so, what we've got for First of all, is our beautiful happy plans. Happy plans. Let me just pop that there and then. And I promise I will be quick. I won't spend too long going through my plans. So an 18-month planner is this one. I love this. This is 
is so happy planner. You know, this is the colour palette. This is the, the beautiful font that they use. And it's just adorable. I love the bright yellow discs on the side there. They're exquisite. Sorry, I just need to open that one up so we can see it. So what we've got, first of all, is uh, your beautiful, as usual, you've got your year in advance so you can start planning. And then positivity is my superpower. Um, I really like this one because this is proper happy planner. Um, you've got your month. I love the tight font in here. And then now this is a dashboard layer. So with the dashboard, you've got some lists. So you've got your errands and then you've got to buy. You've got your calls, emails and bills to pay. And then what we're focusing on. That's really nice because that allows you to get your main things in lists. So if you're proper into your list, that is ace. But then you've got the other side of this is breaking your week up into your segments. And this is lovely because it's great for your appointments. It's great for those little meetings, etc. So you don't need to put too much information into this one. It's just you're really quick jotting down what you need to do in a day. Really nice. It keeps it nice and concise, you know. Um, I like it as well because it's a really pretty colour palette is this one. See, I love this. Happy to be. Uh, happy to be you. I am enough. I am worthy. I am strong. I am beautiful. So it's just all those really positive affirmations, which is lovely. Again, so happy planner you know that's what they're about that wonderful spreading that positivity and the whole thing behind uh, the planner system is trying to plan things helps you actually do it you know it gives you a goal it gives you drive um, define your passion nurture your creativity and take hold of your dreams absolutely love isn't it a nice one I find that one I think that would make a beautiful gift I find that's quite young and energetic and just quite um, I just, really positive. I love that one. Now, if you do want to get hold of that, £32.99 is your price. Uh, that one, it does start from July. Um, that is 235283. And do remember, you don't have to wait for these to be sent out. We have got these in stock, so they will be sent out straight away for you. Okay, now, these are important, your planning guides. Now, this is for the large one. This isn't for the classic it is for the large size. And I am going to show you how to use these because these are dead handy. I really, really um, uh, recommend these. And it allows you to plan your stickers. And I'm going to show you how to use them, so I won't spend too much time with this. But you've got your sheets for your different types of planners, for your different types of notebooks. You've also got a left and a right, so you can plan them both at the same time. They're really cool. 10 99 I'm going to put it to one side because I'm going to show you what to do with that, but really recommended. Hopefully it won't sell out before I get to it. We haven't got much stock of that one, so if you do want it, you do need to check your baskets out. Um, 409795, now the big one. This is lovely. It's lovely. Um, I really like big planners. This is great. So if you've already got a little planner that's in your handbag and it, that's for your quick notes and things, this is the one that you can get carried away in. This is the one that you can do all your beautiful artwork in with all your stickers. This is the one that you can put more detailed things in. So it can be your diary. You know, it can be your memory book. Let's face it. It's a gorgeous planner. The artwork, again, is just beautiful. You've got, with this one, you've got that lovely dashboard layout. And the dashboard layout on your large planner gives you more space, obviously. But it does mean you can still bring your stickers into this one. Brilliant for your list. Obviously, you, with your planners, a lot of people change your planner. They call it Frankenplanning. Um, so they actually use it for whatever they want it to be. Isn't that beautiful? Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. And there's some really, really gorgeous um, front covers. Isn't that lovely? Uh, fill your heart with love and flowers. And you can see the foiling. I love this planner. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you do want to get hold of this one it's 39 pounds and 99 pence have we not got savings for this one Oh, it is on Flexi. So that's two payments of £20. Uh, four, three, four. That one, again, does start in July. So if you do want to go for that one, please check your baskets out. 474 
four three nope yeah four seven four four three four is your item number for that one now next um we've got for you um let's have a look at these ones this has already been busy and again just gorgeous 18 month planner um, and you have got a saving on this one. You've got a £6 saving on this one. Does start in July, does this one. And again, absolutely gorgeous. So with this, and this has already been busy. I do love this one. Stay wild, be free. Um, and with this one, your layout, this is such a cool layout. So it's your horizontal, sorry, your vertical layout, but I like that it's those long layouts and they're all lined. So these are well good for your lists. You know, every day you can have lists and this is great. So if you're into uh, splitting your day up and, you know, by the hours, it's really good for that. So if you want to, and actually sometimes I do that, you know, 9am I have to do this and 10am, 10am uh, 10 I have to do this 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, but you can split it up. I really, really like that. It's a lovely, lovely planner is that one. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of that one, being scared means you're about to do something really, really brave. Oh, oh it is nice, isn't it? Uh, 057107 is your item number. Now, that's your classic size, but we've also got for you um, your lovely tall and skinny. Um, and this is a cracker because this fits in your, your handbag 12 month planner again and you've got a five pound saving on this and i do apologize that one hasn't been opened either uh, so with this one you have got with this um you're wonderful so lots of uh, lots of space so loads of space to start writing um all your little notes and things and again it's a lovely little layout is this one and um, this one would be a horizontal layout but it's in your your little blocks there so great for your appointments and i love this because this might be the one that you're keeping in your handbag whereas that might be the one at home and they go together beauty yeah they go together we like it matching and it means that all your appointments all your quick notes are going to go in here which is just just gorgeous um, and again lovely color palette only 22.99 so if you do want that one it's 838305 ding ding so let's go on to some stickers um, again check out the website for loads of different stickers but this is gorgeous this collection this is your black and white you've got 573 stickers in here you've got some lovely sentiments some lovely sayings you've got some really nice uh, blocks as well in this one i love the black and white i think it looks so sophisticated you have got a little bit of gold foiling in there as well but it's absolutely beautiful i love the fact that um with this you can bring in your own color you see but once you Black and white layouts look really good. They just look so, so cool. And obviously you've got loads of prompts. You've got loads of little... Um you know, loads of little ones for, for your call, for your uh, meetings, you know, two little reminders. And then lots of gorgeous sentiment stickers in here as well. Loads of um, really cool sayings. We're all, uh, we're all works in progress. Indeed we are. Wonderful day. And happiness is being with you. Um, tons in that. I really like that set of stickers. 15 as well. So you've got a £4 save in there. 977769 is your item number now next already busy with those as well oh now these are nice as well uh, your travel stickers 1281 stickers 15 pounds and 99 pence now your travel stickers are gorgeous so you've got to explore more let's go somewhere i um, really loving and i like things like this so let's wander and you've got your little tick list and where to go i think they're so cute and um, these are super super cute next and it's via air land rail or boat it just i like this because it might be a, a lovely travel one and let's face it i know that travel um hasn't definitely hasn't been something on any of our list just recently so now is the time you know to start planning it might just be weekends away it might just be a day away but you may the most out of it because now you have to appreciate being able to just do days away let's face it and i love it because this is so happy you know it's making the most of everything it's of cracker is that it's a really and i love that all the weather do you know what every time i go away 
Uh -uh. But at least it's not snow. Um, but yeah, and I love this, the type font one. That is such a cool page. Really love this one. It's ace. Um, so if you do want that one, it's huge. And it's only 15, uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence. 261765. Next, slipping that one in. Limits of stock. So you're like, let it go and grow. Um, this is limits of stock. So if you, do, oh yeah, let it go. Not, yeah, it did. Let go, not let it. But <laughs> let go and grow. But I suppose if you wanted a knit, you could stick it in from this. <laughs> let go and grow. Um, again, really good price, twenty six ninety nine. Beautiful planner. You've got the gorgeous soft florals in this one. Um, it has got um, a beautiful uh, vertical layer on this, so plenty of room. Yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous planner. The foiling on this is just exquisite. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Oh, uh, Lady Bird Johnson. What a fantastic name. Um, that is beautiful, isn't it? If you do want this one, though, limited stock. Um, and I love the rose gold rings on that one as well. The discs, they're absolutely stunning. Four, five, seven, nine. Two six your item number now look 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 matches again mm -hmm. so again the one for home the one for in your bag the one that you carry around in your bag for life like leone does and then the other one that sits at home because it's lightweight why do you do that leone don't know i tell you <laughs> katie carries all round at all times it's so funny honestly we haven't got issues we're just part of a really happy gang of happy planners and we are. There'll be people at home who know exactly what we're doing and what we're talking about. You cart them round with you. I don't cart all mine round because I've got a few. Uh, but this is gorgeous. So this is your today one. Um, and again, yep, the artwork is beautiful. What you've got in this one, um, Again, the layout, your smaller portions, so this is fantastic for your meetings, for your, you know, your day-to-day, -day, just quickly jotting down uh, your day-to-day -day needs and musts. It's just a really handy little planner and a lovely colour palette is that one. If you would like that, £5 saving on that one, £22.99, pence. Five four two. Four one seven, and do remember if you are part of our wonderful Freedom Club, you don't have to pay postage either. Now I really like this. I love the indigo. I love the colour of this one. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, really nice cover, and I just all of these because it because I did the uh, the tie dyeing just the other day. It really reminds me of that because obviously the indigo dyeing is a process, and you can see you can see where it's been tied and it's got the resist i just think that's gorgeous and um, i really like the the foiling that they've matched with this it really really suits it and then when you look through you have got that um that wonderful vertical layer on this one it's a really beautiful planner is this and again ridiculously handy you know that absolutely fits in your handbag so that is really really uh, con uh um Oh, really good for uh, carting round with you. Only seventeen ninety nine as well, so it's a really good price. Zero five eight zero five three, and then your budget edition. The budget is a must-have. It's a must-have. This you will absolutely keep and use with your regular planner, definitely. Um, and it's a cracking little one. Is this? Uh, this is like a regular planner. Because, look, 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 you've got your normal little um, layout. So you've got your layout, but of course it's for your budget. So you've got all sorts there. You've also got in this one, look, I really like how it's been split up. So all your, um, the date, your bill, the category amount paid. So this really lets you get your account sorted. It's a really good idea, is this? And I love the size of it. Because this, again, you can keep in your handbag. So it means you're doing it straight away. You can keep this up to date all the time. It's only 17.99 as well. Very handy little book is this one. Uh, 439606 is your item number. Oh, sellout news. That gorgeous, gorgeous notebook has gone. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That is lovely. It's that colour. Anyway, not, I'm not telling you anymore about that. It's gone, hasn't it? Gone.
Sold out that. Sold out and gone. Um, okay. Last one in our planners, and this is a lovely planner. This is your 18-month planner, and oh, I love this one. This will go beautifully with your black and white stickers as well, because look at this font. I was thinking about you, Katie, when we were talking about this earlier, because you, weren't you? We literally said, we literally said, Katie would absolutely love colouring this in. And literally everybody at home, the first thing Katie said was, I'll colour that in. <laughs> Love it. We know you, Katie. Honestly, this is a gorgeous planner. Again, ver um, vertical, so loads and loads of room. But yeah, just look at some of these layouts. I really, I look, I know it's a good one. Isn't it cool? And I love this one as well. You'd colour that in an hour, wouldn't you? It's, see, shine from the inside. I really like this. See. Surrounded by love. Honestly, this is a cracking planner. I love that you've got your, your black and white, and I love that this will go. I even love that. I like the boldness of this. I think it's really strong. And then married up, of course, with your, your nice black discs in there as well. Classy. Classy. Not brassy. Uh, Twenty-six ninety-nine. As Phil Martin would say, uh, twenty-six ninety-nine. That's your price. There. Uh, six two one one six three is your item number. Okay. Shall we get back to to our, get back to business? So. What I'm going to talk about, I'm going to bring in the big one, okay? Um, and the reason I'm bringing the big one in is to show you how you use your um, your planner guide, okay? So with your planner guide, so this is a dashboard layout. So you'll look through your planner guide to get the right layout. So um, if I pop that to one side for a moment, so we've got our vertical, we've got um, that one, which I can't remember. You've got your dashboard. So look, and I, I just, and I'm only going to do one side for now. Oh, actually, oh, there you go. That is that one, isn't it? Yes, it is. So that one's that one. <laughs> oh, Leone. So look, that is your dashboard layout. So you pop this on here. I won't be transferring the stickers over because this isn't my planner. So I won't transfer the stickers over. I'll just show you how it works. So then, there you go. You take these off. And you pop these on here. And of course, the whole system means this will just pop off dead easy so you can use it on the next page and on the next page. I really recommend these because it, it just it helps you plan your page, but it stops you sticking your stickers down and then changing your mind. Literally, I do it all the time. Obviously, that's the nature of me. So that's my stickers. Now, I've got a few stickers. Um, I have got my travel, but I've got my garden flowers as well, which are beautiful. I tell you what I am. Have they sold out? I'm not going to use them. Um, I'm going to use, have we got travel and a beautiful summer left? No summer. So I've got travel. <laughs> I forgot the teacher ones left. Okay, well, you look at that a minute. In fact, let me give you a list. Look at that. Oh, look at that you can look at. Let me just get my teacher ones because I really like these teacher ones. Um, so let's have a little play with this one. So I'm going to have to pretend this is a planner, uh, this is a, a vacation day. So for these, and this is where you can mess about, right? So for instance, if this, so oh, August, okay, so we're August. So let's pretend we're going away from for the, the beginning of August. This is where you can absolutely change it. So errands, your calls and emails, calls and emails, bills to pay, uh-uh, we're going on holiday. So it means this you can cover up. This one, I mean, it might be that, okay, you're, you've got your days of the week. You might be going on different trips on your day of the week. It might just be staying on the beach. So if that's the case, you just fill this with happiness. Do you know what I mean? You don't need to have it as it reads. With this stick, I do like that. I think that's ace, isn't it? I really like those ones. I like these as well because you can put little pins in and little arrows where you want to go, which is really, really cool. So your depart information, let's face it, depart information, it's just where you're setting off from. It doesn't have to be flying. I mean, we ain't flying at the minute. I'm, de I'm departing from Angle at whatever time I'm, I'm arriving. Pfft, who knows? Depends. <laughs> Depends which M, M motorway I'm going to be sitting on. Um, but, so, where am I going to start on this? Oh, and I love these as well. Those are so cute. Yeah, trains, planes, automobiles, and our cheeky little caravan, which 
and there is a little boat as well. The caravan is the cutest caravan in the whole world. I mean, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's have a little look, see. So I'm going to do um, out and about highlights packing. Let's go. So I want my first one, because this one, I ain't doing calls and emails. So we're getting rid of that straight away. So we want to get rid of that. So we're going to bring in... Let's bring in, let's have a little look, see, with that one. So I'm looking for one of my nice, oh, Haley's brought. Is this her daughter? Is this his Phoebe's? Lovely little happy planner. I think it is. Oh, lovely. I'm going to have a little look at Phoebe's happy planner in a while. So I've got on here, to travel is to live. So let's bring this one in first of all. So this is the beautiful thing with this. So you can go like this, okay? Decide if that's the right sticker. If it isn't, it peels off easy, which is absolutely essential. And also, and I do this every time, I also suggest you take off the, the little, the packaging, the surround. And sometimes it's a faff when you've got small, smaller uh, stickers, but it just saves time in the long run. See what I mean? So I'm just taking that one off. I'm watching all my little stickers. Boom. If you do it in an angle, it peels off simpler. That's now rubbish, but it means I don't have to try and stick that back into a block. I can put it anywhere on my page. It's simple things like that that speed up the process, quite frankly. Um, oh, the planning guy's limited to stop, so I do need to rush. Um, right, OK, let me just show you. Well, I'm working on stickers as well. See, in this one... And I know this already. Once you've got your notes, um, you will, you'll remember, once you've got your sticker, sorry, you'll go start remembering what's in it. Like that, hello today, I love that. I wonder if that'll fit on here. See, I don't know if it'll fit on. The gorgeous thing is I can go, oh, yes, it will. So I could put that on. But it'd be like, well, hello today, yeah, I love that, but I can still see my emails, my bills to pay. So I'm going to change my mind on that one because... But I still really like that. I think it looks cool. Um, I've already taken off the, the coating on that one, so I know I'm not going to be um, covering that, and it's absolutely fine. OK, so I'm going back to this one. I know I seem like I'm faffing. I am. But, <laughs> but the reason <laughs> the reason being, and I'm not even sticking these in my book, it, it does... It is for faffing. It is hilarious. I'm not even sticking these in the book and I'm faffing. Seriously. It's not even a proper layout, Leone, and I'm faffing. I can't do a layout that's pretend. Do you know what I mean? It has to look really good. I like that. I love living the dream. I like then layering them. Now, the brilliant thing about this, when you layer your stickers, and they do look really, really cool, so when you layer them on this, it allows you, and I'll show you in a second, I'm going to put that one there. I'm not going to do the full thing because I can't lift it anyway and stick it in the journal, but you're getting the gist. But look, so you can start doing this. I love this, Adventure Calls, Wonder. We like this. So this bit, I'm just going to fill with gorgeous stickers. But look, it allows me to lift the stickers. So when I change my mind and it's like, oh, no, I want that one to be in there, it allows me to do it. Do you know what I mean? So I get to layer all my gorgeous stickers. Bills to pay? Uh-uh, we're going on holiday. We ain't paying no bills. So it means we can cover it up. I mean, let's face it, holidays, I'm on my way, on my holiday, ain't gonna ignore my bills. <laughs> don't do that. You end up like me and not going anywhere. Yeah, don't ignore your bills because it's silly. Because then you come to the end of the holiday and it's all a bit of a bad time. So, <laughs> happy banner. But look, so you're layering, layering, layering. I'm going to pull one of those other ones in because I know where they were in here. They were here. Keep exploring. So it's going to be a road trip. Oh, let's go outside for an adventure. I like that one. And I'm having that one so it pulls all these ones together. OK, so once you've done this, OK, and you've popped it all in here and you're really happy, this is the best bit because, look, what you can start doing is lifting these up. Hold on a minute. 
Oh, that one's being stubborn. That one's being stubborn. I'm being stubborn. What you can normally do is lift it all up as one piece. It's not letting me do it as one piece, so it's letting it so what I'll have to do is just ease that one up as one piece. I love that I can normally do this apart from now when I'm live. Oh, forget the one piece. And so <laughs> normally, but you're just gonna have to be a bit careful there. See. Um yeah, but I'm blaming aircon studio lights. <laughs> but but no, you can lift it out like this, which allows you then to place it exactly where you want. I'm not sticking it in this one because this one isn't mine, so I don't want to stick stickers in it. But you can see exactly what you do. And the lovely thing is then you change that page. So that page, it doesn't have to be what you have put on what what's actually on the planner it becomes your own but also the guide allows you to plan it before you actually go straight into your um your planner and that is essential because if you're anything like me it'll take you an hour and then you'll fall out with it so please make sure the guide this one is for your big one please make sure you get hold of that if you've got a big planner because it is essential. Can I put all these stickers back in my sticker book? And, um, and yeah, I haven't even said I to Derek, have we? <laughs> Hello. Derek, that is terrible. No, it's I fine, even said I Well, we had seen each other before, that, hadn't we? But yes. on the telly, they must have thought, was anybody else there? I don't know. I don't know. I was just sat over there. I was enthralled. And you know what I've picked up in this hour as well? Um, is I've watched... I don't think I've been in with a Happy Planner show um, before with you. Maybe one other. Maybe. Um, and I've always thought... My head has always been full of... Well, it's just about things to do, like burdens on your shoulders. But actually, yeah. that's what not what planners are about at all, really. Uh, yes, they are about keeping you in step with the things that you do need to do. Yeah. But they're also about planning the things that... I suppose that's the, the clues in the name, Happy Planner. Yeah, Planning yeah, yeah. good things that are going to happen to you. Planning um, anniversaries, celebrations, holidays. Holidays. Bills not to pay. <laughs> 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 All of those kind of things. And do you know what? In the last 41 minutes, I'm quite glad that I was sat over there, actually, because it occurs to me... I need to be part of this as well, just as Haley's daughter Phoebe is as well. We're about uh, to see her amazing planner, um, because it's just a good idea. And I just thought about why as well, because we all have days where life's just a bit rubbish, and you just kind of think, mm. oh, I don't know where today's going. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if there's yeah. any point in today. Do yeah. you know what I mean? We all have days like that, me included. And actually, just a visit to your planner will remind you and take you to all of those things that are optimistic that are coming up as well. Yeah. This is why I definitely, as soon as I disappear again, so I'm going to be as quick as I can down the counter because <laughs> then I'm off shopping uh, because I need to get in on this as well. And I'm not just saying that, I'm genuinely going to do it. You know, Leone, that when I say I'm going to buy, I'm not one of these <laughs> presenters that says I love everything and I've bought everything unless I have. Um, <laughs> and so I will because I see everyone around here with happy planners mm -hmm. uh, and it feels like it's clicked into place for me. I've, oh, I've just got to find the right one. Fee's and I've got, got just one. the right people around me. Uh -huh. Leone and Katie, it, or it's, she'll t between them, they'll say, it's that one you need. <laughs> so, let's and see what one, left, because there's not one. actually an awful lot left, is there, to be honest with you. I love the fact 70% of this one, gone. Now, this is the planner, it's the stickers, and it's even more fabulous pages, isn't it? Uh, you've got your notepaper here as well, which I think is really, really cool. Let's take you in um, on this one. I love the fact that it's got apples on the front. What was the connotation about uh, taking the teacher an apple? Did it ever what work? What is that? What is that? Did it ever work for anyone, Don't though? Know. Did it ever get them extra marks? I'm what a cool sure. I never tried. I never tried. It failed, though. I, I was too busy impersonating the teachers <laughs> from the back, doing impressions of them. <laughs> uh, boys, could you pay attention, please? <laughs> that was usually that kind of thing. There was me at the back. Um, I love the fact as well that this planner takes you so far ahead. I mean, uh, what, a, a whole year for you, and you'll be adding other bits and pieces, and there is that scope to keep adding all of the time. And I think it's really, really joyous. And the sticker thing, I'll be honest, at the beginning I thought, it's a bit gimmicky, that. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd do that. And then every time you look at the stickers, you're like, yes. Because when you were using that guide then, mm -hmm. and when you were saying, actually, this is a holiday, so I want, my, I want my planner to look different for that week. I want it to look, that's the week I'm aiming for. 
in terms of, you know, getting away and everything else. That's where the stickers really come into their own. And they are for those days where you're thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know. There's not much, not much going on in my head today. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if I fancy doing anything today. That's the time where you get your sticker book out and you just have a good old... Right, OK, you know what? And you'll lose three or four hours before you know mm -hmm. it. Just, just planning your planner. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. And I have to say, that's a year's worth for less than £27. Massive saving on that to get the stickers, to get the planner for the whole year and the extra notebook. Brilliant. Sorry, I'm waffling on now. <laughs> 871161. <laughs> You've given me so many ideas Good. in the last hour. That's, that's why. Good. I just need to find the right happy planner for me now. I love this one. Very cutesy, isn't it? I love the rose gold um, mm. discs on this one. Really, really cute. Uh, this one starts in July and is 18 months, and this is your garden classic. Um, but I love, love, love. And I love all those inspirational messages that come as part of your planner as well. And I hadn't really appreciated their value, but now I do, because, because actually, it's nice to look so far ahead. If you feel like you're a little bit unorganised, like, like, you know, we all have everything on smartphones and I've always decried people with sort of paper diaries and organizers and things and I thought oh, I don't know if I could do that I'd never keep track of it I'd never but actually it's really really good to plan some new things you get so hooked up in the things that need to be done then sometimes you've got to really be quite disciplined with yourself and take out time for the things that should be done for the good of you um, I think that's beautiful it's really really good listen I'm, I'm Telling you all this stuff, and actually I'm talking myself into it, if truth be told. <laughs> 246044 is your item number for that one. £32 and £99. That, uh, sorry, 99 pence, and that's brand new today. Next up, I couldn't be a teacher. <laughs> I could not be a teacher. Uh, this is now limited stock, everyone, completely and utterly. Um, limited stock now. Um, it's brilliant, and this is great, and I... I, honestly, I admire anybody that can, can teach and, and has the patience to do it. Mind you, you need a skill to be able to teach first. That's <laughs> always going to elude me, I'm afraid. Uh, you've got your big double pockets there. Of course, teachers need to be some of the most organised people we know, don't they? Because they've got such a lot to keep track of and so many people to keep track of as well, little people. And I think, actually, you know what, this will inspire the little people as well. Do you know what I mean? Just, oh, it's just technically sold out. It must have been, it must have been something I said. Um, <laughs> 561670 is your item number. Ah, here's our fee with her planner. See, everyone around here, she's super organised and she does lots and lots of things that are good for fee as well. Do you know what I mean? Not just work, 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 work. Lots of things to inspire you, make you happy. Yeah, and then there's the diary management. Oh, my word. Have I really said yes to three earlies in a row? All of that kind of... That's what that face says to me. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's really, really cool. Lucky, lucky people. Right, listen, we haven't got long. I think we're going to have... Are we going to take a little dig we're into a Phoebe's, to plan, Phoebe's planner, yes, are we? Yes, indeed. I was just looking where I've put my other planner. I've found them. It's OK. I was looking where... I was trying to be organised because I've been like... Doof, 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 and it was like, where have I put them? But I've seen them, so it's okay. Let me show you Phoebe's, let me show you Phoebe's. And look, I love this. So, Hayley um, obviously has her planner, and Phoebe, her daughter, has hers as well. And now, this is what I love about planners. Planners become whatever you want them to be. What Phoebe has done, and this is so cool, because Phoebe's got one of the covers. She has put a notebook on that side in there, she put a planner in this side, genius. We haven't done that, Katie. Why haven't we done that? <laughs> Why haven't we done that, Katie? We're, what are we? That's, that's such a good idea, Phoebe. So with this, oh, her writing's lovely. So she's using, and this is, uh, again, this is why I love a planner, because she's made her own um, divider, which looks absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. So that might be something that, um, oh, I love that. A beautiful plant is having a friend um, around the house with, the, yeah, very true indeed. And so she's used a notebook for, um, um, that looks like she's doing it for a school, for a classwork. Um, 
And this is it, isn't it, with your notebook? Your notebook is whatever you want it to be. So she's obviously using it for loads of different things. Um, or oh, books as well. So she's got a lovely little book list in there. So that's her notebook type. And then this is the other side of it. Um, and I bet, I bet these have, she's printed her own pages out. If you get the punch, the wonderful thing about the punch is you can print your own pages out. You can make all your own. Again, you make it your own system. And the Happy Planner absolutely encourages that because they've got a punch that then allows you to punch the pages. And it's exactly the right space. It'll be the same space, whether it's a classic, whether it's your small one, whether it's the big one. Where did I put the big one? Whether it's a big one, which I don't know where I've gone and put all already or whether it's one of your skinny ones so it's exactly the same width with all of them which is why that punch will work for all of them but it also means all of these pages can go into that size so it's very very handy indeed so i love that she's printed her own out she printed her own out again the stickers post-it note stickers that are in here and then i love it because she has started let's have a see so she oh there you go that's that's one where she's gone for how fabulous so i love it because phoebe has gone for it you know and actually i love the color she's just highlighted and it, that looks really, really effective, doesn't it? Because it just changes a page. Oh, doesn't it look good? Do you know, people's planners it is. And it's interesting because stickers, it's... And some people, yeah, will ask him, we've had this, we've had people email in and say, oh, you know, um, my other half or my friend said, what are you doing playing with stickers? Um, thank you, Hayley, for bringing Phoebe's in. It was really nice to see that. That is lovely. Um, yeah, and people are, are sort of, you know, sort of look and go, why, why are you playing with stickers? It isn't playing with stickers, it's creating, it's crafting. Um, it's creating a page that just looks beautiful and brings joy to your heart. And if someone doesn't understand that, then more fool them, quite frankly, because they're missing out. Because there is, they are, they just don't understand. And it's like, you know, and I've said this before, if someone goes, why are you playing with stickers? You just look at them and... And just look at them with pity. <laughs> Let me just get my planner, which is down there. So um, you look at you look at you look at web shop shop web shop on the web. Woo, me too. Um, the web shop. Um, yeah, do have a look because remember, we have got shop by brand. You have got so many gorgeous planners in here. These are all in, well, I say all in stock. Obviously, we've had sellouts, but we've got all of these. So please, please do check your baskets out with those because they are super, super handy uh, to have them all in stock. Okay, something that I do do, sorry, I've got more planners than sense, haven't I? This is a planner stack and I have no sense whatsoever. So let me move that there, that there, that there. So this is my planner, my day-to-day -day planner. Um, that one's our Emily's, I showed you that earlier. This is one, one of my notebooks. I have, of course, um, covered the, the notebook cover. You can do that, you can do what you want with it. Now, something that I do do, oh, Dave. Oh, let's move on quick. Uh, so, something that you, I do with my planner. This is an 18-month planner. As you'll see in my 18-month planner, it actually starts from October. It didn't start from October. Obviously, it started from June or July. Um, it might have even been January, actually. What I do with my planner, and this is something I highly, highly suggest, I take... Uh, sections out so when I don't need a section you can take a full section out of your planner and then this you can put in one of your notebooks okay I've got a different one so I'm not going to keep it in here in fact I'll pop it in for now but I've got a different notebook that I keep mine in so it means this this is holding my planner because I do not want to bin this. This is a, um, well, I need to look back, you know, for starters. I mean, I need to look back because I probably haven't even invoiced them yet. <laughs> Only joking. Um, but you look back on this. You look back on it because it's your diary. It's your, you know, it's your, your memories. So you're keeping that. But it means now the thing that I carry around with me day in, day out is a little bit lighter. It also means you can bring extra things in. So you know how we have those 
those extra pages like in fact in fact in fact on this show we have got these so we have got these so you've got and these are super handy you've got oh it's sold out sorry it has gone but things like this so you can bring something like this into your planner and you've already made yourself space now when your planner is brand brand new if you need to get more stuff in you can buy the extender discs they will be on the website so please have a look at those because it means you can make it bigger it means it can be whatever you want it to be again and i do like that i'm obviously going to bring mine back in here the pockets in any of those are dead handy as well um yeah we love the pockets oh it's all good and look look your little post-it notes are amazing absolutely amazing now if you do want something like this please please make sure you check your baskets out um let's see i'm <laughs> this was a funny day Washi this is where the day Leona got her washi tape. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. It, it were kind of me absolutely getting carried away with washi tape. I mean, getting carried away and then some. Uh, you know what I mean? But I really liked it. <laughs> when I were doing it, I were like, I really like it. Now it's like, woo, that were a heavy day, kid. Uh, <laughs> but but I absolutely love that. And this and this is another thing you're doing, obviously, using your stamps. Oh. Isn't that just beautiful? And I actually did fill in. Um, on that to-do list there, I probably... Uh, I've probably done about two of them. <laughs> <laughs> carry forward, carry forward. Uh, we've only got a couple of minutes, so there's no point me even trying to do a layout, really. Um, but it's just a way of showing you how to use your planners. And obviously, the, the planners, they do become um, something that makes life a little bit more organised, but it's not really about organising. It is, but part of it is, is putting it down, because if you put it down in that planner the chances are you've got more uh, more you, you, you might actually do it you know <laughs> <laughs> because if it's a thought in your head those thoughts disappear get it down on paper you know get those fantastic plans use it for what you want i mean this is wonderful because this this is one of the notebooks it's whatever you want it to be and that is the beauty about the whole system uh, we've only a minute left i will say thank you very much i am back with you uh tomorrow afternoon because i'm on the late shift what are you up to uh, derek can't remember <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing tomorrow uh, I do know what I'm doing tomorrow, uh, and I'm, yeah, I need a planner to, just to, you know, just so you can see it. Because uh -huh. as well, if you've written it all down, then you'll visualise in your head, oh, yeah, I've still got that to do as well. Yeah. I also think that it's, you're right, the things that stay in your head and don't go down on the page, mm -hmm. they're the things that wake you up at three in the morning. Oh, aren't they just, aren't they? oh, my I still word. haven't, da, 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 that's the yeah. thing that really wakes you up at three o'clock in the morning, is. isn't it? Get it on the page. Back to sleep. Yeah. Right, I need to go shopping for this as well. <laughs> Thank you, lovely. Thank you, my dear. Um, what an amazing show. Please make sure that you um, check out, and, and I'm going to uh, check out which happy planner I need in my life, because I do, and we all do, really. Right then, uh, I believe we're going next door because we're in the uh, haven at the moment to for the Stadler One Day Special. Then it's Handmade by Hayley and then Studio Light. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier.
Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities, so I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Hello, it's lovely to have your company for another live hour here at the craft store. It's the one day special, it's the final call, so it's the final live hour to get our one day special. Well, to see it actually in action and to see those demonstrations. We've got Lou with us again this afternoon, so uh, let, you've had a big old long day, haven't you, when you think about it? <laughs> I know. 24 hours using these fantastic products, Lou. I know, but then I have lots of fun playing I and know. I've got now lots of cracking backgrounds that I can take away and play some oh. more with <laughs> and this show is going to be no exception we've got more demonstrations for you as well so let's get right with it let's have a look at the one day special now this is all from Stadler which is a fantastic company I know Lou, we were saying yesterday weren't we that Stadler are very keen to sort of incorporate a big audience mm. across all fields you know mm. it's not just artists and expertise everyone who can afford and they keep the prices affordable yeah they do and they, they want you know if you haven't tried different things before you know it, it's like dip your toe in give it a go yeah. and and try working with all the different things so like the oil pastels the pencils you know try something a little bit different as you say as affordable of course and that's exactly what we've got an affordable bundle here for the one day special we've got a 12 pound saving and you can see straight away there's an awful lot going on here we've got a wonderful set of soft pencils these work beautifully you can see there from the swatches whether it's on white card whether it's on black card you've actually got 24 different colors i still think actually Lou, looking at the swatch there again they almost look metallic on the black card they do they have that sort of look to them don't they, yeah, they definitely um, do. and they work really really well on the black card even the darker shades yeah you know because you could build with the darker and then get you know lighter and, and you can create beautiful shadowing very very easy you with the pencil can. and like they say they're soft you can do lots of lovely soft layers and gradually build up the color and it, it does they look very striking they're very easy actually to work with yeah, There's no real effort. Stunning it's... results. Look at that. Gorgeous. And everything arrives in a beautiful little tin when it comes to those pencils as well. Now, something else we've got here are the three protractable pencils as well. Now, these are really, really nice. I like these a lot because they're triangular shaped, or the barrel is, so it makes it very easy to hold that, mm. very ergonomic. You've also got the little rubber if you just twist the top that just pops up there so you can of course as that wears down you can raise that rubber you can put it right down if you don't you want can it on show as well yep I'm, i put mine normally um, all the way down when they're in my pencil case but you can yeah. get replacements for the little rubber bits and obviously you can get replacements for the leads oh, as amazing. well oh, so just because these pencils come with a set lead which is um a b you can go and get separate leads and put new leads in so just take one lead out and put a different type of lead in there so oh, that's good you can then, you know, so you've got all of these, but you can then go and get whatever leads you want to do next or try next. Or Adam suggested, you know, putting a different one in each, in each one. one. That is a good idea, yeah. Um, so, so you had all, you, you, you're carrying around three different types 
Of course, and they've got the little clip on them as well. All you need to do is press the top then. You can see that lead appearing, and of course you can if you press it out too far. It's easy to put it back in as well. Now, something else that's in the One Day Special are the French Curves. Now, if you haven't seen the earlier shows, these are actually really good tools. Lou, we can create all sorts of beautiful detail with these. You can draw around them, you can draw into them, you can move them around, you can flip them. But it is, they are, I should say, because there's three of them, they are tools that are really going to help with your doodling, your drawing. Yeah, I mean, you've got lots of different shapes in there. It's breaking down the different shapes. Um, you, I mean, that, looking at it like that, it looks like an ice skate to me now when I first see <laughs> yeah. it. Sort of thing. But, I mean, to me, when I did the koi, that was the water. That I was starting to build up around the edge and everything like that. You can do heart shapes, you can do circles, you can do ovals, uh, you can do, you name it, flowers, yeah. you can just, like you were saying, just doodle, you can do curved lines. You know, there's, there are so much you can actually do with them. You can do um, chevron patterns. <laughs> you, know, you could go on and on and on and on, sort of thing. But they are, they're absolutely um, beautiful to work with. And d just because they're one way doesn't mean you can't flip them the other way so you can see there that of me starting to use the French curve to build the water pattern around I didn't quite finish it because I need to flip it around the top so it looked like the fish was jumping out of the water or had the water around now for anybody that didn't see launch last night this was the the doodle they would lose their own words, the doodle that looted very, very quickly. Isn't that amazing? But with the use, of course, of those curves there. So the pencils, uh, the protractable pencils, and of course those three French curves, all yours for £34.91. You've got a £12 saving, item number 485901. Do you know, if we work it out, actually, the mechanical pencils are the protractable pencils. Mechanical's easy to say, mm. actually. They are not being paid for if you take into consideration that saving because they would value you at nine pounds and fifty pence if you were buying those individually so you've still got savings on top of that so you can take that off the curves or off the pencils yeah it's a win-win isn't it four eight five nine zero one let me just tell you about the dispatch date for everything it's from the 7th of july so we're not too long to wait at all because we're marching our way through june of course now one of our best sellers is up next you have been loving these and I, do you know, I've, I know Leona's had these on in the past but I didn't get to see them myself so it's been a delight watching Lou work with these actually during the one day special. These are your watercolour crayons and that's exactly what they are, they're crayons but they are water soluble. Again, a great a price here Lou because at £18.50 you're getting 24 colours. I know and they're vibrant, they, they are, really they? are lovely vibrant colours. So. I mean, we've been making backgrounds with them. You can um, put them like a little swatch on a piece of watercolour card and pick yeah. up the colour that way and watercolour. You know, you can create your backgrounds. Um, you can colour like in images there, but if you wanted to do it on a swatch, if you sat there and carefully shaved off the ends and put them in a palette, you could water them down and you have your own little watercolour palette as well. Oh, I like the idea they, of that. They blend absolutely beautifully. We've got colours that you've got a lighter, a medium and a dark. So if you're not sure... You know, you, you, you've got those colour blends already there for yeah. you to help you make a start straight away with your colouring. And this particular one, you use gesso alongside yeah, the Yeah, so the, the book you've got there is Leone's, and she mixed the watercolour crayons okay, with white gesso. So I thought, OK, it's lovely to make the, the backgrounds, book. but, you know, can we push it just that little bit further? So I did exactly that on, on, on that background, and I even um, gessoed over and... Um, put some of the crayons on some of the clay pieces there um, did all that technique so it's a nice soft background when it was dry I then went over again with the crayons and just spritzed it and let them dribble such a good idea do you know these are great to experiment with I'm sure you're gonna find many many uses busy on these in fact stock wise 70% of the stock has now gone you're saving six pounds and 24 pence yeah just 18.50 for 24 Colours 188690 is the item number you need. Now, over on the website, we've got loads for you. We've got happy hour deals. We've got more from Sadler, of course. Do have a look at the deal on the fine liners. I, I believe, if I remember correctly, there's over £30 saving there, or somewhere around £30. Uh, do have a look at that. We've got, yeah, it was a £30 saving. You see, again, I remember those bargains. But we've got lots of wonderful happy hour deals for you. We've just mentioned gesso, actually. We've got the white gesso and the black gesso 
sale there down to 9.99 now something else that we can also offer is another happy hour deal from crafty devils now this is a fantastic you may have seen this before you may not have this is a cracking deal now what you've got here is acrylic paint there are 21 different colors and i accentuate on the different because you might think oh there's two yellows there yes there is but they're two different yellows you also get the stands with these now these stands will come apart you can put them together you can wall mount them you can decorate them you can do whatever you wish so for 21 individual colors here 60 milliliters of each and the three stands stands you can get this with a saving during this hour with 15 pounds off not only that we've got flexi for you as well so two payments of just 22 pounds and 50 pence now i don't know if lou is going to bring these into uh, demo i think she perhaps she might do we can break this one down even further so just to prove the value actually if you divide the price there two pounds and 14 pence per paint and that's not even taken into consideration the storage that is one decent bargain isn't it 979 624 is the item number if you want to go for those now we will head to demonstration because we want to see as much as we can from Lou during this final live hour so Lou, i'm going to leave it with you <laughs> right i thought we'd have a go with the um french curves and create a pattern I, you know i was trying to think if it was a posh word for it and there isn't really i'm just going to create a pattern so i just say I like frames it's uh, it's just the different things I like to, things to be in frames it just helps my eye I d don't know why but it okay. does so I'm just going to create a really simple curved frame and I'm just using where I you know I'm just using the tool here I'm talking to myself you know when you sing I'm planning in my head now so <laughs> I'm just and all I'm doing is just pulling it up I'm not worried if it's not quite, you know, perpendicular or parallel. So if we've got that like that, so that is now, and I, I do prefer to work in pencil to start with and then rub out. It's, okay, yeah. I, I think the main reason for it is it allows you to make changes. Definitely. Yes. Hello, something I wanted to ask yesterday and I didn't get the opportunity. Do you think these tools would benefit if we want to draw faces and things as well with the gentle curves and shapes yeah, of faces? Gentle f I mean, when you think that that can be a hair, you could do the oval shape for the start of a face there, your ear. Oh, yeah. It, oh. It's actually, I know, I know it's a really hard thing to say. It, it's, it's not look at the whole thing as a blue, but actually look at the actual shapes you've got. So that's the start of an oval. Um, that's the start of a petal to me. But like you were saying, that could easily be a mushroom or an ear. You, you've got so many more. That could easily be, if you wanted to do, to be a quirky ear yeah. that way as well. Turn it round that way. And we've got the start of a bird, yes, a quirky yeah. bird, because that's the wing inside. That's what I was seeing last night, you know, when I was saying, oh, I can see a bird. So you were seeing, Half so. a bird's body there. So if we do that there, and then if I turn that round a little bit, you've got the start of a wing that you can actually build up. Oh. So, you, you know, so you can have the, the beak straight away, you know, you can oh, actually wow. do. So it, it's... It takes a, a, probably a little while to get your head around what the actual shapes are, but you can, you know, yeah, manipulate the shapes to, to exactly. what you want them to be. Exactly, you've just got to remember, you can move it, you can flip yep. it, you don't have to use the whole of the shape. No. So what I thought I'm going to do was, I'm just going to break this down a little bit more. Now, I'm going to give myself, um, I like to use quotes or give myself space to put different things in. So that could be a quote. Um, it could be anything, really. You know, you just go whatever you want it to be. So we're just going to break those down. And so I'm using this like a ruler, but rather than have a straight line, yeah. I think sometimes straight lines can be daunting. Yeah, and it's a nice gentle curve. That it is. And um, what one shall we do next? Oh, I'm going to, so I'm going to have to turn this to the side for me, upside down. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take, and I'm just using this point here to line up on my line. Okay. And I'm just going to draw around, and I'm just using it again to line up on my line. Now, straight up, I tell you, I've been think, looking at uh, the one that you've got pre-done there, Lil, and I'm thinking, <laughs> why, why does that remind me of something? And it takes me to Charmaine and Dolly Dimples and Emma and their designs, you know, what, the, yeah. the types of designs you see in the dyes and the stencils. 
It, but because you've got the curves, you can create your own, and there's absolutely no limit. Th there isn't. What you can create. And I think um, a lot of us do curves, do circles. Um, we'll put dots on the end of a line, um, or we'll put a, a, a bigger circle. You know, you know, to fill in space and things like that. And, and I think it's because they're pleasing. They're easier on the eye. Yeah. So I'm just going to go and use this one now. I like the and fact that there's no symmetry either with the curves. No, I mean, if, if I really wanted to plot this out, if I put myself a really faint pencil line along the top, I would then can make sure each one of these were at all yeah. the same height. Um, I think, me personally, I, I have the idea and I've just got to go with it. Um, and I'm not worried if it's not... 100% symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, you can do this technique, create your own colouring pages, then use the pencils from the One Day Special to colour everything in. So You've got the uh, the pencils, the mechanical pencils as well, which are really fine, aren't they, with the They legs? are. They're, they're absolutely perfect, because you can go right round the template. So all I've done there is just created a quick... So if you... Excuse me, if you were going to do, like, a mandala design, you could carry on going and making this bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. because we've got bigger... I could now do an even bigger one to go around that and carry on with each of the curves and make them bigger. So I'm just going to do that little pattern there. And then what shall we do? You know when you go, you've got choices. So I'm going to flip this round. Okay. So now I'm taking another pattern, I'm just going to fill in, see if, if I was going to do some doodling. So if I take this one here now, I can then move it around and create a pattern and we can do something similar I, I bet you could build some beautiful flourishes with these as well well you could definitely build some gorgeous flourishes there so we carry on so I carry on building and building but then I don't have to do the same on this one here let's have a look oh let's do this one you know when you go, let's do this one. And I'm just going to take this shape this time and just draw round. Now, I'm just using the, these all the same way, but it doesn't mean I can't do that yeah. and flip them round. Of course. It, so if you wanted to do um, an opposite to each other, rather than them both going in the same direction. So we've got that there. Yeah, that works nice. And it is, it's looking past the blue if that makes sense because i think sometimes you just look at the blue and go oh but there are just so now i've got those bits there if i wanted to make um like we were saying about i'm just looking at which one do i want to use let's use this one you know, um, this would be great with fabric as well you could draw designs on fabric and then stitch it use a, an erasable pen yeah heat erasable pen maybe definitely and if you have a rotary cutter you could go along oh, the edge yeah, there and idea. then you could cut yeah, as well different so if you wanted to do like um the curve lines i know a lot of us do them freehand but i can bring the curve in straight away and then as i said we could then you know bring and you could carry on building and building your pattern so i could for here suddenly decide that what i want to do is a load of different lines if I was going to doodle patterns inside, I could. So I'm just keeping roughly to one yeah. point and making these slightly wider. So this actually, when you look at it like that, could also make a sun ray. Yeah, oh, I like that. So you could have your oval shape starting there and that can be your sun ray pattern. So there's loads, you know, you can actually do with them. So obviously, let's put that to one side. I'm just going to push the lead away. That's a habit. <laughs> I did that automatically. <laughs> and in good time honored fashion. So there's one that I did, and I just rubbed the pencils out, and that, that was, was all great. created using the mixture. Now, I could get even more complicated, you know, with the patterns. I, I could have gone more patterns inside here. Yeah, and but the then framework. I, I will do that. I will colour, and then I'll go back in and do more work yeah. over the top at times as well. So, you know, we can now colour with the pencils, but I'm going to be honest and say nine times out of ten, I'm tight. <laughs> in a nice way <laughs> because why use all the pencils and, and use all my pencils up when my watercolour crayons can do it just oh. as quickly you know when you just go 
Yeah. Why can not? We, can we mix both together, though? Do the majority with the Well, with the, the one you've got there, um, there beside one. you, that, I did the background with the watercolour crayon. Oh, you started this last night, didn't you? And then you? I've gone over all the face detail and all the other detail, all with the pencils. Oh, isn't that lovely? I and remember all the you shading. starting this area yeah. last night. That's as far as I saw, and that yeah. was done with the watercolour crayons. So, and, and the background was all done with the watercolour. Because, yes, it would be a considerable time to do it with the pencils, but why use up all your pencils when, yeah. you know, your watercolour crayons can mix, those mix mediums, them brilliantly, exactly. really quickly, and then I can do all the finer details I want to do with that. the actual... Um, pencils themselves Perfect. the only thing that needs that doing on that is to bring in the the graphic pencils and then start putting some shading oh, and smack nice. some shading in yeah. so I can sit here and say like the whole of this if I was going to do it it could be yellow and then we could bring in more and more colors and go over the top okay. so I'm just going to so I've got to work on the side <laughs> you know you just got to go side on now I've used the black pen from the metallic set to do all my lines and that even though that's a okay. chisel yeah. I can get nice thicker lines but, depending on where I hold it, I can also get finer lines. Right, got you. Yeah, we've got a lovely set of metallics, actually. You get the white one in there as well. You get the uh, chisel liner pen. You get the brush pens as well, the metallics. Uh, do have a look at those on the website if you can. I will have a look on the counter probably a little bit later on. But, yeah, the watercolours at the moment are being used. The watercolour cranes, 24 different colours. Very busy on these. So if you want to do those larger areas, they're perfect. But there's different techniques. I believe you said you can use these with the jelly plates as well. I did um, some jelly plate printing with did them. Did you? Yeah, um, you can put them straight onto the jelly plates. So you get a lovely watered effect. Um, I've been putting them on uh, moulds oh. and then putting on them printing onto the jelly yeah. plates so you get that sort of effect. Oh, nice. Did and you then, do those in an earlier show then? Yeah, 8 o'clock show. And then what I've done is I've gone in with the pencils over the top to actually then colour in and Love bring it. more detail. Because it's watercolour, it, will, it won't be as crisp as if yeah. we'd done the stamp. So I just use the pencils then to create a little bit more detail. So you can, you won't get... Um, as intense but you get a beautiful soft you know watercolor background so we're going to put that there let's grab a paintbrush i've just nearly dipped it in my gesso there <laughs> you just go, mm. right i'm gonna i'm, I'm moving everything the blend here so so if you want to keep the yellow to start with yeah i'm just going to start off with the yellow because i want to keep some of the yellow at the top Straight away, we can see how beautiful they are blending actually with the water. You can see and I haven't, as you can see, blue. I haven't really gone down heavily. No. Um, you don't need to. And then I can bring the yellow into the orange, and then the orange into the red. Oh, I like that blend of the orange and red together. And then move it down. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Again, once I then I would um, just blend them out. Yeah. I'm just going to do that a bit more with the yellow. And once, so I'll put this to one side when we, we can let it dry. And then what we would do, I'm just going to go there for speed. We'll just go along here. We can add some more colour with my cloth. Let's grab that. So obviously for a larger area, you're using quite a, a well, it's not a large brush, but a medium-sized brush with a flat end. Is that what um, you'd recommend? No, it's, I, th I think paint brushes, yes, there are certain paint brushes for certain jobs without a shadow of a doubt, okay. but I think um, we all get our favourites ways of colouring as well and what works for us. I mean, yes, I have very, very fine paint brushes as well. Um, right, so if I then, we look at here, if I'm just going to put some, so this is the starter of my swatch and all I literally do, until this paper starts to buckle and actually then say to me, I've had enough, <laughs> I carry on using it, so if I pick See, up a I little bit... this idea. A little it's an instant bit. palette. Yeah, totally. Use it as a palette. Oh, Lou, could we make... A, could we continue building on that palette and mix colours together as well, Ooh. so you can pick up them... Yeah, totally. Rather than mixing separately, pick them up together. Yeah, I could mix those two together and create another colour. I could mix the blue and the yellow together. So, so you can paint with them with the palette, so I can go over... And I can create a little bit more detail on there. And you don't need very much even from that crayon background. No. I like the ease of using these. Oh, it, it, they are. So you, you don't just have to use them as the crayons as we're 
You can do. You could... Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it on air because I don't trust myself, if I'm being 100% honest. You could take a craft knife and make them, like, into a little bit more of a point. Yeah. And then that way you could so you add a little a bit more detail. detail. So we'll just do that last one, then I'm going to add a We're little bit. We're very, very busy for these, actually. Over three quarters of the stock has now gone when it comes to the watercolour cranes. Let's have another look at these. 24 different colours there. You've got everything you need. You know, you, we've seen, haven't we, big areas, backgrounds. If you want to do small areas, you can do as well. Just change the brush. You know, you could sharpen these. You could make them to a point, but, you know, if you've got different sized brushes and you're going to bring out the detail that way as well. Pull out that colour in different ways. Add shadows. It goes on and it goes on and it goes on you've got really vibrant colors but of course the more water you add the more you can wash those colors out as well blend them together you've got many options indeed 18 pounds and 50 pence is all the price is six pound 24 is a saving while we've got these this is the final live hour so make sure you check those baskets out 188690 is the item number and remember we've just talked about jelly plates we've talked about working with gesso as well really sort of knocking those colors back then going again with the watercolor over the top to bring out more strength in the colors yet again you know so you have got so many techniques that you can play around with here uh, don't miss out on those we are extremely busy we'll get back to Lou in a little while I know she's still coloring away there and I think she wants to let everything dry out a little bit as well now I didn't mention the metallics I love these we were busy on these last night actually now what you get in here and I still can't believe I thought that was one of Lou's swatches we're so used to getting the swatches from Lou but that's actually part of the packaging so you get those ideas there as well you can see you've got five metallics you've got the white brush pen and you've also got the black pigment liner now these are open so I think I'm all right to take a couple of these out just to show you the nibs as well uh, so if I show you first of all, let's just go to one of the metallics. You can see that beautiful brush nib there. And it's the same with the white pen as well. That white pen is so useful. Really lovely nib on that one. So you can go thicker, you can go thinner. But it's also that liner pen as well, I think, that is really interesting in this kit. I'll just take the lid off this one. Hopefully, you can see, you have got the chisel so it's shaped, you can see the angle there as well, so the chisel nib, so that enables you to go with a thicker line, with a thinner line, you can go really, really thin with this one. Uh, nice little set, lovely colours in there, you've got a lovely green in there, you've got the gold, you've got a beautiful blue, there's kind of a, I don't know, coppery colour in there as well, that white pen for me is always worth having in any set, and then that fine liner as well, all for just 11 95 you've got a £5 saving there, 206-843 is the item number. Um, now, something else that's been busy this hour as well. These intrigue me, actually. I think there's a lot you can do with these. These are your oil pastels. You're actually getting 36, 36 colours here for 10.75. What a great price. Even without the discount, that is incredible as a deal. Now, these are waterproof because they are oil pastels. Uh, break resistant, I'm hearing as well. There's lots of techniques you can do with these. Do, I want to have a play with these myself because not only can you do different techniques like, for example, Lou was saying yesterday, you know, the old sort of scratch boards we used to get where you'd scratch away the colour on top, you'd go over with a black surface, you'd go with the colours underneath and then you reveal those colours coming through. I'm thinking as well, with oil pastels, you could mix these into things like the air dry polymer that we had on the other day, the Medina clay, because you can mix oil based products into there as well. Um, that is lovely. Love that. Look at the vibrancy again. And you can feel the surface. You can feel that that is waterproof because it is oil based. Lou, just as a, a quick one, just to double check as well, we can blend these. Although we're saying oil, uh, waterproof, we can blend these with something like the zesty oils or linseed, linseed oil. oil. Yep. Um, the, there's lots of um, ways of doing them. The more, obviously, liquid you put to it, um, the more runnier it becomes yeah. and then you can paint out a, a little bit more to it. Um, obviously clean your brushes with After, whatever they rec yeah, recommend afterwards. But yeah, no, you can you can do all of that. Um, Lovely colours. You can see them as can well. Ah, Because yeah. a lot of people think oil pastels or oil paints just go hard and it takes a long time for them actually to dry dry. Yeah. So you can actually seal to stop them actually smudging. Right, got you. Um, yeah. And I did that on that one, and that is just with gel medium. Right, okay, because so it dries totally clear. It dries totally clear, so that now means that this is not going to smudge at all. I really so, like this. I think the so, fact that you're getting so many colours for that price. This will keep smudging, 
out because it's not got the gel medium on top of it and it hasn't ha slightly hardened. Whereas I've got, so then what I did was I did exactly the same and then you can stamp on top of it. You oh, can start nice. doing your doodling yeah. on top of it. So you can still do all the different, and that was quick backgrounds just using three of the crayon um, oil pastels together. And because it's all sealed and won't now smudge away i could technically mask off again and put another yeah. set of i just love the vibrancy top. of color that we're getting from these mm. three two four seven five seven is the item number i think well worth having a look at those because i think play around with them try those different techniques that we've mentioned and more the fact that you're getting so much for your money there another great deal and again we mentioned this a little bit earlier these are your fine liners look at that saving 29 pounds and 60 pence is your saving here for 34.96 you are going to get 60 pens again you've got 60 different colors different shades of blue different shades of green you've got pastels you've got flesh tones earth tones brights neons darks you name it they are there every color of the rainbow plus more 34.96 for these 239 282 is the item number uh, i don't know will we get to see these at all no we are hoping these? to let that dry and then we can use the fine liners and also the Brilliant. pencils on the same doodle. Okay, I was going to show a nib, but we'll wait until we get to demo for that. <laughs> 239282 is the item number. Now, something else we've got, the graphite pencils as well. I really like these. Now, this, uh, these are amazing because, let me just show you this. Oh, and 2B has been filled in. We were missing 2B yesterday. Uh, you've got a whole tin of the graphite pencils here. This is how they will look. And then when you shade them out as well, you can get all those different tones, all those different shades. Brilliant pencils. They look like rods of metal to me but you know you hold them like you would a normal pencil you can sharpen these as well but you've got the different strengths of the hard and the softer um, nibs there to work with which are absolutely brilliant 21.99 is the price it's going to pop in another sample actually this appeared since last night i love that that must be made using the curves as well i'm guessing 10 pounds saving on these 649288 is the item number so grab those as well we've got a few more happy hour deals as well on this show we've got the gesso now this is huge this is the white one 500 milliliters for 9.99 you've got a five pound saving 397417 that is your item number i know we do have the black available in fact we're going to show you that next there it is different item number 371343 again only 9.99 you've got that five pound saving there as well uh, we can use those, of course, with our watercolour crayons. We've also got for you, ah, now this is a good buy. You've got your magnets, your magnet class. So if you're making your albums or your, I don't know, your hideaway cards with secret messages, or maybe you just want to use your magnets for something else. These are your small ones. They're pairs of magnet clasps. You may be able to use these in your sewing projects. I don't know. £7 saving, 12 99 You're getting 25 pairs, so that's 50 magnets there. 677425 is the item number there we are let's head back to Lou to see what she's been up to because I know she carried on coloring in you've <laughs> set that to one side to dry I now. have all I've done is I haven't done all of it is that so using just that little swatch I've started to add the little colors you know more and more depth on that you can carry on doing but I, that was just the initial band that I've done there so you can carry on going okay but it's so much quicker yeah and then I can then go over with the pencils and add even more shading Lovely. Um, I can then go with the fine liners you know and add even you know even more detail yeah. on top of the pencil so everything does you know work but, together of course but it needs to drive to that so I started doing a bit of a background. It's a bit random, I know. Okay, completely different colours this time. It is, is and I've gone for slightly darker colours because even though we've tried it with gesso, I thought about acrylic paint. Ooh. So I've just gone for slightly darker colours here. R um, rather than going for colours I know will blend nicely, yeah. I thought if I bring in... So I, I've just gone for the, the lighter colours just for now. Okay. Um, but then I thought if I did the yellow, I know that's going to make that a yellow green, that's going to make that a green that's going to make that a little bit more of an orange but I thought you know Let's give, it well, a go. give it a go and then we've got a little bit brighter compared to the pastel that we've done with the gesso that's a good oh I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here the happy hour deal we've got actually 
on those paints, you've got 21 different, and I, again, I'm going to accentuate the different. You might get the same shades or you might get different blues, but they will be different colours. And you get the storage as well, which you can hang on the wall or you can keep on your desk. You can decorate them. Look at this. Brights, primaries and the neutrals all included in that one bundle 15 pounds saving here lose using a couple of them but of course you've got 21 to choose from 44.99 i think we've got a flexi on this one haven't we have we got a flexi we do we'll see if we can get that to flip around there it is two payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence 979 624 that's your item number great to have all those colors all in one go it yeah, is isn't it in one bundle yeah um and I, I love the storage I think the storage well, you've got the fun of decorating the storage with the paints before you put the paints in there. See, I'm dreadful. I, I set it all up, fill it all up, and then, you know, <laughs> you know when you just go, yeah, the, the, the decorating part will just have to wait a bit because I want to use it and I want to use it now. Right, I'm just using small amounts of the acrylic because okay. I didn't know, you know, how bright I wanted it to go. So this is the deliberate, you know, I've gone deliberately with a little bit darker colours. I'm loving what's coming through there. Can I just ask, was your brush damp at all? Or are you just going with the paint? I'm just going straight with the paint. Right, okay. Now, I, I mean, with acrylic, if I put a little bit of water, I can pull the acrylic yeah. even further. But I just thought it'd be nice to try rather, you know, just the jet. So with this time, we've got a little bit more of a vibrant background. I'm just going to take the green off. I know the, the yellow and blue will make a green, but I don't want to mix the green that's on my brush okay, already yeah, in so it. Okay, yes, get a true sort of uh, yeah, response so get, to the colours. So there. we've got... And you can see that colour is pulling out very, very easy, actually, without using water. So, you know, we can bring it... And then I'm going to put another acrylic on the top. Yeah. So I'm going to build up the background. I have done one already. You know when you just go... There we go. So if, if the more you blend it... The, the more, um, you know, the colours are going to work. But if you, if you can just roughly blend if that makes sense yeah it looks... and depending on the strength or oh, the amount of paint that you're yeah. using you're going to get those different so I, I, so in some places i want the yellow to be quite dominant to break up the darkness of the green and the blue so just do the change my brush stroke so then if i put a little bit on the um the red i'm being quite tight with the paint i'm dreadful for paint for doing that though <laughs> but uh, you know you can always add another layer, can't you? It, you okay. can, it's that's really true. hard to yeah, take a layer take away. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a very strong orange. But that shows you what... I know I've mixed it with the yellow, but that just shows you what the initial crayon colour, the yeah. intensity of the, um, the crayon colour. Because I haven't, you know, I haven't gone mad with putting it, you know, I haven't... You could call it being oh, like tight, that. couldn't you, sort of thing. But I haven't gone absolutely mad with it. So I'm going to leave it like that and let it dry. Oh, no, let's do this one at the top. Otherwise, that will bug me. I do apologise. You know, we just go, that will bug me if I don't do that just little one. Now, the watercolour crayons are proving very popular this hour. In fact, let's give you the details again. Nearly 80% of the stock has gone. I'm just looking again at all the individual colours there. You've got the flesh tones in there. You've got earthy tones, greens, blues. You've got the white in there, of course. We've got a black by the looks of it. You've got different greys. Yeah, 24 individual colours. These are going to last some time as well. Use them sparingly or use them to get those vivid creations, as we've just seen in the backgrounds that Lou's doing now. If we break this one down, it makes it just 77 pence each. That is a really good buy. That is, isn't it? When you think how far they go, because you had water. I know, and I haven't really used that much. So I'm going to leave that like that, because I now, because the acrylic or the gesso has trapped the watercolour, yep. I can now work on this. So if this is too vivid and too bright, I'm now going to use it a lighter colour and then put other colours on top, because okay. it's trapped the watercolour in, so it's not going to react to the, co the coat underneath if that makes sense. Yeah. So we can work there. So I'm just going to put that to dry. I know I've got lots of bits drying, but then I thought, well, okay, we've got to have a go on black. Oh, haven't we? So I thought, we've definitely got to have a go on black and see what we can do. Okay. So I've got some gesso here. I'm going to use the gesso. So I just think it will show up a little bit better, that's all. Okay. And let's go for... Oh, a nice vibrant red. So if I just show you on one side, I'm going to work on this side. If I got this on here. This is a watercolour card. Yeah. 
and I paint it out, the red shows, but when it would dry, you wouldn't actually, no. as you can see, it's starting to disappear into the black. Yeah, okay. So we'll do, do it this way. So we'll just do... Um, can we use something like the pink frog card if we haven't got watercolour and we want a dark card? Yeah. Can we use, yeah you can use... Card? Um, most cards you could use... If, for instance, if I put down um, a black gesso first on a thinner card, yeah. that just gives me a little it bit thicker. It gives you that barrier, doesn't it? Does it does give me yeah. that little bit of barrier. Um, so you can, you can do all of that. Um, if you've got a white card, put a black gesso on top and you can do a similar technique as well. Oh, lovely. So then let's just grab a little bit of the orange. I'll tell you what I think we've got. Have we got the blackboard paint? <laughs> we do, we've got that. I bet that would work really interestingly with the watercolours as well. Yeah. And I love the fact that the yellow goes on like this green colour. That shows up nicely. It's almost green, doesn't it, on the black? So, and then I'm just going to grab... Oh, I like that purple. Isn't it a great way to colour quickly, though? Yeah. <laughs> Got yeah, and the nice thing is anybody can do this. Yeah, so well done Leone finding it. <laughs> so I'm just going to get a little bit of the gesso. So I'm just going to work it in my brush because I've been wetting. So now... Oh. Oh, I like that. And I'm not going to paint it all out because I think it would be nice to pay a little bit of homage to the fact that we're working on black. Yeah, I'm already loving where you've caught that red at the side and the colour I'm starting to see there. So we've, we can have that little bit of a... Oh, nice, look at that. Do you know that is lovely on the black, though? It is, and uh, like I said, I'm going to leave little hints that the black is still yeah. there, because I think that would be... Rather than, you know, why not? Because it, it's a lot, it's not, I mean, we could have painted this over white, but we're just now, so what we've done is we've just turned a watercolour, really, essentially into an acrylic, haven't we? Yeah. On the top, and we've got the blendability Yes, but we can it. do that, and then, ugh, I mean, we've got the acrylics on the show, but if you want to create your own, mix those colours again. Mm. Using the watercolours, blend your colours together, yeah. then use the gesso, bring the colours out. Could, if this was too much, like I said, well, you can go back over. If um, I put, like, the yellow acrylic on top of this, I'm going to get more of an orange colour yeah. rather than the gesso. But I, I actually wanted um, the gesso to If we took tiny it. shavings of the watercolour mm -hmm. with a, a craft knife or... A blend, and then just tight, yeah. yeah, a mix, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you could sharpen you them or tiny shavings, and then just spritz them. So I'm just going to give my brush a quick clean. I, cause oh, do you know we're getting busy and busy on the watercolor crayons? Almost 85 percent of the stock has gone. I'm just going to grab them actually, just just so we can see them again. Let me just bring them over here. Um, do you know if you're going for the one day special? You could add these in as well because you've got the crayons, you've got the watercolours. You can work with both, so do the larger areas perhaps on the watercolours. Bring in the detail with the, small, with the finer crayons from the one-day special. If you can only afford to go for one and you want these, there's so many opportunities. Six twenty-four is the saving there. £18.50 is the price. We worked it down. Uh, was it, did we say £77 pence per... per oh. It's a bit of a no-brainer, that one, isn't it? We are rapidly approaching limited stock on these now, yeah. 188690 is the item number. Grab yours now and check those baskets out before before they bounce back out. Just remember the dispatch date from the 7th of July. Uh, it's not long to wait. You can be planning all those projects. You can be gathering all your other ingredients together for making those projects as well. Um, yeah, what a great buy. I think I think the penny's dropped with a lot of people as well, Lou, that these aren't just a one-use or one-trick no. pony product. No, so, I mean, that's just doing it on the, the black card. I mean, I would carry on. And you, I, I still like the fact that we've got a little bit of the black yeah. showing through. But you could build on that again because um, it's, it's trapped the watercolour crayons in there. So once this is dried, we could go back on top yeah. and build out and build more and more and more and more layers, you know, if we wanted to. So this one should be dry. You know, when you go, let's touch it and see. So I've, I've got that there. So this is, if this was a little bit too dark for me now, if I went and just put, I'm just going to put a little bit of the blue. 
because I know it's not going to reactivate underneath, and I'm just going to get a... So this time, if I use a little bit of the gesso, I can get a lighter blend. Oh, yeah. So I can start knocking back yeah. a little bit of I the colour. I actually colour. really like the cross hatching you're doing with the brush as well. You don't always have to blend it totally because no. you get the texture coming through. So I just now, so I can carry on now building. So if this was a little bit, you know, too intense, let's get... Um, so, oh, I'm, you know, we just go, what colour, what colour? I've got so many colours. You know. So let's go a little bit of this pink. Now, if you, if you do your shading in lots of different directions, that helps a little bit as well. I'm just going for speed in one direction. But if you struggle to do yours in different directions, just move your book. Because then you can colour in the same direction. But now, because that is green, and I've just gone over with a purple, a pink and the green is not contaminating yeah. that colour at all. Yes, it's coming through, as, but you've got like a darker stage, but that hasn't got any of the green no. in it at all. So it's trapped it, so you can then bring in and, you know, knock back some of your colours if they're just, you know, too intense for you. This is so interesting. Lou, if I may, a little oh, bit sorry. of an update, <laughs> because, yeah, they're, they're going to go green on the screen, and we have got limited stock on these now. Yeah, limited stock, make sure you're grabbing yours. Let me just show you the swatch again as well, to show you those 24 different colours. There is one in the top corner, it's white, so that's why you can't see it there. But of course, you can blend these together. Use them on your black card or your coloured card as well. Yeah, be quick with these now, 188690. Now, one or two other happy hours that we've also got that we haven't had time to mention, actually, the crackle medium. Oh, now there's a thought. Could we put the crackle medium over a background like you've just done, Lou? I bet you could. Maybe you'd want to seal it to stop it reacting. I don't know if it would or it wouldn't, well, but no, I bet you put could. The acrylic paint on there and yeah, the gesso. Exactly. So it's going to come um, up on the And then if barrier. you really wanted to keep the intensity, put a clear gesso. Yes. Oh, go for the crackle medium as well. You're going to get addicted to that if you've not used it before. It is fabulous. $9.99 is the price. £5 saving. 710947, I believe that was. Uh, the glue, this is a great buy as well. Now, this comes with, this is genius, it comes with the free glue cube. Now, you build that up. It's an MDF shape that you build up, and it's got little holes in it, so you can put your glue upside down so that the glue always runs to the nib. You don't get airlocks in it or anything. It's brilliant. £4 saving, £9.97. We're not showing you the cube on there, but you do get it. 302080. That glue is wonderful to work with as well. Then we've got another essential for you, the red liner tape. Oh, that can't be right. We need to drop that price. We, oh, I'm just hearing, right, okay, the price should be $14.99 for this hour because it is a happy hour deal. 20 assorted rolls. This is your high performance, of course, your red liner, double-sided tape. Love it. Yeah, so grab your happy hours as well. Back to Lou. Did I hear a heat gun then? <laughs> I was just, you know, just making, making sure, sure, sorry, because I've obviously cleaned this down. It's a little bit wet still. Hold on, okay. let's move that. So, so the, if we go back... To actually this so I'm going to start with using a little bit of the pencils then we'll bring in a little bit of the fine liners as well oh nice um, so now the one day special of course does contain the tin of 24 colors of these soft pencils if you were watching earlier on if you watched the demonstrations I was particularly impressed last night when Lou was building up the layers exactly the same way as you're doing now actually mm. Lou. and you said you prefer to start with darker normally yeah and then, and then lighter. get lighter I, everyone's different um, I don't know why. I, th I think it's just um, something I've got used to in my own head. So okay. I've got, I'm still keeping the watercolour background. And I'm just going to build up where I have to hold my pencils. And then I get, I'm being really good now and it's just sticking to three. Because then I can end up with about 20 in my hand. And then it's like, why am I holding them? Because I still can't find the one I want. <laughs> So yeah, this is just up. going over. So these are the crayons from the One Day Special. Yeah. And, and they are lovely and soft. You hardly have to put any effort into blending them. And obviously I've, I've stuck to colours that go with the watercolours I've put underneath because I just thought that would be... That's a lovely effect you're getting there, Lou. It looks very soft and uh, it, it's, it's, the layers are built beautifully together. And it's, I mean, for the minimal amount of watercolour crayon I put down, 
it's helped the pencil so yeah. like I said to you I am being a little bit tight because I'm having to use yeah, minimal course, pencil. You don't have to you know you don't have to be intense you can be a little bit tight with them it is better it's, to build those I mean, layers. It is better to build up layers but I mean I know there's a lot of people who will build them all up with their pencil um, but you know you can create for me it's like you know why use that I can do more projects with my pencils then. Um, so I'm just going to now I, you, I could keep going with the intensity on the pencil you know and, and make it slightly darker because I haven't put um, I haven't burnished them yet so I'm gonna grab a purple actually me and purple I'm getting really brave Do you know leonie has been like this today she's been using purple in the ranger show I said it's not her normal color. No, it's not. It's one of the colors I actually, um, it's not because I don't like purple. I think I find it um, harder to blend. Yeah. And I love blue. So you would oh, thought actually it, it would be a color would, I would yeah, go to. Yeah, because you make yeah. purple with blue and red, don't you? It just, so I'm just adding now a little bit of the darker on there. And you could carry on building and that hasn't taken very long. But the speed of it has also been that I've got the watercolour background and I'm just then going to put my pencils yeah. on top. But you could do that technique with um, alcohol markers. So you could put all that as an alcohol marker, then bring your pencils course, and go over yeah. the top as well. So you could build your blends, you know, that way. If I grab... Oh, they're right at the back here, sorry. Ooh. Some of the fine liners. So I could go over some of the detail now if I want to make it. Let me have a think. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> you know, you go... <laughs> I like that one. So I do like a lid that clicks. Can we just look at the nib of these, uh, Lou? So well. they're a it's really like nice fine. Earlier. If I turn it over, there's me doodling. Um, it's a really nice fine nib. Oh, lovely. Are these, am I right in thinking these are 0 0.3 millimetres? 0.3 mil. Yeah, so they're a really nice. nice. Uh, and the lighter pressure you put on, the. Great for your planners, these as well. We've had oh, the other planner the, shows today. I mean, I do like her. Uh, a to-do list yeah and a nice colored to-do list is even yeah. better I'm actually going to change my mind and go for that one so you can bring in your fine liners now so I can carry on doodling so I'm going to go over the top oh these are perfect aren't they for that detail oh so you don't I mean I've done my outline in black but if I want to take away from the fact that it's in black you know oh, I like can these. do so so we can do another So that just builds up. Do, I, do you know that has made it for me? Seeing that detail now coming into and the image. And because we've got so many colours, I can go really complementary yeah. with the colours, which I think is really nice. So like if, because um, sometimes you think, why why so many colours? Yeah. And it, and it works. So if I take this slightly darker yellow now, I'm just, I'm thinking now, what am I going to do on here? So I going, I want to keep it quite complementary. And oh, then you I need these. You need these. Look at that, 60 pens. They're all different colours as well. You've got every colour, the rainbow, the neons, the darks, the brights, the pastels, the earthy tones. You've got everything you need. And the price is 34.96, which, can we work that out per pen, actually? You're saving £29.60. Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, do you know, I think I've just worked this one out. <laughs> Would I be right in saying these work out at just 58 pence per pen? Really? Did I get that right? Whoa! That, I get 58 pence per pen. And these are Stadler. Yeah, everyone must have heard of Stadler. So I, I'm keeping all my colours. And I could have gone for a nice clashing colour. But I quite like the idea that everything is saying colour toned. So if I get like the orange here I can then oh you reminded me of a certain game colouring those in uh, right okay now I'm just going to remind everybody as well well a few things actually first this is the final live hour the watercolour crayons went limited stock they're literally hanging by a thread at the moment watching Lou there I'm also going to remind everybody or oh, if you came in part way through the show what Lou's used in that particular sample that she's putting together right now it started with items from the one day special she used the curves to create those beautiful details then used the watercolour 
crayons, which you can see in front of me here, which we've got details on the screen for. So using those for the bigger background there. 624 saving, 18 pounds and 50 pence, 188690. We also saw Lou using these with not only the acrylic paint that we've got as a happy hour deal, but also the gessos as well. Earlier on today, Lou was using these with the jelly plate. So, you know, we're still only scratching the surface of what you're going to achieve here. Now watching Lou again, she's brought in the crayons from the one day special and now the fine liners so those different mediums those different surfaces the different textures the different you know effects you're going to get by bringing everything together is absolutely amazing and this is what you can be achieving I've got to say Lou now you've brought in the fine liners this has made such a difference to the way I'm looking at everything because you can do, you can do some fine liners. I mean, you can, I mean, I'm just doing flicking motions. So I, you know, just a colour. And I put the orange down first because I didn't want the red to be quite as intense a red colour. And then just going over with the fine liner so I can, yeah, love bring, it. you know, bring it round whilst it's wet. I'm going to put a little, I just want to dry it off. So, you know, so you can do lots of different. So you can use your fine liners just to, you know, to do your blending colouring. So if I put the red there, it's, it, if you can, it's best to leave the ink to dry. Um, so if I go a slightly darker colour. The fine liner pens, I've got to say as well, are a great bundle for some for students or, you know, mm. if you're studying art at school and you need a set of something like this as well. What a great buy while well we've got that saving. In fact, talking of maths, I've just worked it out. <laughs> I'm it's getting impressed. 45% saving that you get in there. Yeah. 239282 is the item number. Too late in the day <laughs> for me to think of that. So I just carried on now with, with, with the fine liners going over and over and over so I can have a darker shade. I need to let that dry and then I can go over again and you can, you can do your shading techniques with it. But if that's too much, I can then go and grab a um, pencil and I can go over the top again and just knock it back a little bit more. Brilliant. Love it. So all your, all your mediums can work together. That's wet, so that's why it's pulled out. But that doesn't matter, actually. I quite like I, that. I like that, yeah. Looks good. You know, we just got, I'm trying to now see if I can pull yeah. out a little bit more now. <laughs> we have got details back on the screen for the one day special. Don't forget, you're getting 24 of those crayons, those beautiful soft crayons that Lou is currently using, all in a tin. You've got the three mechanical pencils. We've also got, of course, those beautiful French curves, which you're going to find so many uses for. Um, we've also got happy hour deals. Just want to remind you about those as well, because, of course, they are for this hour only mentioned earlier as well about the crackle medium try those different effects with the crackle medium mm -hmm. using the watercolor crayons with the acrylic paint maybe on the top so it seals that surface then go with the crackle then go with another acrylic paint on top the effects are going to be absolutely amazing they really really are uh, the crackle medium is there for you 710947 that's the item number a five pound saving 9.99 it's a huge pot of this as well two 250 milliliters there that's what you're getting if you're going for the crackle medium yeah we're almost at the end of the live hour actually i think there's something i need to say this hour <laughs> yeah well we're all we're all a little bit sad because oh, yeah. uh, we've got a lovely floor manager, Matt, who's, this is actually his final hour as a floor manager because he's leaving us after today. <laughs> so I'm really, really upset about that. But do you know what? We wish Matt the very, very best of luck. We're trying our best to find him with the camera, but he's having none of it. Let's hey. all give him a round of applause. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Matt, Matt, I won't bless him. Well, Aww. we are going to miss him. We are going to miss him. Uh, Matt, thank you for everything. So sorry it's, it's your last show, uh, but we know that you're going to, you know, you're, the rest of Matt's lives is just going to be amazing. I'm sure it is. He'll move on to much brighter things, perhaps. Can you get much brighter than here at the Crafts? I don't think you can, don't can know. you? No. Like, personally, probably not, no. No, <laughs> maybe he's making a big mistake going then. But we wish him luck. <laughs> we wish him luck. Oh, Lou, thank you. That no, was thank amazing. You. Thank you so, so much. Check those baskets out. Uh, don't miss out.
Oh, I'm going to be in trouble now. I think Matt's very embarrassed. Handmade by Haley's coming up next. And of course, we've got family favourites, Studio Light at six. Then family favourites, Stamp Addicts. Ooh. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimples shows and have some fun. It's like spot the presenter, isn't it? <laughs> this, uh, hello, hello. Uh, yes, there's not much room for me here <laughs> because there's an awful lot because it's a monthly mega deal from Handmade by Haley. It is a whopper, and I do feel partly responsible for yes. Haley West months of work that you've put into this. Well, yes, because it was on your suggestion that we looked at the dies before, and um, Derek made a really valid point that if you're a paper crafter and you're working with dies, you might never have sewn before, so maybe you might need a little bit of help. So perhaps patterns would help. So yes, it's his fault. And, uh, and nine <laughs> quilt patterns later, and that's a lot of quilt maths. Unless you're Hayley West, actually. But unless you've got the system which she invented, uh, which is the mocker block, which that's does right. help the quilt maths rather a lot, doesn't it? So your monthly mega deal, my friends, I mean, look at all of this. For those of you who want to die cut your pieces, the most frequently used mm -hmm. pieces um, for quilting, then you've got it all, all here in dies. Um, Haley working in conjunction with Crafts too, to bring you a set of dies, so you don't have to do all of the individual this, that, and the other. And to go with that, how about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quilt patterns? Now, can I just say this is the first time I've seen this monthly mega deal? So indulge me for a second. Usually, and quite often, and you will see it regularly, a quilt pattern on its own would retail for, you tell me, seven, eight, nine, ten mm -hmm. pounds for what one pattern. Here? So if we went by, let's be conservative, if we went, and I'm not great at maths myself, but if we went at an average of eight pounds per quilt pa pattern, mm -hmm. nine eights are mm, 72 the last time I looked, in just quilt patterns. Dies, 
dies, you know how much die sets can cost on their own. I don't know what the retail price for all the individual bits and pieces are. All I can see is what you've got here, which reflects the saving of £31. In my eyes, what you're getting here is much more, much more of a saving than that. In my eyes, that's just me personally speaking. But you've been absolutely loving this monthly mega deal. It is absolutely brilliant. Now, there is also on the quilt patterns, if you want to buy the quilt patterns individually, you can do that. Maybe you already have the dies. Maybe from when Hayley and I were here the first time around mm -hmm. with the dies, you got them and then thought, oh, actually, I could do with a bit of inspiration as well now to go with it because I'm having fun. And maybe you've got a mocker block as well. Um, you can actually pick and mix the patterns if you want. Buy any three uh, for £10. You're a mad woman. <laughs> three with three quilt patterns for 10 well, quid. Well, no usually, one does that. Well, that's kind of to keep it in line with um, the monthly mega deal because usually be, yeah. it's going to be about a five or a pattern yeah. conservatively. So even yes. at a five or a pattern, you're looking at £45 worth of patterns yeah, yeah. within this bundle. So, yeah. That's bonkers. Um, these three over here, they're not available in the pick and mix. So That's the only right. way of getting these three is in the monthly mega deal, which are under £70. I mean, the ability and the capability of nine quilt patterns plus the blocks which will go on, or the, uh, the dies which will go on building blocks forever and ever That's and it. a day for your quilts. This is brilliant. You can see some of the quilts behind both myself and Hayley. And you said... You know, it, they're not like giant, massive quilts. They're achievable they're not. quilts as they're, well. They are. And people, quite often, I'll, I'll get, especially card makers, I love the quilt shows. I love watching the shows. love to be able to make a quilt. First of all, it's the maths, which terrifies a lot of people. Yeah. And then it's the investment of the money in your fabrics. And don't get me wrong, you can pay a lot for your fabric mm -hmm. um, fabrics. But what you can also do is recycle fabrics if you're wanting to as well. So um, this particular quilt, one of the exclusive quilts, is it done with a kind of, yeah, middle of the road type of fabric. So, so, yeah, with that one, you're probably paying about £12.99. We've got one next to it being a Liberty fabric, which we all know is a little bit of a luxury. But what about recycling? What about taking things like old shirts? So the green and the yellow quilt that you're looking at here, this has been recycled using um, old shirts. The white fabric is one that I brought in, the brown fabric as well, and um, that's one that I added in. But all of the green, the two tones of the green and the yellow actually have come from old shirts. That's um, genius. And I think that's the thing. And I have got the bag, which has got all the other bits that were left over. Hold on, let me bring it out. Yeah, I've got it here. So just to prove it, I've got the cuffs left over here. <laughs> I've got the button bands that are left over. Um, and the, um, the sleeves, you can get lots of fabric out of the sleeves and out the back of a shirt, to be honest. I mean, look at all yeah. that fabric there, just yeah. waiting to be utilised. So if you're practising and you want to be, build your confidence, please don't think that you have to look at fabrics and buy them by the metre, um, which we do some fabulous prices here at the craft store but just recycle what's around your bed sheets things like that you can do now the next one to um, that particular one is the one which you call arras now when you look at the spelling of arras a double r a s it looks very mexican i thought so the name arras yes so do you Doesn't know why it's called arras go on tell me because it's made up of arras <laughs> So that's where that name came from. And that one's been made using Charm Packs five inch square pieces. I love because it. Because the beauty is when you're using things like your pre cut, so if I bring out um, a little charm, so that would be the size of a charm. If you are looking at making rectangles and quarter square triangles out of that, you're not going to be able to do it with your traditional rotary cutting method. It's going to be very, very tricky. Whereas with the dies, you can lay the dies down exactly where you want them to go and cut out. So those kind of rules that you're following with rotary cutters, you don't have to follow anymore because you can literally put the die where you want it to be. If there's a flower, if there's an elephant, if there's whatever you want within that fabric you wanting to focus on, then you can place that die exactly where you want it to go. And then the one that's next to that one, the arrows, I might, do I need to move out of the way for this one? So with this one, is that just... Well, the camera's everywhere. Such a professional Where's, where's that camera, I wonder? <laughs> now, this one's actually been made up of scrap fabrics. And it looks so, beautiful, So this it? is literally one where I've got my deflecto um, box, and I'll show you it in just a few moments. And literally, I've got all my pieces. So whenever I make anything up and I've got scraps left over, I will get the dies. Even if it's like a, a real kind of odd shaped piece, then uh, basically I will get my deflecto, cut out. So in here, I've got loads and loads of quarter square triangles. So when I have the opportunity to sit down and have a jolly good sew, I've got them all pre-cut. Rectangles, squares, half square triangles, they're all in these little um, 
pods here, ready for when I'm sitting down, I can do my little patches, and then at times, I can put them all together. That is such a good idea, isn't it? Because something will always come together. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and this one, there is a little bit of construction with it and some of the colours are repeated. But to be honest, you could do it out of literally any scraps you've got. You don't have to have those diamonds exactly the same. See, I think there's... Uh, uh, and this proves brilliantly how there is definitely a crossover between paper crafting and working with fabric as well. There is definitely that bridge between the two. And this is it. Being able to die cut your fabrics gives you that same feeling as if you were working working in paper crafting, doesn't it? Because your construction is the same kind of thing. The use of fabric is the same as we, we don't we never waste any cardstock or anything like that. It's the same with fabric as well. And look at the amazing things you can create. You can create them out of old clothes. I mean memory quilts are one of the biggest, biggest first projects for people to do. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. a lot of people decide to do it. It's either a, a memory quilt by somebody that, from somebody that's, that's no longer with us. Yeah. So we take their clothes, their ties, their things mm -hmm. that were associated with them, um, and we recycle them so we can stay close to them. It, it's an amazing thing to do. All of these quilt patterns as well, they're your full instructions. And they are very, very simple for you to get going with because, guess what? They were written by an experienced quilter who is, is going to guide you all through all of the, the shortcuts and the you don't have to do this because I've already done that and made those mistakes and, and cut all of that rubbish out, got you straight to the heart of the point. This is such a brilliant monthly mega deal, it really is, because again, it's your ability to cut all of these, the most common shapes that are cut for quilting forever. It's as simple as that. And I think it goes back up in price on the 25th of June, I think it is, because we launched it around the, the 26th, 27th of May it was launched. Oh, OK. So it's, it's, it's going to be coming towards the end of that now. Right, we're going to have a quick check um, on that. But it, it's... Oh, well, it is limited stock already, so we could actually be at the mercy of how little stock is remaining, actually, uh, because the next time it is restocked, obviously, if it is in the future in this configuration, who knows? Um, it will revert back to that regular price, which is, uh, yeah, tomorrow at midnight is when the price is due to revert. And this is the last live hour we're going to have. Last live hour well. that we've got, yeah, so okay. any questions, get them in this hour. Yeah, absolutely. Make the most of it. Because this is this is really good. And again, if you have a sewing machine, a lot of people have a sewing machine in their life, or maybe your sister's got one or your mum's got one, or someone that will lend you a sewing machine. If you don't have one and you're an avid paper crafter and you think, do you know what, I'm going to give this a go. I am, I'm going to give this a go. I've got some fabric, I've got some old clothes. It's not difficult to pick those kind of things up. So why not give this a go? And the dyes will be forever. And the great thing is you can share them as well with other people. How many layers can I go through with one die? Um, I use four. It can do more than that, but I will explain why I only use four when we get to it. Four, four still very good, isn't it? Well, when it you is get multiple. It is especially with the quarter. If you've got something like the quarter square triangles and you're cutting four at a time, I mean, that means you're cutting 16 out in just one pass. Yeah. So very, very quickly you can get all of those pieces together. Yeah, absolutely, because it's not single dies. It's multiple dies in there. All the details um, are on the website as well if you want to have a closer look. 438598 is the item number. I'm now going to disappear along here. <laughs> there and I'm is. going to reappear over here um, at a genius genius system it is one of those things that what if you're seeing this for the first time you'll be like oh my word how's this not been in my life forever because if you actually want to design your own quilt blocks well hello Haley is completely and utterly given you the tool to be able to do that and she's given you absolutely everything this is like your your jigsaw puzzle of quilt block making and you'd be really surprised at, at how many different combinations there are of blocks using the shapes that you've got here. It's incredible, Hayley, isn't it? Well, this is it, yeah. Um, and also, you've got, obviously, the two different sizes of the layouts, as you can see, because you get your corner pieces, which will allow you to create your nine, pa um, your nine patches. And we're working with the dies, so those will end up being nine-inch blocks. But, of course, you can use them, and you can use them with a rotary cutter and a traditional method of cutting if you're wanting to as well. I'll show you that in a little while, um, too. But what it means is you can actually increase it with the extenders to make it into a 16-patch um, um, block. You've also got your patch calculator 
calculator, which is what you've got there, Derek. So once you've created your design, you can see down at the one side, down the left-hand side, um, you've got kind of um, images of the different types of patches that you can create. So there's a lot of different styles you can create with these. And then also you've got a column, so you can figure out how many of those patches you need for your block. So you might need just four of them. You might need two. You might need three. Um, you know, make a note there. The next column, column C, is how many times you're going to use that block within your project. So if it's a cushion, you're only going to need one repeat. If it's a quilt, you might need ten repeats. And then the final column gives you the opportunity to do your little shopping list of all the patch pieces that you're going to need in order for you to create your project. So rather than making it patch by patch and cutting it patch by patch, you literally have got a list that you might need 46 quarter square triangles or, or however many, and you've got it all pre-cut using the dies especially. It is, it's, it's genius. It really is genius. And, it's, and bear in mind that you can actually have as many different quilt block designs in one single quilt. There are no rules that say you need to repeat the same block all the way through a quilt. Top four, all the four corners, think about it like bingo for a second, four corners might be a completely different block to the line down or the line diagonally. Um, take a little look at this as well because it really shows you um, in pictures how it actually comes together and how imaginative you can be with it. Well this is it and this is working with the frame. I'm going to show you how you don't have to restrict yourself to using the frame. Yeah, I'm really interested to hear more about that, actually, yeah. because I because I, I naturally assume that, that that that's the framework that we work within. Well, it all therefore... came about because I, I love to teach people to achieve things and to have a go and have the confidence to have a go. And that's why I put the boundary of the frame in there to help you with those initial boundaries. But once you get to grips with it, there's nothing stopping you getting rid of that boundary and making them into whatever shape you like. It does all the maths for you as well. It's so intuitive. It's almost like someone there saying, "It's a, you know that whole thing about uh, measure twice, cut once? Well, well, that's so foolproof in terms of getting to that stage and getting the measurement right. It's going to save you wasting an awful lot of fabric in the future as well. Um, £20. And remember, that's it. It's a one-off life thing. It's not like you'll have version oh, yeah. 6 and 6.2 and 6.5. No, that's it. This is it. And I think sometimes the simplest things are the most effective, aren't they? That's it. Sometimes it can be useful if you're wanting to go, um, if you go for a couple of them, because obviously it extends the number of pieces that you've got. And you might have a block laid out and you might want to make another one to put side by side to see how they look. So, yeah, it might be worth getting a second one, but you don't have to. One is plenty. Absolutely. Oh, you'll love it, though. You'll definitely, you'll, you'll want more than that. Right, OK, next up... Oh, I love this machine. I, it reminded me actually that I, I need to, I need to get my order in. Too sweet for this because well, yeah, um, you need I, to be quick. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's the die cutting machine that foils. Yeah. As well, mm -hmm. which is just amazing. I just love it. Um, I did a two-hour show with John on the Kaleido, and straight away I can just see what a joy it is and how simple it is to use and it does the work of several machines in one and yet it's a it's a manual die cutting machine it's really really cool please again well Hayley you will you be using it in I'm gonna show? be using it in a Brilliant. few moments and incidentally if you do go for the Clyde alongside your dies then you can actually spread the cost of your dies over three payments oh, of course you can yes don't mean to be doing your job but yeah no no, <laughs> no you're, yes, no, absolutely, you're right earlier on yeah. yes oh today might be the day then Today might be the day that I get my order in for my Kaleido as well then, because I've, I've forgotten about that. That really does make sense. It's less than £100, um, and it's really good. There's so much that comes with it, plus the ability uh, to foil with it as well. Now, one more thing I need to show you is one of the seven-day savers uh, this week, because it is a handmade by Hayley, seven-day <laughs> savers. And we're off to the zoo, aren't we, <laughs> with this one. It's really, really cool. Um, it's the Applique Pattern Bundle. And you have got loads and loads and loads of fabulous animals there. It comes with a, a little pair of snips there as well. Um, so you've got Eric the giraffe, and, oh, sorry, Grace the giraffe. Eric's an elephant, sorry. <laughs> uh, Zeb the zebra, Olivia the ostrich, and Lionel the llama, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Very good. I always get my llamas and alpacas mixed up. Um, so that's available as our seven-day saver. Hello, look at the saving there. In fact, are you saving nearly double what you're spending, roughly speaking? Yeah, it's not far off, is it? Uh, 176216 is your item number. It is flying out. Remember, we are at the mercy of the stock on a seven-day saver. Uh, so it's when it sells out or 8 a.m. on Sunday morning when we, uh, when we launch some new 
seven day savers. So £16.97, which is brilliant. And actually, Hayley, you're going to be showing us that in the show. I am well, going to be working on that in a few moments, but I'm just going to indulge myself for a few moments. I wanted to share with you a quilt that my daughter has made. Now, Phoebe has never made a quilt before. Oh, really? So when I was putting together nine quilts, you're going to call in as many favours as you can when you've yep. got nine quilts to make. So I said to her, do you fancy having a go and, and testing the patterns and the dyes and seeing how you get on as a complete novice? No, she's done kind of hair scrunchies and things like that, but never done anything much larger than those so she decided on this pattern when she showed me i thought oh my goodness you've chosen a real mammoth task there phoebe this is her oh, first gosh. ever quilt first hats ever off. hats off to phoebe that's a brilliant brilliant i mean like you, you, there's 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 such consistency through that as well isn't it amazing? That's amazing. Um, and she's and never done it before. She's never quilted before. She's so seen you do a lot of it. Absolutely amazing. So what she did was um, she uh, the, she used the pattern. She didn't design the blocks herself. Um, she used one of the pre... Um, and I think it was the Delightful Diagonals, I think this particular one was. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, oh, no, it wasn't. It's um, from Little, a little little Blocks, which is kind of like a play on from Little Acorns. So it's from the Little um, Blocks one. So they're little four... Um, they're kind of like four patch blocks, though. So very easy to work with. And that was her project. So yeah, just to show you, if you are thinking to yourself, I can't achieve it, you can't. And I didn't get involved. I just let her carry on. That's brilliant. Um, so, That's yeah. twice Phoebe's been in the spotlight today. I know, she's we a saw, star. We saw her a happy planner you earlier did, you with did, Leone. Did. <laughs> and now she's a, she, she's a quilt maker as well. I, I keep saying that we're going to get you on there. We'll get her on there. Brilliant. Anyway, going back to one o'clock, we did have a show earlier on. I'm not going to take it right the back, um, way back to basics because we did that at one o'clock. And during the one o'clock show, we did a, a block. We um, showed you how to use all the little pieces to put it in place and create and design your own block. And then I spoke about how you're going to die cut the fabric bricks and actually cut them out so we did that at one o'clock so I'm not going to re um, go over that again what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with Ta -da! Oh, oh, Lionel. One, of the, one of the Lionels yes now this is um, one of the seven day saver patterns and it's funny actually because when I made this up at home I didn't uh, look refer back to the pattern and when I looked at the image that we've got the eyes are further apart on the pattern and it looks totally different really gives it a personality mm -hmm. so that is your llama from your seven day savers also within your seven day saver you've got your giraffe oh look at that it's beautiful so you've got your giraffe there. Um, and then the final one that I've got here, I haven't got all of them <laughs> as finished samples, is Zeb. Zeb the zebra. Aww. So those are three of those. And they actually come alongside. You've got the patterns. You've got um, everything that you need in there. You've also got a little pair of curved embroidery scissors to help you. Would suggest you perhaps look at the, um, the duck bill applique scissors potentially to help you with these. And you're also getting two heat erasable um, refills. So as you can, basically, you can kind of trace around the designs as well. Brilliant. So I've got this block in. I wanted to show you that you don't have to be making generic blocks using the dies. So I've got this block here, which is like a feature block. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some flying geese. So not in this actual fabric, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these up to go around the edge, to go around, uh, and we'll have some cornerstones in there as well. Now, with the only rule that you have to remember is because the dies are based on the three inch patches, you need to make sure that the overall size of your feature block is multiples of three inches. So on this occasion, this one is 15 inches across and then the extra half an inch because of your seam allowance going on. So that's the only rule of thumb that you've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up these little patches here for your, um, your flying um, geese. So I'm going to get the fabrics I'm going to use. So I'm going for some, some zigzaggy cave. Love there it. we go. And then picking out that gorgeous turquoise that we've got there. So <clears throat> those are the fabrics I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be using my Kaleido. So I'm going to bring my Kaleido out. Get that all ready. So that's by the side of me. And I'm going to get my dies. And I only need to actually use the half square triangles um, and the quarter square triangles on this occasion. So I'm going to put those out in the little box here. So I've got four of the quarter square triangles and I've got two of the half square triangles. I always keep them in a little, in a little tub in the grab and go bag. Um, and we've still got the pattern available for this one. It's been going for years, but it's always a, a useful little one to have. So move that over there out of the way. Uh, and I'm going to get my fabrics ready. So this is how you prepare your fabrics. If you're working with fabrics, two different scenarios. Here, um, I think this was originally a half metre piece. But you can see it's quite an angular piece, quite a rectangle style piece. So how would I cut this to maximise the use? Well, first of all, I'm going to have um, four 
um, four layers. So I've kind of folded it over so I've got my four layers. And the reason I use four, um, four layers is because when I actually pass it through the machine, it's not putting a huge amount of stress on the machine. And it stops those warping. You know the warping of the plates, the banana ah, plates? Yes, yeah, so yeah, So yeah, I have yeah. found, and um, I'll bring my plates in because these are plates that I've been using over and over and they haven't warped at all. They're still completely flat and this is from the Kaleido. The only thing that I've added in in addition is the, uh, the metal plate, which I think we've got on the website, um, and that is what I actually use for the dies to cut into. Mm -hmm. um, and that means by using just four, four layers of fabric and the dies, then yeah, you, you're okay, you're good to go. So let's move that out of the way for the time being. So what I usually do is I look at which dies I'm going to be working with. So let's go with the, the half square triangles to start with. So I'm going to roughly cut my fabric I'm going to cut it roughly down that way. Now, I can do it with a rotary cutter if you're wanting to, but I'm assuming that you haven't got those tools yet. You may well go on to work with those that way. You may not. It's entirely up to you. But what this is showing is just, is just to get you started. So I'm just going to roughly cut my fabric like so. We'll come back to that in a few moments. And this is going to be going back to... Where are they? Our flying geese. This is going to be the fabric that's going to be the lighter of the two fabrics. So I just need to decide which way I'm actually going to have those zigzags, if you're wanting them to be a particular way, because it's a directional fabric. I don't worry too much about directional fabrics, I must admit. Some people do. It's entirely up to you. But uh, all you do is you take your dies and you lay them on your fabric like so, but keep an eye on the directional fabric if you are working with it. So, for instance, you'd eyeball the top of your triangle, so you'd make sure that if you wanted it to go zigzags across, then your triangle um, would go like that, and you'd keep all your triangles in the same way. But the problem with that, and you get this if you are cutting with a rotary cutter as well, you can find that you have a lot of waste mm -hmm. when you are working with directional patterns, which is why I don't worry too much about them. But if it is something that you are concerned about, just bear in mind to buy extra fabric. It's a bit like when, you know, when you're working with wallpaper, and your matching patterns and things like that. You, you need that little bit extra. I'll take your word for it. It's not something I would ever attempt wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wallpapered my bedroom when I was 13 years old. Did you? Yeah, purely because my dad was taking too long, in my opinion, so I just had to go <laughs> myself. And I worked out OK. It wasn't too bad. So I'm layering this up now. So the metal um, plate is down, the fabric is there, I've got the die sitting on top, and the final layer is that platform that's going to go on the top like so. And then all you do is you bring it in your Kaleido or another brand machine. You can work them with other um, die cutting machines. They're classed as mixed media dies, so just follow the manufacturer's instructions with regards to those. Now, when you put it into your machine, you just need to make sure a couple of things. You want, don't want the dies overlapping. I've just nudged that one so it overlaps. So let's just move that back out. And when you actually pop it into your machine, you'll notice that the handle will start turning and you just continue to rotate it. Now, if you are new to die cutting, and this is one of the most asked questions, people will go so far and they say, oh no, it won't go through, it won't go through. And there is a certain amount of pressure that you have to apply. That's why you've got the handle on there, that's why you continue rotating. And sometimes they make such an awful noise, it is terrifying. But just persevere, just carry on with it, you'll get cracking. Sometimes it might look as if it's going to shoot off out the other end. If you get to the point where you literally are unable to move it any further, then yes, there is an issue. You do need to rewind it and take everything out. But that's why I stick to four layers, because with four layers, passing it through with two dies straight away, I have actually got eight half... Um, what am I? Square Half triangles. Square triangles. <laughs> Couldn't think what the word was for a minute then. <laughs> Your brain just went a little bit dead. So there you go. You can pull those out there. Um, and different fabrics behave in different ways. Sometimes you've got a more dense fabric, so you might find that you need to pass it through a couple of times to get the cuts. But straight away, I have got the ability there to make, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of flying geese there. And, and, and that's, and in that's one the waste. Part. That's, That's the in waste. one pass. That's it. That's mm. the thing that for me, this is the crossover. This is, this is the crossover between die cutting card and paper, and die cutting fabric. It's a very, very easy transition from one to the other. Um, if you are a paper crafter, how about using these dies 
to um, decorate your card making projects quite mm -hmm. apart from I know we're talking quilting here but actually what's to say that you can't bring in fabric into your card making into your mixed That's media yeah. you know um, if you're using grey boards and other sort of feathers and other mixed media material bring some fabric into that Very as well easy. we've all got some of that at home there we go I've cut another eight there so there we go so we've got another four there and another four here. Now with this one, now I didn't quite put the, the, the end, the die was a little bit close to the edge so it didn't make contact to cut out that last little bit. But what you will often find is when you're working with your fabrics, you end up with funny little bits that are left over. I do not waste anything. This is what goes into that little scrap, um, those boxes that I've shown you with my deflector. Mm -hmm. So I would literally look at that and I think to myself, right, okay, which die will fit on that? Will the square die fit on that? And I would go literally to my little sash and I would come back in with the die and check. Now, the dies won't automatically always be able to make use of what's the waste there, but I personally I wouldn't bother trying to cut that with a rotary cutter to make it into a usable piece but putting the die on there I could potentially even get an extra set out of there yeah. I would think to myself I'm not going to waste all of that I'm going to at least get a couple of little squares out of that that I can utilize at a later stage and then that will go in my stash Especially when that's K-facet fabric that you're exactly. using there. It's like gold exactly. dust. Exactly. <laughs> um, and there might even, I'll just have a quick look and see, there might even be room. I'm not going to cut out another one, but I'm just, this is how frugal I am. Or oh, I might be cutting it a bit fine with that piece. So <laughs> I'll keep that. I might experiment with that later on. But you can see, minimal waste. Yeah. That's what you're talking with regards to this one. So we're going to need some quarter square triangles and we're going to need that out of the plain fabric. So put all of those to one side just for a few moments just get my little scraps out of the way come back in with my um, my uh, turquoise now the turquoise it's a bit of a misshape this one I don't know what I was making with it earlier on but I kind of got a bit of a, a jagged bit cutting out there so again I would just kind of make it into something that's a bit more uniform so rotary cutter all your scissors just going up like so and then what I would actually do is take that and then make that um, into repeats of four again and then um, cut out my little quarter square so this time what I'm going to do is with my quarter squares I'm going to mimic almost a square with those so I'm going to put all four down at the same time and then that's where it will mean that each time I pass that through I will get 16 of those quarter square triangles and you can see just how much fabric I've got there as I say, you could double up if you're wanting to, and I am tempted to show you that you can do that, but do you know what? You don't win a prize for no. putting through six or eight no, pieces. No, and actually, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's, you know that you're still getting a heck of a lot more than you would be yes. by other methods. You're doing it far quicker, you're doing it far easier, um, so actually, you're right, like... You don't need any more than you that, don't. do you? Now, you do have a magnetic plate with um, the, the Collider, which sometimes it does look as if your dies have become possessed because they do move around because of the magnet that's in there. But just flip them over, move them to where you want them to go. If you want, you can use a little bit of washi tape to keep them in place, particularly um, when you, you're working at home. You kind of work out your own little method. The only thing is just make sure that they don't overlap. They can go close together, but you don't want them overlapping. Put that on top again. Just keep it just a little check before you pop it in there and again pop it in and then turn that handle now on this particular one with dies going through you can see there it's not passing through part of that is because the die there is going straight across like so so just be mindful of that when you are popping it in and sometimes it might be a case that you just need to kind of stagger the plates so as the machine isn't coping with it all in one go think about um, things like wedges going under door rather than a piece of four by two yes Yes. So if you put in a, a piece of wood underneath, so there you go. Sometimes you have to kind of play around with it and wangle it and that's, a little And that's bit. about getting to know your die cutting machine it as is. well. The, the joy actually of the Kaleido is that the magnet's actually built into the base plate, which is really, really useful because quite often um, you would either tape them down or you would look for a magnetic kind of um, shim of some sort. Uh, and with that, you really don't need to at all, um, which is brilliant. With a Kaleido, 
uh, it goes straight through. And remember, it's a foiling machine as well. I mean, the things that you can foil, the way you can foil as well with the Kaleido is brilliant. I would definitely, definitely, if you haven't seen the show yet for that, you owe yourself a favour uh, to do that. It's really definitely. good. Um, I actually moved the die into more of the centre of the area then, and it cut through no problem at all. So, as you say, Derek, it's just getting to know your machine, really. Yeah. Now, let me just move these dies out of the way, because we're going to work with those. But again, it's cut out your four pieces there. So again, oh, didn't quite catch that last one, but that's not a problem. Just give that a little trim. There we go. So again, I've got four, eight, 12, 16 quarter square triangles there ready to go. So then the next thing that we need to do is make these into our flying geese. Now, the traditional method for doing flying geese quite often involves quite a waste of fabric because of the way that they actually do. You don't you kind of start off with a larger piece and you put a triangle on the corner, but that larger piece ends up just being cut away and doesn't become anything. It just becomes waste. So what you can do with these when you're making up your fat quarters this way is literally taking your, um, your little triangle and then you take your triangle and pop it across one side and then you would stitch that one, press it out of the way oh. and then bring in your next one over this side and do exactly the same like so. And then that will become your flying goose it'll become one of them anyway <laughs> yeah and soon become a flock before you know it you will. so i'm just going to stitch a few of these that, together that is really really clever actually if you think about it because quite often uh when you when you hear someone and watch someone go through the process of making flying geese and listen you may enjoy that process this is an alternative remember we all find the way that works for us but i think particularly if you're new to quilting as well you hear all of these terms half square triangles flying geese court house steps you hear all of these different names flying around and you think gosh it sounds like another language when actually it's uh, there are various there are various different ways to the destination if we were all going to edinburgh although I think that's discouraged at the moment. Let's say Manchester instead. If we were all going... Oh, no, I think that's discouraged as well at the moment. If we were all going to London, which we can't or we won't at the moment, but if we were, some would drive, some would take the train, uh, you know, some would... Some would uh, don't, don't thumb a lift. But, you know, people would get there lots of different ways. Some people would cycle. Um, there are lots and lots of different ways to the same dis destination, aren't there? So, your monthly mega deal is all of the dies... Now, if four layers of fabric are going through each die at the same time, you can understand the merits of that straight away. You can, you can see what that's delivering back to you straight away. So you've got all of the different shapes in the dies as well. And these are the most common shapes that you will use in quilting as well. So they are your squares, they are your um, half square triangles, um, which is brilliant because they are, they are giving you the, the most common sizes that will you, you will use in your um, quilt blocks, which is really really good now with this though with the monthly mega deal and this is your last 24 hours pretty much or so um, to get hold of the monthly mega deal not only are you getting all six sets of the of the dies which are fabric dies remember so that means that they're sturdier and they're stronger and they're longer lasting because they're designed to go through fabric yes you can cut through paper with these as well if you wanted to you could actually you know you can get some of those papers like uh, vellums and rice papers and things like that you die cut using those, you could actually practice hand sewing before you even ventured down sewing machine street, couldn't you? You could do the same thing and still create the same kind of look. What's to say you can't make a quilt block out of papers in some way and present that on the front of a project in some way? There are ways of doing that. Um, this comes as well, and I still feel quite responsible and guilty for this. Uh, <laughs> Hayley has designed for you nine individual quilt patterns to go with this monthly mega deal. Um, and, and they are amazing. And it takes a long, long time to write a quilt pattern. You might think, oh, well, it's just like writing a crossword, isn't it? No, it really isn't. It really isn't. Uh, <laughs> as Sleepless Nice from Hayley will tell you. Um, she's given you nine quilt patterns here, which is incredible. All of that on two flexies there of less than £35 each, which is brilliant. You're making an overall saving of £31, and that's a very conservative saving, in my personal opinion, let me tell you, um, because I think, actually, what you've got here for your £69.94 is something that you'll be using for years and years to come, which is really, really cool. Now, um, talking of the quilts, I think we've got a little piece of video, have we, to show you the, um, the, the finished quilts, because uh, here, here they are. And they're all achievable quilts as well. You can use your um, scraps for those, you can use clothes, you can use other bits and pieces as well. Have a little look.
today, um, partly made. Uh, is it the one behind me? Yes, it is the one right behind me, isn't it? The one with the um, the green. Uh, so the the, the gr some of the green fabrics there, they're old shirt. So you can utilise pieces of old clothing um, that you've got in your life and and do a little bit of upcycling. A lot of people do it. Uh, make memory quilts. Um, out of the old baby clothes or, you know, the clothes of someone who's, you know, sadly no longer with us or whatever. It's a, it's a great way of staying, you know, and, and keeping a part of them with you. Now, listen, quite aside what we're doing right here with the uh, monthly mega deal, Handmade by Hayley, which you definitely, definitely want to not only check out what else is on the show today, but actually go and shop by Brown as well with Handmade by Hayley because she is an absolute genius, let me tell you. She's really good as well, she's far too modest to say it herself, but she's very good at getting you to the heart of the matter without all of the fass, faff and the fuss. Um, so she's created um, tools here. Uh, the binding square is absolutely brilliant. Binding which goes around a quilt can be, um, can be difficult to get in the fabric that you want it to be. Um, and sometimes you've got the perfect fabric, but not the ability to be able to make a binding very, very quickly. This tool here, is so so clever oh that's why that piece of card was behind it Derek you see in fact I'll show you them one by one because the ruler set um, is a set of three so the first is um, the binding square tool which is really really good and it look it, it's written all the way around one inch finish finish width that's the the side that you use that's the slots that you use two inch finish width that's the slots you used um, and so it goes on. You've got four different sizes of binding there. So it's not just for one size and then you need a tool for every different size that you want. Um, also comes with the patch maker square as well. Again, look, all the instructions that you'll need, rather than coming in a set of written instructions, use this line if you want a four inch square. Use this line if you want a four inch half square triangle. Use this line if you want a four inch quarter square triangle. Um, and you also have, and Hayley, you'll need to remind me about this ruler and exactly what it does. Apart okay. from the grids on this are, um, are set out in a, in a different way, because I think it's your inches are set out in the black there, aren't they, I think? That's right. And this... then your, is it, is it quarter inches quarter in inch, the red, yeah. isn't it? Now, I'm not saying that this is the only um, quilt ruler you will ever use, but this is a perfect one for novice quilters because what I tended to find, especially when I started quilting, when you buy a quilting ruler and it seems as if, and fair play to anybody that's making a quilting ruler, you want to fit as much and as many usability elements in it as possible. Yes. But sometimes when you are just getting started, there's a lot of wood <laughs> and there's a yes. lot of trees. Yes. And sometimes it's not very easy to actually see what you need. So I've stripped all of that back. So on this, you haven't got your eighths of an inch. You haven't got your quarter or your sixteenths of an inch because to start off with you don't really need them. So that's why it's stripped back to make it nice and easy. And the idea behind it is that this works in conjunction with the binding maker to make your fabrics the right width to work with. The mitre edge that you've got on it is perfect for if you're wanting to make long pieces of a binding because again that mitre helps you actually stitch your strips together to get your longer pieces because sometimes that's a bit of a, a challenge in itself. Yes. So rather than having again 25 different angles on yes. there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just, just put the one. one on there. Yeah. yeah, which is a really, really good place to start. And, and actually, to be honest, from there, and you can spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on rulers, um, half of which it might take you half of your life to try and work out yes. what, what they meant by so and so and so and so. Yeah. Um, whereas that, for twenty pounds, gives you three really, really intuitive tools that almost have the instructions built in. They're actually written on the tool itself. It's not like you have to go searching for the uh, instructions somewhere else, which is really, really good. 003, 384 is your item number there. Uh, three very, very helpful and handy tools, which Hayley will now walk us through. Shall I show you? I'll start yes, off please. with the binding one, because this is one that gets people most excited. Now, it's kind of the last process of making your quilt, so we're kind of doing it in reverse order. Yeah, it's like the edge. It is, yeah. It makes that lovely, neat edge. Some of the quilts have got them uh, edging on them. The green one has. These ones have been done with kind of like a, what the turned through kind of process. But mm. when you're actually making your, um, your binding with your square, it's exactly as you pointed out, Derek, with that, you've got the different dimensions that are featuring on there to show you. Can I just grab that piece of card there, just to show you? Stands out a little bit more there. So exactly as you said there, the instructions are all on there. Now, I've not come across many quilting rulers where you've got lots of different colours featuring on there. It tends to only be a couple of different colours and you sometimes just one colour print on there. But on this one, we've got the three colours on there, which I believe is kind of a, a, a relatively unique sort of thing. But what you've got here is you've got a three and a 
half inch patch so if you wanted to square off your patches you can do you've got your centering circles there which will get everything on track but then you've got your binding strips so you literally do as it says here so say let's make um, a one inch finished width with regards to our so straight away it says cut your fabric strips to double the finished width so you need to cut those to two inches nice and easy it's not over complicated at all is it so what you can do is you can multi-layer your fabric so again let's fold it up let's go there's multiple layers like so we just need to make sure that we can get it to two inches and there's plenty of room on there and all you're doing is you're lining up your rule now if you haven't got a nice straight edge to start with then just get your fabric and then just give yourself a nice straight edge use that right angle that you've got there take your rotary cutter and just cut away from you there so there you go we've got a nice straight edge there so I can just rotate that round there and I can get that to two inches wide for my binding so all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around this way put my two inches on there and work my way along so there we're going along there of course the other benefit of this as well is that um, bindings all need to be quite long yes um, and so this allows you to keep going and going and going and going does indeed. as long as you like it's really difficult as well to actually buy bindings if you try and make pre-made bindings yes they're, they're all in, um, no disrespect, but they're all in quite plain colours. Well, they tend, I mean, the manufacturers have got to try and find a colour that is going to hit and fit everyone. with everyone yes. and every style of quilt. So rather than having, I don't know, 50 shades of pink or yeah. any other colour, yeah, yeah. um, then it's a case of that. Uh, but the choice work. is really limited, isn't it? It is, yeah. Now, with that, now I've got my strips. Now, if I'm wanting binding for a quilt, I need it to be longer than what we've got there. So this is where you've got that mitre edge. So the mitre edge will come along and it doesn't matter which side you use it at all you're going to do is place it on your fabrics and make sure that you've got a solid edge going along one side and then you can just literally cut that on the diagonal across like so okay and then what happens is when you're making it into your longer strips you just basically flip them over so what will happen is I will stitch along there when I press it I've doubled the length of my binding like so so I'm going to do that very quickly on this particular piece honestly it's so so clever as as a tool there because uh, I, I almost wish, and, and we can't at the moment because of distancing and everything else, that we had two setups here so I could do it the way that you do it, the manual way, which is fold, press, fold, press, pin, did, did, it, did, it, did it. There's so many bits to it. It's not, I don't personally, it's not something I do on a, on a even a semi regular basis. But I know when I've watched people do it, it can be such a, quite a painful process. Well, so many people hate it. Hate it. Jenny Raymond hates binding. Natasha hates binding. Most yeah. people do, to be honest. Yeah. It's one of those things that we just do not like. I don't know anyone who's a fan of it. Because, <laughs> because actually, you know, you do the binding at the very end of your quilt making. So you've already climbed this immense mountain that you're now very, very proud of. You just need to finish it off around the edges and you think, oh, blind. I mean, I've, got to, I've got to do that stuff. I mean, I I've got to make that stuff. I thought yeah. I'd done all of the slog, and here comes the real bit. That's it. I'm just um, trimming off those little um, edges there because obviously you've got your little dog ears. So then, oh no, I need that. That's my pressing mat. So the next step is when you're making your binding, is literally you're going to fold it into the halfway point. So, of course, when we were looking at the binding square, we decided we we're going to do one inch. So all I'm doing is I'm bringing the two edges together just at the beginning. So just that first little bit like so, and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a press. And that's just so as we've got a nice edge to actually pass through the, um, the tool itself. And then all I'm going to do, it's a bit like a belt buckle. I'm going to feed it up through the one closest to the center and back down the one that is furthest away. And then you just need a couple of little pins. If you're using plastic head pins, just be careful because you are going to use your iron and you don't want to get your iron near those plastic heads of your pins because they will melt. The next bit, you can actually do it almost with the heat, the residue heat that you get with friction. So you can literally just hold it and what I tend to do is I make almost like a little pocket there and then I move that. You've got a horizontal line running along the, um, the uh, tool there so you can use that to literally work your way along. So you can almost press it just with the heat of it itself. But the idea is that you take your iron and you're literally just holding the left hand and you are taking that and you are pressing that and you are moving that along. Basically, it's feeding through and it's pressing in the sides as you go. Now, when you get to your seam, you can just basically reposition it, move it along and then off you go again. And normally, 
the process would would take three or four times longer and you would have drift along the way yes because you can't keep the top and the bottom in step so one's going to drift one way or the other yeah. and you might think well that might not matter but actually if that's the difference between say you're using that color right now against that fabric that the pressing mat is made of if you're binding at one end of your quilt starts off so slim and then just gets wider and wider and wider as you come along well that might spoil the, the whole aesthetic of the quilt. The, oh, yeah. And you might Very go, so. well, that was rubbish, wasn't it? Why, why did I go to all that effort? Exactly. So there you go. So I've made my binding now that can go on the edge of the quilt. So if I wanted to, I could open it up and press. If, it depends on which way you're wanting to finish your quilt. Sometimes you put the binding on the front for the first stitching out. Sometimes it's on the back. You mm -hmm. have to do your slip stitching if you're doing it on the front. So you'd lay that down with the edge of your finished quilt. So say if that's the edge of my finished quilt, then I would just literally stitch that along that edge like so. And then I would take it and I would fold it over the edge of my quilt and then hand stitch the other side to give a lovely neat finish with regards to that but that can be quilting um, kind of binding that you're making to match your patches to match your blocks to match perfectly and remember that's just one of the three tools here as well and that's four different sizes uh, of binding as well so you go from uh, one one, one and three quarters, I'm trying to read sideways. <laughs> one, one and a half, one and three quarters and two inch finish size. And it actually shows you, it's written on there. It's not like you have to refer to an instruction manual. It's written on the darn thing. Do you know what I mean? And that's just one of the three tools there. It's really, really good for your 20 pounds. 003, 384 is your item number there. Um, again, really, really good. Really, really useful. And again, if you're just coming new to this show, I would urge you as well, as well as having a look at what's on this show, go and shop by brand handmade by Haley because this lady makes a lot of sense when it comes to actually getting those professional looking results, but getting them quicker and getting them easier as well. Let's go back to our monthly mega deal then as well, because we're literally, this is our last live 10 minutes to really showcase what we've got. Let's talk through the actual dies themselves just briefly, Hayley, um, what okay. we've got in terms of size um, of the dies that we've got here. Well, each one of these is going to end up being a, a three-inch patch. Um, so, when I say a three-inch patch, I'll explain why I'm kind of umming and ahhing a little bit with that. Because you put them together, whether it's just the square by itself, it's got the seam allowance added on. So, the finished part that you're seeing encapsulated in your quilt is three inches. Mm -hmm. The same with the, um, the quarter square triangles, same with the half square triangles the same with the smaller squares the rectangles and you've got your narrow and your wider ones these have all got that all important seam allowance involved so that means that whichever of these you're using whichever way you put them together then you're going to end up with that core three core sorry three inch patch which means that they will line up and they will work alongside each other time and time again so for instance would you just go back to mm -hmm. putting your flying geese together as yeah, you were sure, together just I started the three parts those. of that yeah because i think that because i think that perfectly illustrates that when you cut with these dies which is as simple as putting your fabric through the dies like like you would your paper or card through your die cutting machine use the collido use the machine that you've got already right now um, find the ideal combination four layers of fabric is the ideal you can go more but actually you don't necessarily want to stress the fabric and you want to you know four at a time is pretty good actually it's not bad at all is it that's it um and when you lay those pieces Oops. when you lay those i told you about those earrings uh <laughs> when you lay those pieces together because the seam allowance is built in you can just go straight on with your quarter inch foot and bang 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 and suddenly everything comes together and that's what i did with those quarter square um the flying geese rather than doing it the traditional method i've cut your tri my triangles out and i've stitched my triangles onto the side but the thing is you haven't got any snips you're not taking off those dots ears everything is there we haven't got little tiny pieces of fabric where I've had to trim these off so I'm making your traditional flying geese without any additional bits and pieces let me just grab these little pieces I think I've got them close to hand here where I had them what have I done with them oh here they are underneath so when you're stitching um, usually um, you you're creating your quarter square triangles and you're doing it with your traditional method so you'll start off with your squares you'll do your two rows of stitching you'll cut down the middle and you'll end up with your triangles but what you also end up with is those little dog ears those little tiny pieces mm -hmm. that you then have to find your scissors to start with which I can't find 
um, come in with your rotary cutter potentially cut those off yep. so you end up with absolutely hundreds and thousands of these yep. tiny pieces when you're actually working with the dies everything is rounded off so you're rounding up you're measuring those corners and you're piecing them together really easily without the need to actually snip off any of those corners so on this occasion that particular one there I've got two quarter square triangles coming together I'll just heat press that one with my finger then I'm bringing the other one and again heat press that with my finger and then all you're going to do each time is line up those rounded edges and I personally find that so much easier to do mm. I'd stitch along there I'd press it and then I'm ending up with my quarter um, my little block there my three inch block there ready to be stitched to the next one to the next one to the next one and it's a perfect way for you to actually get things on point as well because you're kind of lining up several areas you've got the curve in the middle there you've got the flat side either side so it gives you more opportunity to get those in exactly the right place which i think as well if you're a brand new patch worker you know forget quilter you might just want to do the front of the cushion to start with to get yourself started but on point and you hear that a lot in the quilting world as well is having all of those seams meeting in the middle in a perfect cross as they should that that's what on point is all about but as Haley says because you've got several reference points you've got a curved edge on that side you've got a curved edge on that side you've got one on the top there as well you've got more than one way of knowing that you are going to be on point so you can confidently go to the sewing machine and away you go. That's it. Now, I've come back with a fat quarter again just to show you how quickly you can maximise that fat quarter and get all those pieces cut. So, again, we've got four layers there. So, um, I'm going to take my dies. I'm going to make up my, my square in the same way as you'd pretty much stitch them together, really. So, we're going to do it like so. We're going to do it like so. Oops, right way around. Mm -hmm. That's always important. <laughs> And then that last one at the bottom there. Incidentally, um, I have got my YouTube channel as well. So there's going to be lots more tutorials and videos once I've actually got a roof on my craft, <laughs> my craft, uh, well, it's a craft hut at the moment. It's going to, I've got like a little studio that's oh, been you? built in the garden. It's just got no roof at the moment. Oh. So it's not good with electrics if you've not got a roof. So no. once I've got that, I'll be doing a lot more tutorials and classes working with these. So it is one of those situations. Now, again, I've just done, I've forgotten, um, remember before it struggled to go through yeah when those dies were right at the end there i'm moving it into the middle area of my mat just to it, give the machines it gives it the chance to catch going. it's like a yeah. run you yes. know when you get a run on yeah. well yeah 1984 i think was the last time i ran anywhere but there you go a long time ago once for a bus maybe it might <laughs> have been it. raining um, and it just makes sure that the plate is covering everything and then just you can see that it just gives it that little run up ready to go i've got a couple overlap there let me just pull that out i didn't notice those there all right, just pull it out and what, get it and positioned. What you, you can do if you want to is you can you can tape them you if can. you want to at the same way. Obviously, you, Hayley's doing this really, really quickly on TV to try and get as much in as we possibly can. Well, that's it. We're rapidly coming to the end of the hour now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. It doesn't like it at that one. So this is where your fabrics can vary as well, incidentally, because you've got different weaves of fabric. It's so, the density, isn't it? Exactly. So in this scenario, because it doesn't like it with that flat end going through the die, all I would do is rotate it round and do it like that. So it's got a smaller point going. And again, oh, okay. if you're wanting to, you could just do it slightly angled again. So is that this cross point as well, that's yeah. not going through, um, not having an issue. And I've just realized the reason why is I haven't got the metal plate underneath the fabric ah. as well. So See, again, that's that's about getting, I mean, the Kaleido obviously is, is very new to all of us at the moment, so we're all getting to know um, the Kaleido. Um, but it's about getting to know what configuration of plates is right for your machine. If you haven't got a Kaleido, you can please look into it as well, because it foils as well, it's brilliant. So although it's a manual, it also foils. There you and go, it's, that's it's, it. And this is it, it's exactly the same fabric, the same dyes, but it's getting the sandwich in the right order. And as I say, getting it so you don't have too many of those points to cut through. But then you cut out those pieces there, as you can see. So we've got our little triangles there, our little triangles there. It's a much denser fabric, actually. Than well, the it last is, lot, it's it? surprising yeah, yeah. now yeah. when you compare fabrics, how they can vary so much. Yeah. Again, that area there, I wouldn't cut, put that through because it's too kind of wispy. But what I would do is cut it across there and use that triangle there, because I could actually fit another triangle in there so I wouldn't waste anything at all. <laughs> I love it. There's not a scrap waste, is I there? I don't throw anything away if I can get away with it. Through. Definitely. So you just give it a little trim. So there you go. I'm going to take that little trim there. Um, and then all I would do is I'd pass my fabric through and I would continue to do that. You could even put your dye that way around if you wanted to. And that's where it makes it easier for you to work with than when you're using a traditional rotary cutter because you wouldn't get uh, a quarter. You wouldn't even try to make your triangle cut in that there.
wouldn't even bother. Although she's she's going to get every little centimetre out of that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, this is the last live opportunity to check out on your monthly mega deal as well. Just a quick nod that the patterns are on a pick and mix as well. Well, these six are actually uh, three patterns for ten pounds, which is totally bonkers. Um, make sure you check out your baskets. When are you back with a handmade by Haley? Um, oh gosh, later in July. But I'm back tomorrow doing my proper job. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, right. Make sure that you check out because there's lots of goodies in this show. The Mocha Block. And again, please go to the website as well and shop by brand, handmade by Haley. Because if you love all of this, there's lots more where that came from. Make sure you check out. It's time for another one day special. That soon comes round, doesn't it? And our family favourite, one of our most favourites. Next, it's Lou Withers and Studio Light. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko Shows. Good evening, everyone. Yes, it's six o'clock. That means we've got a brand new one day special. But before that, I want to introduce you to a brand new event. It is our family favourite. So excited about this. Of course, when we have an event, we always provide some goodies for you as well. So if you're purchasing anything during the live hours between now and Monday at six o'clock, you'll automatically be entered into our prize draw. What will you be winning? Well, all of this plus lots more because every hour a new prize will be added and in fact we are launching the one day special that means of course we're going to have studio like goodies for you we're going to be putting into the mix this wonderful selection here this is worth 25 pounds yes this is going to the prize draw right now we will continue to collect those prizes yes some lucky winner is going to win everything now we've also got some fun and games for you on the website we've got a bit of a competition would you like a 50 pound credit to your account if you're 
lucky. Well, only one can win this. This is great fun, actually. I love this. I need to look at this myself. Now, what you have to do is look at the baby photos and guess who each one belongs to. I believe there's a drop-down list and you can choose, but you only get one chance at this. Uh, do have a look at that. Some of them you may recognize straight away. This is so much fun. I'm so glad my photo's not on there. There's one or two I'm spotting straight away, actually. Yeah, this is fun. If you guess them all correctly, yeah, you could be that lucky winner. £50 credited to your account. Oh, it's also a great way of having a look back at some of the very funny photos. <laughs> Some of our guests here as well. Oh, I'm loving this. This is the first time I've actually seen these. Oh, yeah, I can spot some of these straight away without even looking at the names. Ah, oh, number 20 looks a bit like me when I was a baby. Uh, it's not me, though. It's not me. I'm not on the list. Right, of course, it is the one day special. That means we do have a very special guest with us. She is a family favourite, of course. It's our very own Lou with us. Hello. Hello. Isn't this exciting? Yes, I was just looking at those baby pictures. That big pram there. Whoa, that was a that was a shocker. <laughs> that silver cross one, wasn't it? <laughs> I loved them. You could get about nine babies and all. You shopping could. in them, couldn't you? You could. You could. Yeah, you, really you could get the old, the old block. Get, get, yeah. get your kids out. Get them in here. They were built to last, weren't they? Yeah. They certainly were. Well, you know, no prams, no babies in this show. Uh, it's all about studio light. We're going journaling. We've got planners for you. We're going to build those planners. We've got all all the ingredients for you to create your own. Lou, I know you're excited about this. Yeah. You said to me before the show, this is a really, really good selection of goodies. I love my planners and what I love is space to write and this gives me space to write because it's, it's square and everywhere else is like taller and I, I just thought, oh, square right, you've hit the nail on the head. And I have been using it, seriously been using it for drawing and painting and stuff, but I've had so much fun putting the pages together. Oh, well, lots of hints and tips to follow. Now, we have got a choice here. When you look at the cover itself, you've got the choice of the blue or the pink. Everything else you will get in this collection, everything else that you see here, you are going to get. So that's the only change you need to make, the blue or the pink. Now, we've got a great price on this for you as well. We're going to go through everything. We're going to break it down a little bit as well so you can really appreciate the savings you've got. So let's start right at the beginning. Where should we start? Should we start with the papers then? Let's start with these. Now, you have got a selection of beautiful 12 by 12s. They are double-sided as well. Let me just turn these the right way up. There we are. <laughs> I don't know. I must be the queen at that, getting things upside down. Uh, now, let's have a look at these. I'll just flip over so you can see they are double-sided. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you can see another item number. If you want to go for these individually, you will get two lots in the one-day special. It's one of each, but they are double-sided, as I say. So bottom of the screen, if you want to go the, for these as an individual. But this is well worth becoming a Freedom member for as well, because we do have a why not deal for you when it comes to this collection. These are absolutely beautiful, though. Oh, I love these. I love these because they're double-sided. But I was looking at some of the samples that the DT have done, Rachel and Liz, um, and I know Karen's done some as well, and, and the German ladies and Dutch ladies, and I didn't realise that you can cut the die cuts fit that some of the elements on this. So I was like, well, have to, well, where have they got that from? Where they got that? And it wasn't until it, it dawned on me that it actually all die cuts from these papers as well. So on the back of some of them, um, the left sort of just for you to make pages out of brilliant yeah well we will of course be seeing those die cuts yep. in a little while these are just the papers for now i'm not even sure if i've been through every one of those but you're getting them all anyway uh lovely collection as i say that's just the start of the one day special the big collection itself individually we're already very busy on those now let's have a look a little bit more because of course we're breaking this down further so, we are going to go to the dies next, I believe. Mm. Now, the bottom of the screen are the details for mm. one individual set. So, 17.49. In the collection, you're getting all of these that you can see in front of me here. I love these, Lou, because there's something for everybody again. Yeah. I mean, it depends what mood you're in, what sort of journal or planner mm. you're building together. You've got the distressed edges, the torn edges, you've got the clean edges, you've got the tabs. Yep. You've got everything you need. Yep, you've got the reinforcing bar and each one comes with the floating spine so that you can put the, wherever you want, whatever size paper you want, you can put the right holes in it. But the little tabs are great because they all mix and match. But yeah, I love these. I've put the waist as well on these um, to show you that even the waist is stunning. So, 
you've got so many variations with it, it's untrue. And the little reinforces everything. I love this collection already. Yeah, We've I not do. even got to the end of I it I really yet. do like this. Look at those edges there. I, this is my favourite set, I've got to say. I love the splodges. Look at the reinforces. You know, They're the brilliant, splodges. aren't they? I've yeah. never seen anything like that before. Yeah. So all four sets are part of this collection here, individually at the bottom of the screen, but yeah, all four of them are yours in the big collection. We've got more, of course. In fact, shall I just bring in these as well? Because yeah, we have great. got... Uh, these are more dies, aren't they? Yeah. Let me just show you these so we can really appreciate what we're getting for our money here. I'm just going to go through each and every one. Now, these are some of the dies then, Lou, that you were mentioning already, that you can cut yep. out from the papers as well. Yep, you can. And I've put the waste on there just to show you the, how useful that is as well. And some of them have stamps that correspond with them. So, like the top one there, it's got the, the planner. Um, That's genius. I love that. And, and, and the little arrows as well. I was like, what? And then when I see what the girls can do with them, I was like, right, I love this. Perfect. Yep. Absolutely amazing. But we don't stop there. We haven't finished yet because we've also got the stamps for you as well. So let's take a look at these. Of course, when it comes to planners, we need things like we can remember those mm. memories in there as well. Yep. Now, these do come in pairs individually, I believe, uh, but they're all yours in the big collection. There we are. Bottom of the screen again for the individuals. These are nice, Lou. I can see you've got quite a lot of area for ink in there. So you've got almost that solid with the detail coming through. And doodling and everything on it. Because, you know, you, you can make it your own, make it a birthday card. You know, don't just think about journals. All these great edges are great for cards as well. You know, a simple bit, happy birthday or, you know, yes. birthday memories, birthday weekend. Yeah, and sometimes we want on a card a focal point being a word, so yeah. memories would work well Absolutely. on a card as Absolutely. well, wouldn't it? Love it. So you've got, of course, all those individuals there. Now, any savings that are on the individuals would be carried over to the big collection. Already we've totted it up. There's £49 worth of savings. Wow. On top of that £48.13, that is almost £100. So savings from the individuals carry over to the big collection, then we give you that saving on top. It is a why not deal as well. And we've got Flexi. We can split that three ways for you. Three payments of £36.41. Item number is 817616. Just a quick reminder again, all you need to choose is the colour of the cover, the blue or the pink. Everything else is in that collection. Over to the website, that's where we're going to see everything individuals are there we've got the full collection of course we've got lots of savings that you can view there as well so you can do the mass for yourself you know it really is a comprehensive bundle this one absolutely amazing you can go for extra pages as well if you want to we've got some uh, pick and mixes for you look at this the studs there as well choosing any two oh that's this good this is nice yeah this these is nice great. saving on those as well mm. so you've got the black the old these. gold the silver or the rose gold mm. love it Everything's been thought about, Lou, hasn't it? Yeah, and if you don't want to, if you want to make other sketchbooks or other journals, the studs are great to make your own. Yeah. You just make the front and yeah. the back cover and then these attach all the pages together. Perfect. And we're not just talking journals and pack planners. No. Of course, you can use everything for, of course, your card making as well or other projects that you've got, your scrapbooking even. They're all going to come in very, very useful indeed. Now, don't forget, if you are buying this hour, during the live hour, you will automatically be entered into that big prize draw. Yes, you could be that lucky winner. And do check out on the website for that competition as well. But without further ado, I think we're going to get over to our Lou and we'll see the start of the first demonstration. So where are we starting, Lou? Well, I just wanted to give you a bit heads up about the size of this is just perfect for me because it's square. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that I do use it and I am using it and I'm using it more or less every day when I'm doing my doodles and my moodles. So it's such a nice, enjoyable size because you can just sit. And it, I don't know, it's something quite intimidating sometimes about A4, but this size, it's not so intimidating. Yeah. You feel like you can get it done. I know what you mean by that. So I do use mine and I love it. So I just, I haven't done the front yet because I am going to do it. I'll be honest with you, I like it sometimes when, I, this is not my pink, but it's a base for me to start on. And I think that's sometimes something to think about. That um, is a good point, actually. Yeah. yeah. You're going to change it up. Yeah, it is. It really is. So what I did was I went bananas and just cut the lot out. And I just wanted to show you that I've got some really basic cardstock that I had lying around. And I thought, I'm going to go with the papers in the pack because I adore these papers. I just think 
they'll go with everything and anybody. And plus, I love the fact that we've got blue and brown. That seems to be my colours. I don't know why, but it just is at the moment. So I, I'm looking at this and thinking I want it all to match. So there's no point in me doing one thing at once because it doesn't work with me. So I die cut everything. So the first thing I want to show you is um, the memories one is a really cool one because it sits like that. So you've got the back of it and you've also got the front and you've got you have got the little dot for the eye and then what you can do is run all the others now I've left this on here just to show you how easy now if you're a bit unsure about the sizes of your paper don't worry because they cut it perfectly and then the uh, floating well, I had it here somewhere floating die there it is the hinge basically what I've been doing is I've been sitting it in one corner I'm just die cutting the other and then just chopping that off. You can do it before or after. You can cut it to size. But I just wanted to show you that those can all be stitched. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to mention, actually, Lou, yeah. um, about the dispatch date from the 6th of July, just to make everybody aware of that. And also to let you know that with the one-day special, currently in the lead. Do you know, I didn't know which way this was going to go, but it's the blue that's in the lead at the moment. Mm. Yeah, approaching 20% of the stock has gone. That is the only choice you need to make, the blue or the pink. Lou made such a good point there. Think about if you want to change it up. If you want to leave it exactly as it is, then it's your favourite colour. If you're going to change it up, think about how you're going to work with that, and that will help you with your decision. Right, back to you, Lou. No problem. I um, got some old papers as well because I thought, well, I've got these papers from previous collections and they work perfectly with them. And we was talking before, before the show about how you like this torn edged one. And I'm just so happy that I can put these edges and these um, put holes wherever I want on these pages. Yeah. So, you know, I've already got my, my index sort of sorted. I sort of put all one sort with the deckled edge, the other one with the ripped and then I have them catalogued. And then I've got old paper, the blue fit, that, old pages that I've done on here that actually fit. But then I thought, what about some faux leather? And I just, this is to me, is, is what I need in my journal. So I've, I made a blue with a brown and a brown with blue. I just changed it They're over. they really effective. And all I did, it does work, honestly, is I've just run the edges... Um, as long as you want them and I'll show you how to do that and this is just tab that way now what you can do is if you don't want fabric or anything you can put a little piece of card behind that but then what I would do is have all those and then decide like memories yeah. I would put memories here so that it would be a tab now I would make oh. sure that the, the sort of sides are where I want them because you can make these index cards as long as you want and then make these as small so you don't have to have it these are A5 size you can have your spine and your holes wherever you want Brilliant. it so you can pull it forward and back so I just wanted to show you but I quite like that because I, I think sometimes I like to attach little flaps to cards so okay. I, I did all of them just to show you what they look like and it's important because it's a bit difficult to sort of see them the way I, the, on paper it looks easier to understand. No, if I may, just jump in just for yeah, a sure. second as well. Individually, the edge dies are proving very, very popular. I mean, it's busy across the board, but I just want to make you aware that if you are going for these individually, let's just go through these as well. I don't know if this stock's going to last, actually. Now, the price for one is what you're seeing at the side of the screen. So it's one item number. You are choosing your option. You've still got that £5.50 saving. Those savings will carry over onto the big collection. So you've got that four times four times so that would be 22 pounds wouldn't it 22 pounds just there but yes if you everybody has a budget if you want one particular set you want to go for these 1749 individually one two five one zero zero is your item number choose wisely make sure you choose the right one for you but if you do want them all just go for that one day special split it three ways we've got a three-way flexi for you sorry Lou back to you well I've got some more room now. I just wanted to show you the edges look brilliant and what are papers you've done. These are old papers um, that I've made and I've put like a, a broad ray on glaze so you can make them any style you want and again um, it works really nice with vellums and don't I, I tend to sort of just die cut everything and then then I sort of think about what I want to do. I just get the paper out I want but again the die cut edges are superb because you get the inner of that one as well which is beautiful. So you get a lot more than you actually realise. And again, this squared paper 
make excellent um, fold backs on your card so that if you wanted to put little tabs in and that and that's what I'm going to show you so those are what they look like I mean I can't stress how good they are because as the time go on and we're working with them you'll get to see but the papers going back to the papers I was talking about in some of the papers you get these little pictures like oh, are these the ones that you were cutting and then realized the dies fitted yeah <laughs> <laughs> And on the paper, you get a big pad of them like this. And you're like, oh, that looks interesting. And I was like, oh, that looks like that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you're joking me. And I didn't realise that it's actually for you to die cut. So be aware of that. Don't do what I did. But it's actually all the little dies you get in the collection. There's something to die cut everything out. So I was just right. OK. This is a double whammy now. I already liked it, but I liked it even more knowing I could do this. So that's what I just wanted to show you that okay. you, you can just, um, it, it's really, really easy to do. You can just put it up to the light or you can just put it on. I mean, I tend to work mine like that. And then I put it, you put it under any die cutting machine you want and then just run it through. Okay. So I've got some already done and I wanted to show you what the page is what you can do with the pages then. So the first thing, just to get started, because I'm all over the place. Right, I have got half of my page, which is, I've sort of cut it down to fit my full okay. page. So this is how I did it. There's probably a better way, but this is how I did it. So I just did that. And because I always get a bit wrong, I always thought, right, we'll just leave a little bit, just a little bit. And then that just way, safe. Yeah, yeah, that trim way. Trim it down a bit. Yeah, so I thought, right, okay, I am not wasting that. No way. <laughs> no way. I'm not cutting it off. No <laughs> chance. Because <laughs> I, if I cut that off and, I'm, and I want something else and it's not big enough, I won't waste it. So what I thought was, right, okay, I'm happy with that side, but what I'm going to do is this is where this becomes really, really handy because I'll show it you on that. I can now put that wherever ah. I want. So now if I put that there... It's yeah. a bit difficult to see at the moment, I'll, but I'll die cut it. And just make sure, my one piece of advice is, I would put that edge, that bottom edge, flush. And then I know okay. I'm going to cut, because sometimes you have to be sure. It, it's, it's easier if you know that one side is straight, like yeah. a right angle, and then just cut that. And make sure that this bit is just glued down. And then... When it comes to it, I can just, just chop that, that down. Yeah, so I'm going to use my machine. Um, like I say, you can do the same with them, but I've already done them. And they're great because if you don't have, um, if you if you don't want to die cut, you don't have to. You can do what I did and cut them out. So I'll show you what I do on there. I'm just going to put that the other way. I work this way, which is strange for some people. I know people say, "Why do you work it like?" That? It's because of this magnetic sheet. I can work it. I just put. I've got a question, Lou. Actually, yeah. Do we need anything bigger than a, an A5 die cutting machine? Because I know you can extend on the pages, but if that's all we've got, can we still go with these dies? Oh yeah, of course. Because let me show you the the A5 that way. So you put them that way, and they oh, fit right, that way. Okay. So yep. the A5 sheet will go in. It will go in that Perfect. way because that is to fit an A5. Yeah. So any a5 but the thing is it's a4 that length yeah so if that makes sense yeah it doesn't make sense so just there i'm just going to put that there i'm going to put it through now you have your own die cutting machine um and the nice thing about this is if you make a big mistake it doesn't matter because the paper hides it that's what i like about it in fact yeah and you can always cut it down into something smaller if you if you're not happy You've absolutely got of dies there especially going for the big collection and i don't um I don't worry about the edges too much because I can always trim them down. So now what I've got is this lovely edge and then I've got this piece this. So just to explain what I mean, I'm not going to rip it off yet. Um, you see, I always prefer to have my ma magnetic sheet down and then okay, it, yeah. it works better for me. But I've got this edge now and it will run along there that yeah. I know I can chop it down so I can put that in my, in my machine and then... I know I'm going to have a great straight edge. So what I can do then, I'm not going to do it now because it'll get a bit boring watching me do that. All I need to do is I can have that as long as I want. Yeah. Any, any width, any length. And all I need to do is make sure that that edge is hanging over there. So when I chop it, 
I know that if I put that in a guillotine, all that'll come off. Yeah. And then it's perfect. If I did, I've done it before and I've tried to fit it all in and it went a bit feet on. Okay. So now I'm looking at this and I want it to sort of fit in. Now there's nothing to stop you just cutting round this and doing it. But I quite like it like this. So what I'm going to do, just bend that over and I've got a really good, um, a really good bone folding tool from the Cool oh, Cats the Girls, yeah. Girls, and I'm just going to start from the middle and fold out. Okay. And you can have it either way. So then I'm going to, I always like to fold both ways. Then that way I know I've got um, a nice crease and it won't, because sometimes it'll just keep opening up. So I'm just going to do that. So that means now that my paper fits in, but I've got a pocket. Yeah, so you, you could either leave that just as a flap or stick the edges down to make yep. a proper pocket then. So you can make them as long as you want and you can do whatever you want that way. And I quite okay. like that because some of the stuff that you get like these, you get these on the page as well. Um, and you've got <laughs> all sorts. I like you more than I originally planned. <laughs> so funny that. that Program of genius. music, you see. And I've got some music <laughs> paper and, you know, these, I've left these as they are, but you can chop them down. And there's dies in the other collections we've got. So I quite like this. I like that one. I'm going to use that one. So then I'm going to put, like, a little bits of the collection in. So what else have we got? Oh, it's great, this. I love it. But don't forget, initially, I'm using these colours with it as well, so... You can see it all works. It does, doesn't it? Yep. So and lots of you may already have the faux leather as well, because that's been on here a number of times. Absolutely. We've got the bingo card. Now that comes in with the um, paper as well. We've got these little pockets here. Now I'm going to choose um, plainer papers because the, the papers are so strong. Okay. And if I want to, you know, I could do sort of a plainer paper on the back for short sure turn it over. Then I could actually carry that off with some of these. Instantly, that's great for journaling on as well, isn't it? Perfect. And the die cut, like I say, is great because this makes a fantastic little pocket. And I've cut it out of quite thick cardstock um, and it's still, it doesn't cut through and, you know, even thinner it doesn't cut through so it really creates a good fold and a good crease now you can either have the little flap on the inside or you can have it oh, folding how out sweet is that? so you can have it around yeah but and have a mitre corner there but i think i prefer it this way yeah so you're hiding the uh so the yeah spine, so to speak. and again it's really important that if you want these pages to be nice and precise fold take your time and fold it because that'll be the difference between it sort of sticking up or looking quite you yeah. know so i've got this i've got these papers here that have the tickets now this is another sheet of paper don't forget this is all in you get this you don't choose it and then these have, have all these little tickets on and these papers are uncoated aren't they Lucy? Yep. So you can add your ink absolutely you can stamp on them, emboss on them do whatever you wish they all come like that and don't forget before these, keep these. These are the print um, yeah. signatures They're on your useful, papers and you can match up your colours. And then I'll just show you these, these work as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort of think, right, okay, I've got a page, it's now time to jazz it up. And I really like the idea of having it like this, a little pocket with the dark brown, a little bit of the ink, um, bingo on it. I want something behind that or I want it darker. I've got my splodges that go on my oh, hinges. Oh, Or I've got bright, you see, the bright red ones, they yeah. look cool. They're like poppers, aren't they? Prestuds. Yes, exactly. They're great in mirror board. Then you've got your little tag flowers, but these also look great as well. These yeah, look brilliant. Yeah, nice with the rounded ends. And these go with the tan as well. So, uh, that's what I mean about it's so easy and you don't have to have them all the same colour. You could have like a square, a flag, because they all fit. Yeah. So you well, can do... no rules, is there? No, 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 none at all. None at all. The only thing it, that stops you is your imagination. Now it's got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant set of... I never knew I would be, and I never ever thought, and I'm being serious now, never thought I would be absolutely going off my head about plan stuff. 
If you'd have said that to me, I'd have gone, yeah, whatever. And I can't tell you how much this has changed my opinion of it because it's just so easy to use, so nice. And uh, there's no, like you say, there's and you no make rules. It your own, Lou, don't Absolutely. you? That's the thing. You, you tailor it to your own taste. You Absolutely. make it personal to you. I'm going to just use this. So I've got my stamping platform. I've got, and I was going to just do hit and miss, but I know I'll do it properly. And I like this one because what we've got is a really nice um, stitching line. Okay. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a case of uh, wibbly wobbly to make it look like that's how you've actually, yeah. um, you've actually stuck it down or whatever. So I've got some, I'm going to use this ground espresso. And the nice thing is I just put it on there as straight or as wobbly as I want it and then just move my paper in a minute. And you can elongate that as long as you want to Yeah, presume. of course you can. And then just knock that up a bit there. That's it. And then, perfect. Oh, I like that. And then this way, if I want to do it again, these are, these are the little touches on these that really, really make the difference. Like there now, I can keep that on there and I'm just going to match that up. There we go. You don't oh, even know where it was. You could leave a little gap in between and do sort of draw on with a fine line. Oh, that'd like, be good. Like your threads. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, yeah. wouldn't it? That'd be really nice, that. So now we've got that. This is so handy, this little stitching one. We can actually go around all of them. Or we can get something like our, um, just a simple... This is as easy or as hard as you want to make this, really. I don't think uh, you, you can say, oh, this is just for... for experienced ones or um, new ones. This is for everybody. Anybody who likes to create memories, anything, scrapbooks, planners, junk journals. Yeah. This is perfect because you add to it, Brilliant. you know. So starting to put this together and it starts to, you start to think, well, I want a bit more around that. And this is where it all, I, I get so excited about this now. I've got another one here. I'm going to put two on and I'm going to get my bingo boards out and my bingo cards and all these little and i just how much would it cost you for all these it, an awful lot it in fact we've been it. very very busy on uh, on the dies individually and across the board with the one day special as well can i just give a bit of an update actually? oh yeah please do yeah individually this is how busy we've been the rips and the tears which is actually my personal favorite as well that one is now limited stock <laughs> on its own not the one day special we're still safe with that at the moment although it is very busy but individually limited stock on the rips and tears don't forget you've got one item number but four different choices individually all those savings of £5.50, if you're going for the big collection, they will carry over. So straight away there, you've got £22 saving. We've got more, though. Just while we're here, we're just going to give you a recap, actually, on the papers. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they're the ones I'm using now, aren't they? they? Yeah. If you go for these individually, you actually get two of each. These are double-sided. You're getting eight designs, two of each there. You are getting one set of these in the one day special in the collection. Uh, so just a reminder again of one or two of these, just so I can flick through these if you want to look at them. 11 99 is the price if you're going for these individually. That's for a set of two. You've got three pounds saving. That three pounds saving again is carried over. You've got lots of elements here that you can also die cut. So when you're going for the dies, especially with the big collection where you're getting everything, then of course you are going to find dies that will cut out many, many of these individual elements as well I love that piece I think that's absolutely gorgeous they're all beautiful they really really are lots of opportunity to bring other colors in as well uh, yeah the details there for the big color complete is at the bottom of the screen as well we're just going to continue breaking this down a little bit as well because also we've got the stamps for you so individually again these come in pairs so the numbers and the borders as an individual nine pounds and 98 pence three pounds saving there again carried over to the big collection two three eight seven seven three and we've got another couple to show you as well so let's have a look at the next two. This is where you'll find those words really useful as well. 9.98 again, three pounds saving again, carried over to the big collection. You can see a pattern, can't you? Yeah, you don't ever lose those savings. And then coming up next, we've got another pair for you. Now these again are dies with stamps. So this is where you can see that little calendar in there. You can see some of the words, the arrows. These are fantastic. I did show you the boards earlier on. As the pair, 1748 with a 550 saving. Yes, you've got it. 
it's carried over to that big collection. 966 866 if you want to go for the individual. Now we've got another another selection, another pair for you again here. And on the boards, Lewis showed us how to use the dropout pieces as yeah. well. So nothing wasted. Again, stamps included in this one. 1748. Again, another 550 saving. Now the covers are also available on their own. You've got a choice of the pink or the blue. Remember here, if you want to go for your favourite colour, that's great. If you think you're going to up, upcycle in a, in a sense, or if you're just going to expand on what you've got, think about the base colour and how you're going to work with it. That will maybe help you choose as well. You do get your pages included. There's actually 30 sheets. Now there's three different colours here. There's black, there's white, and there's your craft pages as well. You're getting 10 of each. That's your 30 pages. They've already got the little holes in ready for you as well. That on its own is just amazing value, isn't it? 26.48 and 8.50 saving again carried over. 466.578 is the item number if you're going for those individually. Now, if you've been totting that up, you will have found we've already created £49 worth of savings. As a non-Freedom member, we're going to give you another £36 saving on top. If you are a Freedom member or if you join tonight... This gets even better. Look at this. An extra £48.13. It is a why not deal. On top of that £49 you've already saved, it's not far off, £100 saving. Ridiculous. If you were to break that down into individual elements, it's next to nothing you're paying for each of those elements. 817-616 is the item number. There you go. Yeah, do join the Freedom Club if you're not a member already because you will still make extra savings even once you've paid for that monthly fee. Now, let's show you something else as well. The extra pages. Maybe you're going for the covers. Maybe you're going for the collection. If you want to go for the extra pages, you certainly can do. You're getting another 30. You've got those three colours again. Only 9 99 That's the price here for all 30 sheets. 722-662 is the item number. As I say, and you can see it there on the screen, you already have those holes in there for you. So you don't even have to worry about putting those in with a die or anything. Uh, great, great value. I can't believe the value of this show, actually. We've got so many goodies, so many savings. You know, you do the maths, as I say. Just tot it all up for yourself, and you can see those savings. Back to Lou next, though. We yep. want to see what she's been up to while we've been away. Oh, well, not a lot. No, I have. Um, what I decided to do was I got two of the, like, little die, the little clips, and I put them together. So any of these, you can make the little... Just glue them together, and you could just have them as little tabs and stuff. So I did that with the two there. So what I've done is I've just glued that on there, you can see. Okay just there and then i put some reinforcers on and i've made 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 sure that the colors are all sort of similar matching and then i've got this which is great because it's um it, it's sort of so useful and then you can make it really adapt to what you're doing so it could be for cre uh, not credit cards uh, cash cards that you're giving presents it could be for um photographs it could there's, there's a whole different sort of thing that you can do with it's like little advertisements yeah, um, little tickets and things absolutely just loads of it and you can you don't have to just do it behind the back you can sort of stitch it in and just so many different ways well, you've got so the stitching stamp haven't you that we've seen as well absolutely and then what i've done is i was thinking i really like this just be mindful though when you're doing it that that will be there it will all be cut there so you're going to need to keep this away you need to keep stuff away until you put the holes in and then you're you're happy so i'm just going to get the tab now the tab is um it's like a, a ticket and it's die cut it's one of the sheets and all i'm going to do is just going to get this and i'm going to get a stamp okay um i'm using the same color and i'm using the word love um and it's it's on, on a jaunty angle so if if you do go a bit skew with it really doesn't matter because that's what the stamps look like so We've got the love, and then we've got these nice little tickets. Now, these could either have the dark brown, or I think I'll go with this cream one. Now, I found that if you get these bits here, these are perfect. Oh, you've got an actual little cut out there. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. So, these are perfect. So, what I did do was I've got a little bit of sponge glue on, because we're sick of getting boomed up but what I thought was if you just stick that down one end and then stick it another you can actually you know stick things under it as well so don't oh, waste that idea. 
they're, they're really clever little... Um, yeah, I don't think they were meant to do that, but I think that's what happens when we get stuff. We think, oh, we can do that. We can do that with it. You get three as well, so I just need a bit more glue. I didn't realise they actually cut out. I thought it just made a, a cut through the actual card without taking a slice out of it. Well, that's what I found about Studio Light, right? I found that the things that you think, oh, they've stuck them on. No, they're actually... The holes that they make on it, they're not straight. The holes that they make are made actually so that you can go through and stitch through. So all these things you can actually use, like even those around the reinforcers yeah. there, you can stitch because they're actually holes. Oh, wow. So I've put like the little strips there. So if you wanted to, you could put your little card, you know, through that one. Yeah, that's a good idea, I like that. So, so, but I think the thing is you just get, get your theme in your head and think, right, well, what am I going to do? What, what? ideas we've got and I've got that many I mean I've printed them all off I did designs but um, the one thing I did want to do is keep to this beautiful brown and blue color I just think it's stunning and then go back to good old distressing but I do really really love these I mean these look so cool um, I need to die cut that but I'll do it in a minute but if you think that when we put these on or even the splodges they'd be great if you're doing a sewing journey oh, oh yeah perfect so i've got that there i've got that there i've got the love ticket and it's just you doing now what you want to do do you want to add the little pocket here i quite like this little pocket you're better off in my opinion if you're not on telly then it doesn't matter <laughs> but if you're on telly don't use a thick card like i have because what happens is it takes ages to glue so <laughs> use your head and but at home it doesn't matter whether it's stick card or thin card, as long as it goes through your die cutting machine, it'll die cut it. And I quite like how neat these are. There's no bits hanging over or... Yeah, they're really sweet, aren't is. they? Yeah, they are. And they're really, really strong, and they go with everything you've got and you've had before. So they all work together. I really like that about Studio Light, the fact that it all works. Every part of it works. There's not nothing that you can't put with something else. No, that's true. I'm going to just oh, fold this over piece. because I want a little bit of strength in there. And they do open, and I just want to be able to see that there, and I want to be nice. able to write on it. And, you know, I could put my bingo there, but I don't think... I think I quite like the idea of just little bits and bobs now, finish it off. If I look at some of the things and put some words on, I don't want too much on it. Do you know what I mean? You look at it yeah. and you think... You've got quite a neutral palette of the yes. cards. So, haven't you? have got a little bit of blue in there, almost a duck egg blue, and a little bit of pink. So you can keep it very subtle. You can sort of go quite bright with it because you can add the pinks and blues in there. You know, you've got choices with the papers. That's why it's nice to have those quite neutral, muted colours. I do agree with you there because if you what when we did before, you know, you put the red on that and it just pops. Yeah. And it looks stunning. So I want to actually use the red from the other one. So just put this on it because then it's got love this and I'm just going to use the paper bits oh nice so we can add you know something like this red because they do say you need 60 30 10 and they're the ratios of colors to make things pop so if we look at um, and this is from one of the other packs that we've had from studio like this is the love one um, and it's a glitter card, non-shedding, but it just, it just all works together. So you can see that pop of red, just like, wow. Yeah, it really yet, works well. Would, sometimes you wouldn't even think about using that. I'm just going to make something of this now. So okay. I'm going to go back with my, um, don't have to do it like that. You can put it on your stamp or you can just use your fingers. So let's go for the espresso because that's what I've been using. So, um, And I like the fact that the, the, the more... Um, I hope I've not said that too many times. I watch myself one night. I don't watch myself ever. Oh, no way. <laughs> and uh, I looked and, uh, and I must have said the same thing about ten times. And I thought, I think you know we're what? I'd be throwing that a, from time to time. I'd have been throwing a... a, a oh, look at that. A shoe at the... Uh, Tell her. Oh, I like that actually. See, yeah. that's exactly where you could put those loose threads. Absolutely. Absolutely, you could, couldn't you? Yeah. And you could actually stitch that and make it really. 
I like the idea of having something that works all the way through it and it, it, you don't worry about yeah, you're just tying it all together, aren't you? Yeah, you don't worry about whether it's a bit wobbly or... Especially if you put it on and off the paper, it's almost like... You remember when you used to see, um, you all know, on yours, like a patch pocket on a on a pair of dungarees would have, like, two stripes, uh, two stitches there and two stitches yeah, there, like, yeah. comically. It's probably <laughs> the same with this. But, again, it's it's up to you. I like the idea of on and off. I think that looks quite nice. And then if you wanted to, you could put a bright red um, ink pad on that. You could anything on there. I'm just looking because in the die cut of this one, let me bring it in for you, you get all these hearts and you get all the, the waste, which is incredible to call it waste. But then you get this and I'm just thinking this now. This is really pretty would go perfectly along here, so we could have that it. Is, that's very de delicate, but very, very pretty. You see, I love that. So, again, it's it's entirely up to you. Yeah, and then you've got all those drop-out pieces as well that you can use separately. Oh, the, the little hearts are brilliant, because yeah. they are fine. And you even get the circles that go back in there. Uh, you see, you get that heart, and there's another heart. Let me show you the other heart. There's another heart in it and you get a smaller heart and you're like, wow, where did that come from? Oh, it's one of the other hearts on it. I'll show it you in a minute. But you can see I've got that little bit there. We could add a little bit. That's too much. No, I quite, I quite like that. And then this would be the starting point. If I show you what I mean, it makes sense now. Put a little bit more. I wouldn't waste it. I would not waste it. I found that it's easier for me to put glue on a sponge now instead of trying to mess about. <laughs> um, and you could paper piece some of the hearts back in, maybe alternate. Oh, yeah. You've got a, an open one, a solid one. Oh, You've got lots yeah. of choices. You, you really could. I'm just trying to think now. Um, there's something else that there's a little small line that worked perfectly with this. But I've just got a little bit of um, washi tape and this will create Oh, nice. You know, all your washi tapes, don't forget, it, it's get everything out. And if you just want to sort of stick that down without it being, how can I put it, permanent, just have it like that. You can move it about. You, you can do anything. Now, that's quite strong. So I've got that, and I'm thinking, yeah, but what, what am I going to do with it? Well, that would be my start. And then what I would do is I'd have that on it. So then this would be, I put on here, memories. So that I opened ah, it up and yeah. it looked like that. Yeah. And, it, you know, and that's, that's what I like about the idea. Now, if I wanted to, and I had A5 paper, this is a little trick, right? I've got A5 paper. I want it to go square. Oh. How do I do it? So easy. All you do, so can you see the difference? Yeah. All you do, I'll do it this way. You get a piece of card that's double the size. So that's a little bit thick, so I'll get another piece. I'll use this so you can see. So I want my paper to fit in there, but it's only A5. So I need my paper. Let me get it to that. I need my paper to go there. Okay? So all yeah. I do, all I do is look at that. Fold it over. Okay? Yeah. That's all you do. You don't need to mess about. You can, if you wanted to, you can make it all tight, neat and tidy. What you can do is die cut all that. And all I'm going to do is just... Ah, oh, you're going to attach underneath there. Yeah, you just glue one side and then the floating spine gets put there. So that will either... You can do it two ways. Let me just show you this way. If I chop that down... Yeah. It fits inside yeah. like a little envelope, and then you've got pages. Or if I just glue it like that, I'm going to get that. Perfect. So you can, don't worry, and I can make that as long as I want because it's up to you where you put your your spine. It's a good but, way if you've already created your pages and you're not quite sure what to do with them. You think, oh, that would look really nice in my planner, but it's not big enough. Well, this then there's always it. ways and means. Look at that now. I mean, I love that paper, but it'd be lost. You can still do it in your A5 journal, but if you're to put it 
anywhere there you could still put on there yeah. but you put that on there now yeah um you could add another piece of paper over the top and and just do your journal in there yeah. and pictures here yeah, like so I there's do. ways of doing it you know and i've seen people who just do that all the time i'll just show you what i mean they do this and they do a concertina in one of the shows i'm going to show you how to do a proper book like this and they do that and then each page is is attached between two yeah. and it's like a flat a flat yeah, book of course there's a lady called um hedy kyle and she created the flat books in the 70s and she's really? inspirational yeah oh wow inspirational and and if you if you want to know but she's brilliant and she tells you how to extend yeah. all your journals Oh, I'd have to look for myself. I know. Who would have thought it? Yeah. Oh, do you mind if we have a bit of a no, recap, no, please, Lou? Is that okay? Please, I, I haven't shown you any samples. We've got one or two samples at the back here as well, which oh, I want yeah. to show you as well. Yeah, yeah. They are beautiful. Shall we show you these now, actually? So lots of different ideas. So you're, you can go from very small, those beautiful torn edges there. Yeah. Uh, you've got all those different dyes, of course, in the complete collection. The papers, they've all been used here. Yeah, keeping it quite... It's almost a passport size, that one, isn't it? Really 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 nice and then of course you can go bigger and it's not just about the journals it's not just about the planners you can work with your cards as well the stamp there you can see with the numbers on that works perfectly the words have been used as well invitations birthday party this is nice this is so pretty actually that would look lovely in the pink cover if you're not in fact the blue Absolutely. or the pink if you're not going to change it as well love the fact that we've got dies and stamps that correspond together as well you can see that sort of calendar page there this is a lovely one um we can see the typewriter actually that lou's used there we've got the memories as the the turnover part the there hearts. yeah the, the hearts, hearts yeah. lovely absolutely gorgeous use your hardboard as well use you know use your construction card if you've got the folder great if you haven't you know if you're going for individuals then you've got those choices again here don't forget about those extra pages as well regardless of what you're going for you might want to add those into your basket it just goes on and on and on and on memories we've talked about memories haven't we here we are here's a lovely little book with the memories on the front there Beautiful. yeah you can use that die in different ways again this is lovely actually using some of the smaller dies you've still got the pockets you've still got the detail on the pages they look absolutely beautiful those papers are wonderful they really are you don't have to have it a, a, a five no of course I not i love the fact that they've shown that yeah small i think it yeah. works perfectly oh they are brilliant really you can go even smaller than that look there's another one here look at that look at this oh let me just so this is so good at journals i'm very lucky to have uh, such talented oh, people you see this is me i love anything in miniature and that's just using those papers there. Love it. Gorgeous. Well, everything is available in that big collection. All of the all of the savings carried over from individuals will tot up to £49, was it? I think it was. Yeah, £49. We're giving you extra savings on top. Not little ones. Look at this, £48.13 extra if you're a Freedom member. If you're not a Freedom member, it will still save you to join today. We will give you that extra saving. Yeah, we'll split it three ways as well. It doesn't get much better than that. Three payments of £36.41. And item number 817616 now we do understand although you're getting so much free money there you know some of you can't afford that big bundle maybe you're looking at certain elements and you're wanting those i'm just going to go through the dies because we've all we've now i've got to say because i know we've gone limited on one of them we have really? actually lost some stock here yeah wow. so rips and tears and the tags and markers it's these two they have now gone individually i'm not surprised they're the first to go hearts and loops and the love and memories is still available as an individual they're still absolutely beautiful but if you want them all that's how you get them you go to the one day special you go to the big collection you are saving five pounds and fifty pence on each of those sets so already just in the dies that's a 22 pound saving Let's get back to Lou there. We want to see more in the way of demonstration. What else can we do with these? Well, um, you know, the lettering, you get some great lettering. And um, I'll be honest with you, if you can, get a glue sheet behind your lettering because you're forever picking bits up, thinking it's waste, and it's not because they, they cut out. So, you know, like your D. Yeah. Make sure, my advice is make sure that you, I'll just show you what I mean. Try and keep it like that so that it don't drop out but you've got either or now i quite like the waste because yeah. i like the fact that it shows up 
anywhere you want to put it. So what I did was I've cut a load of these and I've kept some and I've got rid of some, even the waste for the, the little, um, these little things here. These look brilliant. That, that, that's the waste from the little eyelets. Oh, nice. So, you know, that to me, if I was yeah, to I just... Like exactly. If I was to just cut that down, that, again, would look like another piece of interesting sort of textures and stuff. So I've just cut the today down. Now, if you can, just cut once, don't cut twice, and you'll get a nice clean cut. And then this will then fit in there so if you wanted to put all your mem you know the word on my advice is try and keep it in as best possible but put one of them glue sheets on it yeah and then you can do that and then i've got all sorts here but here um what i'm going to do is what um to show you what liz did is the first thing you did was um later on i'm going to show you the next show is get one of the pages that does these and just chop these up very simply and then we're going to make a little book with them uh, the same way that, you know, Liz and Rachel and Karen have. So that, that's like an ATC size as well. Yeah, they are. So I'm going yep. to show ATCs as well, as well as um, a birthday card. Because yep. I think um, people, you know, might think it's just the edging of pages. But if you've got a beautiful edge, let me see, like a birthday edge, you know, I think they've done it there. This could be, apply to anything with a birthday and then there's a bobble one. Was it Lizzie who did it? And it's a beautiful one and that, that shape, you know, you could cut out a couple of pages, layer it up and you've got a wonderful sort of um, edging for your card. So it doesn't matter, it's not just journals. I'm trying yeah, to find one. And again, any offcuts are gonna be very, very useful. Absolutely, absolutely. So again, any bits that you've got, if you get the journal, this is absolutely, absolutely worth its weight in gold because see that that would can you imagine me trying to pick all that up no so do you get that inside the journal then that with that, the paper pad or the journal i think you get it in your journal oh i think you do them, i you? got mine in my I journal i get the pages unless i got it wrong but yeah i did get mine in my journal i know he said they're not doing paper oh there's one in here yeah yeah and it's it, this is worth its weight because you've got all these bits and you then, do we just had it confirmed you do get that in there yeah. i didn't even know about that yeah and it's and that's so handy because when you're out and about it's a great this is a perfect size for out and about in your bag well my bag it is um <laughs> but it's nice to draw in the paper's great if you can buy the paper later but it's the same paper we normally do but if you think that all the bits like your tickets and everything you can put in there and then Add it all together. You're not yeah. going to lose it. Collect things as you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on you, you know, I'll just see phrases. I love words. So Absolutely. if you see phrases, write them down and then use them. Transfer them into your journal afterwards. Last one day special, we had a great um, grungy set. And if people managed to get that, but if you didn't, it doesn't matter. It's just that if you've got like alphabet stencils, it'll work so yeah. well with all the lettering we've got. Because um, one of the things that they really do... It, it, want to do is make sure that this works with everything you've got so even you know this if we want to make this slightly different i won't take a minute because i know we've and i could just now really change this up and make this my own paper by adding more on it so you've really got to think about as you said it's uncoated yeah, so it's going to take all those mediums. And you can see all the letters coming up now. And, and when I put white on the top as yeah. the last bit, that'll just pop yeah. up. Or you could have used your clear ink and your embossing powders. Oh, I'll tell you what, gold embossing powders Yeah, work. that's what I'm thinking. The gold would work really well with those There papers. we go. And in fact, the whole um, demonstration that you've been doing there, the gold would work beautifully. So you've got lots of things. And even, even if we go back to this, just to show you, um i'll use this instead don't forget these work great as stencils so you know yeah, fantastic stencils aren't they Lou, at the beginning of the show if i just said to you which color do you think is going to be most popular when it comes to the cover what would you have said blue you're right you're right the blue yeah over 20 percent of the stock has gone of the blue it's personal choice that's the only thing you need to choose because when you're going for the collection that is it you're getting everything else you're getting the 